98 pence. Uh, 0093.45 is your item number. Remember, if you are add, adding anything to your basket with the Go Power, you have got the possibility to flexify it into three interest-free payments. And then we have got the flowers here, the absolute stunning lattice flowers. I think I showed a sample that it was the lattice flowers rather than uh, the mandala, but uh, let me show you. Uh, here it is. Um, that is the one. Now, this is this coordinates with so many of your dyes. It does. It's that lattice. Is, it, there's a lattice on nearly everything I do. Yeah. That genuinely is a lattice on nearly everything I do. And again, I wanted to bring on, I didn't want to bring on dyes that were easy to cut. Yeah. Because that, you know, we, all, we can all do that to make a machine look good. I wanted to bring on some of the most complex dyes that I do to cut. And obviously, if you look at that smaller flower there at the sort of bottom left, well, it's my bottom right, but it could be anywhere at home, to be honest. <laughs> I've never understood camera right and camera left. But if I you know, oh, you're brilliant, in, yeah. then she's gone straight into it. Yeah. Look how detailed it's that is. It's my bottom left. Is your bottom left right? I'll try and remember that. Paula's bottom left. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's no comma. But can you see every single thing is cut through? Yeah. And that's, it's, you need a good machine and you need to have confidence in your machine yes, you to do. do a die like that. And I wanted to show the confidence I've got in this by bringing on really complex dies. Well, cut. I mean, and that says it all. £12.99 £9 is your price. You're saving £3.127174 is your item number. Now, uh, now you have spotted John using a die brush and an eraser. And here there is, you have got the bundle for you. It's just 9 99 And John, it's funny because there are other uh, dye brush uh, available and I'm not going to, you know, that they are there. But this is goes extra. That goes further than a regular. It, it does because it's, you've got the brush, which is great. You've got the pokey tool, which comes out of it as well. So you've got the pokey tool that comes out as well from there. But you've also got the spade. And this is weird, but this is really important. If you look at this die here, when I cut this, there's almost no way into it. The spade okay, will go yeah. underneath and pull it out. Right. Yeah. So not only can you hold, and I honestly, you know I do this. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. get every bit yeah. out. So I'll clean it out and certainly, where are we? Oh, I thought I'd left, no, I haven't. Normally I leave some, oh, I have, brilliant. In one of these corners. Yeah. They're too close, they're too small to flick. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they're they far too it. small yeah. for me to be able to get those out. Yeah. But... Mm -hmm. With the brush, literally just kind of, yeah. out. Yeah, and then if there is bits. one or two, then and you if have there's got one or two, I can just click yeah. out and go. That one's being stubborn. It's gone. It's just so much easier, and it, it and it feels nice in your hand. And that's very and important. And that makes such a difference. Oh, Do you remember the original? I had the original one, which was like a long stick. Oh yeah, like a brush, and I I couldn't I couldn't it's hold nice it right. It's nice to have it. Yeah, fills your hands, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Definitely. Yeah. All right, so if you want yours, and 9.99 is your price. 527-273 is your item number. You will find it on the website, thecraftstore.com, alongside a lot more. Now, remember, we are talking about the monthly mega deal, that amazing Go Power and Emboss. It is an incredibly busy show, and I know it's 7 a.m., but you know and love. You have heard the reviews. You have heard other crafters. You have heard John. You have heard people like myself that I don't own this one I'm going to be completely honest at home because I'm on a budget so I have to kind of be in a, and I understand that but however if you're like me that you are on a budget and you want to upgrade your machine I would consider most definitely that flexi buy because I may not be able to afford 150 pounds or 139 pounds today, but I can afford 46 pounds and 66 pence. If you are like me and you're thinking, I'm frustrated with having just the smaller machine, or I'm frustrated, like my mom always says, it's like she has got the, the Big Shop Plus and she loves it, but she's like, you know, she's getting to an age where it, it hurts her, her shoulder. So she's like, can we get it? Can we, we, I need to send her this one for her birthday. She did actually. I remember you saying yeah, last yeah. time She's like, she, she wanted one of those yeah, sending she out to her. She had sent your show and said, that, oh, you know that, that lovely guy that is in there? So I'm like, is it really good in that machine? I was like, yeah, it is very good. I said, do you think I can buy one from a spa? And like, yeah, if you are in the continent or even in Europe, I, or even in a, a continent of Europe, uh, in the USA, you can get the machine, and especially if you're a Freedom member. You Anyway. 
Yeah, no, five minutes oh. time left. And I think, as I, I mean, Sam always checks these things and he always likes to look out. Yeah. Um, but I believe you're the only place in the UK that has these in stock. Right, that's a very good point. Yeah. I don't believe anywhere else he did a he did one of those goggle searches. And, and that's and yeah, and because other, it's always better to know. Absolutely. Also, the other thing I would say, one thing, sometimes, and I have been bitten by this. Sometimes it, on, and it says, "Oh yeah, we have it in stock," and they like, don't. No. So here, you know, that it's going to be dispatched ASAP. But yeah, but do your own goggling because I know it's been yeah. done. So and you know, ten pounds saving it. as well. So I said we'd talk about the metal shim. Yes. This is why it's part of the future proof and it's part of included. But this is so. I'm now going to cut fabric. Right. This yeah. came from my stash mm -hmm. because, as a crafter and unlike most people at home, I haven't actually sewn in an awfully long time. But I still have more fabric, yeah. and I even bought the William Morris one. <gasps> The, the so beautiful, beautiful idea, oh, you know, the goodness. fat quarter bundle. But you are like the me. You, you find sewing very soothing, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it? completely. Yeah. I haven't done it for a long, long time, but I'm not, I'm not missing out on the fabric. Absolutely. So this came from my stash. These are the handmade by Haley yeah. quilting dies. And this is the great thing. As I said, the machine's designed to grow with you. Yeah. And you maybe have no interest in cutting fabric or grey board or any of those things now. But you may find in the future you re you know you really want okay, to, yeah. and you might not go. Oh well, I'm not going to do it now, and I can't see it for ages. Right. But we've all said that. But then three years down the line, your machine is still running, and you yeah. suddenly I've become yeah. more into soft crafting Absolutely, things. Yeah. It needs to cover it. it. Is, so it I've got four layers of 100% cotton yeah. here. I've got two of Haley's dyes. Yeah. I've gone base plate. Yeah. Remember C plate, plate on the bottom. Yeah. My metal. metal shim, which comes with the machine, as which well. comes with the machine and the B plate. Yeah. So I'm not adding anything Any, to yeah. this. Again, on, run, present it, and it will go through, and you'll hear it. Yeah. Go. I mean, that sound. I, I have to I say, it's a scary, but it's a good go. sound. Well, it's it's all about, isn't it? Because it's not cutting; it's crushing. It's crushing. That dies are not sharp; they do not cut. It's about yep. the amount of pressure you've got, and it's not just about the most pressure; yep. it's about the pressure being right. Yeah. So here, but this is the other reason why. To be honest, I yep. don't know if you've got it on this show. Um, you can get a. Um, a Crafts 2 A4 and A5 yes, metal shim yeah. as a pair. That's why I get them because yeah. I have one that I keep yeah. for fabric wow. yeah. and one I keep for paper because again in the 11 o'clock yeah. show I'll show you how to finish off a die that's difficult. Perfect, yeah. But there, this is, this is cotton yes. cut but I've got one, two, three, four and then one, two, three, four cut perfectly Perfect, yeah with no problems through the same machine as a paper yeah. crafter. You might not be quilting yet, yeah. but we all move on. We either move from that or to it. We, all, we cycle round, absolutely. don't we, as crafters? And it's not even as a quilter. As a mixed media artist, you may want to die cut all those different materials that you may have. Uh, well, you like some lovely burlap. Ooh. So I'll do that at 11. Well, that's a beautiful colour. You have me so good uh, with that gorgeous colour. Uh, you are going to be back at 11 o'clock with Don Willow presenting, who is the first day uh, at uh, the craft store presenting. So let's uh, give her a very big welcome. And then, of course, we have the ability to ask questions here at the craft store. So email us in a studio at the craft store. We will can uh, get it ready, the uh, those questions for the shows. And remember to check out your baskets, 20% for the monthly mega deal which is a month worth of a stock and it is an incredible popular machine you can read reviews online from fellow crafters you can read uh, you know obviously John uh, raves about it I rave about it I think it is an incredible machine because it gives me that sense of and it gives John as well that sense of you don't have to worry about it. You don't. I mean, I would say if you go onto my YouTube channel, yeah. you'll see all of the shows that I've done in the craft store over the last two or three years, and you'll see that, unless it's a Kaleido or a smaller show, you'll see that the same machine being used on every single one. The confidence that you have to have as a demonstrator to bring the same machine and the same one that you are not connected with, yeah. that this is nothing to do with crafts Absolutely, too. Absolutely, yeah. You know, um, you know, I, I earn nothing from, yeah. from, from anyone buying yeah. one. Yeah. This is my personal one. You watch the videos, yeah. you'll see I use it 
constantly. Okay. And that, to me, is the well, telling point. I, I'm going to say, it. I, I have got a show with Miss P. Dyes at 9 o'clock. I'm going to grab one of the backstage uh, Go Power. And what's because I can trust? There are other machines, but that's the one I select. And if it's the one that you select, do make sure to check out your baskets, including, of course, with that £10 saving, whether you spread the cost or not. Uh, thank you, John. We'll see thank you later. But now, let, after the break, the two dawns. Don Wheeler first presenting our here. Right after the break, we have got the one day special from Pink Frog Crafts uh, with Don Wheeler presenting. Give her a big round of welcoming emails uh, as well. Welcome. And then I have got Miss P Butterfly. Stamparama, the incredible art, stamp, and paper craft show, will be taking place in the Grand Hall Newcastle Racecourse on Sunday, the 13th of February. Come along and meet many of the UK's most dedicated and gifted craft experts, all available to inspire you with their knowledge and expertise. Tickets are available to purchase in advance from the craft store for only £4. So, what are you waiting for? Did you know you can watch the craft store 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, using the craft store app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon app store to add new applications. By downloading the craft store app, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect it to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do this, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type the craft store into the search bar and this will take you to the craft store app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select the apps from the menu that appears. Scroll to the Craft Store app and then press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina. This is Josie. And this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. and welcome to the craft store my name's Dawn Wheeler if you've not met me before I'm part of the team from Creative Craft but as you know we have now merged and we've been brought by the fantastic craft store so now you'll be seeing a lot more of us all the time but I have to say very excited this morning I'm actually going to you showing you the actual you know one day wonder that we've got for you and it is from pink frog pink frog i've known for many many years as well work with the team there too but today i've got a fantastic guest with me as well i've got another dawn with me so good morning dawn good morning dawn how are you <laughs> the double d's yes double d's <laughs> we are together so fantastic this today you're going to be showing us mm. all the different styles of being able to make memories and that's what it's all about because at the end of the day without memories memories we've got nothing to look back on so having these fantastic books so what I want you to do is get all your pictures done get them off your phones and everything get them out of the boxes that we've all got in still in the loft and things like that or under the bed I want you to get them all out because these are going to change the way that you actually craft now we have actually got three options on your one day special and we are going to make them very very special the first one I'm going to be showing you is this one okay so this is your mixed collection you've got six 
60 sheets of your black and white and it all comes on a top quality very very fine linen cardstock so with this one you've got 12 by 12 so you've got a mix of 280 gsm right through of to 300 gsm you've got 30 sheets of each so you can mix and match and put it together but you also get full instructions on how to make these fantastic albums that i'm going to show you now with these as well you will be able to make two whole albums the fantastic dawn is going to show you how to make sure you cut them you score them they've got pull out bits but everything you're seeing here you'll be able to make two but if you are crafty and you thin it out a little bit more, add in your own papers, you could technically make three of these. So value for money is incredible as well. You get full instructions all printed out as well, and we'll explain to you how to do that. And Dawn's going to show you as well. Now, this one is the most, most popular. We are so, so busy for this. Over half the stock of this has already gone. You're looking at 21.49. You're looking at £3.95 for your PMP. But to receive all this top quality cardstock, this is what's going to make your album stand out and you can see when they have been put together they are so beautiful so if you've got weddings you've got anniversaries you've got different collections that you want to put together you could be somebody who's you know baby announcement you want to you know pop all the years that obviously they're born you can mix and match this in something that you can add to and you can grow with so this is going to be fabulous so if you're wanting the black and white mixed collection this is this one for you it's zero or one six five three three but if if you are wanting the white one, you're wanting the purity, could be for weddings, christenings, things like that. It could be a memorial, memorial, I can't say that this morning, memorial book as well. Because one of my friends just lately, um, passing of her mother, she wanted a book to celebrate her life. What a better way than to have something beautiful, crisp, still with that linen finish on there too. You are getting the 60 sheets with this one and you can see the quality. If I show you, because it is that fine, sometimes linen cardstocks, they can be quite deep. This one is very, very fine. We've inked one side as well, just to give you that soft finish. I have to say, we are very, very busy this morning. Thank you so much for being with us. And a lot of you are realising as well how important it is to make memories. So if you're wanting this as part of your one-day special as well, this one is your true bright one. It's white. It's 21 49 for this one too. But again, for 60 sheets. But you know what? Even if you are a card maker, if you are wanting to take any of these collections and cut them down to make them into cardstock for 21 49 for 60 sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock, this is it as well. Now, I have to tell you straight from the top on this Saturday morning, we are quarter of the stock gone. So we are extremely busy. I know there's been overnight repeats and things like that, but honestly, grab this while we have that. So I think that that one could probably be the first one to go so just bear that in mind if you are wanting the white one all these can be stamped on to add that texture but also you can ink them as well and Dawn's going to show you some fantastic designs now if you are wanting to then take it a little bit further and you want into the black for guys and things like that if you're wanting to do more guys albums and things like that or you want the drama of the backdrop and remember black will frame and go with anything as well so all your different color palettes will mix with this 60 sheets and remember it's all 12 by 12 so again giving you that larger size with this one so with the black one you will actually find this is 280 gsm with this one but you have got the 12 by 12 sizing remember 2149 with this one too so remember 36 pence per sheet to have this in your hands in your little crafty stash for you to be able to work with remember as well you can mix and match this and you can also use any of those to create boxes gift bags and more but value for money you've got it right there with a the pink frog 016533 now for you we have got these ones which are obviously like the strips 10 and a half by 30 centimeters so with this now you've got this super size and with these for matting and layering of your cards but do remember if you score these in half you've got card blanks and things like that and if I don't know if I dare do this because I might get into trouble already. <laughs> I've only been here 10 minutes I could Wheeler's gone rogue already I did promise I would try and be good but there's never any promises with me can I do this, Dawn? Go on. Why not? Do it. Okay. <laughs> right. We're going to score it an inch. Score it another inch. Okay. So you scored it two inches. Fold the rest back. 
you can now make your own little cards as well. So obviously use an actual scoreboard, scoreboards as always, but we're going rogue, so just showing you. You can score this. You can make these into your size cards. Remember, apertures for your mini albums and things like that, you can score it and make it what you want it to be. But having that black and white super size with that one, 10 of a half with that one by 30, you're getting 40 of each in that one. Fantastic value. 11 99 with that one, 6 7 7 3 5 6. And remember, 15 pence a sheet, well worth getting top quality. Now, wow, you are up early with us this morning. Over half the stock of this has now gone. So, again, look at getting those, popping those in your baskets. And if you're going to treat yourself today, treat yourself to something like this. It's going to make all the difference. Now, look at this A4 standard size. You are going to use this day and day out. True bright white, so it's like that advert that you used to see on the telly years ago. It's bright, it's white, and that's how you want your washing. You want the same with your card stocks as well. You don't want any dirty grey card stocks. If you're making your photos pop, you're getting that extra detail on there. This is what it's all about. So with this one, you know, you can see you are getting the fantastic 40 sheets of this one, 300 GSM, so a really good weight. 30 pence a sheet and again you've got that beautiful linen texture on there which will then give you that fantastic designer finish use your gilding waxes on here use your actual inks and chalks just to soften the edges and dawn's got some fantastic techniques we're going to be showing you as well but for 11.99 we are looking at 40 sheets that's real value wow quarter of the stock of this one has gone so you know this morning you have been ready for your card stocks this is what it's all about i know i'm a bit much first thing in the morning and you'll think wow she, she's full on but this is how I roll <laughs> and I know when there's a bargain and I know that I want you to get the best quality card stock so this is what it's about now if you're like me you're new to these fantastic memory books but you're just thinking I want to dip my toe in the water we have got a starter kit for you but let's let's just take a moment let's look at the price okay we're looking at 19.99 but you know what for what is it one pound fifty more I would get your one, you know, like your one day special because in there you can technically make two. I'm not, you know, I'm not dissing this one. You can make one with this collection. Yes, you get a roll of the actual tape with it. Red liner tape, super sticky for construction. Still going to get your instructions and more. But do you know what? If you're thinking of investing in the mini book journey, then do you know what? Go for your one day special. Get the one that's got two in it for one pound more. I'm not being funny. Treat yourself. That's what it's all about. This one, if you did want it, it's eight, eight. 0898 but if you want to jump ahead you want to check out everything else we've got and especially the glues we've got on the shows because remember if you're making memories it needs to be acid and lignum free so it doesn't eat away about all your photos make sure you check out the website everything is on there so literally just go pop them in your basket go to check out and everything will be there for you and as always we say get the magic three make sure you've got your glues your cardstock and your papers and you've got everything then to be able to work from and give you that designer finish but do you know what let me have a rest let all of you have a cup of tea have a little drink what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to dawn and let dawn show you the magic first of all i think we're going to show you the breakdown of it and show you how it works and then from there on in you know you're going to want these so dawn show us what we've got right for those of you that haven't seen the fo the memory folios from pink frog before or the memory books you've seen me bring them to you before you know how easy they are to put together you've got your cutting and scoring guide all in there i laminate laminate mine just so when i'm in the craft room doing my messy things i don't get it all all messed up so they're it's less all difficult there. to lose Pardon? they're less difficult they to are, lose they are but you've also got your written instructions and it's all done step by step i've labeled everything correctly step by step to make it as simple as possible for you so Put it this way, with the memory books that I bought you in the past, I've had my seven-year-old niece making one. Oh, wow. So that is how, you know, a beginner can do these. But, but let's show you what a folio is. But if we look at those instructions and we do get a little bit lost, is there anything extra that we can follow you, Dawn, and you, you will guide us through this? I will indeed. So I'm Dawn's Inspiration, so you can find me over on social media or dawnsinspirations.com. Fabulous. Over on there, I've also done an online workshop. So it's a video workshop, step by step. All you will see is my hands on the desk, and I do it with you in real time. And I make one of these from start wow. to finish in real time with you. That's amazing. So you're held. If you're not someone that likes written instructions, you've got the video there. 
as well. So what is a folio? So when we look at memory folios, folios open out. That's what it's all about. So it's about having it all open and you can just see how vast it can be. So let's just start on one side because you can cram a lot in, in these. So we've got lots of flaps and folds and of course with this true cardstock that we get from Pink Frog and you know the cardstock quality you get from Pink Frog, you know every time you're going to have quality. These are going to stand the test of time. These are acid and lignin free. So using the EVA glue or your red line tape which is also acid and lignin free everything is going to be preserved for years to come. Because that, so, that actually stops it from eating away, doesn't it? It does, it things. does, yes, yes, it so does. So if you don't want to use your original photos, even though with that it will be safe, if you want to use them with that, then you can, and you, you're not worried, because I think when I first started doing a little bit of scrapbooking for my kids, some of the photos, I didn't know that, so, you know, it is better. Use the tricks and use the tips that the pros give you here, because this will make sure your treasured albums will be made. And I have have to say with this one obviously Dawn's hand designed all this so it's not just designed by a company Dawn's done this herself so she knows what folds you need you know how many bits and photos you want to get in and it's an accessible size to be able to work with so Dawn's going to show us now some other extra bits as well right I'm, I'm going to um, carry on where we finished off last night because obviously I'm taking you on that journey so you can see everything that's happening. Now, I've used Mask It here. So if you didn't see last night's show, you can watch it on Rewind. So this is our Mask It sheets. Okay, these die cut, you can cut them, you can do lots of things with them. I'm going to show you another little trick in a minute. And they're on the website as well. They're on the website okay. as well, yes. So with Mask It, as you can see, you can stamp over. So with this page... I didn't have to stamp the whole page. I've masked off where I'm going to put my photographs, taken that off, and with this, don't throw it away. Pop it back on your carrier sheet. Oh, you wow. can use this again and again and again. So you could cut it all to your photograph sizes ready. Yeah. And have it all, and then just keep using them and mixing them. Yeah, mixing them. yeah. If you look, look at how little ink you've used as well. Yeah, but so look at mine. effective to be able to use those. Yeah, look at mine. I've used them again and again, and wow. they're still fine until they stop sticking, and they haven't stopped sticking yet. Now, if you are wanting these, these are 10 sheets of these. These are A4. These are the mask it. And I have to say to you, if you were a rubber stamper as well, these are a must. So do pop these in your basket. You're looking at 10 sheets of this one of the mask it, and it's 9 99 9765691 with that one. Right, another thing you can do with mask it, because you, with memory books, we're talking about everything being acid and lignin free to preserve it, okay? Your mask it is also acid and lignin free. So not only can you use it for your card making, scrapbooking, memory in for um, masking things off, we can also make our own washi tape. Okay, so let's make a little bit of washi tape because this is where I think Fab. this comes into its own. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the blue. So does it have to be a water-based ink pad or can we use anything? You can use anything. Oh, fabulous. So I'm just using an oxide here and I'm just going to colour my mask it. So you could customise these to coordinate with your photographs and things Cards, like that in your book everything. as well. Yes. Yes, and you can leave them stuck down because it's acid and lignin free. So I'm just brushing some of that on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mm, find my stamping platform. And now let's... Oh, Dawn, since you've been using this, 30% of the mask it has actually gone. I have to be honest with you, a lot of the Crate and Craft viewers out there, you won't have seen this before. If you're just tuning in this morning to watch the fabulous Dawn from you Pink Frog, this. then you need this you in your do. life. This is a game changer. You know when we say this is a game changer product, here it is right here, right now. And you imagine how you can customise this, you can mask off all those fabulous stamps you've got. This one is a go-getter, so go get it and put it in your basket. $9.99, 6 Seven six five six nine. Right, I'm just going to put a couple of words on there. Okay, so I'm just going to ink those up. Same ink pad again. Yep. It's basically just tone on tone. I'm doing tone on yep. tone here, yes, but you can do anything you like with these. This is the nice thing. So you can see how nicely that just stamps out on there. So let's then add a little bit of a pattern. Yeah. 
because again this is what you can do you can quite easily add your little patterns okay so dawn all these stamps on the website which collection is that that you just using the, just so we can have so if people are wanting words, which one the words i'm using here are from the typewriter sentiments okay, we have fabulous typewriter sentiments and typewriter editions there these we go. are really good not just for card making as well you know you can use these across from card making to scrapbooking to your journaling you know anything like that they're really go to that's it because sometimes you might not like your own handwriting or you just think, oh, I don't know how to spell that if you're in my case. So <laughs> that works well. But do look on the website. But if not, there is the details on the screen for the typewriter sentiments if you're wanting those. But like I say, all the others as well are on the website. So just peruse all through there. Make up your basket and then you will have all those details in there to make these actual albums incredible. Don't worry up. Coming in around about half past, we are going to show you how to make one of the full albums, so stay with us. So, so busy, so, so popular. Like I say, the mix collection is the most popular one of your one day. Now, 60% of the stock, we are so, so busy. I can't believe it this morning. Thank you so much for being with us. But this is incredible. If you are wanting the 60 sheets to make two of these fantastic albums, like Dawn was showing you, that all pulls out, you've got everything to be able to do this. Instructions, tutorials and everything with Dawn on her website so you have got those there everything is there but two of these they are incredible so please look at getting this one 21.49 60 percent of the stock has now gone you've got the two tones in there you've got the black and the white 016533 21.49 but this is your one day special and like i say 60 percent who knows we should be back later with this but anything can happen so what we're doing next Dawn? right so you can see that i've just stamped that across so this is your we've made like washi tape yep. now you know with washi tape you'll tear it so i'm going to peel my mask it off to where i want it to be and then i'm going to tear it like you would with washi tape yep and you can quite easily then the air conditioning blowing it around <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem isn't it? <laughs> you can then just quite easily stick that down that's a nice oh, wow. tone on tone my photograph will go over the top but you've made your own washi tape that's so it's showing your mask it in another way. That is fantastic. And then just to finish this page off, now I can't use foam pads no. because they're not acid and lignin free. Okay. Okay. I can use silicon glue, but you can also use your photo glue. Oh, okay. And we've got this on the show as well. So do have a look at this. So have a quick watch. First of all, I do have to tell you, there's a lot of you sat out there. We are very busy this morning with everything in your baskets. Please, can you get, make sure that you check out as soon as you can. I know you're wanting to watch what Fabulous Dawn does, but you know what? Check your baskets out. Guarantee you've got what you want because like I say, 60% of this one has already gone. And obviously you don't want to miss out. Your glue that Dawn's going to be using next, pop all those in. Get the Magic 3, get your card stocks, obviously get the special tape that Dawn was just using and the glue to make sure you then get what you need to make these fabulous albums but honestly please check out as soon as you can we are extremely busy this morning so what we're going to do with right. this one Dawn so I've just stuck that down with some of the fo photo glue so I could have done it with my flat EVA glue because yep. that's acid and lignin free okay. but I've used the photo glue because that's just risen it a little bit but not too much yes okay because so, obviously with a page is shut in i suppose you don't want yes, too much you don't want too much bulk because yep. time you've added all your photographs there you're ready to go so i would just add a couple of more of those little sentiments on there and my photos would go on and that page is ready oh, so wow. we'll add that later on in the 12 o'clock show okay yep okay. because we will be back later on with, as well we done but look at that this is what we mean we've transformed one of the white pieces of cardstock to an amazing background added a few different stamps on there use that fantastic tape that we've got as well but honestly if you are wanting to start your journey making memories and it doesn't matter if the photos are from 20 years ago if you're wanting to make those memories to be able to pass on to be able to keep to be able to treasure i know a lot of people during lockdown and things like that started making memory books and you know the feelings and writing them in it doesn't have to be big paragraphs but you know a actual photo can tell a million different words just by using that and obviously we're doing 
do that. Now, 60% of the actual mix collection, you're getting 60 sheets of your 12 by 12. You will get the full instructions that come with it as well, which are very, very easy to do. Because if any of you that do know me, I'm dyslexic. I don't do words. I'm not the best at instructions. These are very, very easy to follow. And it shows they're written by a crafter. Laminate them like Dawn said, keep them safe, and then you've got them. Because obviously, then you want to be able to come back, replenish your cardstocks from Pink Frog, and you can do that. But being able, I, I was blown away by the detail because how many of us have looked at books like this in different stores, and I'm going to say it, and places online. Look at this. You can make and create your own. And honestly, one of my friends, I did a wedding album for her and they were so expensive. Now you can make and create two of these with these 60 sheets that you're getting. So again, top quality, fine linen detail as well. Now, let's give you a few extra bits that I know you're going to want and you're going to be able to use with this, like the professionals here with Dawn. So let's have a little look. Now, if you are wanting a set of three of your Pink Frog, this is the Kalal Photo Glue. 100 mils in the, each one of these, 11.97 with those two. So obviously, make sure you get on the phone lines, on the app, or obviously on the website to get those. So you've got that. Now, next, we've got the EVA glue. Now, don't get using your ordinary PVA glues because, obviously, they are water-based. They are not, obviously, acid and lignin-free. This has been specially designed. That's why we do the EVA glue. $13.99 for this one, a 538. 442 and that's super size as well but you are going to need construction weight tape this is why we're going to bring in the pink frog craft red liner tape collection you're getting three mil six mil nine mil and 12 mil 120 meters so you've got a lot of sticky sticky there for you 13 13 pound 99 with that one pmp of 395 but honestly, let's have a look now. Now we are getting ready to do a little bit more. So Dawn, are you going to show us how to decorate some other items? I am. I put a, I put a post out on Facebook last night asking what people would like to see. Is there anything particular they, they've got a question about? And I had a couple of questions. One from the lovely Wendy who asked how I did this technique here on the linen card. And this is a really easy technique to do in a way but it's very effective and it makes it look even more 3D. So I'm going to do it again in the lemon. So what I've got is I've got my scoreboard and I've got this special triangle thing. Now that actually comes with my scoreboard. It's making envelopes. Yeah. But you can use it for this as We're well. We're crafters. We use it for everything. We <laughs> use it for everything. So what this is doing is this, this is allowing me to do the diamond scores. So you're going to turn your beautiful linen card over yeah so we're going to score on the back so like the flat side of the it the flat then. side okay. yes so we're going to score from the flat so i like to just go in at four centimeter increments okay i find that works really well with this um idea okay and find that could, so could you make them smaller diamonds if you wanted to you then? could quite easily quite easily this is it i you know i'm just giving you the idea yeah. Okay, and then you're going to run with it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to turn it and you're going to do exactly the same again. Okay. Okay, so you're just going to keep doing the same thing. Okay, that's how it's going to run. Yep. So you're going to get this sort of zigzag crossed effect on there. So if I bring one in good Blue Peter fashion... <laughs> We like that. As we do, because we like to, I'm trying to cram as much in as I possibly can here. So straight away here, you can see I've started inking this up. So I've done this for the front cover. So if I bring that one in there, yep. can you see the difference with the yellow yeah. and the blue? So just using different ink pads gives this a totally different effect. So with this, I have cut myself, and you can see it's been well used, a little template. Love so it. all I've done is cut myself just an angle, all right? And you can use this again and again and again, and that is the beauty of it, okay? Don't think you're going to be using lots and lots and lots because you're not going to. So I like to start off with a lighter colour and then moving down to a darker colour. So if I get my uh, blue brush... How long have you been crafting, Dawn, doing mini albums? Oh, I started scrapbooking... <laughs> probably about 18, 19 years ago, a friend of mine said, oh, wow. oh, they're starting a scrapbooking class in the local village. Come along. I said, I haven't got a clue what is scrapbooking. <laughs> 
she said you just need a photograph she said, just come along with a photograph I said I need to have something else so we went to a, a, a shop in the in the town and I bought myself a, um, a mat a pair of scissors wow. a ruler and some glue and I went along and that was it and ever look since, at you now designing these ever amazing since I've been hooked these amazing different albums that you can make that's incredible making these fantastic but I have you know, these actually folios. with the um, mini books and things like that I really love that type of thing and I have been designing and creating mini books for well, over 10 years now I just love the mechanics about wow. it all and of course when I'm doing anything like that what do you need? Great quality. Always. If you haven't got a good card that when you score it creases beautifully, you might as well not bother. This is it because obviously these gonna are going to be handled, the folios are going to be handled, they're going to be picked up, they're going to be loved, they're going to be looked at by a lot of different people, put away on the shelf, brought out. They need that rigidity, they need the strength. You are going to get that with this fantastic card slot. And like I say, for this special one day special that we've got for you as well, 60 sheets of this fantastic card stock. You know, we have got it in the mixed one, we've got it the white, and we've got obviously the black. You're going to get 30 of each if you want in the mixed bundle over 60 percent of the stock has that gone we are so so busy this morning thank you for joining us it really does mean a lot you're mixing and matching and joining us all here as a big family as well because obviously we've got a lot of people from crate and craft hello with my little crafties over there too and a load to the new craft style viewers as well obviously i may be new to a lot of you over there as well but hopefully we're going to merge together we're going to be a fantastic family of all different kind of crafters all different styles but obviously today having this special one day special i was very honored to come in and work with the lovely dawn to launch this with you as well to show you how fabulous these can be made as well so just bear that in mind but if you are wanting the one day special with this one remember 21.49 with that one and as Dawn's just carry on showing us this it just shows how easy techniques like this are once you've been shown how to do it they are and the nice thing I've liked about the linen and also the lovely Heather who's done the samples with me we both found the linen was very honestly it was we, it just blew us away what you could yeah. actually do on it because it's got know. that soft linen texture it's like a really expensive linen suit isn't it it's it got is. that fine you know sometimes linen can be quite coarse and quite grainy this is very very fine and and very like open weave i would say that's what makes it look really expensive and especially if you're doing ink techniques it looks well, soft it looks more dusted it does and if i pick up Oh, I, did, I did have one here just already. I'll get another one. Oh, here we go. What I wanted to show you is, it's very hard to show it on the TV, but if you look at it, Dawn, it's not a linen that's all symmetrical. It's no. more like fabric. Yeah. Um, and what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to go in with a yellow. Let's go in with a, a yellow, a paler colour, and see if I can get you to see because I can really see it here and I think you can there it's just I think it's the brightness of the cameras in here because it is so soft and delicate it gives us up there you can see it there it is like a soft open weave it's very very beautiful it's very nice. delicate and like I say it makes it look really expensive I don't know whether that's showing it yeah it is it's fabulous on camera. I've gone with the p really paler color but I've just dragged that across Okay, so just by dragging that across, you can get some lovely techniques Definitely. with this. This is the nice thing about it. But I'm using Distress Inks Oxides. The second album in there, that's been done all with the Pearly Wink sprays. Right. And if you're going to use Pearly Winks, do remember to use... Um, the non shine like the non metallic ones because okay. they are acid and lignin free, your other right. ones aren't. But you know, you can stamp with your stamps on these. I just did a selection of stamps I've got at home just to show how easy it is to actually stamp with them. You know, things like your distress things, I had to do what I call a double stamp in my platform, but you can stamp with them. So you it's can a very universal cardstock then as you well. You can. Alcohol pens. Yeah. Add texture. Alcohol pens. I thought, I will try this out. You see, it goes through the same, but look how beautifully that has coloured with the alcohol pens. I've even gone in with watercolour pencils, but I just did watercolour pencils without making them wet. So it's giving you another texture to Love them. Love that. But you can really see the, the linen texture on that, you like can. you say, with the pencils. So it's adding that detail and that design on there it too. It is. So it's incredible. And then if you, I'll just bring this in. This is just showing the same colour 
same cardstock yep. all on this linen so this was just using one of those um, little brushes uh, this one was going in with your sponge pads okay this one I just did the dragging technique yep. and then this one I went over really solid so the white pack straight away I'm thinking like weddings and, definitely you know bringing that in that is just perfect for anything like that's that. incredible thank you so much Dawn for showing us that that shows how incredible the cardstock is but you know what it's coming around to that magic hour a lot of you are waking up the kids have been in and woke you up we are so so busy thank you this morning for joining us and honestly I can't believe uh, the welcome over here has been this morning so thank you so much for joining us now let's show you exactly what you've got for your one day special remember that three options but it's only here for one day that's all we've got first of all we have got the mixed option over 60 percent of the stock has gone we are so so busy like i say so really do you know check out your baskets as soon as you can it's not yours until you check out now you get 30 of each in there you get you are running from 280 gsm right up to 300 so you've got strength you've got rigidity in there too but you are actually going to be able to make two full size beautiful albums now if you're adding a little bit extra paper a little bit extra designs you can technically make three so look they this is how big they are do you know what I mean? I've got a lot of hair, but I'm just saying these are big. Now with these, so you've got the backs, you've got the fronts, you've got the special fold. You will actually get full instructions as well. Look, I can hardly hold it. They are that big, but the detail, the design that you've got in these are incredible. And the designer Dawn has done this herself. She really has gone all out to bring these incredible folios. I love the word folios. I think this is fabulous. So again, you can make two of those with that full instructions. All you need is adhesive, which which is available on the website and obviously your scoring tools so you've got a lot of you've already got those already now if you are wanting over 30 percent of the true white collection so with this 60 sheets but if you are wanting the purest you're wanting that soft linen texture on there that dawn was just showing you but as a multi-purpose cardstock alone i'm not being funny yes you can make these incredible al albums but you know what for 30 sheets no 60 sheets sorry of the actual beautiful 12 by 12 car stock price wise 21.49 you can't get that anywhere else should be 26.49 you're paying 21.49 only for today though just remember that too so obviously if you are wanting the final option we've got for you this is the black one now this one is 280 gsm you are getting 60 sheets of this one as well but honestly if you're wanting to make you know the beautiful crisp albums and as dawn was showing you before that black really makes all your pictures your photos your designs pop so this will give you that creativity to actually run through zero one six five three three remember 36 pence a sheet you've got full value right there with this all new today as well so we have got those two so just bear that in mind if you are wanting to get those on there so next we've got for you is the ten and a half size by 30. This is fantastic if you're wanting to do your matting and layering. If you're wanting to do extra folds inside your folios, you now have this. It's all unscored, but you can add your own score lines to it, which makes it magical. So approaching 60% of the stock of this has gone as well. So again, you are snapping up these fantastic cards, shapes and blanks for you to be able to mold and fold as you want to get the best design. So do think about looking at those as well so we have got those now next for you we have got the a4 white that dawn was showing you before and again technique wise you can stamp onto it you can ink onto it gilding wax and more you can add those in 737 243 you're getting 40 sheets of that and it is true bright white remember it's still got that linen texture and it's 300 gsm so even for card blanks and things like that it's a fantastic price to be able to get that now remember as well that's 11.99 if you were wanting that one as well so you have got those but like I say check out the website everything is on there too and then obviously if you are wanting if you sat at home thinking oh I might just have a go at this I'm going to try something new today we have got the starter kit for you it's got all the pieces to be able to make one album and obviously you've got your red liner tape but do you know what team if you're sat out there watching thinking because if you make one of these for one granddaughter you're gonna have to make one for the other if I was you, what I would do is for £1.50 more, I would get the special one-day special we've got because you can actually make two albums with that. So honestly, 
get those. If you're wanting this one, it is 19.99, But like I say, I'd go for the one day special if you can. Now, if you're wanting to spritz, if you're wanting to add that little bit of designer color to it, we have got the pearly rink sprays as well. And as we were showing you before, you've got the iridescence in there. You've got the seven 30 mil sprays on there. They're 22.97, 588034 with that one. So again, we've got all those in there. We've got orange in there. We've got the blue in there. Citrice yellow, the pearls, the whites, and the magenta. So you've got a full spectrum of colours. And remember, you can mix and match them. But with that pearly winks texture, you are going to get that soft finish on there too. To give that glow to all your projects, you use them on your stencils. And obviously with those, I suppose, a little paintbrush, you could paint with them as well. So adding in the magic as we go with those as well. We've got the Christmas collaboration as well that's got the stronger Christmas, do you know what? But the colours in this, the gold, the silvers, the pearl in there, you are going to use them all year round. It could be christening, could be wedding anniversary. They are a must. But also mix those in, get the balance of colour. Use your golds with the other collection, with the pinks and the oranges. They would look fabulous. Twelve ninety nine for those. That's a collection of four of those. Four nine nine eight three zero. Now a lot of you are awake. You're with us. We're busy believe you me now you are all sat there thinking do you know what i want to know how to put one of these beautiful things together dawn's going to show you how easy it is to do so hopefully you know sit tight you don't need pen and papers you get full instructions and also you will have videos with dawn if you want to join her website on this so bear in that in mind so let's have a look i've been waiting for this this is so exciting i've dawn. been i was just having a little play while you were talking <laughs> there dawn because you know what i'm like i can't keep still, can't keep still. And like I, me. Just, I just put this blue on here so i've just used this chip sapphire but look when you drag that on how beautiful it's like denim isn't it it's just stunning it is it look is. at that Absolutely like i said it's like an stunning. expensive linen it it's is. not too open it's got that soft delicate but that really yeah. shows it, it really does well really show it up yeah. doesn't it that's beautiful i just love that oh i might have to keep that bit. keep that no keep <laughs> it that. looks like keep, sorry wood. I digress. I it digress. looks like wood though now. You've got that beautiful it, wood it distress. Does. Yes, it does. I love it. So, shall we put one of these together then? Please, I right, can't I'm wait to see how you put it move together. Move it over there, out the way. So, with your instructions, what I always say is when I do the video, what I like to say to you is get your card stock out and cut it all and score it all. Okay. So, I've got the black there. And I've got the white. Now, okay. I'm not quite all prepped because I want you to see how this cuts and scores. And this is why we've done it like we have. So I'm going to start with my instructions. Let me just put my lid on my glue because otherwise that won't be uh, very good for later. That's it. They soon dry up under these hot lines. They do. They do indeed. So I'm going to start off, bring my trimmer in and cut the first. I've cut majority of it. I just want you to see how nicely it cuts. You don't get any of that horrible, you know, sometimes you can get the fraying. It like feathers a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, you're not with this. Good. Even when you score it, you're not going to get any of this with this with this cardstock. It is just absolutely lovely. I like so, that you get all the instructions though. You don't have to worry at all. You don't. No. We're going to take you step by step. So then if I go through, I'm going to need to do some scoring. Now, you know you're going to love me when I start scoring. I'm not going to read out lots of measurements because you've got it all in your pack. Yeah. But you can see how easily this scores. So this is my main spine. And then these are what I call my side spines. So, Dawn, if we've got this, we've got all the instructions. I brought the mixed pack of our one day special. But I'm thinking, can I add extra pages? Can I do that? With this design as is, yep. I know it's going to stand up and not fall apart. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm yes. just asking for a friend because yep. there's always one out there no. who says, can I do this? It's normally no. me. <laughs> what I will always say is, with things, when it comes to things like your decoration, yep. you know, if you want to go and add another waterfall page okay. yep. or anything like that, feel free. So I could get the extra, the, we've got the 10 inch by 30 inch ones, I could add a few extra bits of those in. Well... 
Oh. What I've done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. See, we're but on it. You see, I'm the frugal crafter. So what I have done is I have used those for the waterfall. Fabulous. Because actually my measurement says 10 centimetres by 30. Okay. Well, that's 10 and a half. Half a centimetre between friends. Now, come on. And it's making my kit stretch. Exactly. So Save I can the do big some size. I can do some extra big photo mats. This is the nice thing about it. Yes. Um, if you go into the black and white one that's just there while I'm doing this, you can see I'm doing all my burnishing. But look how stunning. You, you don't get any cracking at all look at that it's just fabulous. beautiful but in there there's a big photo mat in that side under those two in the back pocket there's a big photo mat that heather's made oh wow honestly this honestly this is bigger than big i'm not going to lie to you team this is bigger than big it's bigger than the blue banana you've got all these look at this if you want to be frugal with your car so look large mats and layers this right, is if you beautiful take that one out right. Oh, when it falls out again, don't it? Hang yeah. on. I've got a lot going on here, Dawn. I'm I know. Do you, want, do you want me to help you? Hang on. Bear with. Bear with. Hold the line, everybody. Look. You've then... Look at this. Wow. So it's pockets within pockets. If you get the extra cardstock, this is what it's about. This is how being frugal with your cardstock, getting the extra bits we've got on the show, will make all the magic. So honestly, do think about getting those as well because this is so, so creative. And like I say, this just slots into the back pocket of here. So again, you've got all that magic to really put this in. And I have to say, if you are new, black and white is going to be your best friend because you don't have to add a lot to it. So if you want to keep it pure and simple, you can do that but honestly this is the way forward let's make the memories let's make them last get this one so three quarters now of the stock of the mixed collection has now gone I cannot stress enough how busy we are with this and like I say one day special it's supposed to be here for one day we three quarters of the stock has already gone I cannot tell you quickly enough to get your baskets checked out go to the website or go to your obviously your app or your phone phone lines and make sure you get yours it's not yours till you check out but for 21.49 you can actually make two of these fantastic 12 by 12 albums 016533 but let's get back to dawn and let's dawn show us a little bit more how to do it how easy it is I'm using my EVA because okay. I know it's acid and lignin free. So you've just decanted it down into a smaller bottle? Yes, yeah, so these are our fine nozzle bottles. Now, unfortunately, these are out of stock at the moment. They are winging their way here as we speak, but these unfortunately are out of stock at the moment. But with these, you get two bottles from Pink Frog. Okay, these are anti-clog. And the reason they're anti-clog is, can you see, you've got that pin... That's there, fab. that goes in the top. But of they'll your be bottle. back in soon stock. So uh, back in stock soon. They will be stock very, soon. very soon. And the nice thing about them is they're squishy. Oh, so easy if you've squeeze. got dexterity problems, not a problem at all. This nozzle is even finer than that one. So you yep. know, like your die cuts and your letters. This comes. This is brilliant fab. for that. Absolutely brilliant. But you're getting a big jar for this one, 225 mil. That is super sized, that one. Bear in mind, normally glues are about 150, 200 mil. You've got 225 mils in that one of your EVA glue. And it's specially for, don't think you can just use any random white glue. This is specially acid and lignin free. So bear that in mind, 538442 for that one. The other thing I also want to say is less is best. Okay. Just remember less is best. With this, I found, if I fill up my little bottle here, I only probably go down quarter of an inch to do a whole folio. Wow. With the double layers. Okay, so you're not going to use a lot. You'll find you'll use less glue. They have now come with this new, new uh, lid on them where you can twist it off. Don't be tempted to think, well, I don't need those little bottles. I can just twist that and put it on. You'll find you put too much glue on. Firstly, what you're going to do is you're wasting glue. And also, if you get too much glue on, it does buckle your cardstock. You yeah. don't need it. Less is best. Wow. So bear that in mind when you are using it. And also remember as well, when your cardstocks, when you're using a wet glue, the cardstocks actually fuse together. So again, you're getting the rigidity and the strength in your cardstocks. So bear that in mind. As Dawn says, less is more. So do abide by these rules. Don't be like, oh, no, I'll give it a go and lash it on and think it's going to be even stronger. It won't. It will start to warp. You want them to be perfect, like all the finished samples we've got here that Dawn's made. You want it to be perfect. So do what Dawn says. Honestly, do it.
But you can just Let's see have a look. how much glue I've put on. You know, not it's not a lot just on a there smidgen. really at all. You know, you haven't got to lather the whole thing and smudge it all with your finger. This also dries very quickly. Okay. Okay. So just take your time to butt that up. You're putting it by the score line, not on your score line, because otherwise it's not going to fold together. I must admit, there is lots of new products today. I'm thinking, I need to get on this website and have a little cheeky look on here and see what I need too, because obviously I'm thinking, now I'm over here, I can use a few of these too. I know. <laughs> I mean, especially the glue and these, these folios. I think these are great. Well, when Andy asked me to come over, the lovely Hazel said, come on, Dawn, come and make some memory books and that over, you know, with Pink Frog. Yeah. And when I got my hands on the cardstock and the glue, my, again, changer put it that way just a game changer and I've got lots of my scrapbooking ladies that come to workshops and that and they say why haven't you told us about this before because until I started working for people I didn't know but I'll tell you what try it just try it and then tell me tell That's me what it. you it's think it's like when somebody says to you oh this sponge cake is the best cake I've ever had and you're like yeah yeah righto then you try it then you realize the one you had before yeah, it's all right, it'll do. If somebody's coming round, you just want a bit of cake. But when somebody's special's coming round and you want to make sure you've got the best, this is the same with this cardstock. You have now got the creme de la creme of using this and the strength in this will really come through, especially for your mini albums. It's got to look class, it's got to be the best and it's got to withstand the test of time. This will do it for you. And look how fast this is glued together. And that's, that's dry, I haven't got wow. to worry about it. So that is our main cover. Your main frame. Main cover already done with, we've got our main spine and we've got our side spines. So these are for the other elements. Okay, so let's go in with the back pocket. All right, I've done my score line. So I'm just going to give that a burnish in good fashion because when we're constructing these, it's like building a house. Yep. If you've got good foundations, your books will stand the test of time. Okay. This how is what long, it's down to. How long would you say roughly, I know you put these together all the time, but say somebody like me who's new, how long would it take me to put together? Because I know we've only got like, say, 10 minutes left. I know 10 minutes we might not be able to do it all, and you'll show later on, but we can carry on building it throughout the shows, can't we, today oh, to yes. show how easy? Yes. How long would you say, just an afternoon or something? I would say if you were making one and just putting plain papers on, yeah. you know, from your craft stash, you could quite easily do that in an afternoon. Oh. That's no problem at all. And with these, can we make and sell these, Dawn? Can we do that? If you're making to sell, yes. Yeah. Oh. But obviously not... Um, not the bits. Not um, giving out the instructions type no. thing, you know. But if you actually made it, decorated it with yeah. papers and cardstock, put all the frames in, we could actually sell them to people on yeah. our craft stores. Oh, wow. But wouldn't that be lovely to pass on to people as a gift? Yeah. You know, you can do what I did with the photo mats yeah. so they know where they've got to put their photographs yeah. and pass that on as a gift. You're given a gift of time yes. as well as, you know, something creative, something special. You know, you've got, say, big birthdays coming up, you've got, say, a wedding, you've got, you know, holidays, you've got a day out. You know, the possibilities are endless. You know, I've got a friend of mine that's done one to do her tangles in. She does Zen tangling. Oh, wow. So she keeps her tangles in hers. You can do them for journaling. They're just the possibilities with these are absolutely endless. Well, the thing is as well, because you can actually make two, we've obviously just had Christmas. One could be for Christmas. You could have all your Christmas memories in there. One could be like um, if you've got a friend who's just had a 50th or a 60th, you could make them one of these special memories from when they were little right the way through but honestly you have got all those fantastic designs to work with and like you say you can make it into a zentangle one because you've got your little tile squares you could put those in them keep them nice keep it separate but honestly can, can I start grabbing it? Uh, look at me, being naughty already, breaking all the rules. They're like, here she goes. She's been here 10 minutes. She's taking stuff off the set. She's moving it round. I'm, eh. Do you know why? Because I am really excited about these. And you know at home, when I get excited about something, and these are new, and I love these, that they, you know, they're not too big as a new crafter that you think, I'll never be able to do it. These are fabulous. Now look at this, the front of it, with the card stuck on, a bit of gilding wax. Memories, this could be your granddad or somebody like that. It could be an uncle and things like that. But all these fantastic pages that fold out, 
with the poppies on, so for memorial and things like that. But really, really incredible value. And bear in mind, you are making two of these in your one-day special. So, you know, you're just looking at over £10 each to make a fantastic album with this one. Bear in mind as well, you've not got that long left now in this hour. So bear in mind, if you are wanting to get these, grab them now. Now, three quarters of the mixed one has actually gone. So if you're wanting that one, 016533 for that one. This is part of your one-day special. We have got the bright white and we've got that. But let's get back to Dawn and see a bit more. But like I say, we will be back later with you as well, Dawn, you to show will. you exactly you how will. to put I it together. I think we can get this side finished. So let's just recap. So we've got our main cover. This is going to be the back pocket. This is our side flat. So now I'm creating that sort of concertina side. So I've done my two score lines again. Yep. And with this one, you can stick this. This is where it's not too, I'm not too precious about it. Okay. You can either put it underneath and put it that way, or you can put it on top and put it that way. Right. Because either way, we're covering this with the next layer. Okay. So you're going to hide your scene. Oh, wow. So it's All a little right. bit like putting a fancy dress together. We're sewing it, but we're going to be lining it. We're going to be adding yeah. that detail. It's, it is going to be like a bespoke book that you're making for somebody. It is. And this is it. By the time you've covered it all, it, and this is what's going to make it stronger yeah. when you're doing that extra layer on there as well. I have to say, I have absolutely loved because obviously, you know, I don't do a lot of mini albums and books and things like that, but seeing how easy it is to do, Dawn, you know, I really want to have a go. I've got loads of photos of my kids when they were little and things like that. And, you know, I've got friends who are having, you know, new babies and some are getting remarried. So there's lots of different occasions I've got coming up and big birthdays and things. So this would this be fabulous. And, and this is it. If you're, if you're not a mini bookmaker, you don't have to be a mini book maker. There's no law that says you've got to be able to make mini books to do one of these. You haven't. This is designed so a beginner can do it. This is what it's all about. It's not just about what I call the seasoned crafter. Is that a kind way of putting it? It is. Plus as well, and I, please don't take this the wrong way, Dawn, but think of it, if you're more of a card maker, it's like a big card. It is. You're making a fancy fold, fold big yes. card, which a lot of us do like concept cards and things like that. It's just like a big card. You're matting and layering. You know how to do that already. All you're then adding is your toppers, which will be your photographs. So again, it's all techniques you know how to do. So if you are, honestly, this is your time now to really get on the excitement train of making memories and giving them to keep and to save as well. And like I say, we've not got that much left on the show now. So really, really, you know, shop ahead, get on the website, get everything you need. And Dawn is going to be back later. And then we'll be building this as we go. So we'll regroup and we'll recover about this as well. But honestly, have a look on the website. Jump ahead head now if i was you we've got other colors as well in the 12 by 12 but you know what jump ahead get everything you need and then you can sit back and relax when you are watching the shows later with the lovely dawn and you can see there you've got all the extra things you've got the true white ivory cardstock if you're wanting to go more ivory rather than white we've got those two so just have a look on there for the different collections and make it work for you but pop it in your basket but like i say do not miss out get these while we have this special one day special so what are we adding now dawn literally the next section which is the big card okay okay so this is the part that goes in here okay all right so so what would you say to somebody who's new as well just don't commit to the stick just have a look position first before yes. you stick so what i like to do is to put all the black so this is the part i've just made which is basically yes this big card and this side flap here so what i like to do is to get all the black elements made okay and then I've got all my white all cut here ready yep. for decoration. And then I can just stick these final pieces in. So this will go on here. Now, when you stick this on here, remember when I said to you, would you stick this one down? Yep. It doesn't matter which way you put it because you're covering the okay. paper. We basically made a really big card. Yeah. But what I would suggest is this back line here that has got your seam is the part that you're going to stick down. Okay. So then you've got the nice pieces showing. Oh, wow. But this is how Heather has also created that extra big photo yes, mat at that the she put in her back pocket. And this is where you can use your creativity okay. to make extra elements to go in your folios. Wow. But that is all that left side now complete. That's, that's as quick as that is. That's Thank you so much, Dawn. That is incredible. And like I say, we will be coming back later on. What 
time at 12 o'clock is it I'm done? back at 12 o'clock 12 yes. o'clock and we will then with lovely Paula and then obviously carrying it on show you how to put the layers it's a little bit like a fabulous cake we're going to put, add the jam the cream and all the layers to make the most exquisite gift now remember as well all the shows you can watch back and rewind so if you're thinking right I want to watch them back you want to save them do what you want to do you can do that too so just bear that in mind as well but honestly as your one day special we have been very very busy this hour a lot of you have decided it's the time to put memories and to keep them and make them special now the mixed option like I say three quarters of the stock of this has now gone so I cannot stress enough if you want in that mixed collection like Dawn's going to show you later on how to put it together 60 sheets you get 30 of the black 30 of the white in that one as well for 21.49 usual price is 26.49 for that one but today's special 21.49 remember as well 016533 for that one but if you are looking at this one and you're just thinking do you know what i want to get the white sheets in there as well the true white we've got those as well so just remember to get those as well so really really fabulous if you're wanting those in your collection so 21 49 for those two approaching 40 percent of that one has actually gone as well so again it's picking up it's very very busy for that too so weddings christenings and things like that but then if you're wanting all the black on there as well you have got your fabulous collection with this one 60 sheets of this one too 280 gsm with that one so again give me that crispness that depth and it is a true black with that one as well so fantastic but go to the website check everything else out on there everything is on there shows for today and further on as well so bear in mind everything is on there check out on the the website or on the phone lines to make sure you secure yours have to say a massive massive thank you dawn for my first show thank you so much no, for being part you. of it it's been nice working with you thank it's been you. fabulous thank you so look out for dawn later she will be back later with you as well making even more memories so grab yours and make sure that you're going to sit down and do that now coming up next i've got another fabulous show with a very very talented Paula so we're going to be showing you a fabulous collection so next for you we've got Miss P butterfly journals we've got quilling with Pat quilting with Pat and we've got go pound boss with John join us in a minute What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design.
Good morning and welcome back to the craft store. If you've been with us this morning, thank you for staying with us. If not, my name's Dawn Wheeler and I'm going to be taking you through this next show. And I have to say, very, very honoured to be with the fabulous Paula. I've known Paula for many, many years, but never had the pleasure of working with her. But seeing her, the things that she designs, the things that she do, now to have her own range, Miss P, is absolutely incredible. And I have to say, I'm, I'm really, really honoured, Paula, to be oh, with you this well, morning. Oh, the same. Thank you, Dawn. It, that means a lot. I mean, yes, I remember meeting you at a trade event, trade I, think. event. I, I mean I think it must have been 2009 2010 or something like yeah. that so you were teaching as well and I was teaching I think it was like how that was and anyway it's great to be here I mean the the crafty world twists and turns <laughs> eh? Who would we have are. Thought? and if anybody doesn't know and anybody's thinking why is Wheeler on the craft store? Do bear in mind now the craft store has joined with Crank Craft. They've purchased the, the fantastic crafting world out there. And we are joining together as one big family. So now we, you will see a lot of faces that you know, faces that you don't know. But we are merging together and it's going to be magical, I have to say. But I have in the, the fantastic designs that Paula and all the other inspirational different designers are out there all merging as one. So you're going to get the best of everything. Now this hour is about the fantastic Miss P range that Paula brings to you. And you know, if you are wanting paper engineering at its best, but made simple to give the most decorative and designer effects, then it has to be this range for you. Look at the dimension, look at the shape with this. This is the Butterfly Page Journal Collection. You're looking at six dies with this one, 226293, and this one is 2899. Now look at that, with these fantastic six dies you're gonna get, you can make the most incredible designer elements as well. I'm just gonna quickly show you this and then Paula is going to show you exactly what you are going to be able to do with this collection but look at this if you're looking at mini book albums party invitations you are wanting to memorize all those fantastic photographs as well you've got all these but if you're wanting to stencil through it and remember these can all be used on cards as well but look at the detail and the design and absolutely this super large butterfly you can't go wrong so Paula tell me a little bit more about Miss right. P I so want to know about yeah, this well, range. Uh, Miss me, first of all, the name came because uh, Leone, Leone Pujol, of course, the you know the incredible uh, Leone. Uh, she always calls me Miss P. And then when it came to work with Crafts Two to make uh, you know I make a, a range with a Crafts Two, uh, we thought, well, Miss P. And then loves because I kind of I love die cutting, I love paper engineering, I love crafting. So that's the name how it came along. Now the Balmas Journal came about because I had this idea of based on a traditional way of, uh, of book binding and nobody you know and I kind of thought well I kind of wanted to do a die so that was years and years and years ago and then suddenly uh, crafts gave me the opportunity to do that so the whole system and I'm gonna go quickly and I'll show uh, what the system is all about you have got whatever pages you have you need to have that aperture and that's what the dies will always do that create that aperture there then you have got a spine that you fold it so it creates like a little of a you know kind of an indentation in there and that goes through the hole and everything has been measured and paper engineered and then this slides in and that, that is, is genius the so that's all you know and that's all the set the, the principle of boundless journal so we had like the original pages which are the kind of uneven uh, elements in here and then I thought I want a big butterfly and I went a big I went absolutely massive now uh, this is the dies that we are looking at, which wow. is 10 inches across by 7 inches. <laughs> That's now, massive. If you are, it is massive. <laughs> it is absolutely massive. Look at that. How, uh, but one of the things is like a real butterfly, uh, the largest butterfly, I think it's Queen Alexandra, and the largest specimen that there is at the His Natural History Museum is 27.9 centimeters, which is around 11 inches. So there are r larger butterflies out there than this one. But in a car, for a card, for a canvas, yes. for a project, for a mini book. That is an incredible size because normally, like you say, this smaller. But look at the detail. Absolutely. And obviously, bear in mind the price you are paying for this. There is a lot of metal for your money in these. Indeed the incredible is. design. And at the end of the day, this is designed by Paula. Paula knows what we need as crafters, design wise, size wise, and everything else. Is. This is really going to capture that essence for you. And look at the finished examples. These are outstanding.
outstanding to give you all that designer detail that you can use as a stencil as well as your scrapbook. Absolutely. Pin. These are beautiful, Paula. Thank you. So they're about a large butterfly. So if we look at the large butterfly, uh, we can see you can see that is of course the ten by seven, uh, and then that will give us a solid. The antennae are separate because it's a boundless it's a boundless journal. So antennae, I do want one to put them all the time because it's kind of fiddly. You have got a, a decorative die, and then this die is the one that kind of creates that perfect element, that aperture in here that we need. But I made it separately because the butterfly in itself, I wanted to make sure that you could use them for cards. And the reason is because when you fold 10 by 5, it's a 7 by 5 sorry 10 by 7 10 by 7 you fold it in half and it's a 5 by 7 card yeah so therefore you can create cards as well so you have got these cards in here so that will fit perfectly on a 5 by 7 but you know the hinge as well could yeah. you get like a a5 sheet of cardstock could you score it in half yes. and, and make a a normal flat book well, because you've got the hinge. We have done that as a def different sh uh, uh, car uh, set, but yes, you can do that. Wow. However, I recommend to go for the set that of is course, under hinge because course. that will give you those possibilities. But if your budget is limited and you want a butterfly, definitely do that. So we can use the butterfly, the hole inside it, so you can see it in here. Then we have those dies. Now this goes like this. So right, so that one, and you're thinking. Right, but I want to do both sides, right? I want to die cut them uh, both sides. How do I do this? Well, very simply, you die cut first that side, and to do the other side, you simply turn over the paper, and then you die cut the other one. Okay. So you, yep. that way, you can create the full butterfly like but that. by doing that you've obviously now we've got two designs instead of one because Absolutely. Paula's cleverly designed it because if she did on the same pattern all over you'd have thought I need a different design exactly now you've got that beautiful because obviously with this you could put vellums behind it you Absolutely. could put bright hot lights Absolutely. you know different little LED lights behind it to you know put it in a frame it look incredible but that is the cleverness that Paula has brought yeah. to this to add that detail and there is lots of different op options as well and it was very important for me that uh, the spine was movable so the fact that I could have for instance uh, embossed or just having the solid one so you can have all those different elements so you can have got the large butterfly in here uh, out of black out of uh, gold in here and then we can see it there for instance how gorgeous does it look when you wow. have got them out there so there is lots of possibilities so that's the butterfly I recommend it if you have never if you either don't want want to use a boundless journal this will work oh wow and again we are very very busy you're with us this morning 20 percent of the stock has already gone so just think of pieces for home decor and things like that a kaleidoscope of butterflies on a beautiful in your daughter's bedroom or something like that you could add those in too but we have got extra bits on the show so what i'm going to show you next is the butterfly hinge and if you can, go with this. Stretch your budget, if you can, that little bit. Add this in because this works so well with the large one. Because you can see with all the butterflies, you've got those on there too. So you're getting six dies in this collection. 904-551-999 for this one as well. Remember, have a look on the website. Jump ahead of us. Don't wait for us. And have a look at the Miss P range. You do not want to miss out on these because these are incredible. And so, so designer as well. So, Paul, Paul, I want to no, Oh, sorry, I am everybody, so sorry. Everybody does that, and I don't mind, and I genuinely don't mind. And if you at home call me Paula or whatever, I like it. I don't mind it. Um, yeah, right. So, um, so we have got the hinge, right? The hinge and the locking key. So this is important about the boundless journal. The boundless journal has three key aspects. First of all, the hole within the pages. Second, the hinge, and third, the locking key. So that holds it all together. So we have got the butterfly fly and the original pages with the hole and then we need that uh, you can see in here that I have already die cut and I scores it as well and that kind of falls away with following this for scoring uh, scoring uh, scoring elements in here then we place it through it's right? genius this is, honestly and this blew me away this design that you've done with absolutely. this so so clever 
And then, it really well, I'm, is. I'm, you know, I love paper engineering and I love butterflies and I love the way that you can hold it like this. For instance, I kind of thinking, no, I actually prefer the other spine, but I also love this this other butterfly that I have done earlier. And I know I'm kind of a little bit uh, discombobulated this morning, but I'm going to play it. But, but but it's because, I, you know, here at the craft store, we're a big family and we kind of help each other when we need to. And they kind of th called me last night. It's like, oh, can you do another of, of the uh, Miss P uh, shows? And I was like, of course I can, because that's my passion. But you did but, amazingly well to pull this you. together in the short time that we had. And obviously it was a, it was a change around for all of us. Yeah, so absolutely. honestly, and Paula's done an amazing job and to showcase her range so beautifully well with these designs. It just shows you how easily they are to put together how achievable and newbies can use these as well Absolutely. can't they Paula? and the thing is for instance my mother I mentioned her quite a lot because my mother uh, even though she's married uh, to a fine artist my dad and she has been like a me and I've been a crafter since I was a teenager she's never doing paper craft as much as uh, a few, uh, started a few years ago and when I went last time in November um, you know because obviously I'm fully vaccinated and all the stuff so I could go and, and visit um, you know I gave her one of the uh, f um, you know the um, the boundless journal and when she she sent me for Christmas Aww. the boundless journal with all the pictures Aww. of our trip together so it was just a go and she's a complete beginner and she loved it because if you struggle with glue and I know I love this is perfect because I, now I just changed the whole the pages in here I put the other butterfly in there no glue and wow. it's all there this is what I mean. This shows how fantastic the engineering is because obviously no glue is required for these. So very, very easy to do those as well. But there is extra bits in this collection that I want to show you as well. So next we have you. We have got for you, and this is this one. So let's take a little look at this one to have a look. This is this, I think it's the standard one and this one so we've got this on here too so we're going to be taking a look at this we're going to preview this one and then we're also going to show you the next one which is the hinge as well these two work together to again give you a different look with your actual concept of your card and give you that extra detail everything is going to come in this collection you will actually get 10 dies in total with this one 19.99 but do you know what if you can build your bundle if you can then get the best designs because you know i'm not being funny this is going to become like your capsule wardrobe this is going to be your basis then to then literally transport you into a different world with your crafting and everything else so it could be cards it could be canvases and more look at the faux stitching on there Paula's made sure you've got detail you've got design and this is what it's all about and every bit of metal that you can you can add that in as well next up for you as well obviously Paul, Paula's going to show sorry I keep saying Paula pa right. I'm so sorry I think it's nerves this morning it's in my head and I can't do it so Paula can beat me up after the show. No, That's fine. I would never do that. <laughs> never do that. She'll thrash me after the show. Next one for you, again, to work with this collection and to build it and just make it go a little bit further for you. We have got the locking tag die set. So, again, it's all about the hearts, the love. Tags are so important for your journaling and adding that little bit of detail on there. So, really do look at adding these in your collection. 416799. 1499 for those two. But there's nobody better than to show you how this actually works than the lovely power oh, itself. Thank you. I would re strongly recommend to get these two together because they work together. They were designed as, uh, as kind of a, a, a perfect partners, two, two halves of the same whole. Um, right, so the first one we are going to look is the spine and the hinge in there. So this one is when you were asking about having an A5 card and how you kind of join it together, this is the one that I would recommend. Why? Because it has got the scoring lines higher up than the butterfly would have and this one what you do for instance uh, here I have got a sample by Sam by the way I massive thank you not only to crafts too but the art angels John Sam and of course art angel the um, Sheila I think has done some samples as well and I know I'm forgetting one but uh, really uh, well, I'll try to remember as well uh, later on um, you can see in here that this is a uh, a5 sort of card uh, she, uh, Sam has kind of die cut the center and then use the hinge and you can see it here to kind of put all those different butterflies as well as the original pages in it's here. It's beautiful. 
Honestly, I'm truly blown away, Paula, by the design, the detail, the concept. Thank you. To see another crafter, what they design and what they do is magical. You've got a piece of Paula in each and every one of these you do. And the hours and the dedication that she's popped into yeah. this to make sure it works and to give you these incredible designs. Honestly, you need this as part of your collaboration, as your portfolio, when you are crafting to really give you that wow factor. So, like I say, if you can get this one, it's 287986. This one. 1999. Yeah. But obviously Paula's going to show you a few extra yeah. bits as well what Absolutely. you can do with this. So here I have gone so I have gone in through these uh, the pre-cut pages and I have cut all of and I will show you the demo the last second demo will be that. So you can have there here and then you have got the hinge. Can you see the hinge in here? Now, this is then the actual tag that is from the other set. So we have got the standard uh, spine and then we have got the locking tag which is the right side. So let me show you exactly how it means. So for instance, even if you have got the butterfly, this spine will work perfectly okay. like this. Now, of course, it is bigger. If you wanted to make sure that this one kind of went like this, you could do it uh, pre die cut it or cut it a bit more in there. It's up to you. Or you could put a tag in here and glue it together. And then, obviously, this would fall off if there was an unlocking mechanism. So that's why the tag is here, to lock it away. Oh wow! So if you okay. were doing wedding invitations, absolutely place settings well, and things like that, it would be incredible. And like I say, for somebody to sit there and take it to bits and put it together and things like that, I think this is what the mechanisms that you know engineering, paper engineering, that is so so difficult to do, and especially anything without glue in the card world or scrapbooking world, you know, is very difficult it to is, do. Absolutely. So this is absolutely incredible. So honestly, if you were wanting to look at the tag mechanism, obviously all the others are. Very very, very busy, especially the butterfly as well. But if you're wanting to build your bundle, then I would say go for this one. If you're wanting the locking die set, that is at the bottom of your screen as well. So add that in there yeah. and they all work perfectly together as well. So and we have got There those. is a couple more of those in this collection. So not only you are getting the tag, but it's very important because you are getting those two semicircles that are, uh, uh, you know, you know, measured so you can put uh, what I was saying, a gift card in here. Yeah. So you could put the gift cards if you wanted to into the tag and then locking it so it could be within yeah. a, um, a card uh, that you put inside it as well then you are getting with this one that die that cuts the perfect kind of sort of gift card so if you want to print them as well matting and layering then you are getting as well this little die which is to create pockets as well so within there or if you want it you can create a slot so die cut it twice and then that way you have got the elements for here then you have got a paper clip so if you die cut it out of mirror card it gives you that metal element so you can yeah. put things in here and then it gets to a point where you're thinking okay Paula what what oh sorry I, I'm gonna show you this this one is the same die uh, sort of principle let me show you the sample that I have got here this sample this is to create again without glue we can do any size paper Wow that we, and also if we use it on the back it's a paper clip this is what I mean if somebody's not a crafter they would not know where to start with this this is literally when you look at these designs yeah. you think I need this I need that you have put these all into these fabulous collections every single tiny little detail you could possibly need like that little pockets and even the ingenious bit where the the single strip yeah. so you can slot things behind so it could be tickets it could be little notes it could be a tag off an actual suitcase that you've had when you've been away so again you've got all these elements to build the collections and honestly when you see the magic these dies can do which Paula's actually brought I'm, to you yeah. this is how incredible it is it really is this one if you're looking at 19.99 for this one a set of 10 as well but that a quarter of the stock's already gone of this so very very busy for these a lot of you may have picked and mixed and matched some of these elements before but now you're seeing the potential of building these all together so really really fabulous to have those yeah. also as well you can see with the journal elements as well that we've got on here this will work so can we show them the journal well, is this I, right there is, there is oh, another, sorry, sorry, another Paula, die that i sorry, wanted to show sorry. because this is the die that a lot of people go uh you know uh, it's like what 
What the heck is this dye? What does it do? I mean, this is not very pretty. Well, sometimes the least pretty are the most useful. Uh, so this one, what it does, I designed it because I wanted to have like all of our journals magnets, right? Yes. And I don't know about you, but a stick in a magnet is really difficult, right? Die cat foam foam pads, foam pad sheets, well not all foam pads, uh, the, you know the sticky sheets, yeah. double sided foam. Right, you die cut it, you take that, of course that can be a foam element, you have got also the die here that cuts those perfect two circles and what you do is you put, for instance in this tag, I want a magnet because if that one I don't want, so you put, lift the lift off, uh, the, the protection, then take one of the magnets in there, lift it off, and then place it like this. Wow. Then it's already encapsulated. So, for instance, I have got a magnet here as well. So I could, say for instance, put it like this and it's already the magnet. How it's professional is that? Should hiding all your workings, Absolutely. all the detail, that is genius. That, there is a magnet here, there is a magnet as well here, there is a magnet over here, and they are all so easily this guy. So this is how it works. So I wanted this kind of ugly but very useful die in there to give you all the possibilities. So without glue, I mean there is foam pads, but you can die cut them as many as you want. And you have got the insides that you can use for uh, penny uh, sliders and things yeah. like that. Wow, this is what I mean. This is the magic of Miss P range as well. So adding that in, being able to hide your magnets, but there could be tags on the, you know, the top of your tag around the circle. You could add those on there as well. So you've got those too. But next for you coming up as well, we have got the journal panels. Yeah, the lock, so the, lock, the ones that we have looked at were the locking tags. What we have been looking at was the locking tags. Now we are going into the Miss P journal. Yeah, so yeah, that's we've the done the locking tags. Shall we show you the, the journals? Okay. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Am I stressing uh, no, 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 everybody we, this you morning? Know, you are absolutely right. So basically, yeah. So this is the mini journal, the pages, the original uh, pages that we have uh, that I designed. Uh, these ones I designed, I think I came out with the idea. In two, I remember very well. It was I went to Bristol with Leone, and I came and I saw this kind of sampler of random things, and I thought oh, this would be an amazing art journal, and that would make them the most amazing dies. And then it got a traditional way of binding with, as, as, uh, you know, they cut a hole, and not yep. a hole, a line. But of course, if you cut just a line it tears the paper. So I kind of they think, oh, well, if I make a rectangle, it's more solid, it's going to be. So I wanted also something random, something like it's using r that random pieces of card. So this is how, this one is a, a stable um, spine, so it doesn't, you cannot move it around. No. It has to be that way. But I designed these pages as in, you fold them in different ways, and every single time, you will have a slightly different, so if I put it like this or I put it like that, it's going to be different. It's a little bit quirky. It is. It's got that edge to it as well. And honestly, if you are utilising these to make fantastic albums and things like that, 12 dies in this collection. And obviously, we'll show you a few little samples, but then Paula will show you the rest of the details that's in there. But look at these. This is incredible. Use your pattern papers. Use your extra designs. Look at the width on that, because you can use as many different pages as you want. But having that quirkiness, it could be a little spell book. Absolutely. You could use it as a baby book, you could mix and match there is, this. There is one over there that our Hayley, Hayley was uh, did create and is, uh, she did I cut it out of felt, you can die cut it out of, out of cotton, you can cut, I cut it out of even acetate if you uh, sandwich it between two sheets of paper, but there you have, and what she did was to use the scissors as the lock-in key, it could be a sampler of embroidery, if you like your row and Dean, you could do something like that, use their, uh, their felt and die cut it, because this are dies that because they are quite open dies if you are using especially the monthly mega deal the go power and emboss then you will be able to die cut those materials like felt like about you know like quilting cotton and this is the acetate that I made this is fab I just put it, I followed John's, uh, John Lockwood's uh, top tip, which is to sandwich your acetate, your thin acetate between two pieces of paper and then it die cuts, obviously depending on your die cutting machine. Now, this is a die, like the butterfly, that you require a A4 die cutting machine. So if you are thinking of upgrading, the power and emboss, of course, it's the monthly medical deal. 
which has got three payments as well. So add those dyes with the machine Definitely. and then you kind of spread the cost. But will they fit through other general dye cutting Absolutely. machines out there so, as well? So the Big Shot Pro yep. uh, plus, uh, you know, your Platinum. I use the Big Blue, which I have got from Tata Lace years ago. Yep. Uh, Pro Cut, which, things Pro like that. Yeah, absolutely. As long as it's A4 because the dye is over six inches in mm. width. So therefore, you need that extra width for that. That's fabulous. So if you are wanting to put these through main, your major machines, it's not a problem as well. And as you've seen with the different mediums, fabrics, plastics, acetates, things like that, you could probably cut faux leather with certain, if you use your metal shim with a lot of these as well. So you can make a faux leather one as well. So you could do different things like that. 12 dies in this one. You've got all your mechanisms in there too and your embellishments. So again, you have all the detail with that one. 195638 with that one. 1999 with that yeah. one as well. So, is there anything else you'd like to yeah, show with this I one? Yeah, I just wanted to show you that it comes with its own uh, its own spine, so you can see, uh, sorry, um, hinge. So, when it's exactly the same principle. You create that little fold, and it comes in with two different locking keys. My favorite, well, this one it was a proper key, but uh, if I put it there, uh, you can see that it kind of holds in. But personally, my favorite is this little arrow, Aww. and that is. Uh, uh, that kind of clips on here. Can you see it? That that clips oh, in there. Wow. So that holds it together. So that's how it all works in there. So remember, uh, you can get this eye. You don't need any extras. The other two is better to combine with one of the hinges. That is lovely. Now, if you've got all the basis of it, you've got your design, you've got your book, you've got your shape and everything else with that one, now you are going to want to add even more embellishments to it. And do remember as well, these embellishments can be used on other items too. Now, with this one, you've got the geo florals and the botanicals with this. You're going to get 24 dies, so you're getting a lot of metal for your money with this one. So if you're wanting the beautiful florals to add in to add that de dimension, that shape. And remember all the different coloured card stocks you've got and your decorative papers, you can mix and match those in there. And you can see with the detail, they're going to layer together beautifully in there too. But a lot of design factors in there. Then you've got like the foliage in there with the different styles of flowers to be able to slot in behind and to build your bouquet of flowers too. But remember, add these to any of the journals, they're going to be incredible. 405020 with this one, £16.98. Like I say, we are very, very busy with Miss P's range this morning with the fabulous Paula, showing you how incredible these are. So what we'll do is we'll do this last one as well, just so we can do this. Now, this is the small journal hinge as well. So we've got those as well. And it shows you how then, again, we are enhancing the beautiful designs and working these all together. But again, the paper engineering in these is incredible. And like I say, I'm going to let the fabulous Paula show you all about this one. But if you are wanting the smaller journal hinge to be able to add those into your factor then this will be the one for you but do you know what if you can stretch and like Paula said we have got the um, the go power machine on special offer I would actually jump in and get that one so obviously you will have that with your flex payments and then you can add in everything else that you want but if you want in this one with a small journal collection three six nine nine eight three with this one nine ninety nine and I think our lovely Paula is going to show us how well, to work uh, this one. The, the only thing I'm going to mention is because you might want Wonder why is the what's the difference between the small hinge and the spine, and between the standard hinge and so the other the other the only difference is basically the size of it. So when I designed the small one, was uh, elements of uh, to have like those pieces of card that are about three inches big, but then I kind of thought, well, it's good to have that a standard one also as a separate. Hence why there is the standard and the small one. So if you have got also an A5 die cutting machine or six inches is wide and you do not want to go for an A4, this is the die set that I would recommend it because then you can die cut uh, elements like uh, you know like the, those, uh, those A5. This is designed so when I put it in here you will be able to see that is uh, just under six inches so it will work through your six inch die cutting machine horizontally or, or kind of. So this is the one if you have got uh, an A5 die cutting machine or six inches go for this one. This is okay. the one that will work for you. So with these as well Paula can we make and sell with Absolutely. these as well because obviously you know a lot of us are thinking oh I could make lots of different things with this. 
this as well. So obviously, yeah, make and sell is totally absolutely, fine. Absolutely, absolutely. I designed all this collection. I, I used to be a graphic designer, so I'd done all the work for you. I even designed the packaging and everything. Oh, so, wow. so it's it's for me. It's all about sharing, and it's always been like that. And I started paper crafting, selling my cards. So I want you to experience that joy as well of getting uh, your uh, designs out there. So by all means, do that. Now I'm going to start. I'm going to do instead of doing an art journal because I have shown everything. I'm going to do show you how you can use the system to bind things that are frameable. Okay. So basically it's the same concept. So what I'm going to start is with vellum. I absolutely love vellum. Now this is going to be my base, but I was uh, sorry, no, and, and if I started here and I use my butterfly, so where is this, my butterfly die, uh, and then I place my, uh, you know, boundless spine uh, element in here, it could be not center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the vellum aside and I cut first my butterfly. I'm okay. going to go... Large butterfly details are on the screen for you because this is very, very popular with this one. So honestly, this one is flying out. So over the third of the stock has gone with this one. So if you're wanting your butterfly one, it's 226293 28.99 for this one. Six dies, but it is a super size die. And I do feel this will be one that will literally take you all the way Absolutely. through the seasons. I'm imagining, I know Christmas has gone, but I'm thinking sparkly oh, well, ones yes, on my Christmas tree. Somebody has had a really good idea, and I'm going to incorporate it. But <laughs> I'm anyway. thinking Christmas tree yes, sparkly butterflies, absolutely. I can work with that. <laughs> right. Uh, what do you like? More uh, for shiny brassy gold or a vintage gold? I like a vintage gold. Let's go for the vintage. You are a girl out of my own heart so but first of all uh what you would like the floral side or the traditional side traditional side Can we go with traditional? Yeah. right so what i'm going to do so the traditional side is this one so it has got all this indentation so i'm placing the die in here there it is so you can see now you may be one of these people that want to put one die at a time I've never been one of these people that does that. I like to secure my tape, uh, my paper, my card with low tack tape. And then what I'm going to do is because I want to bind it everything. Look at that. And then I'm going to place it like this, and then place it like that. So, so you sure. recommend definitely taping it down just to absolutely, make sure. Absolutely, absolutely, okay. definitely. And now I'm following uh, John's uh, instructions of be on top always. Uh, so, and then I'm going to run it through. So, uh, with the go power and emboss, it, one of the reasons I love it, and I see the monthly mega deal. So, and it's very three flexes, which makes a lot of, is that I can run it all the way through, and then I kind of do the reverse. Okay, so I'm gonna actually, I'm not sure if it has gone all the way down, but. It's a fabulous machine though. Yeah. Obviously the, you know, the Go Power Emboss is a fantastic machine. So if you're wanting the power and the pressure, this is gonna be amazing. And it just shows how well it will work with powerless dies. So honestly, half the stock now, obviously, of the butterfly die has flown away. So if you're wanting to get your butterfly, go grab this before it actually sells out. Because are oh, you back later with this? No, well. this no, is the only hour. This is, uh, this is just show. a last minute to um, cover pro, pro, um, uh, sh uh, Cheryl. Cheryl couldn't be here today. So basically, when I die take it out, you can see that it oh, has wow. like had all those bits in there. You can see that there is that bits in there. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run it through, and this is the thing about this die. Sorry, kind of... It's important to have clean plates. So turn it over so you are now die cutting from the back. So you so don't have to put the main frame back on then no, now? No, because okay. it's already cut. So then I'm going to take that, I'm going to take some low tack tape in here and again run it through the die cutting machine. And you can see that because it's 10 by 7, they, uh, yeah, 10 by 7 design, you will need an A4 die cutting machine, but your Gemini's, yes. uh, your uh, Platinum's, your uh, Big Shot Plus, your, uh, you mentioned... Pro-Cut. Pro-Cut, uh, the Go Power and Emboss. I mean, it, you know, it's, it's basically made design to, uh, to make sure that it works with the traditional die cutting machines that you have got there. But so handy to have the reverse on the machine as well, then obviously to take it back so it makes it easy if you haven't got a lot of space you now know
know you've not got to reach over your machine to get it the machine is there for you but honestly incredibly busy thank you so much for being with us here at the craft store this morning a lot of you you know welcome over from Crate and Craft as well because obviously the craft store have purchased Crate and Craft and we are merging together as a fantastic company now to really bring you the best of the best of all different craft technology and designs as well right here and obviously seeing this morning for a lot of you may have not seen Miss P before and the name behind this is obviously the fabulous Paula whose fantastic range has come together and she's showing you now how beautifully well this butterfly die and it's one of the largest ones I think I've ever seen well it is a uh, very large and you know why why you go a small when you can go large exactly let's go you know, big or go on I absolutely so then I have got here one that I pre die cut out of black and this is what I want the contrast between this now I want to put this into a frame right and you would think well you need glue right but what about doing it a little bit different so okay. what I'm gonna do is uh, this is the frame so I, I'm gonna put it in here and there we can offer the like this so more or less place it in the center there and then I'm gonna take the spine you know remember the spine that we kind of saw that's more so they're kind of like this kind so of not just for the mini book albums then. no this is the thing this is what I wanted to show you that it's so much more than just albums if even even car making you can do just a card like you know with this one so this is from the butterfly so that's the spine that comes in with the butterfly so remember um, I would definitely put in my baskets if, if you if you can the butterfly and the butterfly hinge that's the ones that I would put because that's how I think you will get uh, you know the if you, know, you are looking oh. for the hinge, details are on the bottom of the screen as well. So if you're wanting the butterfly hinge, it's down there for you, 904551. And again, 999, why would you miss out on this one? This is going to give you that hinge mechanism locked together. And like Paula's going to show you how it will work in a box frame, not just for cards, not just for journals. You've got so, so much more in there as well. But you will also see we've got other ones on the show. So honestly, jump on the website and have a look and cherry pick the ones that you want. Build your own bundle with these as well. So make sure you get that so let's have a look what power is doing and the other thing is because once that you have got like the apertures that I created except for the small hinge and the spine everything uh, every single uh, spine is interchangeable the locking mm -hmm. is uh, you know will work with a specific hinge but the aperture is always going to be the same so then we have got this and this will will go just there but now we need to hold it all together so we need to go for that hinge so I'm gonna take the hinge from the butterfly hinge in here okay. because that's the one I, I wanted and then I'm gonna put my butterfly uh, lock uh, locking key in there now the, uh, this die as well comes in with uh, extra four butterflies that will match perfectly those butterflies in the hinge so if you wanted to create something like this yeah you can see that the hinge has been cut out of black but then I placed the butterfly die cut out of this size so, so they all lay together as well do. and the flowers that you have got in this hinge are part of the same hinge and uh, the same flowers that they were in the geo flowers as well as the same flowers that you have got on the big butterfly here wow so, so you could decoupage them up you absolutely. could lay them obviously on the hinge as well you can lay those so if you don't want the boldness of the hinge you can soften it by adding different elements to it and this is a real now half the stock of the hinge is gone as well I have to warn you that obviously these are flying out do make sure this is your only special one hour show today with these if you are wanting to get these but obviously make sure you get those not much longer left I think it is we've got about 20 minutes left on this show so bear that in mind but being able to build them collaborate them together utilize them as they want as well we will have those there for you too so really really easy but obviously Paula's now going to show you yeah. how we're going to put the locking mechanism together and make it work for you so basically you can see that the die has that cut and uh, score so then I'm going to put can you see the scoring lines yeah uh, there it is so then kind of fold them over so just following those lines in there now there is two scoring lines and these ones are so if you want to create more of a spine that is kind of a little bit more wide you can do that so that's the extra uh, scoring and then and then I kind of place it like this and then what I'm gonna do 
is go through the vellum, remember, go through the bottom layer. So we go from the front or bottom layer to the inside, the core. Okay. And then I have die cut the locking butterfly key, which is also on there. And that then can go in. So let me put where I put my, I, I'm such a messy, Ooh, what, what they I always say, to... don't trust a tidy crafter because Absolutely. that's what it's for. <laughs> don't. Absolutely. This is how we roll. We Absolutely. get stuff everywhere. <laughs> so I have got here my 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 protect my uh, clear acetate that comes in with the like the, the frame. Then put it this in here, and then you can see that even from the back. Is beautiful. It's beautiful. And then we have that. And that's going to go to John Lovewood because he, is, he asked me for this one so, uh, or, or the other one that you have. But you can see in here. Now, what I was thinking also, this could be a way that you can add some beads if you want to because there is that hanging element. Invisible threads with some of the smaller Absolutely. butterflies. Honestly, Paula, that is incredible. And like I say, the workmanship, the design that's gone into these dies, you know, Paula wants to be very proud of herself. These are absolutely incredible. It's like nothing I've seen before. So really taking the craft world by storm as well. So let's bear that in mind. But let's take you through some of the items because it is very, very busy out there. So I don't want any of you to miss out. So let's have a little look at those as well. Let's start with the butterfly that we've got in here. This is the supersized large butterfly that Paula was just using on there. It's a collection of six dies. You are going to get the both designs designs in there too. So you have got those 226293, 28 and 99 with that one. And you can see how phenomenal. If you're using this on two cards and things like that, these are the types of designs you're going to be able to make. And also as well, with the different designs and the styles that you've got here, you can only use half of it if you want to. If you want to make this incredible book, look at this. You know, my daughter when she was little would have absolutely loved that. Sat on there as well. You could use that, sat on a dressing table or something like that. But also to be able to use it with the actual designs to make the albums. Look how incredible this is. All those beautiful designer ones. This is part of the journal with it as well. Have a look on the website. We will show you in a moment. But mixing and matching all your different mediums, your background papers on your CDs, your USBs, you know, your designer papers you've got. Mix and match it in. But incredible value. Remember, if that 60% of the actual journal's gone as well, so bear that in mind. Things are not staying about. So really jump on board and get those. Next, we've got the butterfly hinge. I have to be honest with you, it's one of those wheeler warnings. This is now limited stock on this one. When you see it's limited on green on the screen, you need to go get it. And honestly, we will run out. $9.99 for that one, but so universal. Look at it. It's got two different designs. You've got layerability and you've got that fantastic hinge locking mechanism. 904551. Now that one is limited if you get to that one and obviously you might miss out. Then we have got the standard, the everyday one. 60% of this one's gone as well. So again, a lot of you are stocking up on the different hinges to make sure you've got those designs on there too. Now with this one, you're looking at 287986 for your item number and 1999. But again, look at that, the detail, the design, all that little faux stitching around the edge. That's what's going to make it magical. Now, if you are wanting the lock and the tags as well, we've got this one. These will work well with the last one, but mix them into however you want them. And remember, Paula showed us how you can use the you know, magnets and disguise them and hide them. That's what it's about, the technology. 416799, 1499 for that one too. So if you're wanting to grab that one, make sure you check your baskets out as soon as you can. Next one up for you is, this one is the journal. This is the boundless journal panels. And honestly, if you're wanting quirky, you're wanting something a little bit different, a little bit more designer, this really is fabulous. All different age groups are gonna love this as well because you have got that detail on there. 195638, you're getting 12 dies in this collection for 19.99. Like I say, get on the website or on the phone lines to make sure you check yours out as well. But very, very popular as well this hour is the actual florals and the botanicals that you can mix and match together to decorate your journals. But it could be the butterflies, as Paula said, you can layer them. The designs are exactly the same on the actual large butterfly as well. So 405020 and then 1698 with those. 
But if you are wanting to get the full range of the hinges and the different sizes, then this one is the small hinge. But again, it's going to be difficult to decide. I know it is, but grab the ones that really stand out to you. And you know the ones that are going to give you the potential to get everything you need. So this one is the small hinge as well. Eight dies in that one, 999-369-983. But the only person who can sprinkle magic on this range and show us exactly what to do with it is the fabulous Paula. What are we okay. going to be doing now, Paula? Well, I thought I would show the standard hinge and the locking tag. To me, that is a kind of a die that is kind of, uh, they work together. Now, this is so, for instance, you have got really, literally, random pieces of card or vellum, and you can do a, like a zigzag. So I'm going to try, if we have got time, to show you a zigzag. The first thing I would recommend uh, for, if you want to have a more pristine sort of book, is to pre-score the card. Now, being me, me, last minute, I haven't, uh, I don't have a scoring board here with me I need to sort that oh uh, Dawn the other Dawn who is uh, there she might give me she might lend me hers so I'm um, but Oh, that's that's better because if you have got a scoring board uh, then you kind of make sure that is in the right places but this could be if, if you wanted to do any different type of uh, elements so basically you kind of go in here and then I'm gonna go in it just it's random but then a scoring, and then like Don, uh, our Don McPhee show, burnish. Score and burnish. So that kind of is absolutely random. I haven't uh, scored it in a particular uh, measurement. But this is something that you may have for more different projects. What sort of paper is that that you use in power? This what sort one of weight? Is, uh, actually, this is cardstock. So that's probably our 200, but okay. you could go up to 300. Would you GSM. recommend, though, Absol more or less using cardstock with a lot of these mini albums and things? I wouldn't go any thinner than to 120, okay. but you can go like rice paper. I have done rice paper okay. as well. So to center it, what you do is you have the die in here and you have got those scoring lines. And what is a really good idea is to get low tech tape, place it facing up. Oh, so that's the, a top tip right there, Paula. Yeah. And then you take the scoring line, and remember, we are doing a kind of a double one here. Yep. And then you kind of go in, more or less uh, center, so you kind of more or less have the same gap here and here. Okay. So you kind of go in there. But what do we do is make sure that our scoring line is right in with that center scoring line, and then place it there, open it up, and then I can see that the scoring line is over. And this is how, more or less, you are going to get a, the spine in the, right, uh, in the right placement, right? So just going to run it through the die cutting machine. Oh, I'm sorry, um, John, I have, I'm cutting against the B plate. <laughs> if he's watching, he's going to be... It happens to us all. It does, it does. Sorry, <laughs> I, 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 will, I won't do it again. I won't do it again. Uh, he's very kindly uh, lent me his uh, go power and emboss. This is his, this is not the... Because he's like, well, I'm going to get one from backstage. And he's like, this is quicker. And I was like, yeah. It's quicker. Then we have the aperture, and this is a kind of a little. This is one of those ones that having that extra ability to do these means that we can. So we can. with this, uh, we, we could do this with some of the other hinges as well. Absolutely. And you know, the smaller one. Yeah. Could we position it twice and like have two? Two little hinges in it you if we can, wanted to. You Could can, we do if that? you want to do that as well. Wow. But you can see in here that you have got the uh, actual butterfly. The only thing is that the smaller butter, uh, hinge or, or the smaller uh, spine and hinge yep. won't allow you to mix and match with the other hinges. Okay. Whether this one will allow you to kind of mix and match with the locking keys and uh, an element. That's so what I thought because a lot of these obviously are selling very, very quickly. So I want you to make sure that you get the bundles that you want. And obviously all the different factors as well. So bear that in mind. So if you are wanting the standard spine and hinge collection with the 10 dies, 19 and 99. So again, go those. Now, half of the stock of that one has gone as well, but do remember that's got the paper clip designs in there as well. So again, you've got those extra little bits that Paula's put in to make, be able to make your actual files and everything look even more. So really, really special. So what are we doing now, Paula? Okay, so I'm just going to place, I'm going to do the locking tag as well as the hinge in there. Yep. So I'm going to then take, uh, what did I take one of these pieces in here? Oh, shall I do... I'm going to do this one as well. I mean, it might, I might ruin it, but oh, 
This you can't thing. ruin anything in craft, it's just to change your direction. Yeah, absolutely, I like that. So I'm going to put this one in here, so it kind of is just going to go in, just to give you an idea. A change, or I call it a creative detour. <laughs> and uh, nobody knows we've changed it because it's only what we think it is in our heads. Absolutely. <laughs> so this is, our, again, this whole system is designed for uh, making sure that you kind of are free to do whatever you want to do. It's not meant to be, oh, this is how it works. This is how it should be. Yes, you always will have that aperture, that spine. You need that locking tag or locking um, element and you need the hinge. But other than that, that, everything else there is no right and wrong whether some people will put the hinge upside down or you know inside out and things like that it still works so I have got here this one uh, that I die cut and then I have this tag as well so I die cut it out of thick parchment or vellum uh, I love thick parchment it's one of those things that when we have it as a yeah. seven day saver I always recommend to go for it it's not something that you know I'm talking about 200 GSM or something like that now I have die cut the, the tag with those two semicircles I have die cut this tag uh, or these kind of gift cards out of this is exactly the same thing as a also as a, a business card so yep. you could do that as well as your a own business. personal yep. business cards and especially if you are making and selling these you could have these on a tag on the outside so if they're giving it as a gift you yep. could put your personal Absolutely. email address on it so then if other people are wanting to buy these now I do have to urge you to check out your baskets I'm going to tell you now a lot of things are becoming limited we are very very busy and honestly I don't want you to miss out because this concept is brand new to me and I know a lot of you out there as well it will be new to you I don't want you to miss out on this one so I am urging you please check out your baskets as soon as you can because honestly once you get making these you're gonna be selling them everybody's gonna want one believe you me so honestly incredible design well done Paula thank these are you incredible. thank you so I have it on the hinge I mean I'm very proud of it it's of one of those ones that of is course. it's just because it is so much more scope and there is so much more ideas in my little head uh, now you have got the um, you know the, the hinge in here and then we have got the locking tag in here which also the locking tag if you don't like the boundless journal system you can use them as a tag as you know I know people who are using it as a just as an element for other elements I think like an RSVP or me look or at something this like one. that for a wedding invitation would this. be incredible Look at this one. Oh, wow. Archangel has used the semicircles as well to create like this flap with a tag in here with a pop up. There is so many of it. But look, it has kind of locked in, and there we have it. Now I could take one of those butterflies and put them in here as well. So there is so many possibilities. Anyway, look at that. Look at that. And that then is gonna, amazing. And but then like, there is another idea when you can then go in and you have also the different ways. So this is with a, a longer, uh, I think it's a pink frog, uh, old, uh, super smooth. This one is the 40 by 20, I believe. So I score it in, into um, three different ways and you can see the same principle. And here I use the standard hinge to cut into the card and then use the butterfly. Everything mixing and Incredible. Magic. And like I say, there's no glue required. You don't have to do that. So again, environmentally friendly and everything else, you have got that detail with there. Can I say a massive thank you to the lovely Mary who's just emailed in, welcome me to the channel. So yeah, I think it's a surprise for quite a few of you this morning, so <laughs> bear with us as well. But thank you to absolutely everybody here and the team welcoming me this morning, it's been incredible. So thank you. Let's quickly show you everything because I don't want you to miss out because honestly this is just here for this one hour. First of all, let's start with a super size large butterfly that Paola was just showing you. It is incredible. You get the two different designs. You get the antennae and you get that little detail on there as well. So you've got those six dies on that one, $28.99. You're looking at 226293. That is Miss P's butterfly page. Now to go with it as well, to make sure it all coordinates, we've got the butterfly hinge as well. Remember, limited stock on this one. If you are wanting these, it is hanging on by a thread. So don't miss out on this one. Nine zero four five five one and nine ninety nine but it all mix and match with that and obviously we have got the floral elements and the butterfly embellishments on the show coming up that mixes with that as well next the standard spine which obviously Paula was just demonstrating for us this will mix and match with them all as well with this one ten dies and you are looking at two eight seven and nine eight six nineteen ninety nine with that one too 
next then we've got the locking catch as well so again it's all about the detail and how you want to lock all the detail together you've got this fantastic tags in there the circles and you've got that little heart in there too 11 dies you're looking at nine four one six seven nine nine fourteen ninety nine for that one too then next for you we have got the beautiful the bundleless journal panels and this is incredible love the design on this because it's quirky it's different you've got the different mechanisms in there too so again give me that different design 12 dies you are looking at the boundless journal one nine five six three eight nineteen ninety nine and then if you're wanting something that's going to mix with all of it, you can use it on its own standalone, but also to mix and match with your collection, then you need the Geo Florals and Botanicals. 24 dies alone in here. And with those, you've got those. And that is £16.98, Then we've got the small hinge as well. So if you're wanting that more delicate detail and the smaller size, then we have this one in the collection for you. 9 99 for this one for the small hinge, 369 nine eight three and then for the last few minutes we're going to join our fabulous paula and see what else she's got to show us in this incredible we could have done with three four hours with this all afternoon because it's so incredible to show you this so what have we got paula? well there is I, I kind of wanted to do another a quick demo uh which it was to you can die cut into the card if you wanted to so for instance if i wanted to create that beautiful um floral butterfly you can always bring in some oh, wow. of that element obviously the page is a little bit smaller but this is the thing then we I can place over it something else uh, I'm gonna go yeah that's this way so I'm gonna go so we could use the large solid shape one or we could use this one you can use whichever you want I mean personally what I want to do is I want to bring this one on the front yeah so therefore I'm kind of die cutting it like that so you can create an aperture within the page actually you could do the same thing with this one so let's do the other side as well let me i'm just kind of so so forceful in here so no, it shows how strong the dies are yeah they are now because i'm going to put two what i'm going to do is i'm going to make sure that they are lined up by using the uh butterfly there so that kind of more or less is center so i'm going to put it there and i'll go hoping that this in the two minutes that we have got left is going to let me kind of run it through so let's see it if it doesn't die cut completely, it's because I'm rushing. It's but, yeah, fine, it's fine. We've, we're trying to pack a lot in in this last two minutes yeah. to show you. Because honestly, the value you are getting this, you're getting a, every single piece of this is a little piece of power. So remember that, the detail, the design, the creativity you're going to get with this. Home decor projects, you know, putting it on the walls and things like that, it's going to be it's amazing. It's going to be, absolutely. And remember, you can use the dies as well as a stencils because they are big and bold. So you you can use them as uh, stencils that you can then use them in here and then you can have that element there so let's hope it has worked and there okay so you can see there all those elements in here so Look that has that. like cut into here because then what I wanted to do is show you that if you have got that butterfly you can then place it like this and you have got the aperture in there as well or Alternatively, if you wanted to do that, you can have got the that beautiful That is amazing. Thank you, Paula. I have to say, great honour being able to work with you there and you. see your fabulous collection this hour. It has been truly amazing. So a massive thank you to our amazing Paula. She'll be back later on doing different things, yes. so we've got those two. But honestly, it has been amazing. Do check out the website. Make sure you do that. Thank you for all your emails that have come in as well to you know celebrate us all being together. So thank you for that. But honestly, go to the website. Check out your baskets. It's all go to the phone lines make sure you've got yours because i don't want you to miss out a lot of them are limited stock so make sure you go those but stay with us what i always say to you is go and have, make a cup of tea and i'll see you in three Okay, so coming up next, we've got Quilting with Pat. We've also then next got Go Power and Emboss. And later on, we've got another dose of the Pink Frog One Day Special. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. 
Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows! Hi, I'm Ali from Man Stitch Fingers. I've been sewing for most of my life. It's a passion of mine. I really enjoy all aspects of sewing. I'm creative in lots of different ways as well, but sewing is the one I'm most passionate about. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish. And then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out. Come and sew with me. Shopping online with the Craft Store has just got easier with PayPal's Pay in 3 plan. Spread the cost of your basket, whether there is one item or many, with three interest-free payments. Simply choose Pay in 3 at checkout and pay for purchases between £30 and £2,000 over three equal instalments for the next three months. No fees and no interest. Spread the cost of your shopping with PayPal's Pay in 3 plan at the Craft Store. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Well, good morning. Uh, now, it just, there's, you know, there is so much going on and all is amazing here at the craft store. So thank you for your company. Thank you for joining us. Uh, it is an incredibly exciting day here at the craft store. And one of the reasons is because we have got a little bit of soft crafts in here. We have got Pat Archibald, which I never wore with. And so let's have, a, well, let's just first of all, say a big hello to Pat. How are you? I am fine, thank you. And it's a thrill to be here. And it's so nice to meet you and to be working it with is. you today. I, can I say I love your accent? Oh. Um, just, it's, it's one of those accents that I could listen to all day long and just kind of go like, oh, just keep talking. <laughs> but uh, well, but uh, talking about accents, I'm obviously I'm a Spanish, so if I speak very fast, you know, just let me know. Uh, but we need to know more about you, Pat. So can you tell us for any new viewers, how did you start? Into oh my goodness. Well, I think my love of craft started actually when I was a child. Mm -hmm. My mother was a home ec teacher. There was always fabric lying about yeah. at home to play with, dolls clothes to be made and from there my, just, my passion for crafts just grew and grew. This was never the path I intended. I actually trained to be an occupational therapist specialising in knee and hip replacements but life has taken me in yeah. such a different direction and for the last 16 years I've been freelance teaching worldwide oh, cool. and it's just been absolutely wonderful. Uh, and, and I love that. Today, 
teaching and then coming up with amazing products that will transform. And I, there is a lot of different things that I have seen, and you were talking to me about, well, one simple thing that kind of blew my mind, the binding as well, that is a really different binding, but we will see in, in a short You will while. get a demo of that later, oh, yeah. Perfect, All right. Let's start with a transformer. Oh, I like that. Transformer rulers that we have got in here. Now, we have got three different options for you. £23.99 is the price. Now, what it is a transformer template ruler? It's a long name, but it does exactly what it says on the tin. So these rulers, I love the Orient. Each ruler is inspired by Japanese uh, acer oh. leaves, the um, cherry blossom, which of course is the national flower of Japan, Absolutely. and ginkgo leaves, which actually symbolise peace. Yeah. So, so we've got those three, three templates, uh, template rulers. Each ruler has got a different curve on it. Um, yes. which you can use with your scissors or with your rotary cutter, a small rotary cutter. The four different size templates pop out very easily, so you actually have a physical leaf to work with, or you've got the aperture that yes. you can paint through as well. I've added in some registration lines on the ruler to make it easier for you to do some quilting designs or to work with gold bias tape, which I'm going to do a demonstration of later on as well. So all in all, they transform to be worked with in a whole variety of different ways. Yeah, absolutely incredible. £23.99. I'm going to show you one a gorgeous sample that we have got in here. You can see how all three of them work so well together. But of course, it is an option of the cherry blossom, the ginkgo leaf or the acer leaf. If you want all three, by all means, you can. And then you can flexify, spread the cost in interest-free payments. 206411 is your item number. Then we have the foils. Now, so when we started looking at those ones, it was like, oh, there is so many possibilities. A little bit of a sparkle, we like that. Can you talk us through about this kit then? I absolutely can. I just love a bit of sparkle in my work, in the subtle ways. But there's three different ways I'm going to demonstrate to you shortly um, that you can work with the pressure sensitive glue, the glue granules and also fusible web. And each of these is going to give you three very different finishes to your work. And I love the touch of magic that you can add into any of your quilted pieces. And I'm going to be getting excited about working with these in just a minute. Absolutely, it's just fabulous. So the glue, the foils, and the glue granules. And look at that, beautiful. I love that. That's just so good. Is Valentine's Day coming Absolutely. up? Absolutely. Well, I think I heard this forever. It's not just for Valentine's. Uh, you know, it's kind of, yeah. But it is a lovely present. And it could be not necessarily for, you know, a romantic partner. It could be for a mama. It could be for a friend. It could be for so many different occasions. 431100 is your item number for that. Now, the next, the next kit, this is absolutely my favorite. We have got three different options. I wouldn't choose, I will go for all three of them. This is the fre mini landscape landscape mini frame landscape kit. Now this is absolutely stunning and very very evocative without being too dis too fiddly, if you know what I mean. Can you talk us through exactly the different, the, how you came about this? Uh, I can. Bundle? I wanted to design kits that were for keen beginners, but could also be for people that had more experience as well. And I think colour is everything. And Paolo is exactly right. Yeah. Colour is so evocative. I'm from Scotland. You guessed that from the accent. And these three kits are based on the colours of Scotland. So we've got Twilight on the moor. We've got Dawn on the Macher. The Macher is the important grazing land just before you get to the sea, very important for the ecosystem. And we've got Lochside Sunset as well. So three different colour variations. Now these can be done by machine or they can be done by hand as well. Mm -hmm. And I think that they're a really portable project. So if you want something small, neat, that can just go in a little travel bag that you can do when you're on holiday, then these are just an ideal project for that. Mm -hmm. And of course you can add all your glitters and glimmers with Absolutely. foils into it as well.
I mean, you have got here the cutting diagram, the kind of sunset elements in here. We get the glue granules and the foil. Machine. You do. You so do. So this is a kind of a perfect, I mean, I would love to receive something like that. Um, the frame is, uh, obviously, you will put your own, but it comes in with the, uh, the frameable element in yeah. here as well. Uh, and then, of course, the beads as well. So that will add that sparkle. You can see it in there as well. Sorry, I kind of just kind of holding there that way. Uh, and look at that. It's just kind of, I don't want to um, mess up anything. So this is where you're kind of, but you can see the beads in there. Right, so you have got three different options. I will go for all three. If my budget didn't allow me, I, I don't know, I'm between these two. I do love them. 19 pounds and 99 pounds is your price. Brand new today, 028-220 is your item number. You can shop ahead because we have only shown you not even half of the counter. So shop ahead on the website, thecraftstore.com. There you will find also the birch with, uh, birchwood uh, quilt hangers with coordinating patterns and so much more. Uh, remember, we are here with Pat Archibald with all her designs. And we want to start seeing how do we use especially that foil glue. So, Pat, how do we start? What do we need to have beforehand? Okay, so your ingredients to get started with foiling would be a little packet of the, the glue granules, which I would suggest you put into a little picnic salt and pepper with the lid closed. Do not keep it in the kitchen, just keep it in your workroom there, so there's no confusion going on there. Uh, the pressure sensitive glue, so this is a liquid glue that's going to be a great agent for attaching your foil to your fabric. And of course your foils, which come in a little packet. 20 foils with a whole variety of colours, gold, silver, copper, bronze and some pewter in there as well. So let's just uh, have a little demo of how to, how to work with these. Now I'm going to do, uh, use some fusible web for my first demonstration here. So I'm going to, I've popped, I'm going to work with the templates and I have just popped one of the cherry blossoms out of the template plate ruler and popped it onto some uh, fusible web okay, there yeah. and I have drawn round it. Perfect. Now whenever you're working with the fusible web you are going to cut the shape out ex exactly. When you're working with the foils on the fusible web you're going to cut the shape out absolutely exactly. You don't need to leave a little margin on as you would if you were working um, with fabrics. So just a quick cut there just to get. Now, cherry blossoms, the national flower of Japan, yes. but also they symbolize, because they are here today and then a puff of wind and they're gone tomorrow, <laughs> they also symbolize the ephemeral nature of life too. <coughs> so that's Absolutely. a little added extra for you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to my ironing board and I'm going to put a foiled leaf, a yeah. foiled cherry blossom, just there. I've got my baking parchment, so I'm just going to pop that on top. And my iron's at the ready, so my iron is at a medium setting here. So not too hot, you don't want to be frying your foils but just hot enough that you're going to adhere the fusible web to your project. Fabulous. Now let it cool down. Yeah. I've got wadding in here. Um, I'm going to take you through this whole project in just a minute, a step by step. So because I've got wadding in, it takes just that few seconds longer to cool down. But once it's cool, there we go, just peel the paper off there. Now, select your colour of foil. I think I'm going to go for silver here. Now, whenever you're working with the foils, it doesn't matter which technique you're doing, you always work with the colour side of the foil up. The reverse side is a sort of matte silver colour, um, so when you're working with silver, you have to be super careful that you've got the super shiny side up towards you. Yeah, and you're getting a mixture of gold, silver and copper. copper. Yeah. 
bronze and a bit of pewter in there oh, as well. Oh, I'm going to open. Can I open of one of these guys? Because yeah, I yeah. want to show. And they're in little booklets, so you can just peel the, peel Perfect, the sheets off. Because yeah. I just, you know, uh, when we looked at it, we were kind of thinking, ah, if, if you are at home and thinking, oh, where does she get the silver? Well, there you have the, all the different colours, which is incredible. Yep, so 20 sheets in there. <sighs> Approximately wow. four inches square. Violet. I love the pewter. Nice, isn't it? Uh, back You're to you. Lovely. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure that no, we show all of those that's colors. Great. Yeah. Okay, so okay, I'm ready to, to go. I've uh, uh, put my fusible web on there. I'm putting my silver foil on top, colour side up. Don't forget your baking parchment. And just a few seconds with the iron here. Keep the iron sweeping over that. Not too hot with the iron. And that should be fine. Okay. So just let that cool down. Just uh -huh. give it a little shake there yep. just to cool it all down. And when it's cooled down, just peel it wow. off. And what you have got there is wow. a lovely foiled cherry blossom. Wow. And is this a foil that then we can, if we have to wash the pro, do we have to refoil after wash? No, no. The, this should be, it is washable. Yeah. What I always say to my students and my customers is that it's a luxury finish. Ah. I probably wouldn't put it on something that was going to have to go through a 40 degree wash every other day. Right. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Not, not, not a, a t-shirt that we wear all the time, right? I probably wouldn't. Yeah. I would keep it for, you know, my wall hangings, exactly. evening bags, that kind of yeah. thing because so, it is a luxury look absolutely and we don't want to overwash it but if we need to it won't it yeah. once or twice yeah. it will it perfect would be fine. oh that's 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 great to know and it's very simple isn't it to do it's very simple it's very easy it's very achievable now i mentioned that i have a wadding in here and let me just show you some finished pieces that have had <gasps> wadding and they've been quilted oh, i love it them quilted and once you've stitched round yeah. of course you get that lovely cushioned effect so that just contours it, it catches the light in different ways and gives a beautiful finish to to your work oh i see for me that is what takes it to another level once you quilt it and gives it like almost like you use applique a uh, 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 very expensive fabric whether it's actually just a foil that you done directly onto uh, the fabric if you want your pressure sensitive uh, glue with the glue, uh, glue granules as well as the uh, foils in here you can see in the look at the absolutely gorgeous now you have got another thing well, that you want to show add a little touch of magic to it yes, some magic absolutely. dust okay so this is these are the glue granules now, oh fab I'm just going to tip a few into my hand there so that you can see and because I've chosen to use black fabric yep. today you should be able to see this fairly easily I'm just going to put a little pinch of glue granules onto the fabric there yeah okay just wash your hands afterwards um, and I'm going to take you can use yeah, let's go for let's just go for silver again. So you can keep using the foils until wow. they go absolutely clear. So they are really good value. Again, just remember shiny side up, and don't forget the baking parchment to protect areas that are already foiled. Yeah, and just press down with the iron, maybe about nine, ten seconds with yeah. the glue granules. Um, and if we if we kind of is there a point where we can check that it hasn't it has kind of melted or yeah we, okay. yeah there's a little clue you might not be able to see it on the camera but I can see it here where yeah. you can see tiny little indentations yeah. there we can so see the heat has activated the glue the glue has melted into the fabric as it cools it grabs tiny little bits of the foil there and if I just wave that around to cool it down and when you peel off <gasps> oh it looks like a like a you know just a, um, the sky, starry sky uh, well think stars in the night sky Absolutely. champagne corks pop, popping reflections on Love water that. all of that fireworks i mean it's all that it's just so and also what i was thinking is is just that and i think inspired by your projects in here for instance is if you want just a tiny touch of kind of almost like metallic look but you don't want to overwhelm it what an inexpensive way to do that because I suppose the foil we can reuse it and reuse it until there is nothing left isn't it 
yes. in the flesh area. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You could even, um, when you're down to almost nothing, with yeah. the glue that I'm going to demonstrate now, you can stencil with the glue, oh. and then you can just rub several of oh. your oldest sheets on it and get a lovely kind of mottled effect. Can we see that um, I do have a little well, sample. Well, well, you do it. Maybe I find Maybe it. Are. A quarter of the stock has gone. So if you want yours, you know what to do. £18.97 pence is your price. 431100. Uh, right, back to you. Okay, Pat. so that's just a quick sample of when I've been using up my really old sheets of foil and I've just dabbed one and then another and another yeah. but this is with the pressure sensitive glue which I'm about uh, to show you Pat, now. Pat, could you, could you show it oh. to pack camera three there? Yeah. Uh, there. So if you hold it there for a second and we can see, oh there you so go. So it's a kind of soft yeah. um, matte looking, if mottled matte effect Absolutely, there yeah. rather mm -hmm. than super shiny when I use the, the fusible web. So let's just show you how to how to work with the pressure sensitive glue. Now again what I've done with this little sample here is I've popped out one of my ginkgo leaves oh, yes. and I've just drawn round again onto black fabric so that it's nice and clear for you to see yeah, there. Perfect, yeah. uh, just pop that back in. So I've drawn my ginkgo leaf there mm. and I'm going to take the pressure sensitive glue yeah. now and it's got a very, very fine nozzle on it. Right. So I'm just going to draw around my outline there. This might take a little bit of practice just to know how much pressure to put on the, on the bottle, but it's got a nice fine nozzle. Don't press too hard, otherwise it might just all uh, splitter out there. Yeah. That's about right. right. Now, that's going to take about 20 minutes to dry. Yeah. Uh, so of course I have prepared one earlier and here it is so just let's put them side by side right. and you can see that the one I've just done the glue is white this one is dry and it's ready to go so it glue changes from white to being transparent now it doesn't ever dry hard it just dries tacky oh, right. and yeah. that is just perfect I'll put that one out, out the way so I don't and it's needed that it dries tacky isn't it for the foil you system. need yeah absolutely now you can either just press on yeah. with your fingers or if you have a teaspoon handy just press with a teaspoon I can just use my thumb here oh, and wherever wow. you have applied if you hold it there just a second and then we will get Oh my, that just looks incredible. There it is, perfect. If how, Can you give it a wiggle? Yeah, and there with it. The so, so it's just, again, another lovely, subtle touch. And if you have a wall hanging, and you use this effect on the wall hanging, then as you walk around your wall hanging, or your wall hanging is viewed from different directions, the light is going to catch it in different ways. So it's a nice, subtle little finish, that one. It is indeed. £18.97 and pence is your price uh, for this bundle. And remember, there's so many techniques you can do with it. We are over 40% of the stock, and we are not even halfway through the show. If you want yours, you know what to do. 431100 is your item number. You are getting 20 sheets of the foil. So you can see there you have got the golds in here. You have got the gorgeous uh, coppers in there, the bronzes as well. You have got the silvers as well. You have got the pewter, which is probably my favorite because I think it's just that kind of gray silver and look at those gorgeous uh, bronzes are absolutely beautiful colors so 20 of them you're getting the glue granules I love the idea of putting in the shaker and creating that kind of uh, sprinkle and then we have got the uh, flexi glue right and then look at this you can create beautiful elements in there the sprinkle of glues in there the sprinkle of uh, foil I'm going to show you another one because this if we look at this one, you can see the kind of a starry night, the starry essence in there, so you can see the elements there as well. Absolutely stunning kit, £18.97 is your price. And I'm going to show you as well the elements that uh, Pat has been doing or has shown, because this is incredible. Once that you start quilting them, it becomes like you have done applique. 
And it's not. It's actually you using the um, the Wonder Web as sort of element, and then using that element to create the perfect uh, leaf in here. I mean, I absolutely adore the way that it kind of air catches the light, but have the stock uh, has gone. I think this is incredible. There's so many possibilities. 431100 is your item number. Now, uh, now then. I sound like like Leone. Now then, that's what's what uh, the wife, the Italian wife says. Uh, right, uh, if we have got the landscapes. This is a, one of my favorites, favorites, because I see that evocative nature of color and creating those landscapes without having to be overly careful about where the lines are. The lines are given by those horizontal stripes of uh, fabric. And how it comes to you, I'm going to undo it so you can see. So you have got those beautiful fabrics, uh, completely, um, you know, red to be stitched and quilled with the warding and even the netting in here as well. So this is, oh, I'm going to try to pronounce it. So see if I pronounce it correctly, Pat, and please correct me if I do it right. Don on, on the Macar? Macar. 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 Ooh, sounds like Macha. Uh, Macha. Macha. Uh, ooh, no, I still don't. Sorry, I can't do a Scottish accent. I cannot do any English accent. So, but that's Dawn. I'll, I'll call it Dawn. Just call it Dawn. Dawn. Yeah. Then we have got Twilight on the moor. So this one I can say it. And remember that it comes in with the foil, matching foil and the glue granules. And finally, the last one is uh, Lux Light uh, Sunset, more or less. I mean, sunset. Yeah, no, Sunset, yeah. Yeah, okay. in part, you know, it's like, yeah. Uh, sunset, dawn, and, and twilight. That is the best way to say it. 19 pounds or 99 pence is your price. 028220 is your item number. I'm sorry, Pat. I know I'm murdering the pronunciation. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't matter a bit. And just to say that I've designed them to go into easily commercial commercially available frames as well. Yeah, what's the size? The outer size? They are 9 by 7 Perfect. finished size. The, yeah. the, the artist map is nine by seven, so they, you can easily obtain mm -hmm. uh, not too expensive frames to finish Absolutely. them Absolutely. So those ones that we can find in. Uh, thank yeah. you for thinking about those things because those are important. And remember, you are getting the matte in there. Now the transformer template. That was how we started the show, and it's an incredible uh, template for your applique and so much more as well. Twenty-three pounds and ninety-nine pence is your price. Two zero six four one one is your item number. We have got three different options, all based on Japanese theme uh, do you have got the cherry blossom the ginkgo leaves and then we have got the maple leaf as well so that uh, they're all three different ones they have got different edges with those notches that Pat has explained they're great registration marks there but they are not just for applique they are perfect for binding as well they are perfect to create those foiling uh, elements as well. So they are multiple uses. And I believe, actually, Pat is wearing earrings that they are, could be actually. They are my templates. They are the templates because they have got that little hole, haven't they? So that's a good way. So if you don't want to lose them, wear them. <laughs> Cool. Absolutely, love that. Uh, 206411 is your item number. £23.99 is your price for that one. But uh, talking about Ginkgo leaves, we have got an incredible kit for you. So uh, this kit, it is absolutely phenomenal. And I'm going to put it like this so you can see uh, absolutely gorgeous. Now, this kit will come with the fabric, the template, the pattern, the rulers the instructions and also comes in with the amazing fall and well the binding and the warding and the everything you need to create this and uh, finish this project and then then you can quilt it and create the most incredible project here i absolutely adore it and i also adore the way that the colors go into a rainbow so it's very pleasing and you can see it's inverted you also get in the ribbon for the edges you are getting here you can see that the only thing that you don't get in this bundle i believe is the foiling yeah i mean i'm gonna do the measure against paula it's i wear in four inch heels i know it's kind of impossible so this is probably i would say this is five foot tall uh, I'm going to ask, it's 60 inches, so that probably is. Now, I rem I, I'm going to ask uh, in a second, Pat, about, because I re think, uh, Pat, am I rethinking this one is 60 inches in it height? It is, it is. 
Yeah, I, I really like long, I'm doing, as you can see from all the pieces behind me just now, I like long skinny wall hangings. I think yeah. you can always find a bit of wall yeah. or if you've got um, a stairway straight up, Absolutely. I have a changing yes. exhibition at the yeah. top of my stairway or a corner of a room where between a door and a Absolutely. wall there's a little narrow space there always to hang a Absolutely. long slim Can piece. I say as well, what I love what that you have got in the back, I know that we are not talking about that, but it looks like a key Mona at the minute. Yes. Yes, I yes. just love how you have got the central one and then the, the shorter one in there. And this this is the sort of things that you can create um, with those kind of banners, the kind of elements in here. So you have got things like this. And the ginkgo leaves are featured in here as well as the maple leaves and, and those Sakura blossoms, cherry blossoms there. Uh, but of course, we are talking about the uh, gilded ginkgo leaves. What is it that we don't get in this kit, aside from a sewing machine? <laughs> well, I don't put threads in. I reckon if you're a stitcher, you've probably got plenty of threads to choose from at home. Um, the added extra would be the pressure sensitive glue for yeah. that one. But the fabrics are pre cut, so all the hard work is taken. There's 20 different mm. fabrics in that kit. Um, and that maybe that makes it easy for people. You don't need to go out and buy 20 bits of yardage Absolutely. of fabrics. So everything's pre-cut for you. That kit is 60 inches long, but there's also instructions in the pack. If you wanted a shorter version, you could go down to 40 inches by trimming the strips. Uh, right, uh, now of course if you want to go for uh, the ginkgo leaves you can see it in there. Uh, you have got three payments of £37.33 and pence if you prefer to do that. Uh, or you're saving £4.99. and pence. We are approaching 40% of the stock. 680461. It's flying everything so please make sure to check out your baskets. Then we are going to move on to the tumbling acer leaves in here. Okay, I love the fabrics you have chosen because they are, are they more dark grunge? They are. I oh. just love that range. I, this, I love it too. I just, I, you know, it's one of those ones that it's because it adds color, but not boring. Absolutely. Yeah. It just has a look of painted brush strokes about yeah. it which I think is a lovely, a lovely yeah. look to the fabric. It does. It works really well. I'm going to put this one down so you can see it better. Uh, because you can see in here your design with the maple leaves kind of falling down and those hints of color. Now, this is what I got when we were prepping for this show. You told me about this binding. Yep. Yep. Can you tell us why it's so special in a few words? You know? Okay, it's a quick and easy binding to do. It's a fused binding that's going to give you the border as well as the binding. So it's a border stroke binding all in one. To get a curved binding would be a really tough thing to do but because this is fused, it's really easy. I'm going to give you a demonstration of that shortly. The other plus about doing this style of binding is that it gives you absolutely perfectly square corners. Which it can does. Be quite Let me show you. I achieve. mean, they are so pristine. They are just so perfect in here. You can see. I mean, it's, it's the most professional binding I have ever seen. And to do it, you mentioned fused. So mm -hmm. therefore, we need. We have got some fusible web in the there. The fusibles in there. The fusible is in there for the leaves and also for the border stroke binding. Yeah. Fabulous. And we are getting the wording, the calico bag as yep. well. So we have got everything we need to create, including the template as well. Now you have got two flexes of £33.50 and £50 with a £4.99 and pence saving. You can pay one of payment of £66.99. And pence. It's up to you how you choose to pay for it. 789801 is your item number. Then we have got the bundle with the beautiful uh, cherry blossoms. And this flower tends to, you know, want to have a little bit of a wonder, but it will come to you. Four different sizes of uh, the secure, the, I call them secure, but they are cherry blossoms as well. And the kit itself is not to create a hanging, but to create a kind of a placemat or, well, do you know what, Paula? I actually have it framed at oh, home. Oh, that would be beautiful. And it fits perfectly into a square box frame yeah. for a very, from a very well-known flat back retail company. Okay, yes. you know the one I mean. I know, I know. So it fits into a 30, 50 centimeter box frame. And I know it just exactly looks, the one. It looks lovely. It does. I love this. And of course, you can you in this one you get the glue granules there, right? Yep. And you are getting also the foil as well to get. I love it. It's just like that hand. 
a foiling. It's not it's, overwhelming. It's a lovely little twinkle, little it is. sparkle. Adding a twinkle to your uh, projects, I love that. Uh, if you want the, uh, the beautiful blossom, remember you are getting the template with all four flowers. Mm -hmm. The registration mark, well, and so we could use this one as well to use with your technique of the fusio uh, binder. Absolutely, yes, and you would be able to see that on one of my wall hangings here. Wow. That's the cherry blossom yeah. template that has been used to create the binding on this long this long piece here. That is fabulous. Well, we, we, we'll maybe see it later on, don't worry, because we'll have it. And then, of course, we have uh, the uh, beautiful patterns and the fabrics, everything you need to create it. Right, if you want yours, 45 pounds and 49 pence. Now, two uh, payments uh, of 22 pounds and 75 pence, and of course, you're saving four pounds and 99 pence. Uh, 644963 is your item number for it. And, of course, this is one of the things that it will, you will be able to create this but once you have got the tools you can also create what we are seeing here this is what Pat was referring to that amazing binding I love the waves how they go in and those flowers the, the cherry blossoms and also the quilting design on that one has been done using the template as well Absolutely. So all these pieces that I have behind me here are hopefully inspiration for people to go on and try different things with the templates. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, now, 644-963 is your item number. Moving on to the next uh, bundle. Now, this, I love the story, so I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you style it, but I'm going to tell you about is the birchwood quilt hangings uh, with coordinating pattern. Now. You're getting the pattern, no, you're not getting the fabric, but you are getting the hanger. Now, these hangers are absolutely delightful, and there's a lovely story behind them. Well, my, both my daughters are incredibly creative. My older daughter works as an illustrator, and we um, coordinate on some projects together, and my younger daughter's an architect, and we also coordinate on some projects together. So I can give my daughters my dreams, and they can create reality out of them, which is really nice. So I couldn't find any commercially available hangers that I wanted for the projects I was designing. So my daughter Kirsty helped me with the design of these. So the detail in the hangers is just exquisite. It is. Um, there's a lot of detail just etched onto them. And there's a little, if you, perhaps Paula, if you turn one round, people can see how easy it is to put the hanging sleeve on the back and slit it through. So they're, it's very easy to pop the hanging sleeve on there through the aperture at oh, the bottom. Oh yes, I can see, yep, yeah. Yep. Um, and then you've got a beautifully coordinated hanger with your wall hanging. Mm -hmm. So altogether, I think it makes a delightful art piece to hang in your house. It does, it does. And I love the way that you have given us, for just £29.99, pounds, the pattern, but also the hanger. Mm, excuse me, my voice is going. Uh, 672723. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's, it's the three different options. Then we have... Oh, excuse, I will need a water. Yeah, sorry, I just need to, I need to get a little bit of water. Uh, we are moving, by the way, and this is more information because actually uh, Create and Craft, we are becoming one big family, so here is more. So apologies for that. It's just like I've got a tickle in my throat, and it's just it comes into the most uh, random tongues, and it's like no, not now. Anyway, uh, let's my uh, the three different options. So we put the three different options together. So we have the uh, birds, the little birds on the birdhouse. Uh, then we have got the elephants and no, sorry, the elephants. You can say the elephant in my soul. I just uh, elephants in here. And then we have got the actual beach hat and there as well. Absolutely glorious. And you can see the pattern now. Every single one of them will come with a pattern to create these elements as well, the hangers. But of course, that is to use your own fabric. I love the way that you have added the foil <laughs> and the sparkle on the sea. I mean, it's just... 
It's just such a, and that's, you have done that with glue granules, That's right? the glue granules, absolutely right, yes. And I, um, I just love the idea. I would aspire to have a beach hut, but it's probably not going to happen. Oh, well. But I could have a ball hanging with beach huts on it. And that, I could, you if know. you want, you can personalise the hangers and paint them as well. And because the kits don't take a lot of fabric, if you're a sewer, you possibly have odd bits and pieces that you could use up and personalise the fabric beach huts to suit as well. Indeed. Uh, six, seven, Seven two two seven two three is your item number four. Eh? Now, remember that you have got three uh, options there for you. Whichever one you go, twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Now, Pad, I believe you are ready for another demo. Yeah, because all the kits uh, use fusible web to put the motifs on. I thought I would do just a quick demo of how to work with fusible web. So I've drawn my design onto my fusible web and um, I've already cut it out uh, from applied it to my fabric and I have already cut it out neatly so when you're drawing your your design onto the fusible web remember and just add a little extra onto the yep. web when you're cutting out and then apply it to your fabric and then cut it out exactly on the line there now another little top tip sometimes it is really really difficult to get the fusible web off the back there it's spot welded on so what i do is i just take a pin stroke the back yep. that splits the paper and then it comes off really really uh, easily yeah. and just remember which side you've put the fusible web onto yeah. it should go onto the reverse side of the fabric so this is it ready to go now i think we'll just add it into this little project here and don't so remember it's fusible web down it's the right side of your fabric up don't forget your baking parchment and again your iron at a medium hot setting should be up absolutely fine there and that is it secured now another top tip for working with fusible web is that if you were going to be using it on a garment then just make sure that you use a damp cloth or steam to set it and then you will get an absolutely permanent fuse there and it should be absolutely fine for, for washing as well Perfect. now I've done a few little samples of stitching here just to show you that you don't have to be absolutely perfect with your stitching so these are all organic shapes and I tend to go for an organic style of stitching so I've done some really high contrast samples here for you so that you can see um, and I've got a lovely gold coloured fabric there I just used black thread simply so that you can see the contrast and yes I have put my free motion foot onto the machine Perfect. but you could equally just work with your normal zigzag foot or your ordinary walking foot there now on the cherry blossom template there are five radiating lines so I have penciled these on to my little little flower there and these are guidelines for your first line of stitching and then you can fill in some more of the radiating lines there that would be all that you need to do on on the fusible motif there but if you want to add a little extra on then I li love this li this style of wiggle quilting that I've got going on here so I'm just wiggling off the edge and back on and just a little frill to the edge there a very organic style of stitching so listen if you miss a little bit does it matter if I turn it over to the back then you can see a little bit better on the back there the kind of wiggle that I'm talking about mm. so that's the cherry blossom that's the ginkgo leaf where I've stitched again. I've just added some radiating lines like a fan yeah. out there. As I say, any foot that you're comfortable working with on your machine will do. And the ginkgo leaf has got that little frilly edge around it, it anyway. So I've added your I love little that, wiggle yeah. off and on there. And I keep calling it maple, but it's acer, right? Well, Japanese maple. Yeah, exactly. Acer. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah there and we that's, are. that's the maple leaf stitched as well with a similar style of stitching. I love that. I love that. I just, Turn I it just over love the way that you're making it very simple and very, but also very organic. Yeah. 
it's, yeah. it's absolutely organic shapes in there. And I love that once you have got the templates, you can use them time and time again for all those different techniques. Thank you, uh, Pat, for showing all of those samples because it kind of showcases that they are they do so much more for you. Now, you have got three different options. You have got the Acer, the Ginkgo Leaf, and the Cherry Blossom. 206-411 is your item number, 23 pounds and 99 pounds. I love, Pat, that you have given us as well Every single one of them has a different edge. So we have got three different possibilities. So maybe today you want to go for the, the flower and one of the leaves, and then you think, you know, I'm going to get finally the other one. Um, you have got that possibility. Remember to check out your baskets. Uh, very busy this morning. Uh, and now, uh, the case that you all need in your life, I do need it in my life, is the foiling kit. 70% of the stock has gone. So if you want yours, you know what to do. Well, here we have, a diff I love that heart so much. I mean, look at this. Look at the beautiful, glorious detail. And I love that you have given us 20 foils in different colors, so gold, bronze, Silver, copper, and pewter. I mean, five different colors. Do we get four of each then? No, no, it's a, it's a, it's a mixed variety. It's a mixed yeah. variety. And then we have the uh, flexi loop, which this is important, isn't it? If we are doing fabric, we need that flexibility, right? We need the ability to, if we are putting it onto something that is going to have dimension, but also getting the uh, glue granules as well. And remember, you can use the foils over uh, fusing, uh, you know, kind of elements, and then qu uh, quilt it as well. I mean, this, I'm going to put it here, sorry, Shay. Uh, but you can see, uh, absolutely stunning. I just think it finishes it off when you quilt them. It gives it that edge in there. 18 pounds and 97 pence is your price. 431100 is your item number. Back to you, Pat, because I know you have got lots of demonstrations, so we want yeah. to see them. Would you like me to show you how to do the fused binding? Yes, please. Let's I do have it. been I have been looking forward to this a little more since you explained okay. because I do a little bit of quilting, so I know a little bit, but it's just like oh fusing binding. That's good. Here we go. So you're gonna cut a strip of fabric. So in this instance I've cut the strip of fabric three and a quarter inches wide, but that could be variable depending on the effect and depth of the binding stroke <coughs> border that you want. I've drawn a line down the middle here and right. now I'm going to take um, a oh, wrong template. Yeah, I want to take my Acer template this time just to show you variety. And I'm using the, our registration lines just along the crest of each wave here. I see. You probably won't be able to see them on the camera, but what I'm doing is I'm lining the etched line up with the drawn line on my fusible web there. Did I say that I'd attach fusible to the fabric? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so we've done that. Then. And now, because I've positioned the ruler so perfectly there, I've got the curve line equally on either side of my line there. And I'm going to draw that in. I'm just going to mark the top of the ruler yeah. there. Now, the curves on the rulers are all continuous. So you just slide the ruler up and you can continue your curve there. Now, if you want to, you can, I have, here we are, I have it here, uh, use a little rotary cutter to cut that out. If you're not confident with that, all you can do, you can just scissor cut uh, this. Yeah, so whatever you're confident with, I always say to my students, there are several ways to do things and it's finding a way that is comfortable for you Indeed and that you is. get a good result with. You're using one of the smaller rotary cutters, aren't you? This is a mini one. This yeah. this size would also do. Okay. Okay. Is it, uh, is it the 18 or uh, 18 uh, millimeters? It is. Oh! No. I, you know, it's, it's funny because I only started quilting about a, a year and a half ago or something like that. Uh, so all these things are kind of brand new to me. So, but I get so much enjoyment seeing demonstrators and designers like yourself bringing completely different takes and and the way that you are maximizing your fabric is just incredible. Okay, so one strip of fabric gives me two borders. Now I'm slightly ahead of the game here, and I've put. 
the, the borders, stroke binding, on the two long sides of this piece. But I'm going to take you through the whole process in just a minute when I do the top and yeah. the bottom here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to, I had excess binding yeah. on both both sides here. I'm just going to use my rotary cutter and I'm just going to take that off top and yeah. bottom. So I've got nice clean square edges there. Now, next part of the process, before you take the fusible web off, yeah. just fold it in half. Crease, crease it in half there. And make sure that you have baking parchment Perfect, yeah. underneath your piece of work, and you're going to work from the right side. So now that I've creased it, I am going to take off the backing there. I can still see the crease on. This is the Bondo website, so now I'm going yeah. to turn this over. And I can move, I've got a longer strip than I actually mm -hmm. need, so I can move it about to just get the curves exactly where I might like okay. them. Yeah. What I'm checking for is that the crease, the fold, is actually sitting on right, the very yeah. edge of my quilt there. Okay, so that's just exactly where I want it to be. And because I've got all of this foil going on, I need to protect my work. And I'm going to take my iron and I'm just going to press on the curved side of my binding there. So, and you can see now why you absolutely have to have the baking parchment right, underneath yeah, because yeah. you don't want to be fusing this permanently onto your ironing yeah. table. Okay, so that's now fused on. I'm going to turn this over to this side now. I want an extra half inch on either end, so right. I can just eyeball that. Oh, this is so ingenious. I okay. love it. Now, next little bit of magic, we're going to pull this edge over. There, yeah. Now, I'm, I want that to be nice and straight Perfectly, down to that yeah. point there. I'm just going to tip that with the iron. So just a little tip with the iron. Okay. When it comes to this bit here, I just want to angle that in ever, ever so slightly. Yes, we can see, yeah. Tip it. Just watch where you put it. Absolutely, yeah. And of course, we'll do exactly the same at this On the side. Other, so the absolutely end, yeah. straight there. And just angle in ever, ever so, so slightly, slightly there. Yeah, perfect. And the next little bit of magic will be just folding that all over. And that gives you that sharp need. And this oh is why goodness. and how you get that absolutely beautiful yeah. right it's angle there. It's like book there. binding in a way. Mm -hmm. Book binding, mm -hmm. you know, that's exactly the same technique. But I never thought that you could do that to bind your clothes and your uh, so, hands. Just give that a jolly good press now. Now, with a little spare bit of bondo web, you could slide it under there just to secure yeah. the corners there because, of course, you used up the bondo web or fusible web when you folded it over. Yeah. You could hand stitch. I would put a bit of fusible underneath there. And there you have it. You've got beautiful uh, curved, wavy border and your binding all in one and absolutely perfect it square is edges. incredible. I love that. I need to show the sam finished sample because it is incredible how it is. It's so nice and neat. And then over the top, I believe that you have done like a, a little bit of a, either blanket stitch, satin stitch. You can do a zigzag. You can do all sorts, right? If, if you just want to do a straight stitch, just do a straight stitch. But most of us have got nice fancy stitches on yeah. our machine now. So check out the blanket stitch. Check out the zigzag stitch. There might be something else on your machine that would just yeah. go around the edge there and secure so, your binding. So this is brilliant if you have got a brand new machi a machine or you have got, like, like you were saying, Pat, I mean, we all have, uh, in our sewing machines, we have got those fancy stitches that we very, not, we don't use it that often. But this is a time where you... You could even write something and then go over it. You could, you could. And just talking about fancy stitches, if the, the Acer one that you're tumbling Acer leaves, one that you've just been showing there just now, instead of doing a lot of background quilting, I just read, yeah, the one right, yeah, that one there. Um, I just love to use the star stitch on my machine yes. and dot it around. Yeah. 
That so, is so pretty. It's a really quick way of doing your background quilting. It's yeah. just so. I never thought of that. That's a brilliant and idea. And use all your thread colours to match your leaves. So would you do one stage and then move it along? Yeah, do you can stage? program most machines to do a single repeat, ah. and then you can just lift and drag and do another, and then cut your connecting thread. Perfect. I love, love the pads. So many top tips as well in here. Uh, you are saving four pounds and ninety-nine pence, sixty-six pounds, uh, sixty-six pounds and ninety-nine pence. But you can flexify it to interest-free payments of thirty-three pounds and fifty pence. Right. Uh, in the kit, you are getting the gr Moda Grunge beautiful fabric that you need to complete the project. You have got the calico for the backing you have got the background as well to create a beautiful white you have got the wording and you have got the uh, fusible um, you know uh, interfacing that allows you to kind of create that incredible binding and then on top of that you have got the glue granules that creates that gorgeous uh, foiling in here so you can see there as well so it has got those elements in there if you want yours remember you have got the uh, the beautiful gink um, acer templates as well in there included seven eight nine eight zero one is your item number but pat, uh, pat we have got five minutes left so i know you have got one more thing you want to show us so take it away i have on the gilded ginkgo leaves yes. kit, uh, the nice 60 inch long one there, I've used a gold bias on it. So I thought people just might like to see exactly how to work with that. Um, I could never have attempted to make my own gold bias, but of course somebody does it for us. And it comes on rolls, but I just put enough in the kit that you are going to need a little bit extra for you to practice with. So it has a a paper backing on it and if you take that off then it feels slightly tacky oh, underneath yeah. so it's an iron on fusible yeah. it's absolutely brilliant now I'm going to work with the cherry blossom template here just to show you how how to to work with the bias and with the rulers as well I have drawn in a chalk tin because I want this line to be removable so make sure that whatever marking tool you use it is going to be removable so white chalk I've popped in a center line taken my cherry blossom template popped the registration lines on the crests of the wave on that and then I have uh, just with my pencil I just marked in the curve there. All I need to do is flip that over, mark, match the registration lines again, and just mark that. And what I've got now is a beautiful, continuous, plaited Celtic design there. So I've removed the paper from the gold bias. Yeah. My iron is set at not super hot, so right. just a medium iron. This is this is a synthetic. You really don't want to be melting it. Okay, perfect. And I'm right-handed, so... Would you so test it with a parchment paper over the top? Before? Well, because I need to guide this, oh, I right. tend yep. not to use the okay. parchment yep. because I need my, my thumb to be yep. fairly perfect. close yep. to, to the iron. Just obviously watch you don't burn anything on your fingers and you can because it's a bias tape you can just guide the tape on yeah. as you press it following your lines there and this is exactly what I've done on the ginkgo leaf kit except it has yeah. been the ginkgo leaf template that I've used so it is a longer slightly deeper curve there yeah. um, so that's that side in position you can see how beautifully it goes on now it is only a temporary stick oh you, yes it's not going to be permanent so I'm afraid you do have to stitch it I and, see yeah. uh, you do have to stitch it down both sides but by doing that either using a straight stitch yeah. a tiny tiny narrow zigzag or a tiny little blanket stitch uh, bank stitch with a very narrow leg on it then that will secure the the bias tape I prefer to use a monofilament thread on the top and an all-purpose thread on the bottom but to be honest if you've I got a sort of yellow tone thread for the gold that would be absolutely fine as well and just practice your stitch but once you've stitched it on both sides again it's a bit like the foiling it contours the tape yeah, and you yes. get a lovely reflect, reflect reflective quality coming off the tape which is really really pretty as well and yeah. that just catches the light again as you look at the quilt or as people move oh, around we are 
60% of the ginkgo leaves are fabricated, 60% of the stock. If you want yours, you can flex it right. Thank you so much, uh, Pat, for showing us this technique. I wanted to show you, once that you have been staged that, um, that trim, it just looks so beautiful because, again, it finishes it off. It's all about having incredible fabrics to work with, which are included in this mandal, including, uh, you, uh, yeah, let's show it. Let's show it, there we go. That's better, isn't it? So, uh, of course, following the technique, and remember, the shelves will be on the website for uh, 60 days, so therefore you can uh, check them out again. Uh, right, check out your baskets. We are at the end of the show. We have got seconds to go. Pat, thank you so much. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. It's been a delight being with you, Paula. Lovely oh, to meet I, you and lovely to spend time with you. It is. Uh, it, well, the pleasure is all as, um, as, uh, is, is ours. Uh, when are you next? you know when? Uh, I'm not sure we fixed the date, but hopefully in the not-too-distant future. Hopefully, because I love your style. I love that it's a little bit different and it's full of colour and utility and versatility. Thank you so much, Pat. Safe drive back up north. I'm <laughs> very up north. But do make sure at home to check out your baskets. And stay tuned because we have got John and on next. We have got another look at the Go Power and Embolfs uh, monthly mega deal with Don Wheeler and John Lugwood. Then Pink Pro Cross with the other Don McPhee. Tickets are on sale now for Crafting Live at Sandown Racecourse. Featuring exclusive offers and competitions. Over 800 make and takes. Stock up from over 50 exhibitors. And meet and greet our craft presenters. Plus, craft members save 25% off their tickets. Book your tickets now at creatingcraft.com and search for Crafting Live. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. If you watch the Zuri shows, I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums, ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Hi, I'm Pat. And I'm Mark. And we're Totally Patched. We've been in business for 20 years and we've been with the craft store for five of those. We love working with the craft store because it enables us to reach out to people who we wouldn't normally see. We like to educate, inspire and make them want to enjoy the craft as much as we do. Make sure you don't miss the Totally Patched shows on the craft store. Hello and welcome back to the craft store. Thank you to Paula for that amazing hour that we've just had. But don't forget as well, this hour we are crafting again. So if you've not met me before, my name's Dawn Wheeler. I'm part of the Create and Craft team that has now joined with the craft channel. If you're not sure before, with the craft store, sorry. If you're not sure and everybody is merging together, so it's going to be a bigger and better channel than before. So again, we've got lots of specialists and individuals that are going to give you all the deals of the day. Now, today, obviously, I am getting to work especially with one of the big names in the industry one of the craft gods himself i get to work with a fabulous john lockwood oh dear don't don't stop it 
<laughs> We've known each other years. We have known each other far too many, far more years than either of us would admit, to be honest. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we met when we were 12, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but it's fabulous, like I say, you know, for us all to be back together and working with, and especially to bring you the deal that I have got for you today. This is the monthly mega deal, and when we say a deal, this is a deal of a steal. If you are looking for a machine that's going to give you the power, we are looking at an electric die cutting and an embossing machine that will give you everything that you need. It's all metal in construction. We're looking at A4 size with this. So again, we are talking about the daddy. This is the biggest machine that we can bring to you right here at this moment in time. And honestly, on a mega deal, you have it. You're going to get all your plates in the bundle. So you're going to have all those. So you're going to have your A, B, C, your metal shim, and you have then got your rubber shim as well. So you've got those two. But then as an extra, you will also receive your dies. You've got 30 of your dies and you've got your two embossing folders as well. So techniques from the start, all you're basically going to need is once you get this out of the box, obviously electricity to plug it in, but your basic card stocks and you can make this work. We Obviously, I've got the three extra payments on this one as well, your flexi payments. You are looking at paying $139.99 for this one and you know value for money or $46.66 on one of your first payments out there today. Obviously, it will be split into three even payments, but make sure you get on the website or on the phone lines to ensure you've got yours. But nobody better than to show us this is the fabulous John who's going to show us the way to make this work. I, I, hopefully. Th thanks for the <laughs> build-up will. there, Dawn. I mean, one thing I want to explain first, and something we were chatting about before, the reason I'm on doing this machine, this okay. isn't linked to Crafts 2 or any of the brands I do. Yep. The reason Hachanda and Crafts Store have asked me to do this is because I use this machine. I've used this machine now for three years. Wow. I have five of them, which everyone goes, Burr. but I have one for telly, one for home. Fabulous. And then I have three for workshops. It's a little bit like everything. You don't have extras unless it does the job that you, you want you it to do. You don't, and I know you'll know this as a, as a demonstrator yourself. You don't invest your own money because every single... This is not given to me. No, nope, every wasn't bit of kit. free. I bought this and I paid the, the Hachanda price for it. Wow. Because this is a new one that I got myself. So I've bought all of them. And you don't put your money out when you're a demonstrator on something that's no. took me hate me or isn't going to work. You can't guarantee it on air. No. You've got to have something that's going to work, something that yes. you know is not going to let you down. And this machine don't. Some of you from Create and Craft may have seen me using this machine. It's something that I've used in my past. It's a top quality machine. All metal construction. Think of this like the Rolls Royce of die cutting machines. It's got the power. But honestly, if you've got any questions on this, anything you're not sure, layer up system, what plates to use, what dies it will even take, John will answer all these for me, won't you, John? I will. I will try my hardest. So, the main feature of this, and this is the one thing that appealed to me, apart from it being electric, apart from it being, and we talk about it being A4, it's bigger than A4. Yes. If I tilt that round, can you see, that's an A4 plate. It's got an extra half an inch, which means that if, like me, you just jam them got in... got wiggle room. ...it goes at an angle. You're not going to cut the edges no. or anything. You can use bigger card. It can overhang. You're not going to squidge That's, everything. No, you're not. It's amazing. The quality's there. But the main thing that sold this to me is this takes every single die I have ever bought. Amazing. So apart from some really big Sizzix dies of about 10 years ago, which were designed for their 12 by 12 machine, yep. it will take every die even going. So it will take... The free dies, the dies that come with it, which the are thin dies, not yep. just thrown in, so these are your thin dies, these okay. are your, your creations. It'll work on your John Next Door dies, your detailed dies. It will work on your thicker multimedia or fabric dies. Okay, so like your 3D away. dies and things yeah, like that. all of those. So all of those from every company, you know, Tonic do them, Sizzix do them, everyone yep. do them. So that's great, there's thin dies. We'll work on these. I don't know if anyone would even recognise these. Oh, I don't know that. These are Anna Griffin dies. Oh, yes, that's it. Now yeah. you say, wow, that's a blast. So, I, I'm, I'm actually, <laughs> you know, I'm doing my craft credentials here. You know, my name's John and I'm a craftaholic. <laughs> but these are Anna Griffin dies I yes. got from, ooh, 15, probably a lot longer, longer than that, yeah. years ago. So that's great, but then what about your Sizzix dies? Oh, wow. What about your deep dish dies? What about your Spellbinders deep dish dies designed the exclusively for their platinum, their yeah. new ones? What about the original dies from Sizzix? What about the short run 
the thinlets. Wow, dies back in the day. From Sizzix. I mean, so I'm, even I'm, the ones with the red backs. Even the red backs. Wow. Even the, if you've got the original first dies, which I know Paula has at home, and I'm hoping, I meant to ask her earlier, she's got, I'm hoping she'll lend me some. But the wooden ones. Do you yes, remember the, the wooden, wooden ones? Very first dies available you could ever get anywhere in the world. Wow. This you machine have will to take pump them. them through, yes. You have to pump them through the die cutting machine because yeah. they were on a and wooden slung base. And it along and it was a wooden base. Yeah. This will take every die I have ever wow. purchased. And to me, that's the amazing thing. I don't need to think, right, okay, I really, really, really want to cut this. Um, I bought this from here. Yes. I bought this from here on a happy hour. Spellbinders, two feather die. Yes. Yeah, okay. I have never cut this. Oh, wow. So, so what have, are you going to cut on it? So I've never cut this. This is dolly board. So this is grey board. Okay. So this it's is really, a, really thick this is. I think this is probably 2000 GSM, something yeah. like that. It's proper, a little bit like mount board. If yeah, you sat it at home is. thinking, what is that? This is what it is. It's mount board. So super, super Perfect strong. Perfect example. So this is the fab thing about this machine. So my die's small, isn't it? Yeah. And it's thick. Yeah. yeah. And, of course, if you've had an electric die cutting machine before, I know we were talking earlier about the one. The biggest place. Two little hanging down things there. Yes. You've got to get everything to hit those notches to activate it. Otherwise, yeah? the sensors just Don't do work. not want to run. There are no sensors in this. Oh, wow. Watch. So I can stick that. Look, let's stick it in at an angle. Yeah. Plus run. I'm using the Kaleido plates. Look. Honestly, you've got your flexi basket open, pop in these extra plates. We've got a few extra things. Plates are on the bottom as well, and obviously we've got magnetic plates and everything else. Extra bits in there, do get those. Look at this, one pass. Brand new, yeah, 2000 at least. It's Look at that, yeah. It's what you get in your pictures. Dye's never been used. Crikey. I've never tested it in this machine. This and that's is, what I wanted to show. But the excess as well, you could use as a stencil. I could. You could use, you can make your own stencils with this as well. So think about this. If you have got one machine, how many of us have in the past brought, even we do it now with hairstyling products, it's got a curling wand on it, it's got a blow dryer, it's got a blow dry brush, things like that. This is what it's about. All the machines you've got at home, you're wanting something that literally has got a nice compact space. Think of this. It's slightly larger than a large family toaster. Yeah. You've got that. But I have to say it's weighty, but that's good because it's got the weight. It's not going to be jumping along the counter and it's going to give you even pressure every time you use it. You know, like I say, with machines, same with me, I do the same trade as John. We want something that's guaranteed to give us precision cuts every single time. One pass, you saw mount board, it was like a knife through... A knife through butter same sort of thing with this you've got that pressure you've got that compression and if you can die cut with it you can emboss with it you can do every single thing as well John we've had a question through as right. well how often do we need to replace the right. plates okay so good question these are the plates you get with it yes so you get an A plate I'll put it the right way around so it looks right on screen. You get a B plate. Uh huh. You get a C plate. Yes. You get a rubber mat, which we'll go through in a little while. Okay. Because there's only one technique I use for that for. And you get a metal plate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, these are the plates. Now, I as I said, I trek myself. And you will know that word, but I get shouted <laughs> at at home because it's not a word in normal common parlance, but where we come from... We treat ourselves. We treat ourselves. I treated myself to a new outfit yesterday. <laughs> so I, I treated, which doesn't sound right to me, nope. myself to a new machine. But what I did was the most delicate plate in this... So this is my original metal plate. Yeah? OK. This is three years old. Wow. This is my original C plate. Yes. This has been used on every trade show. Wow. Every retail show. Every time I've been to the NEC and every craft store show for three years. And look at the profile and this on it. Is my original plate. So the answer to what was the lady's name, sorry? Margaret. Margaret. So Margaret, the answer is you don't. Because the, I haven't had to. No, the only thing is, sometimes people, and as crafters, we can talk like this, you might get, you might just get an extra one, because if you're anything like me, 
it gets lost or you put it under a pile of cardstock, it's in the boot of the car. That would be the only time I would say to you, but nine out of ten times, a lot of people only replace them because of the etching marks yeah. in it as well. That is the only time because they'll say marking the cardstocks after, you know, use after uses as well. But really, really useful. But we would recommend definitely with the metal one, get two. Yeah, definitely. what I would do is... This is the this is the brand new one, and I used this earlier to cut fabric. So you can watch on the catch up show at seven a.m. Yep. and we will get that show put on my YouTube channel. Okay. So if you want to see any of the shows I've done before with this machine, they're all on my YouTube channel. Wow, that's channel, brilliant. All on there recorded. So what I do is that is now my fabric cutting and multimedia plate. The only suggestion I'd make, Margaret, and to anyone else is get an extra metal shim yes and what i want to show you about the oh, metal say, show shim. the edge as well john on yeah. these how so, fabulous they are this is this is the extra one we do this is the crafts two one yep but this is so what i'll do first is this is the one that comes with your machine yes. please don't do this at home but watch my hand this is what we always show you so you know you've got that confidence all, to know it's safe all chamfered yes same the crafts two one is slightly thicker Ooh. Which means it's even better for paper because it adds that extra weight that, in. That depth, so it's yeah. just that little bit thicker, but the same again. So what I would say, Margaret, is don't worry about extra plates for your machine. Gene, yes. I would, if it's me, what I have for me is I have an extra metal shim. Yes. So I've got one for multimedia and fabric. Yep. And one for my paper and card. Definitely. Margaret, all the details, we've got them along the bottom as well. So you've got them and we will go through everything extra as well. If you want to jump ahead on the website, we are really, really busy. Thank you so much for everybody being with us. You're all jumping on this this morning, wanting to treat yourself and what a better time. Time. Don't forget Valentine's Day isn't that far away and Mother's Day if you are looking for a fantastic deal and remember this would be fantastic for a Mother's Day present or as an Easter present you know even Valentine's Day these are the treats that crafters want if you're wanting your monthly mega deal remember at the moment 139.99 you're getting your extra dies you're going to get all your plates and your embossing folders and can we say as well you also get an instruction leaflet with it as well you so do. do not worry it comes in a fabulous box so you get a full instruction leaflet one thing I'm gonna say is ignore the plate combination <laughs> do what I do not what they say yeah because <laughs> it was written before I got my hands on it yes and before people like myself and Dawn got yep. our hands on it and went no hang on it needs to be like it this. it needs to be weighted round. But on the YouTube channel there are at least five one-hour shows where I'm using this machine that have been filmed here at the craft store. Yes. That are on there, and these shows will be on. But this is your combination to work. Let's and do it. And the reason my C plate has stayed flat is because I do this. Yeah, but so, make a little post-it note yeah. with the, you know, what John's telling you now, and stick the post-it note on the top. So for cutting, we're going to use plate. The C plate. Yep. Yep. So it will tell you to use the B plate no go. A plate. Yep. C plate, because Sam said to me in the break, he said, why is the C not the B? I said, because it wasn't designed that it way wasn't. originally. I'm going to use one of the thin dies, so this is exactly the same machine. Well, I will do when I find them, because you know what I'm like. <laughs> We've got a lot out, And John. I love to use this one. This is one of the most detailed dies that you'll get. Very and this fine. reminds me, look at that. How much is that? How detailed is that die? It's absolutely crazy. Yeah? Wow. All those cut points across there. Yeah? So... I'm going to put this on the right hand, I'm going to put this down the side because yep. no matter what, and I'll say this every time, no matter who sells you your machine, yep. no matter what they say when they're demoing, and what they'll do is they'll say, look, put it in the middle, yep. and it will cut perfectly, and it will do in a brand new machine that's come out of the box that morning for the demo, and over time it gets less and less. Get yes. into good habits, top right, you know, bottom down the side yep. no matter what anybody says about how great the rollers are and everything there's always the law of physics says there'll not be the pressure in the middle at the no. sides it's like everything out yeah. there it's like a car think of it like a car on the road if you're going to hit bumps and things like that they will, you will get that movement and that play so get used to moving it around your mat and finding the best place for you to use it but this one has got a lot of even pressure and like i say if you are wanting one of the rolls royce machines look at this and can we just say i know you've got the um Miss Griffin dies, yeah. but Miss Griffin had an actual influence in the design of this she as well. Did. So honestly, now you have got a designer machine, and I have to say, it's a beautiful thing. 
you've got the three buttons on the top you've got the run you've got your on and your reverse and john will show you all how to use these but do you know what very very easy if you're wanting yeah. latest bit of tech or kit for your actual craft room there's nothing more beautiful than this machine if you want something fabulous like that then this will be the one for you this is your monthly mega deal remember it's 139.99 we've got it on the three flexes as well you are saving 10 pound on it at the moment your first flexi you'll be paying 46.66 is 880.282 but do you know what we are so busy the stock on this is supposed to last a month and we are so so busy on it so please make sure that you check out on those 20 percent of a whole month stock wow we're telling you now we're approaching nearly 30 percent and honestly you know the stock of this is supposed to last a month this obviously will be yeah. you know we can't guarantee make sure you put yours in your basket check out on the website right now if you're wanting this one now john show us so this i one. put the dog there yeah i yep. put my b on top okay simple Always B on top. A, C, B. A, C, B. So don't think A, B, C. Yeah. I nearly sang it then and I really can't. Nobody wants me to sing. You think A, B, A C, B. Okay. Keep your B on top. Just write if you want and, you know, get yourself a pen right top. Top, yeah. Yeah. And I always cut down. You can cut up. It doesn't matter which plate you cut okay. into. But and can you rotate your plates? Can you swap rotate them? Rotate them, swap them, but n don't put your C plate on top. Okay. That, because it's the thinnest plate, that's what will bend. Okay. That's what will wreck your plate. Yeah. So, so that's because you've how got I've a wider, managed to keep mine. You've got a wider plate and a wider spectrum. You've got that's a wider plate, give you that. wider spectrum, same pressure, but you've also got the C plate is thinner. Yes. Yeah. So and you've so, got that movement and play. Yeah. So you can see after keeping it on the bottom, that's all the warp I've had in three years. Wow. And you can, you know, I mean, people know how many shows I do. Yeah. Take it there and present it. Okay. Yeah. You've three buttons. Run on and reverse okay so none of this stop pause or anything just basic press run give it a tap wow it will grab it it will take it through but it won't stop running until the gate at the back is closed that's it so if i leave this just hanging out this will keep running until listen there until the gate you go. closes for safety but I'm going to show you again because I want to show you this one. And it's very quiet, isn't it, it's, John? I mean, literally, my microphone is there. It purrs like a cat. It does. But you press reverse and it straight away reverses. That's it. So if you struggle dexterity-wise, picking up the plates yep. and moving them around, this is going to save you time, but, but look, also it's going to save you the space. Stops there. Wow. So, so it's not like it's going to it's stop not gonna, and drop. It won't <laughs> drop, it won't collapse, yeah. it can't. It stops when that gate closes. Fabulous. So when that gate closes, then you just literally slide it out. Amazing. No pause, no stop. When I take that out, and this is in true linen car, so we call it real linen car because it's both sides, but look, this is 240 GSM Crafts 2 card. So with optimum just a weight. flick... Look how clean and crisp that is. And I have to say, and you know, this is a fantastic quality machine if you are wanting that crisp cut every single time. Just going to take the little bits out that look as if they're not. They're just hanging in there by static. But the thing is, I know Chris is doing a brilliant job here getting close in. Can you see how that's chamfered? Yeah. That doesn't need embossing. No. I have never embossed a die in my machine. Wow. I have never needed to. So it will save you the time. Yeah. It's going to give you that detail. And like you say, even if you've got straight edge dies, like oval squares, you're now going to be giving them that professional chamfered edge. So it's going to give it that curvature. Rather than looking at sharp edge and you've got to emboss it, it's now going to do that. But honestly, we are very, very busy. Thank you for joining us. And like I say, thank you for your emails and everything else. Thank you for letting us be here with you from the craft store today with this fantastic mega monthly bundle deal that we're doing for you with the Go the go power and emboss that will give you all that detail obviously we're talking about die cutting but it will also give you the detail as well to use your embossing folders too that actually come in the kit so do not worry you have got a little bit of everything in this kit to get you going you're going to have all your plates you will get a full instruction sheet it comes in an amazing box so if you're giving this as a gift that is the way forward remember on your first flexi if you're wanting to split the payment on this one your pmp will be added is 4666 if you're wanting to get that today but honestly we have got so many extra bits on this show that we'd like to run through and show you as well especially because these have been designed by John and his team and to bring you the best things as well.
so with this we're going to add in a few extra bits on there too but as you can see this machine has got that slightly wider fully automatic but like i say you can do everything with that what would you like to show us right. next john so we basically i've gone through the suit the combination yeah yep the, the next question that i get on this so the, 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 there's always the next thing i want to show but there's always the first question I get on this is, basically, what do we need, what do we need to do if we want to do, we've all got these, I've had this, this particular die, I cut it earlier, yep. this is a Sizzix Big Sty, yes. yep. I've had this, it's a Tim Holtz, it's the dressmaker's doll. I think we've we all, all got it. Yeah, we've all got all it. All of us have got this in tattoo florals. In a bottom, a bottom yeah. drawer somewhere yeah. in the And I remember talking to one. Julia Watts. Yes. And she said when the she moved to do the Grand Calibre, when that came out, because that was the big thing. Yes. We all had a Grand Calibre. We all had one, I two, broke or three. six. <laughs> Seriously broke six of them. Me too. Um, I've never broken one of these, but she said she got rid of all the big styes, and then she oh, bought wow. one of these, and she really regretted it. She said she'd never be able to do it. But people say, how do we cut it? So... If you've got the plates that you come in the box, yeah. there are not enough plates and the plates are not right to cut a big sty. And I don't want to stand here and go, buy this kit and you can cut a big sty. Yeah. Because you will be short because you need two C plates. Okay, so pop an extra one of those but in. There aren't any extra C plates. Ooh. And the reason is because the Chore Creations knew that their plates would not warp and bend. Okay. So unlike perhaps other companies that order 10,000 machines and yeah. 100,000 plates, they ordered 10,000 machines and 5,000 plates for anyone that broke them. Yeah. So they went right relatively quickly. So all you need is your C plate, yeah? Yeah. And then another 3 millimeter plate. Okay. So we have got, I'm using my Kaleido plates. Okay, which we have got on the show as well. And honestly, if you can, pop all these extras in. The Kaleido plates is a fabulous machine that John brings you as well. But we're just going to pop the details up because I do think you are going to want these. Seven... 719277 seven, and that is for your Kaleido plates so and these are A5 size John? These are A5 size yes. but you will get the full collection you won't just get these you will get the full bundle which I will okay. show you in a second how yep. to use but basically what I will also say and I'll be fair yeah yeah if you have got a cuttle bug yeah those will fit through here oh wow yeah so you can mix and match so you your can plates. mix and match if you've got a three mil plate from another machine do measure it though please don't yeah. guesstimate do no. measure it because each and every one of these machines is calibrated i'm going to be honest with you they're all calibrated so if john says three mil it has to be yes. three mil don't go three and a bit three don't do it because you'll break your machine make sure it's a three yeah. mil plate please. but this is the other thing i love how many machines do you know that you can use an A4 plate, you a die, can't. and an A5 plate on top? You, you can't you do can't that. You can't do that. There is no other machine that does this. I recently saw a new machine for about £100 more than this. Yeah. And it does nothing different. Wow. Nothing that this doesn't do at all this is it and like i say if as well we were looking as well on the websites and everything else you cannot get this machine anywhere else at the moment it's exclusive to us here at the moment at the craft store you can't get this anywhere we've checked it's not in stock anywhere else and honestly the price and the value you are getting with this machine like you say all the plates the extra dies and everything else i've seen this machine previously without all the extra bits so bear in mind today in this special monthly mega deal you have got it all so honestly do think about getting this because the value is incredible yeah. it, so it's, look it's, at that so that is literally cut in 200 2000 gsm at least mountboard yeah yeah i mean if i give you a piece you can see that i'm not just talking no, smack it, it is no this is proper mountboard this is tough tough stuff and like i say you know i'm a crafter this is the sort of stuff we use for picture frames and things like that it is very very thick if you're doing mixed media this now this machine with all your dies doing mixed media yeah, is going to be your best be friend so as an everyday crafter card making paper crafter but you know what mixed media this takes your machine into a different realm altogether especially with the pressure that you are getting in this as well so fabulous so, but like i say get the kaleidoscope plates as well it's amazing so we said about the kaleido plates so you would need yep. two three mil yep. to cut, or one additional three mil to cut through your big styes. Okay. Yeah. But you may not want to. You may want to, and I use this an awful lot. The only dies I use are the Kaleido and the Go Power. Yeah. And basically, I might want to cut this shape. I'm not going to cut. I'm not going to cut something. 
um, the easy. I'm going to cut something difficult, so I'm going to cut this into it. Oh, we've got the help desk coming up, John. You, you, you are in the need this morning. We've got lots of questions. Now, Mary wants to know, is it in this one? Can we use the glimmer machine, which is a foiling machine from Spellbinders? You can. Can you put all oh, the same you go. space aperture as a platinum? Okay, so you've got the same width and the same depth. Obviously, with that, if you go on to um, YouTube and things like that, there'll be tutorials to be able to use it with different machines. Yeah. Could just be a different plate or something. Just or a different plate combination. You'll okay. need to work out your plate combination, but. Whatever combination you would use in your platinum is what you would use in here. Oh, there Save you go. With the Go Power um, or the Go Foil, go uh, foil. machine, which yep. I've got at home, yep. that fits through. Also, the heartfelt moulds all fit through here. Wow. There is nothing that I have found that goes through a die cutting machine that will not work in this machine. That's why it earned its place. That's why it earned exactly. my money. Yeah, exactly. And it earned its place in my craft cave. Because it's got to at home. It's got to earn its place in there. That's incredible. And to pay my money. And, and it's got to be worth it. So here I've got the base plate from the Kaleido, the 5 mil plate, the card, the die, and one of the 3 mil plates. And Fabulous. You get two of those. Yep. So again, you've got two which are perfect for doing your, your big dies or yep. anything. And wow. literally. We will be showing you all many, these on the counter as well in a moment. Yep. So do not worry. How many 5. How many. A5 plates, do you know, yeah. go through like that through an A4 machine? They don't. They don't. They go through and even reverse. If anything, they would it, normally get stuck. They would get stuck and it wouldn't grab because this has been designed so that there are no sensors to say, oh, it's right, it's running. This will look, run. It wow. just runs and it will not accept it. So if I say, for example, I put on top of here... The wrong plate. And that is one of your dies as well, isn't it, yeah. John? So this is one of mine. This is one of mine we've got on the show. I know it's going to be really difficult to um tell you what, I'm going to put on my embossing mat, the one that I use. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to put the same plate on top. Because that's slightly thinner, isn't it? It is, yeah. I don't use the one in the one that goes in yep. the machine. So this is too thick a sandwich. Okay. It's gonna take it now, isn't it? <laughs> If it like is, Kelly does if this. it's too thick, thick yeah. it will reject it, reverse it out, and all the lights will flash. That's it. That's it. If it cannot handle it, yep. it will not allow you to break it. Okay. So it's proof. Because it proof. will. Yeah, it's, it's basically me proof because, I, as I said, I don't joke or lie when I say I broke six grand calibers. Not just the handles. We've all done that. Forcing cardstock yeah. through. We shouldn't this add in an extra you, shim, put it in. If you've got something like this that makes it goof proof, you cannot break this machine. That's what we all want as crafter. The guarantee that, one, it will cut, and two, you've got the safety feature. But you can see I can get all these bits out, but I don't want to spend... I'll just do here, just to show you. But, I, you know, it's boring to watch that. But... Look at all of that. Oh, wow. That's cut. Yeah. All of these bits just popping out really easily. That was on an A5 plate. Yep. Kaleido plates through the middle of the electric machine. Wow. That's how good this is. So, again, like me, you may say, well, I don't do a lot of A4 die cutting. But it's worth having it, because I, I don't know about you, Dawn, but I was bought a big shop. Yes. It's the first machine I had. Yep. We all had them. We that all had them. We all did. Yeah. Within three months... I bought a calibre. Yeah. Because I needed that bigger space. That's it. The larger I, size. Yeah. And I was almost like, and people say to me, what to do? I say, if you like die cutting, go straight for an A4. If you don't, you're not sure, get the A5. But once you get the bug, yeah. So I only bought it to cut out shapes to stamp on. <laughs> and Literally, look what's happened. It goes through. <laughs> and now, I mean, now I have got more dies than you could. I've got an entire room of it. But, but honestly, fair, a lot of you are asking as well about the brush that John's using. Obviously, this is a special tool that John brings you as well. It is on the bottom of your screen. This is the Craft Tool Triple Action Brush and Glue Eraser Set, which is ingenious because you've got little marks on your cards. You know, with the pressure with your tape sometimes, give it a little bit of rub. This will remove it. But nine ninety nine for this one, or 527273 if you are wanting this. Ideal as little presents and gifts, John. I, I, I love these. And there's a little trick. I mean, glue Razor the best things in the world. It is. For taking glue off. But this is something I learned recently. Can you see here where you've got a couple of hanging chads? Yep. And basically where they've cut everywhere but in one little bit. Yep. When you when you tear them off at the back, it tears the card. Yeah. You don't. You use your eraser watch. 
Oh, wow. Take some off. I've got one there. Let's just pop that out. Okay. That's hanging. Yep. It's gone. Not ripped my card. And literally, it's that. taken everything off, but it's not torn at the back. Some more here. But how many times have we used reusable tape and uh, then you've got those sticky marks and you think, oh, I've only got this one colour of, of cardstock. You don't want to, you can't replace it. Adding this in just cleans it, gets rid well, of any sticky it residue. It does. And people say to me, oh, do you keep a clean plate for cutting white? Do I, heck? No. Life's too short. I use this. That's it takes it. all sorts of marks off. And my plates, I mean, if you've ever watched one of my Craft Cave lives, you'll see I'm constantly going like that because my plates are acky. Oh. They are literally coated. Well, we've had questions in about the plates as well, John. So a lot of people are asking as well. Sandra has just asked, what order of Kaleido plates do we use as well? So obviously we've had those. A lot of you have got the Kaleido machine and already use that and enjoying it. But if you're wanting to use the plates with this. And we also had a question as well um, asking, I think that was a Sandra as well, asking about the, the different Sandra, asking about the magnetic platform right, as so well. So if we can go <coughs> through that too, that would be incredible. We can. Your Kaleido plates, yep. and this would be the same if you've got something like the Cuttlebug. Your base plate, okay, and then I go five mil plate, card and die. So a bit of card and a die. Let's do a detailed one. Let's not. Well, let me just get the bits out of this. Sorry, <laughs> you can tell a crafter up. because their dies are never clean. No, never trust if a you, tidy crafter. If you go around someone's house and you see that it's completely spotless, you'll, it, you know, they're not being used. So. Now, the, card, the ones that are on screen, mil. this is the bundle. This has got your magnetic base in Sandra's, yes. both Sandra's, if you're looking. You've got your three mil pair, sorry, John, and you've got your five mil too. You're looking at 36.47, but do you know what I do? If you get in your machine, put this in the three-way flexi and flexitize it and make three easy payments yeah. on that as well. It'll make it a lot easier and literally, as well. So, honestly, get the plates while I've got them in stock because I bet these fly out, John. We only just got the three mil plates back in stock. Oh, wow. It took us nearly six months. Crikey. Um, and now they're back in stock. The Collado's completely sold out. <laughs> but Standard. there are so many more uses for them because this plates are so expensive. They are. But you see, now, you see here, I've gone in the middle, and can you see how it's not completely clear through? Yeah. Yeah. There's two options with this, okay, two things I learned. If I'm cutting normal card, yep. this is why I'd always say add in the A5 shim. Okay. Yeah. We add that, it increases the pressure. Yeah. If it's wrong for the machine, the machine won't take it. Okay. It will reject it. So it'll come through. If you're cutting a speciality or a double sided card, yeah. cut the die into the metal shim. Okay. And it will finish it so off. So it bites into it, it and gives it a crisp finish. It bites into cut. it, gives it a crisp finish. So you can see now, can you see the difference on that? There we go. Just making it, I'm making it so difficult for poor Chris. Oh, look at that See now. that every cut is through, and that's what you check. And that's basically how so we deal with it. Could you cut fabrics and things with, with these kaleidoscope plates as well through you the can, machine? Yeah, oh, again, wow. using the metal shim. Yeah. Any change, it doesn't change anything at all. It's exactly the same. Fabulous. That is incredible. For a machine to be able to do that, and obviously John's working really close with the company as well, from the Go, the Go Power and Emboss, to make sure that you've got the best plates, the best techniques to make sure this does this. But do remember, this is your special prize for your mega monthly bundle. And again, we are very, very busy on this. Thank you to everybody who's with us this morning. We do appreciate it. It's Saturday morning. We know that you're very, very busy. But let's show this. We've had a quilt man sent in, and honestly, using a plate. What was the lady's name? Sorry, Lynn. And look at this. Lynn has used the Go Power and Emboss to make this. Look how fabulous that is. Yeah, no warping a plate. Beautiful. And to cut to that level, because presumably for that you've used quilting fabric dies or Accu Quilt dies or something. Yeah. Because all of those fit. So if you've got all those AccuQuilt dies that we yeah. spent so much money on, but as, as, as the lady's done there, because I'm I forget names to be honest. I, I said hello to that Dawn this Lynn. morning as hello Julie. So <laughs> sorry, um, but yeah, literally, I'll do it with these again. I'm going to take a simple quilting die, two layers of fabric onto my metal shim, three mil on, run it through, and I could be doing this with my A4 plates the same, and I did this earlier, but basically you go through and. Look at the plates afterwards. Nothing. Look at that. Still.
completely flat. No that, warping at this all. This is what I mean. And these are special 3D fabric dyes. We're not talking everyday dyes. No. Ones that are deeper, thicker. These are three mil deep. Your dyes are a millimeter deep. These yes. are three mil deep designed specially to do it. In fact, if you look, look, the dye has slightly bowed. Yeah. Which it does over time. The plate hasn't. No, the plate hasn't. You've and got no movement. And that's the same the with the plates that you get with your go power and emboss. That's it. If you're wanting to try quilting and things like that, even if you're thinking, I've just had a sewing machine, I want to get into it. If you have got the go power emboss, you know you've got the machine of choice that will give you that crispness, that will give you that depth and everything else. Like I say, if you have a look out there on the websites, they will, you will see these on different websites, but like I say, a lot of them are out of stock. So just bear that in mind. We've done our checks and had a little look around, but do remember, this is the monthly mega deal. It's a special price. You're getting £10 off, plus as well we are flexing those on there too but what we're going to do as well is do some of the questions we've got a few questions in as well um, can you use any of the grand caliber plates the a4 or a5 instead of the clear plates if necessary you shouldn't need to I know where that question's coming okay. from because I know that we used to use them in one of the old electronic machines to keep them going yes um, to be honest with you, you shouldn't get to a point there you need to. I haven't checked them, but the combination of the Grand Caliber plates is different. It's like an 8 mil, and I think it's an 8 mil and a 6 mil. It is. So, um, and bear in mind as well, like I say, these machines are calibrated. If you start putting things that are too thick through it, because end of the day, these have got metal components, metal rollers in them. You will end up forcing them. You can end up breaking yeah. your machine. Then if it goes back to the supplier and they check it, the calibration on it, they will see that it's damaged and it's been forced. So, again, then you've warded you warded you are avoiding your warranty so bear that in mind but no don't put your grand caliber plates no, no good what question. i would say is i know where the question's coming from yep but this is my c plate of three years of literally everything that yes. comes with it so you will not need to use those grand caliber of plates because you're not, you're not going to have the problem you're having with the machine you've got at the moment and i know the machine you've got and i know the problem you're having because i've done it myself promise you if you keep this c plate and cut onto it put the b on top you will never need to use those in it so use that. So use your plate slightly different. Remember, so what is the plate configuration that a, you want us to use? A, C. A, C. Dies and paper. Paper. B, B cut. on top. Just, Just remember. Just think B on thick, top. Thick plate on top. Yeah. Always the thicker one out of the two on the top to get the well, difference. Well, the cream always rises to the top, so just remember the thicker bit at the thicker top. Thicker bit at the top. Right, when putting your plates through, if you don't rush to catch the plate at the other end, does it hang out when you're waiting to be picked up? Or will it know. just drop? Out. Let's have That's a look. what we need to know. It just Stops. slides itself out. That's it. It'll just stop and slightly drop, yeah. but it doesn't tip out the it end. It doesn't so do what... Um, I mean, I'll run this one through again and show you, but it doesn't do... Unless you've put something too heavy in there or too much, yep. it doesn't fire them out so it hits that wall. No. So I'm not going to... I'm going to stop here. I'm going to take these away. But you That's can it. It just see. tilts and just slightly drops. It just hangs, yeah. don't it? Literally. Here we go. There That's you go. It. And That's that will it. keep running until I take them off. So it tells me, the machine, that it's still in, they're in there because it keeps running. It's genius. And it will run for about t a minute and then it will cut itself off because it's going too long. So how long does it roughly take to go through the machine, John? I think it is 16 seconds. Okay, so it's it very quick. But it feels an awful lot longer than it is. <laughs> On live telly, it does for yeah. sure. Now, John, we've also had a question. Um, you're using the thinner embossing mat. Can you use the Grand Calibre embossing mat instead? You can. Oh, yes. fabulous. So I was going to actually emboss on here, so I'm going to turn these over now. I know this is a problem that Dawn had with this machine, and I, yep. both of us, would rather be honest. This is amazing. The one that comes with it yes. is absolutely amazing. If you want to do, you know, the stencil technique, yes. I will try and do it at 3 o'clock, yep. where you put a stencil in the card on your embossing through. It's amazing for that, yeah? But... Because they, the idea was, I think, that you replace the B plate with this, yeah. you're, you're messing about an awful lot. Yeah. And we're using the C. And I find it squidges out and it comes out like a sandwich. Yeah. And I used to use <laughs> it for embossing. So what I do now is I use the Crafts 2 glue mat. That's it. Yeah. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to use it on the one here that hasn't fallen out. But I can do that and add that on without altering my sandwich. 
That's it. That is genius. Yeah. Because like I say, you want that compression, you want that embossed detail. And just by swapping the mat out, and like I say, we've got, you know, your mat on the show as well, John. Yeah. That would be fantastic. Have a look on the website because obviously all the products on the show will be listed there as well. And obviously look for John's products with the embossing mat and also the kaleidoscope bundle plate. But I would definitely recommend getting that because I'm not being funny. You're going to get your A4 size plates in the machine, but if you get the Let's item number that. at the bottom, 719277 you have actually got the A5 bundle so then you've got the best of both you've sizes. You've got the best of everything yeah, yeah to be honest. Can you see now how that's really, you see it better on the back, can you see how it's literally just turned that corner a lot more? I don't find the necessity yeah, yeah, I don't definitely. find any necessity, but if you are going to emboss your dies, if you've got really detailed yeah. or if you love the Becca Fecan cards, yes. which I think we all do, we all aspire oh, we to those at them. times, <laughs> where she uses gold mirror card in a way we'd never do it, no. <laughs> but she embosses them and gets it beautifully. I personally, and this is not from a sales perspective, it's experience, yes. find that too thick, you'd be better with the glue mat because you're messing about changing plates. Exactly. Plus... And you've got the risk of it moving. You have. And if you're using one of the thinner embossing folders, you know, the old style... I yeah. know we're all into 3D. Yes. But I've got, like, the tied-together embossing folder, which is still my absolute favourite. From Couture, you gone. remember when that sold out and everyone begged them to make it again? I mean, I think what you get in here is a version of that. So yeah, let's standard. emboss. Let's show you how you emboss with this. But honestly, we are so, so busy. Thank you so much for being with us. The, a third of the stock of the mega monthly deal has gone. Me you will so get that right These at are some all point. new words to monthly me. These are all new deals. Deal. So bear with me, anybody. It's a month. A monthly mega deal, okay? So, honestly, fantastic deal with this one. And a third of the stock has already got, do you know what? Approaching 40% of the stock. This is how busy we are. We know Saturday morning, you've now been out, you've had your breakfasts, you're up and ready. Do not miss out on this. Get in there first. You've thought about it because it is a considered purchase. But if you are wanting one of the, you know, like when we all sit with the latest new mobile phones, we all want the latest technology. This is going to give it you, but it's taking all the old technology technology and bringing it to the front so all your dies or your old dies you know the thick ones the thin ones everything's going to go through this but now john is going to show you as well how to emboss and remember as well you've got your flexible payments on this as well if you're wanting to get that split 46.66 for your first payment today to get this little beauty home with everything else but it opens your flexi basket so if you're wanting to get your kaleidoscope a5 plate so you've got the best of having the a4 ones in there having the a5 size ones that john does as well will make the difference check out the website as well and just have a little scroll through but honestly get these while they're in stock as john said obviously it takes a while to get these back in everything is on there for you so please make sure you pop those in especially if you've got that flexi basket and get everything that you need and then it'll all arrive and you will be the happiest little craft bunny out there but you can see with this a lot of john's dies are on there as well stamps there's a little tool that's a need and there's your little bundle as well with your kaleidoscope plates so just remember if you're wanting extra metal shims pop for that in too because like you say you've got the large size one but you know the a5 the a5 size one's going to be genius to use smaller projects as well but let's do the embossing folder right, so job. no longer we should I wait. did a 3d embossing folder earlier okay. and that was base plate always remember try and keep your B on the top okay. so it was base plate folder on card and the B plate now okay. this is a traditional embossing folder that comes with it okay so I'm gonna run that through and if you can hear the noise yeah. there's hardly any alteration in the noise no which says to me straight away I've not had enough pressure in okay. there okay yeah and it, it almost eases out because there's yes. not in so when I look well, it's not very embossed, is it? No, we need embossing, no. John. But the the manual will tell you to use the black. Yeah? Yes. The manual will tell you perhaps yeah. use the black. Honestly, what will happen is that will come out of the back like it chewing just, gum. Yeah. <laughs> and it goes so long. I find that too thick. Yep. Yeah. So what I tend to do is I will use for this, for a normal folder, my metal shim my die and my folder, my glue mat, as we call it. We yeah. really should have renamed that into a shit, into sort of like a rubber shim, but... But the you know, thing is, this is all on your YouTube channel as this well, is like all you said. On there, yeah. So honestly, please go to John Lockwood's YouTube channel. You can sit when you get your machine home, open the box. Do remember as well, you can 
look catch up and thank you to who else has emailed in avril avril thank you so much for your message it does mean a lot and we've had we've had paula but as well we've see? had a little message will the clido bundle work on the cutting boss i don't know okay you have more experience of that than me because i didn't get on with um, we, we had this discussion say... earlier and it's gone very quiet because I didn't get on with it. Yeah, and I loved it. <laughs> uh, and, and, and Dawn loved it. And this is the difference in demonstrators. Right. But I'm gonna... There's so many combinations in there, I'm not sure, but it might do with the base, the five, the three and the three. Right. I'm going to put this out there, okay. With the cutting emboss, you could actually use the go-foil machine through it. Right. With a single, you know, the clear plate that was with it. Yeah. So I would have thought with those, you should that should you work. You should yes. be able to put it through. I'm, yeah, I would have, I would have said so on, you know, being yeah. honest. But if not, obviously you can return it to us. It's not a problem. You have got your returns policy as well, so you can return it too. But I would have thought so, John. I you? would think so. Yeah. yeah. But I again, I, I don't want to give it. But can you see there? We'll have a we'll have a play. We'll, we'll have, have a to have a play. But you see there, that's the emboss. Now, this is obviously a normal embossing folder, and I've done it on black, which is not great for the TV. But I've got all of that emboss. But look emboss. how deep it is. But look how crisp that is on a standard embossing folder. Yeah. Yeah, that on a standard embossing folder. So all I've used is the base, the mill, and the rubber mat. And that's, that's what it. makes the difference. So what I love about it is everything that everyone's asked so far... The answer's been yes. Yes. Because there's a combination, and I would say 90% of the yeses are just using the equipment that comes with it. That's it. You're not having to buy extra. And as I said, you know, the big thing for me was being able to get this little Tim Holtz. I don't even know what this one does. But that's what I mean, because, because normally... Because I've never been able to cut it no, before. No, because normally, if you've got the big A4 plates, it's the time it takes to go through. If you get John's kaleidoscope plates, and I have to say, we are so, so busy on the kaleidoscope plates as well. A lot of the stock of these have gone too, because a lot of you are putting this in. Half the stock of that bundle are now actually going, so make sure you do not miss out. Item number is on the bottom of the screen, if you want to check those out. It's 719277. So we're going to do that. Now, I know we're going to do this, John, but then afterwards, can we just take it back to basics and show everybody yep. basically what they're going to get and how they're going to use well, it? This is my favourite bit to show you. That's fine. This is a value. This is a die that is literally less yep. than three inches wide. Yep. With two clear plates. Yeah. Going through, not breaking, not doing anything. No. So... Can can you run that through? I mean, I don't know. Could you run through that through the other machine that you've got? No, it wouldn't not, work. Not at all. It would not, not at work. All. Not even that way would it work. No, it's not possible. And because the sensors is... in it, the plates would tip. They'd hit the sensors, and then it wouldn't work. Yeah, exactly. So I've got this scroll cut work now in mount board. Oh wow! Cut. I've never cut this before. I, I bought it like we all do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took it out of the packaging. It's down here this morning, but I had to take it out of the packaging. That's gorgeous. Because literally, it had got the price on the front. <laughs> so it says John matching, hiding the price. But basically, that was ten ninety nine. I wasted on the die I've never used. Um, wow. But that's what we do for Tim Holt stuff sometimes. This but is it to make it work. What so... we're going is so what I've tried to show you, yep. and what I've tried to go through is, so you get in your machine. Yes. Yeah. Your basic. Everything you need to do to die cut, to all your thin dies, everything we have, yep. up to A4 in size, yeah? Yep. Up to all the different dies, everything you need is included. So you get your A plate, you get your B plate, you get your C plate, yep. you get your metal shim, yeah? Yep. So you get your metal shim, which is not very good because it's reflecting my chins. Stop yeah. it. Uh, I, I, look, I'm, you know, I'm not, look, come on, there's at least three Stop there. It. Yeah, you get your embossing mat. Yeah. Okay. You're going to get two really nice embossing folders. This is a version of Tied Together, and if you've yep. been in the craft industry... You'll know. Or you've been a crafter for years, you'll know that everyone was fighting over these. I saw one of these in A4 go on eBay for £60 <gasps> at the height. I'm not surprised. And that's literally no smack. You get 30 dies. So if you've never die cut before, yeah? Yep. You can... All you've got to do is understand on and off... And there's a, there's a leaflet that yeah. comes, and it's a leaflet. It's Run. not a manual, it's a leaflet. And reverse. Yeah. No stop, no pause, no warning, no nothing. All you need to add 
is card and glue. Wow. That's all you need. That's, That's the only thing that doesn't come in the box. Plug it in and it goes. There are lots of different combinations we can use. Okay. But what I was trying to show through this show is we can cut and we can emboss with it. Can. But remember, we can cut now all the dyes we've ever bought yep. from any company from the beginning. Unless, if, as long as they go through that aperture, we can cut them. Okay. Yep. Every dye from the beginning of dyes, full stop. Wow. Even the aqua quilts, even the original Sizzix. Yep. You can put through here both of your foiling machines that are on the market. Yep. Yeah, so both of those will go through. Incredible. You can put through your Kaleido plates. You can put through your Cuttlebug plates. You can put through your Heartfelt Creations flower moulds. And all the different mediums and you can cut as well. And all the different mediums and all the different types. So literally, that on your desk with that, maybe you might have to add an extra 3 mil plate for some. Yep. Maybe you want to go for the extra plates. But with that, you can basically cut, emboss and do anything that any other die cutting machine can do, including anything that any die cutting machine can do that may have come out in the last few weeks. There's nothing new in there. If this you is actually, all, it's almost future proof. And if you look on the market as well, there isn't, as we call, a wide mouth machine. There isn't a lot of them out there nowadays. You have a look and compare, because that's what we do as crafters. But to have a machine that has got a wide mouth, that will take a foiling machine, that will take the thick dies, that will take the thin dies, that's three different types of things it will do already. Yeah. This is what we're talking about. And like I said to you, it's like buying a multifunctional, you get a mixer, but you with the big mixer, you're getting a dough hook, you're getting a bread hook, you're getting all the extra bits with it. This machine has got all yeah. the extra bits with it. Looks amazing, and that's what it's about. Now, honestly, I have to tell you this, over 40% of this stock has already gone. It's only the 5th of February today. Just let me check. 5th of February today, and honestly, this is the monthly mega deal. The stock's supposed to last a full month already. And already, is it? what was it we've got to? Over 40% of the stock has this machine has now gone. Bear in mind, you're getting your plates, you're getting instruction manual. As obviously John was showing you, the dies and the embossing folder. A lot of you are making the conscious decision to upgrade your machines right now. And obviously for 4666 on your three split payment, on your flexi buy, you can do that as well. But if you want to just do the one out payment today of 139.99, you can do that also. Saving £10 on this special monthly deal. But honestly, if you you're wanting one of the machines, like I would say, it's one of the Rolls Royce. Everything inside it is metal construction. Yes, it is weighty. You've got the non-slip feet on the bottom. Comes with a cable as well. Everything is on there, but just incredible, isn't it? It, it really is. It makes me think of, and I know we're not allowed to say brand names, so I'm not going to say KitchenAid on air at all. Um, but I have a certain mixer at home that yep. has been going for over 30, 40 years. Yeah. And it has never been bettered. And people keep bringing out new ones and yep. new bringing out. And every single one of, them, one of us that cooks or attempts to cook all go back to that one yes. original machine. And this reminds me of that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to actually try and sort of do something new. I'm going to actually try and do the best I can with the one I've got it. So, what I'm going to do is, I want to show you, the, the one thing on here that I absolutely love, and this to me is almost a test, and I really, it's sort of finishing on this, but this is a test of what I do um, when I'm trying out a new machine. Okay. So this is one of my dies, and this is a die that has emboss lines in it to fold on. Okay. Yeah? Now, a machine has to be good, and the pressure has to be right. It's not all about the pressure being massively high, what I need to make sure is that the lines on here that are supposed to cut will cut. The lines on here that are supposed to emboss will emboss but not cut through. That's it hitting all yeah. the points. So you look on here, you can see there's no difference on the back between what's a cut line and what's not. No. And this is, this is one of the first things I test any machine with. How does it handle a die that's got emboss and fold lines in it? Okay. It's not like an electronic die cutting machine. Yeah. So with an electronic die cutting machine, it cuts a dotted line. But get this one out because I've got to be very quick because I've got that horrible feeling. I've got like less than two minutes almost left. We have. We haven't got long. We haven't got long but, now, John. So this piece comes out. But what? Look there. Okay. There is my fold line. No spoon wow. scorer. Yeah. There are my other two fold lines. 
There's the detail. Clear and crisp. Not cut through. But the cut lines have cut, the embossed lines have embossed. I don't have to bother with an embossing mat. Yep. And so I know that machine's right because the pressure's right to cut, but also is not too much to cut the lines that aren't supposed to cut. That's and it. that to me is so important. It is, because how many times have you put a piece of cardstock through and it, the embossed lines, the pressure's been too much, it's actually punctured the cardstock, so then it's wasted. Or you're having to glue two together to get the effect that you want. But as you can see, this fantastic go, go, foil, go power and embossed machine has obviously been endorsed by John himself. Obviously he's collaborated with him to make extra plates in different sizes and things like that to give you the best effects every single time you use this but do remember this is your monthly mega deal you're saving some 10 pound today with this one we have got it available on three of the flexi buys as well as 40 46.66 but incredible value if you're wanting to get this machine now i have to say a huge thank you to mr john no thank you miss wheeler when are you back um, three o'clock today three o'clock and then i'm back on at seven o'clock with an amazing warehouse clearance sale Ooh. honestly you want to be just checking for that. It's the last one we're ever going to do. That's it. So fantastic. Don't miss out on John's show. You know they're going to be amazing. I'll be back at one o'clock for my final show with you. And thank you to everybody who's emailed in and welcome me to the craft store. So thank you to everybody as well. But we've still got lots and lots of extra things coming up this hour. But the main thing that we need to tell you about this one, check out the website. Make sure you check out your machine because it's not yours till you check out. All the plates are there if you're wanting to get them. But make sure you check out on the phone lines or on the website to make sure that you get everything that you need glues tapes and more is available there for you as well and like i say it wouldn't be crafting if we didn't have the right piece of kit to do the job this machine is going to give you all that detail all that pressure that you need so this is the cure couture creations go power and emboss machine so thank you for joining me this hour it's been fantastic and then everybody will be taking over the next hour And here we go. Now, next for you is the Pink Frog One Day Special. Next, we've got the collection of Dart Cross Stitch and then the Crafty Kitchen later. Make sure you join us then. Exciting news. For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognize businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honored to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 the craft store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows. Stamparama, the incredible art, stamp and paper craft show will be taking place in the Grand Hall Newcastle Racecourse on Sunday the 13th of February. Come along and meet many of the UK's most dedicated and gifted craft experts, all available to inspire you with their knowledge and expertise. Tickets are available to purchase in advance from the craft store for only £4. So, what are you waiting for?
Well, when you are looking for card, you cannot do better than Pink Frog Crafts. That's what it's all about. It's about card, it's about memories, it's about making sure that you enjoy preserving those amazing photographs and all those amazing experiences in a way that is going to last for a long time. We are talking about acid and lignin free, we are talking about memory books, and we are actually talking about building up those albums from scratch from just 12 by 12 pieces of car stock but that we know it's gonna be an incredible quality and durable now the lady who has devised the whole system uh, for paying for crowds the one that it kind of has made it sure that we can create incredible mm -hmm. beautiful elements and pages in here is Don McFay who is joining us hello how are you hello hello how are you I'm very well Good. now I love the way that from plain pieces of card, you kind of get something that is incredibly interactive. Yes, very interactive. And incredibly personalized, uh, personalizable. Yes. The thing is, these can go for any occasion. Yes, they're interactive. Yes, they're useful. As a crafter, I want things that are useful. So let's get those photos out of these shoe boxes if you've acquired old photos like I have, or off your phones. But it doesn't always have to be photographs. It can be anything. It's anything of your memorabilia or, or that you want to keep, you want to document, and how better way to have them displayed. It just looks absolutely it stunning. It does. And also the other thing with, with memory albums, um, you know, like I have been scrapbooking for quite a, uh, some time and the joy of whatever life brings you, keeping preserving those memories, those days, those pictures, those experiences, yes. that's invaluable. Now, the way that how it works is that we are getting enough here, to, uh, but we have got three different options in terms of the color. So we have got the all white, the all black, or the black and white. But what, one of the first things that we are going to notice is the white is, has got texture. It has. It's not our true white. So if um, you could just come down to the desk here. I've just got a selection here of the pink frog ink or the pink frog white that we do. So we've got our watercolour card. Yeah. So you know that's got that sort of bobbly texture. And that and is acid and lignin free. And also it has got that kind of almost warm white, I would say, yes, slightly so warm white. Yep. This is it. If you look at them as they are, you'll see these the super smooth at the moment is not acid and lignin free. I say at the moment, okay, the true white. When we say pink frog and we say true, we're talking about the fact that it's acid and lignin free is true. Yeah. But then we bring in the new baby. Ah. The true bright white linen. Mm -hmm. Now, to try and see the texture isn't always easy. It is there. And it's not like um, a lined linen. Yeah. It's What I can describe is it looks more like fabric. Yeah. So I've got a sheet here. I'm going to be quite frivolous here. I've got a nice big sheet of the A4. And what I want to do is I'm going to take, let's take chip sapphire. And I just want to ink it, just so you at home can really see what this is doing. Because we can see it here, but it's trying to get it across to you at home, the lovely texture that's on here. So I'm just going to literally, lightly, stroke my ink pad mm -hmm. down so you can see <coughs> all the texture that's coming up. Now, hopefully now, you can, you see can it, actually yeah. see it, because I can see it on there, but it's... I don't think you guys at home can, but when you do that with that ink pad, that brings that out. But it's very subtle. It's not all in one, one line. It, it's crossways. It's more like a piece of fabric, really. It is. It is that kind yes. of weave, uh, you know, woven weave. Yes, <coughs> no, definitely. Definitely. But a little cold, so that kind of uh, it kind of comes <laughs> in in the wrong time. Uh, it's absolutely phenomenal the 12-inch memory folio that you can see on on there. Uh, now, the, the option that we have got in front of you, and this is the most popular one, is of course the mix option. Now you have got the white and the black mixed in in there. All of it is acid and lignin-free, which of course, as Donna has explained, you wanted to have uh, a, a longevity. Three quarters of the stock of the mixed pack has gone 
the other options it will be just in black uh, or just uh, and then or the just through uh, uh, white linen now the uh, you whichever option you're gonna get you're gonna get 60 sheets in total so you can choose whether it's 60 of white or 60 of black or 30 of white 30 of black if it makes any sense uh, and also when I'm, I'm thinking I used to buy a car stock, a 12 by 12 car stock, as you know, kind of from a wholesaler. And I used to buy them in sets of 25s. You know, that's it. Mm. I was paying more than that. You, yes, this is really good value for money. And the thing as well I want to let you know is some of you may have been going over on the Pink Frog website. Yeah. This isn't on there yet. This, this linen is that new. We do the white, the true white and true black memory mm. folios on there. But this is new. This is the true linen. So this is new and this is what we want to tell you. So don't get confused with seeing just white and black card and thinking, oh, that's the one. It's white and black. Yeah. Because they're, as we know, there's different whites yeah, and absolutely. there's different card stocks. Uh, indeed it is. And of course, you have got there that ability to build them. Now, let's talk uh, also car making. I mean, this is a, a one, the one thing. I mean, it comes with the instructions, but uh, if you cut it, cut it in half, you have got a six by six uh, car blank. So it would be 120 uh, car yes. blanks. So that's 18 pence per uh, car blank with that beautiful texture as well and mm. the true black. But also I'm thinking, um, I remember doing this with 12 by 12s. I kind of devised all the different ways that you can do three by six, you can do six by fours yeah. as well. So there is so many, so many folds, so many different ways. There, there is, you know, this is it. You're right. This is really good value for money. And yeah. you know how everything at the moment is going up in yeah, price. Absolutely. So this one day special price is absolutely amazing. Indeed it is. And right, of course. And now when we look at the flag high, we're thinking that's amazing value for money. We look at the sample, we think this is incredible, but how do we go from here to here? Well, you have done all the work for us, haven't We've you? We've got it all there, yes. <laughs> so, uh, now there is the instructions, but not just the instructions, is there? No, not just the instructions. So in your kit, you're going to get your written instructions that are step by step, mm -hmm. but you're also going to get a chart that is your scoring and cutting guide as well. Wow. Uh, have you got one there? Yeah, there it is. That, that one there. there. Yeah. Okay, we have it here. So you're going to get your scoring and cutting guide. And this is really important, you know. And what I like to do is I get all my black card stock first and I cut it to all the, the sizes that are on the guide. And then I do all my score lines. Yeah. And then I get all my white, or I've, I've, as I've put on there, papers, different colour card stock. Mm -hmm. And I do the same. I get it all cut mm -hmm. ready. It is uh, incredible. I love that way that of having the scoring lines and the cutting lines uh, measurements. But this mm -hmm. is incredible. I mean, l the interactive nature of this, the the way that everything falls and falls in there. There's so many possibilities. I mean, this is an incredible. Um, you know, this is left blank. Can we make to sell? If they're made complete, yes. So, for instance, if we made, like, for instance, I made this for somebody with wedding pictures, for instance. Yes. How, how beautiful. Can you imagine to make this? I mean, I think this could be a commission. Uh, yeah, could be absolutely stunning. And I love the way as well that it feels solid. It feels durable. It exactly. feels sturdy. We don't want to take away your creativity. With that one, Heather's just used the black and white cardstock. But she's used dyes she's got at home. She's used the pink frog stamps. And this is the nice thing. You've got your dyes at home. You've got your stamps. You know, we're not taking away the creativity. Every time I decorate these, I do them in a totally different way, and this is the nice thing about them. They, they just keep giving every time, and you get more ideas every time that you do it. You think, oh, I'm going to try that this time. And, you know, this one here with the adding memorabilia, you can adjust it to what you want. I haven't put the waterfalls in, but I've used the waterfall mechanism to put all the telegrams. Wow. So this is where you can make it your own. This is where wow. you can... You know, this can be your special project. 
And I, I, you know, this is very important to have acetamine and flip for all those heirlooms because uh, there is nothing worse than to preserve this very incredible, uh, you know, heirlooms of being the telegrams for your wedding and things like that, or somebody's wedding, and then not being able to kind of not have to witness the decay of the acid and you know, kind of exactly. corroding. And as well as there you have it. Now, of course, you have got a five pound saving, twenty one pounds and forty nine pounds. Remember, you are getting six. 60 of them. Now, the next option is the most popular option. Over three quarters of the stock has gone. And by mix, we mean that you are getting 30 of the true black, 30 of the true uh, bright white linen. Now, you may think, well, I'm just more of a white person. I prefer to use, you can go for that option, all white, true linen. Uh, so you are getting 60 white, or you can go for the true black, which is uh, the all 60 black. I am in two minds whether I would go for the mix or for the true black. Because I do like the true black. Mm. Now, remember that even if you are not a freedom member and you want to save um, on PMP, if you are two in the basket, so for instance, if you're like me that you cannot decide, you want to go for the mix and then the black, because I know that the black, it will be amazing for uh, our journaling and things like that. You can do that. It's one item number. Uh, so therefore, it's one P and P. And it's 21 pounds and 49 pence for one of them. Uh, 016533 is your item number. Now, we have got also the uh, 40 of the, uh, the 40 white, 40 bl uh, black of the 10 and a half by 30. But again, uh, this is a true linen, isn't it? That is true linen ag again. So, on, you know, on the counter there, you know from Pink Frog, whatever size of card you're going to get cut. Yeah. Every time, each different pack, they're all going to be the same because it's all cut in-house. So okay. you know it's going to be, if it's true white in that size, it's going to be exactly the same as the true white in the bigger size. So that mm. means that you have got the element in here. Let me show you the, all the folds in as well. I love that you give us always the folds, the, you know, yes. because that makes life so much easier. <laughs> it does. And the, why we've put this one on the show is, yes, you've got all your folds in there, which you're going to get with your instructions. That's absolutely fine. But that cardstock marries very well with the 12 by 12 ah. folios so we can use it for all the extra die cutting we want to do of rather course. than using those big sheets of 12 by 12 yeah. you know the black and white album there we can use that for our die cutting we can use it for our photo mats i've even used it for the waterfall element in the in the um, albums to save my 12 for 12. Absolutely, well. <laughs> and of course you are getting 18 total, which is like some pe some people uh, would think, oh, is this is like kind of the leftovers. Oh no, this is no, no. for me would be that the kind of uh, essentials there that you would have. Uh, six seven seven three five uh, six is your item number. Eleven ninety nine for 80. 40 of the true black, 40 of the true linen. Now t nearly two thirds of the stock of the white uh, linen card uh, has gone so if you want yours you know what to do get your order in and check out those baskets um, now a4 true bright linen yes we need it in our lives you do I, I mean I've really enjoyed using this I mean it takes the inks beautifully but I also did have a little play I'll yeah. bring it down here I've actually used it for my alcohol pens right and i thought i'm gonna try it yes. i'm gonna see if it works it might yeah. not work it might work i thought i'm going to give it a go okay. and i was blown away with how beautifully they blended there's no bleeding it just looks absolutely stunning and i've also i put this next to it this is a, um, one of the flowers, the chrysanthemum. Oh, this time gorgeous. I've used the watercolour pencils, yeah. but I haven't put water on it. I've just used the pencils. So you can see the texture of the linen card coming yeah. through. But with a paper stump, 
you can just blend those with a paper stamp and I again see. it were honestly I've been absolutely blown away with them so there is so many techniques that we can and, and, and having that texture it almost like looks like it's a canvas you have a yes. stamp into a canvas rather yes. than onto paper and you can see in here I love how it, the dragging of the ink it looks like wood grain as well it does look like wood grain but it just shows that linen effect off you know but we can we can use all our we can use our brushes we can use our sponges this is going on a bit thicker so even if you went for that white pack where you've yeah. got 60 sheets of the white yeah. just add in your ink pads now straight away go to your ink pads and tell me how many ink pads you've got at home wow. because I have never counted them that's far the sky is the limit yeah. so straight away with the white alone you can you know combine the two and you can turn your project into any color you want yeah, absolutely incredible. Uh, now this works out at uh, thirty pence per sheet. In there, eleven ninety nine is your price. You are getting forty of them. But your one day special, you are getting sixty uh, of the twelve by twelve, so that you are getting that extra element in here. If you know what I mean, you get basically a little bit like this that's actually how much more extra you are getting, and then you are getting twenty more sheets, and then so it works out. 36 uh, pence per you stay up you know <laughs> you just want to go down anyway all uh, right uh, 737 243 is your item number uh, now if you want to go for the one day special remember it works out at 36 pence per sheet but of course it's the 12 by 12 which is of course the extra large size now the starter kit uh, we have got in, in here now if you are one of those people that you thinking I don't like maths I don't like to look at numbers I don't like measuring uh, I want it all pre-cut for me we have got the kit the here for you 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price 60% of the stock has gone already you are getting the 12 mil red liner which is the equivalent of five uh, say, sorry six five meter rolls so you are getting 30 meters in there. Now, Dawn, why, wh for whom you recommend this kit then? Right, we bought this one out for someone that wants to dip their toe in the water. Okay, so it's a, it's a starter kit, that's what we've called it. So, in house, we've already cut the card for you in the sizes. So, all you've got to do is you're scoring yeah. and sticking together. And that's, that's as easy, easy as, as it is. And I think it's a great idea if you are like, uh, you know, a bit of a, a bit of scared or you don't get on with a guillotine or a trimmer. This would be absolutely perfect for you. Now, it makes one book for £19.99. And and Remember the one day special for just, uh, you can see it at the bottom of the screen. So one pound fifty more, you can make two books out of that, so minimum. So. If you are more frugal, you can make more than two. The fact of the matter is if you prefer something that guides you through in the sense of you don't have to pre-cut anything, this one would be the one to go for. 880898 is your item number. And this is the pre-cut folio. And finally, we have got the masket. Now, the masket is uh, the incredible... I love this mask here because it's it's you can stamp on it. It's like almost like washi tape in a in a piece of paper, right? It is. I mean, this is it. Mask it is acid and lignin free. So yeah. you saw in the earlier show that you yeah. can make your own mask it, which is marvelous. So you can use your stamps. You know, you can use your ink. So everything ties up together in your project. So not only can you use it for doing like your masking as you would in cards or where you've stamped an image you want to mask it off while you do your backgrounds, but you can also use it, we've used it through the albums, when you've got a big sheet of 12 by 12, rather than wasting your ink, just like I'm gonna be doing here, putting your mask it on means I'm not wasting ink where I don't need ink because I'm gonna put photos in those places and the lovely thing about mask is you don't just use it once if you see here I've been using yeah. these several times and you'll literally keep using it until the stick goes it lasts Absolutely. ages yeah. Yeah. that's a very good idea as well uh, 9.99 is your price for 10 of them 976569 is your item number uh, you will find them of course on the website at craftstore.com but 
but also there is lots of changes, aren't they? Uh, now, of course, um, you may not know or you may know that the craft store acquired a Create and Craft and now we are one big family. And there is some changes ahead, absolutely exciting. We are all very, very looking forward. And this is what, how it's going to happen um, very, very soon. So let's have a look. Perfect. So that will be the free view 85 that you get from the 25th of February. So that will be the Create and Craft. Uh, right. And now let's have a look at the one day special. So we have got those three different options. But uh, now we want to see it. How do we decorate it? How do we assemble it? So, John, what, how are you going to start the demonstration? Then? Right. I'm going to finish off or yeah. I'm going to carry on where we were on the last show. So if you haven't seen that, you can press, you know, rewind and watch it there. So on the last show, we did the main construction all up to the left hand side. So what I'm going to do actually, before we start, let's decorate this side. So, you know, we've got the covers now. I'm going to do those last, I think. So we're going to open this up. And if I bring in this album here, I can explain to you what part of the album I'm doing, because it's always nice to see it as a visual. So the first things I'm going to stick down is this pocket area here. OK, so let me just move that out of the way <laughs> Okay. in good fashion. So I've got my covers and that there, so I'm not going to have those just yet. I'm wanting that element and that element. And you see how I'm all ready. So I've got my cardstock all cut ready yep. to size and this is the pocket. So in the main construction you're going to stick your yeah. bottom flat down but we didn't stick the sides right. down because I want to put that in first. Right. So on this piece of um, linen I've used um, the weathered wood and I use the distressed, oh no I didn't, I use faded jeans, I do, I do tell a fib, I yeah. use faded jeans. Okay. So, and then stamping with the faded jeans as well. I'm going in with the EVA. Which is the glue, that, it is acid uh, free, isn't it? It's acid free, yeah, acid and lignin free. So everything we're keeping, it means everything's going to be kept and preserved in the correct way. So I'm just lining this up. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this in the middle. Okay. So I'm just yep. eyeballing so I've got each side. And then with my bone folder, I do like to just push the glue right. into the fibres yep. of the paper. OK. So now you've got your pocket. Now we can stick our pocket down with glue. Right. And I know not everybody likes to use glue. So, and I'll put it in a really safe place. <laughs> oh, a safe place that is My red liner to tape. <laughs> oh, well, would you look for that? So I'll give the details of the EVA glue. Uh, 225 mil, uh, 13 pounds and 99 pence is your price for it. Uh, 538-442. Uh, I know people like Hazel and, of course, Julie Hickey love that glue. It is an incredible glue. Uh, and also the red liner tape bundle. 3 millimeters, 6 millimeters, 9 millimeters meters and 12 millimeters 120 meters in total 13 pounds and 99 pence is your price for them and remember is the equivalent of 24 rolls and then we have got the color glue photo glue gel now I know that our Adon loves this one so I'm gonna ask her in a second 11.97 for a set of three now the the, the color photo glue is that the one that you use for the pictures then, the photos that we put? You can use it for photos, but not just for photos. You can use it for your memorabilia as well. Oh, so fabulous. what I'll do is we'll do a bit more of this, yes. and then I'll show you Perfect. a demonstration Absolutely. with that. Yeah. Is that okay? Absolutely. So I've just used some red liner tape for the pocket this time. <laughs> the nice thing is your red liner tape is acid and lignin free as well. It's just the, ca the backing that isn't. So some mm -hmm. people prefer tape. Some people prefer glue. What I wouldn't use is your normal double-sided tape. Okay, yeah. If you're going to use any double-sided tape, use the red one because it's extra strong. Yeah. So that's what I would do. Yeah. When I put it on, I always like to burnish it. Yeah. 
you'll see it change colour yes. and what this is doing is it's pushing the glue into the fibres of the paper and this is really important because by pushing it into the fibres of the paper this is what's going to make your construction of your projects stand the test of time so you can see that colour changing can't you yes and also you will notice that by doing that it is a lot easier to pull away okay uh, yeah. so you can just bring that off there and bring that off there so this is our big pocket right okay so we can just push that down and because I've used the double-sided tape well I would with any adhesive even if I was using the wet glue I would still give that a burnish right. and then this time I've created I've used my mask it yeah. okay so I've used my mask it to save me over inking yeah. you know what you don't need to waste your ink and it also gives a place particularly if you're going to make these to sell yeah. or to give us gifts yeah. the person that's receiving it knows that that's where they're going to put their photographs Absolutely. so you're going to make the most so what you're going to do is you're going to match up the sides yeah okay so that all matches up and then just push that down mm -hmm. okay now I've cut I've done lots of fussy cutting of the flowers okay yeah but I'm not going to put those on yet we'll put those on right later at the end. Yeah, yeah. At the end, yeah yeah so let's move on so I've got the next page here I'm going to and move do we that. have to like um, because I'm uh, some per so, uh, person that does a little bit now, a little bit later, a little bit. So would you be to, would I be able to say put the first few pages, the spine and everything, and then go as I go? Yes, yes. I mean, this morning yeah. um, with dawn, I, I constructed this side, yeah. and then during I've decorated. So we haven't done this side yet. Yeah. And the nice thing is, with your instructions, it's in step by step. So by having it in step by step, you know, you can even mark it off with a pencil. Yeah. I would recommend laminating your instructions because okay. at home in my craft room, yeah. they do get a bit messy with sprays and inks and dirty yeah. fingers and things like that. But what you can do is you can sort of mark off where you are, if not. This, that's the other mm, nice thing absolutely. you can do. By the way, we are 80% of the stock of the mix option. Remember, you can go for the all black or all white. So basically, if you go for the mix, mix uh, option, you're getting 30 of the true white linen, to a 30 of the true black. But if you wanted 60 of the true black or 60 of the true linen, those options are also available. But remember, 80% of the mix option has now gone back to done I love I mean EVA is one of those glues that is just less is more isn't it it is you can see I'm not soaking my yeah. paper with the glue you don't need to you're right I always say less is best a little goes a long way it's a very good sturdy glue you are not going to be disappointed with this it dries super quick as well yeah which I just love so, you know, yes, you, yeah, you haven't got much wiggle room. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's, I like that from a, a white adhesive. You want that strong bond. And I love how uh, Hazel has shown us that glass it will, uh, you know, will hold oh, glass and so many yes, more. Yes, it sticks all oh, sorts. Awesome. It's yeah. absolutely amazing. Yeah. It and is. ultimately, for me, it's because you are building memory albums, it's all about that acid-free glue. It is. And you know, you're... Yes. you're you're on that road as Absolutely. well, aren't you? <laughs> I was, it's funny because it, it happened when I was a teenager that I put, did some drawings and I put them on the back of my wardrobe. Oh, not in the back, on the back of the door. And I put tape or other tapes are available. And it completely, the acid within a year, it ruined those drawings. Yes. That, from then on, and I was maybe 13, 14, since then I've been obsessed with acid-free adhesives. Yes, exactly. You, honestly, it's the right thing. It is. So what we'll do is I'll do this section yeah. and then we're going to have a look at that photo yeah, perfect. glue. Yeah. Definitely. So here I've just got, this is what I'm saying about don't be daunted by a large yeah. sheet of 12 by 12, okay? Because this is the background for my big card element. Yeah. So all I've done is literally drag my little mini ink pads around yes, there. Absolutely. You haven't got to overthink yeah. it because... You know, have fun mm. with it, you know, enjoy it. This is the nice thing about it. So I'm going to stick 
some little words around the side so I'm going to go in with my precious poppies because mm. this is it we've got we've got all these things yeah. that make we yeah. use for card making Absolutely. but they all cross over yeah. so let's pick out precious memories so I've used my distress ink okay so now I'm then going to go in with another oh. ink so I've just positioned that in my platform yeah and I think oh I'll tell you what I'm gonna go in with my oxide and Ooh, I'm gonna yes, go in I like the oxide yeah, yeah so let's this is it we're mixing all these ink yeah. pads up so I'm going in with the oxide and I've got faded jeans yeah okay so we're just gonna press that down yeah now that's a lovely that's just stamped beautifully if you're using your distress inks I would ah, say that yeah. sometimes you have to do what I call a double stamp yeah. but when you've got a platform it's not a problem is it yeah. no it's it makes it so much easier I mean kind of almost if you make a mistake it doesn't matter because you can go over it again exactly exactly so I'm just turning this as we go but as I said with these it's your creativity however you feel you want to decorate it we don't want to take that creativity away from you if you prefer to make your albums and just use um, pattern papers yeah feel free it's your project this is what this is all about I'm gonna restamp that because there's a bit of darker blue underneath there so I'm just going to give it a bit more uh, color yeah but you can see how quickly and and the precious uh, moments uh, memories uh, stamps are part of the precious poppies aren't they they're from the precious poppies which yes. we have also I have to showcase this amazing stamp, uh, you know beautiful album now this is what I'm done with true brown but you can see the gorgeous poppies as well and they make a perfect uh, accomplishment uh, kind of compliment to the incredible memory album if you want to go for the true brown and true ivory uh, as well folio said we have got the details at the bottom of the screen uh, 2646 for those ones however if you want the puppies we have them there 14 pounds and 95 pence that's the price for the precious puppies in there as well, which is an incredible stamp set as you can see we have our, also a die set that matches beautifully the set is nine dice 12.99 is your price three four nine four six four is your item number um, right, those ones are the precious puppies, but the precious done is here. So let's kind of come right. with the precious demonstration. So I'm sticking this one down. Okay. I'm going to go around that way, I think. Yeah. So again, just with my glue. Yeah. And you'll notice there's nothing in the middle because this is then where we're sticking the next yeah. element down, which is our the big flat card if you right. like yeah. so to decorate that i use the pearly wink sprays okay yeah okay so again bringing in something else that you can use now with the pearly wink sprays yeah just stick to what i call the flat colors right okay yeah any of them that have got the sparkling you know the, the mica they are not acid and lignin free okay yeah. so we have looked into that with the uh, the fellas down at Pearly Winks, they've oh, been yes. really good to, uh, are. to let Adam us know. Simon. Simon. Because I yes. saw Hazel using the Pearly Winks and I thought, oh, they'd be fantastic with the memory books yes. because, of course, I can cover a big Absolutely. space in a short time. But and this is the way I love a spray as, uh, sprays as well. Uh, a short amount of time, lots of us. Big color, impact. You know? yeah. Yes, big impact. We like but that. I needed to know if it was going to be right for the books. Yes. I know it sounds um, a bit over the top, but yes. But, but that, this is why, because you put your name basically into these memory books. You put your, your Don McPhee kind yes. of instructions. It's not just something that you do for a pink for crafts and it's like, well, you know, I don't care. No, no, you put your name on yes. it. Yes, yes. And it has to be right. This is it. If you're if you're putting something together, you're absolutely right. It's got to be right. This is what we want for you at home. We don't want you to make this and think, all oh, right, I'm going to use that, and then several years down the line, you've ruined an important document or anything like that. That's not what we're about. And again, I'm here now, and I'm here at four o'clock. 
So if there's any questions you've got at home, you know, if you've bought yeah. the kits in the past or you're sitting on the fence about this one, if there's any questions you want to ask, email yeah, in. Email in, of course, do. Uh, studio at thecraftstore.com. Alan has emailed in. Uh, he loves the pink frog uh, because it's amazing um, project, uh, products that make life so much easier. And he and Alan has me met you in real life, and he, he says has. that you are really lovely. I agree. Oh, bless you. And that Don explains everything very well and makes it very easy for us to follow. It, it, thank you so much, Alan. And talking about making it easy, you have got also, uh, you know, a website where we can follow you and you can, you know, yes, it's a work, paid for workshop. But you yes, know, it's just for a small amount literally price of a good cup of coffee yeah um, yes I've got uh, dawnsinspirations.com there's lots of tutorials over there uh, lots of free oh. and then some are online workshops but the nice thing about my online workshops is once you purchase them you've got them you can watch them as many times as you like as often as you like once you've got it you've got it you've not it's not a one trip pony so the nice thing is if you're a person that's not into your written instructions with Pink Frog, we've not left you high and dry. We've covered all the bases. So if you're more comfortable watching a video step by step in your time, and I do it in real time with you, you've got that facility. We're not going to leave you on your own. Uh, and I love that. So you don't have to, but if you want to, there is that as well. And remember, you have got the instructions with the written instructions and the, um, you know, the cutting and scoring guide included. So you don't have to pay any extra for these ones. It's just if you want that extra guidance into a video, there it is. Remember that in the one day special, you are getting 60 12 by 12 cards. Now, this is the thing. Like, I used to pay so much more money for that. And you are getting true black and true white linen brand new true li white linen and remember pink frog crafts does this thing which i find it incredibly um simple and a specific uh, and kind of clarified anything that has got true in it is acid and lignum free so it will be absolutely perfect for memory books why is that important is because the both acid and lignin well lignin um are kind of a li li well, a lignum degenerates with time, acid degenerates with anything that comes into uh, contact with uh, over time. So you want to preserve these beautiful wedding fo photos uh, forever. And those beautiful heirlooms. You don't want p faces going yellow. And you can see precious memories. That is how, you know, Don is using those stuffs. I love the interactiveness of this. Now, this is going to be so sturdy. Well, it is very sturdy. It's going to be the perfect looking through it as well. You have got telegrams in here. You have got beautiful pictures, color pictures. You can then color and use your musket to create incredible um, beautiful fronts of the card or inside it so if you want your one day special what you need to choose is the mixed one or the actual uh, old white or, or true white linen or the true black now if you want your one day special, the mix option, which you are getting 30 of the true black, 30 of the true linen, is 80% of the stock gone. You have got, again, the option to go for 60 of the white or 60 of the black. But if whatever your option you go is the same price and it's the same item number. Now, the white, the, remember, you are getting 60 of the true white linen. That half the stock has gone for that option. Now, you may want to add to your basket it's the musket it's a set of 10 with a perfect masking element and this is what it has been used for the cover of the um, the actual album in there now if you want to go for this uh, it's 9.99 please make sure to add it to your baskets and then check out your baskets 976-569 is your item number now I'm gonna go downstairs just one second yes sir yes uh, because <laughs> Oh, yes, gone downstairs. That's how we call it. Oh, you go downstairs. Uh, to the, to the, to the store room. <laughs> you never heard that. This is right. I'm going downstairs and grab the mallet. 
Yeah, I, lo I love that. I, I didn't expect you to laugh so much, and that's made my day. <laughs> that's just what really made my day. Uh, so you have got the Mylar, 30, uh, 350 microns, six sheets of that, 12 by 12, perfect to create your own, um, um, like a texture folder, no, sorry, not texture folders, um, stencils, uh, especially if you got the, the scan and cuts and things like that that will cut through it, and you may, you may have to go several times over it, but you will get there. 11.99 is your price limited stock which means that 90% of the stock has gone 394204 is your item number right Don where are we up to right I'm just gonna stick I made this in the earlier show oh, with perfect. Dawn yeah okay so this is now ready this can go straight into our album so Fabulous. I'll stick this down and then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you about that photo glue mm -hmm. Okay, because we have been discussing it, and don't just think it's just for your photographs, yeah. because it's not. It's for so much more. And I was wondering if you could pass me the album, um, Paula, yes. of the um, the wedding one that you've yes, got I can, there. Yes, I, I will pass it on. I'll okay. leave it here, and then you can reach for it. So I'm just... Uh, now, you will have noticed from the um, earlier show that I did with Dawn mm. that you can use, and I have used as well, the um, 10 and a half by 30 yeah. um, card blanks yeah. to do my waterfalls. Absolutely. Yep. So I've saved cutting in to that 12 by 12 because, okay. you know, as a crafter myself, yep. you know this, Absolutely. we don't like to cut into a piece of if we don't have to, and it means I can use it for something else, like an extra big wallet that I could put in the big photo Indeed, pockets, yeah. that you know, the pockets we've got there. So, let me just move that one to one side right. and bring uh, this one in. Yeah. Okay. So, let's talk photo glue. Let's find mine just here. Okay. This goes a long way. Okay, so don't be frightened of it. Don't also think you can only use it for photographs right. because it's not just for photographs. It's a bit like saying it's not just for Christmas, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> Yeah, I know, exactly. It's, uh, it's it, not just for photographs. You know, like a lot of people that view, uh, you know, watch uh, Leone doing her, uh, you know, like incredible art journals and things like this. Now, you have got all these jelly prints and you want to glue them and you want to put a picture in yeah. there or you want to... This is when this glue comes to life as well. It does. It does. And we were talking about acid and lignin free and it you're is. absolutely right. So straight away here, there's a newspaper cut in here of me when I was a little girl ah. and you can see my mum stuck it onto a bit of board yeah. with sellotape yeah, that's what and happened. what's it done? It's, it's discoloured it's, it, yeah. I can't remove it, I can't no. do anything it, to that. And it becomes brittle and really exactly. bad. Exactly, so but this is when we're talking about acid and lignin free, this is what we're talking about, okay, you don't want your things to end up like that. You know here it's all cracked where it's got, it's got yeah. damaged. Yeah. But by storing things correctly, you're going to be you're going to be there. You're going to be absolutely fine. But don't just think photographs. So let me just share these with you. I'll keep it here as the overhead. So here's a newspaper cutting. This was of my grandparents celebrating their golden wedding. Oh. So this was a newspaper cutting. Yeah. So I've actually used. The photo glue to stick my newspaper cutting yeah. down. Okay. And, and there is no wrinkling, there is no, no yellowing, no. And you can't see the glue through it either. Perfect. It's absolutely fine, no problem whatsoever. As with this little ticket, we're talking about yeah. memorabilia. This little ticket is from some photographs my dad sent in. Yeah. This is 1961. This was before wow. I was born. Yeah. So, you know, this just shows you again sticking down with the photo glue this is mulberry paper so if you're a card maker how about your mulberry paper being stuck right, down yeah. this is vellum being stuck yeah. down and of course for your photographs as well yeah why not you know this is where you're going to use it so I've got a newspaper print. I found this when yep. I've been sorting through my mum and dad's bits. This was my mum's uh, maid of honour oh, at her so wedding. Cute, yeah. And it's a newspaper cutting. She got married as well. 
1959 this is. Now, I could cut that. Yeah. But I quite like the fact it's not straight because this is where my mum or my dad has cut this out. Yeah. So if anything, I think that's more... It adds that means to, yes, more. Exactly, yeah. It's so more real. It's it real. Is. It's a real thing. Yeah. By the way, 70% of the Colel photo glue has got. It's one of those glues as well that it, uh, we are going to see it in action. You are getting three of the 100 mil. A little goes a long way. It does. And, when and it's one of those ones. That I also use it as a liquid rubber. When yes. you want to rub away some, even uh, grease finger marks, especially on the true black, it will rub them away. It it's will. just incredible. And the thing is, I mean, normally I have this stood in my craft bag up that way yeah. because you will see, I was going to look for a piece of... That's uh, a very good top tape, actually. If you don't. look yeah. here, it might show better on the black. Uh, let me piece, pick a scrap of black up. It does come out quite runny. Can you see it's quite a fluid? Uh, yeah. Quite a fluid glue. Yeah. Okay. So unlike, say, your silicon glue, where we tell you to push yeah. all the air out, you don't need to do that with this. Okay. Right. You don't need to worry about that. So it's quite a fluid glue, and that's why I have it upright. So just by adding just some to the newspaper print, yeah. I'm sticking this. This is acid and lignin free. Okay. So it's preserving. And I know my cardstock is. Yeah. So I know now, rather than having it in a plastic bag yeah. that's going to get damaged, I can preserve it on there. And I like the fact it's not yes. cut straight, personally. Absolutely. I think that looks really nice. It looks, it looks just that, that real. It's just, it's yes. just that kind of, yeah, it's just, and by the way, li nearly limited stock for the photo glue. Very busy for this. I cannot recommend it enough. Uh, Don loves it as well. And I you are getting do. three as well. It's good to have three as well, isn't it, Don? Well, this is the thing. I mean, in the show earlier today, you saw where I had had the fussy cut flowers that I've used through the album. I have actually used the photo glue to stick those down. Okay, because your 3D pads are not acid and lignin free. Okay, so I use my photo glue to stick these down. But I've used it in all these photographs. So if I just peel this back, and you're oh, probably going to yeah. think, oh, hang on, Dawn, you've made the album. Yeah. Why are you taking it off? Okay. So it's removable. It's removable. So I can just pull it back carefully. And you know, even the that has hasn't. not damaged. Yeah. It's not damaged where I've had this yeah. stuck down on here. And all you'll feel, if you rub it, you're right, it's like a gum. Yeah. And I can just rub that away. But this is not damaging my work. Are you with me? Yes. So I'm just I, using I mean, my you can finger. See it perfectly there. And then what I can do, I'm going to put this back down. But any of these mm. photographs in here, I can lift back up. It's not damaging them. So if, like me, you're archiving the family uh, photographs, yeah. and then later down the line you find another one, you think, oh, well, I should have put that one in there, really doesn't matter mm, because yeah. with this you can you know you can peel it back wow. and reposition it it does take a little bit of time to go off this isn't like your EVA that will be instant this just takes a little bit of time and sometimes with old photos I found they curl so I just put a bit of weight yeah on that them. would be perfect and yeah. then they'll be absolutely yeah. fine I mean I have to say um, it's well first of all it's limited to stock so 90% of the stock has gone I also thinking well sometimes we do with these beautiful albums and life changes with us and life changes and in a way that divorce basically that's why they were saying in my oh. ear <laughs> But no, actually, I have to say, all the scrapbooks that I made about my wedding, my aunt, my husband, ex-husband, I still have them. We have got a very good relationship. We are very good friends. I still look at them and I think, and I'm, there is no bitterness there. Well, sometimes there is a little bit of bitterness, but you know, let's move on. Now. But you can remove them if you do them. Anyway, so all wedding albums, do them with a photo glue, just in case. Just in case. Uh, right. Now, uh, Hazel Rumble uh, has sent a lovely email uh, and she's like, uh, 
Oh, by the way, the photo collal glue has now sold out. Sorry, Hazel, I will get to your email. Uh, has sold out. I think the divorce was what sold out. It was, the, you know, it's like, all right, let's move on. Yeah, like, get over it. It's, actually, it was me who left, so anyway, let's move on. <laughs> But moving on. <laughs> moving on from that. Moving on. I did. Well, I'm so here, I here. Anyway, hi, Paula and Don. I bought the brown and ivory kit a while ago. I've made a memory album for my niece's 60th birthday. I followed Don's online class and it was so easy and so full of useful information. My niece was really pleased with it. Thank you. From Hazel Rumble. Oh, how very kind. Thank you very much for, for emailing in. That's yeah. lovely. It's just nice. Yes. It's nice to know. I do it get is. some lovely comments. So, but thank you. What's the website that we need to go to? It's dawnsinspirations.com. Dawnsinspirations.com. And remember that you are getting the written instructions. So what I would do is I would get the one day special. The only option, the only op, um, kind of th thing that you have to think right now is whether you want a mixed pack of white and black. And remember, they're all true, so as in and you know, free, which is 30 of each color. Or you want it on all white, 60 in total. Or you want an uh, all black in 60 um, as well of the black ones. You are gonna get the instructions and the scoring guidelines so that means that straight away you are gonna be able to create something that is absolutely stunning. Yes of course you can go and purchase that extra uh, video uh, kind of instruction but you don't have to. Now the mix bundle with 30 of the, the true black, 30 of the white is almost limited stock. It's a protein limited to so but very close to it. So if you want to be able to create something like this with those beautiful sprays, with those beautiful waterfalls, with those beautiful interactive pavers, I really like it, doesn't it? It's just beautiful. Look at that. And of course, uh, Dawn show us how to do that at 8 a.m. with Dawn, the other one on. And you can see so much what the Americans call real estate for your pictures and memories. Mm. Memories. And uh, 21 pounds and 49 pounds is your price. You're saving five pounds. If you cannot make a decision, you can go for multiple options if you want it. 016-533 is your item number. Now, because we are kind of celebrating the arrival of true bright white linen car, so uh, to add uh, uh, the pink for crafts a bundle, we have got here the 10 and a half by 30 uh, in centimeters in both black and white. So here you are getting 40 of the black, 40 of the white. And that means that you can have, um, well, you will have the instructions, uh, all the card folds, uh, for, for also the frame cards and there as well, photo mats as well. But what about, let's have a look, frame card. What about little A6 memory book? So this is incredible. Like, like Lottie said in my ear, a little brag book. And you know, it's just the one that you have got in your handbag and you can want, you want to brag of your grandchild or uh, children or your children or your mom or whatever, you can show it and then like, look, I'm bragging. Anyway, so nearly three quarters of the stock has gone. It's 11 pounds and 99 pence. If you are a car maker, this is a complete Neat. It's a must because you score it down the middle and it's the landscape A6. It will fit on an A66 uh, envelope as well and it's perfect for the matting and layering and to create, for instance, these elements in here. Can you see that? They the place the photo here and this. This is perfect because you don't want to go into an A4 or even a 12 by 12 to cut those bits. So if you want yours brand new today, 11 99 is your price. 677-356 is your item number. Now the A4, very, very, very busy for this one because it gives us that ability to, maybe you are thinking, I love the 12 by 12, but I want to have extra, again, matting and layering. Now this is 300 GSM, by the way, we haven't spoken about how beautifully, uh, you know, the weight of it is. 11.99 is your price for 40% of, uh, 40%, 40 sheets of A4, but you are, uh, but we are very busy for the is over half the stock has gone and it will take those beautiful colors incredibly well and it will be those gorgeous uh, textures in there 737243 is your item number 
Remember to, that add them to your order, add them to your baskets, especially with the one day special. And then you have got the, exactly the same card with that beautiful white, with a beautiful linen texture, as well as knowing that it's acid and lignin free. And then we have uh, uh, the pre-cut memory book. I think, I think this is a fabulous bundle. This is a bundle that comes in with a 12 mil uh, red liner tape. Remember, this is the equivalent of six of the five meters because you are getting 30 meters of red liner tape, 12 mil in width. But you are getting every single element that you need pre-cut to create the spine, to create the folds as well. And then with this one, you can make one album. Now this is a one album with the true bright white and the true uh, black as well. One album in total for 19 pounds and 99 pence. But remember the one day special for a pound and a half more, you can make two, a minimum of two. Nearly limited the stock and once it's gone, it's gone. So if you want yours, 880-898 is your item number. Then we have also the brown and linen, uh, sorry, brown and ivory. Uh, you know, this one is not, I it's not linen, sorry, it's my mistake. You can make again two of these ones, uh, one of the brown, one of the ivory. And remember that key word from Pink for Crafts, true means asset and linen, uh, asset and linen free. 429-219 is your item number. And those ones were 12 by 12, but then we have got also the match and a scorecard, 10 and a half by 30 in both the true brown and the true ivory, which means that you are getting 18 total, 40 of each color. 568-157 is your item item number 11.99 is your price we also have got some more the musket sheets in there for 9.99 is your price you are getting 10 uh, in total 976.569 is your item number and then we also have sold out of the mylar that has got technically sold out. Uh, we are trying to get some more for um, four o'clock but there is no promise this is what the thing that happens while it's in a stock you need to check out your baskets and that secures your order 394.204 is your item number I remember the fastest and easiest way to put your order through the craftstore.com but if you prefer a telephone as you give us a call 033-0175-5552 and the call center is just upstairs right done so where are we up to then? right okay so I'm gonna start decorating the next few pages to go on the rest of this album okay. on this side so all I've done is again I put my mask it down you can see it's well used and well loved yeah okay so don't worry about that and I've just stamped that lovely big chrysanthemum oh, flower that. so I'm going to do a couple of different techniques on this one I've stamped on with the oxide okay well, we have got seconds to go I'm done okay well I'll show you one quickly yeah, absolutely just, sorry I kind of completely yeah it's gone Right, so all I'm going to do is just drag. I'm not. I'm not adding any extra colour. Yeah. I'm just literally because I've used the oxide ink. I'm just using my water brush and dragging that colour out. So again, just showing you another really quick way yeah. of decorating your pages. Thank you so much, John. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for bringing these memory books and in this larger size and the true linen, which makes it. You know, you're so classic. Oh, I, I love it. I, I must say, I you, really enjoyed using it. <laughs> that's brilliant. See you at four, and of course, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Stay tuned for lots more. We have got next collection, Dart Cross uh, uh, Stitch, uh, Crafty Kitchen Happy Hour with Haley, and then Go Power and Emboss Monthly Mega Deal at three. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town and it's a fun place to be in.
Our products are all hand drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers, we have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix, we have dyes and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dollar Dimple shows and have some fun. Did you know you can continue watching the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type thecraftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite TV shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello and welcome to the craft store. My name's Dawn Wheeler and I'm going to be taking you through my last hour. It's been an amazing morning here at the channel so thank you to everybody who's joined us but this hour is going to be relaxed, we're going to be calm, we're going to be chilled and I have to say I'm with somebody who I've known for many many years who's one of the most talented ladies out there on a multiple of crafts but obviously giving her the things that she loves most and this is a stitching. Lovely Rosella is with me today. Hello Dawn. Hi nice lovely. Nice to see you over here. Hi. Yep. Yep. We've got a, such a lovely hour Dawn with some beautiful beautiful cross stitch cushions and if you are familiar with these you'll know what I'm talking about. They are just such a delight to stitch. They are, thank you, Rosa. And again, affordable, so if you're wanting to make these into gifts and things like that, but the detail. But once they have gone, they have gone. So if you're thinking for Mother's Day, Valentine's Day gifts, things like that, or even just injection of colour, it could be in your bedroom, it could literally be in a conservatory or something like that, that you want that new splash of colour, these could be the themes for you. We've got everything from animals this hour right through to the beautiful florals and below. So again, you've got lots and lots of different styles in these kits. So let's start first of all. So this one is the Ancient Rose. And you can see by the colour palette with that, it is very, very beautiful. You've got this soft grey, and this is so luxurious, isn't it? This it one, is. Rosella. I mean, if you just feel that yarn dawn, it's really, really soft to the touch. It's a joy to absolutely stitch with. I think this is a really, really romantic pattern as well. Um, you mentioned Valentine's Day. Maybe you want to stitch this for someone for Valentine's Day. This is a project that you are going to be able to stitch within that amount of time. But it could also be like a wedding as well or anniversary because could you, this is me, non-stitcher, you know this, could you stitch somebody's initials on there as well? Yeah, it certainly could. You can, once you've actually stitched this cushion, it's then down to you. That's your starter for 10. You can embellish it to your heart's content. Oh, wow. Maybe you've got some metallic threads. Maybe you want to add something extra in there, little bells, etc. Perfect. Oh, wow. And this is a standard size. So this is 40 centimetres by 40 centimetres. We have got the refills, you know, the cushion um, fillers on the website as well. So if you're wanting to do it all, you can see the details are on the bottom. It's a 16 inch by 16 inch cushion pad. It's a pack of two as well. So do you know what? When these are gone, these are gone. I would grab two while you've got them and have coordinating ones either side of your furniture or even in a hallway. If you've got a small chair or cushion in there, this would look fabulous. Remember, if you're wanting this one, 26 dollars Eight nine eight six three with that one as well. The next one we're going to be moving on to is this one, and this is the iris. So if you are wanting these fantastic lavenders and blues in here, these are just so exquisite, aren't they, Rosella? They are, and of course you can possibly think of this being someone's favourite flower. Maybe, maybe you know someone who absolutely loves an iris, and this is a perfect kit for them, Dawn. Um, just a joy to stitch either way, however, whichever one you choose. That's it, and you might have like. 
like I've got an anti-iris. So again, you could personalise it as a gift for that person in your family as well, but making it very, very beautiful. You get everything in your kits as well. Remember that you've got all your yarns, then you've got your coloured template and you get the needle in there too. So again, if you're wanting to start out and Rosella will show us step by step how easy this is to do. So do not forget forget that as well you've got full instructions in there as well explanations and little pictures at the bottom so everything is in there for you so you're not left on your own we will hold your hand as we go this is 330979 that's 2699 and that is the iris with the mauve collection cushion in that one as well so we have that one next up for you still keeping with the beautiful rose collection this is the fantastic antique rose and this one with the yellows and the golds this is like a ray of sunshine this one perfect or maybe you want to celebrate um, a golden wedding something yeah. like that this is going to be perfect like you mentioned maybe you want to put um, cushions either end of your sofa etc then you've got different roses that you can do this with you'll find with the yarns as well done that they're co they are coordinating so there's potentially colors in this design that are in some of the other designs oh, wow. as well so you know that it's the same color palette and that it's going to work with all of them. That's it. So the Pantone, so if you mix in and match in previous ones or you know past, present and future like Rosella says. Also is it yellow roses that are for friendship? I think they are. So if you are wanting to send your friend or make one for a special friend as a thank you, this would look incredible. So remember, this is Antique Rose. They're all on the website as well if you want to have a little look. But remember, when these are gone, these are gone. 270-150-2699. And yes, we've just had it clarified for you. It is for friendship. So again, that could be a nice best friends cushion, something like that. So a beautiful collection right there for you as well. So you can see how the potential with these you've got some real designer gifts that you can make next one we've got for you and I think I'm going to be honest I'm going to put my neck on the line here I think this will be the most popular one this is the cabbage rose the color tones in this are just wow yeah absolutely so you've got those really deep purples within that as well but just such a delightful design again and again there's a lot going on on this cushion it's going to be really really interesting to stitch as well it is it's the eye for detail that you've got with these and with all the color tones how they've cleverly been put together it really will give you that pop of color and I don't think there's anything nice that you know when you go in the department stores and things like that and you see cushions like this I'm going to put it out there they are far more money than what you are paying for these individual kits but do you know what to be able to make these as a gift and to give them to somebody these are what it's all about but now our lovely Rosella is going to take us through and show us how easy and what you're getting in the kit so you've got that confidence when you get this home let's get started with it straight away okay so let's start with uh, this is the cabbage rose so you can see that you're getting this in a project case Now I really really like the fact that you've got this resealable project case on here so you've just got the two poppers on there that you can then, whilst you're stitching your design, it means that you get it keeping everything together. So let me just tell you exactly what you're getting in this kit. Let's just take that out. So to start with, you've got the picture. Now this is really important because as you're stitching, you want to just double check that you've got the correct colours, etc. But this photograph is so good, you can actually see individual stitches on this. So actually I know that there are three yellow stitches in a line on that, um, that row as well. So um, really great clear photo for that. And then I'm just going to lay it down so that you can see on the inside. If I just turn it around the right way around. And... What you've got in here is you've got full instructions on exactly how to cross stitch. So, um, and it's it's numbered. So you're going from bottom left, top right, bottom left, top right, and it just shows you everything you need to know. So if you've never stitched before, you've got the instructions. So in newbies here. could do this one, Rosella. Absolutely. If you've never picked up a needle before, but actually you really love the idea of something that's so textured and such yeah. a joy to actually stitch, this is great for it. Um, and it's actually pictorial and it's written down exactly how to do it. And it's saying. For larger areas of the same colour first stitch all of the stitches in one direction then head back and stitch them in the okay. other direction you've then got instructions exactly how to begin how to tie off etc but I'll talk to you about those as well okay um, and then uh, stitching uh, instructions on the back then we're going to go to the canvas <coughs> excuse me 
And like you mentioned, Dawn, it's 40 centimetre canvas. Now, when you get yours home, do that, because that's just so lovely. So do I need to iron this, Rosella? As a non, you know, cross-stitcher, obviously, this is brand new to me. A lot of you at home will be rolling your eyes, I know. But, no, you know, these all. are the things, if I've got it home, the kit, do I have to iron it first? Do I, how, what, what would I do with it, Rosella? No, it's, it's, you don't need to iron it. As you stitch, it will actually flatten out. Okay. What you'll also find, it's quite sturdy at the moment, Dawn. Okay. But as you stitch, this canvas is cotton canvas will then soften up and I've got one that I've begun stitching on I'll show in a little bit and it shows exactly how much it is soft, uh, softening up as you're stitching. Um, you mentioned that you've got a needle within this kit and um, we've actually got a gold eye needle within this kit so if oh. you are a stitcher you'll know that we love our gold eye needles easy to thread the yarn slips through perfectly and then you've got your yarn in this as well so you'll find that these are all pre-cut lengths. Yeah. Now keep them at that length. It's quite a long length, but that's okay because actually it's it's the right length for the canvas. If it was any longer, if you're a beader like me and you'd have a piece of thread like this, so it's an arm's length and a bit extra on the end, you don't want that because as you go through the canvas, it'll make it fray. But this is a perfect length for it and it just means that as you are stitching, all you need to do is then pull through and so you take the yarn. So you wouldn't separate them all, Rosella. You wouldn't separate all the colours out and put yep. them on little cotton spool, uh, wood, uh, cardboard spools. Right? You just keep it all together. Keep it together. We will separate it out. You'll notice on your canvas that you've got a little swatch area towards okay. the side. Now, it's really important that you sort out all the threads that are in here. The, these are actually quite close to the colour that's actually on the design. If you can actually see that purple's actually yeah. quite a good colour behind there. Um, but when you are printing a canvas, you're limited to the colour palette. So sometimes those threads will not be the exact colour that you think they are. Okay. So sort out one of every colour before you begin. And, you know, it takes you, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes is going to take you for this. So just sort out each and every colour. And then all you need to do is then just attach that, and I'll show you this in a little bit, but on each one so that you know then that when you come to this colour, it's that colour, and then it's, I should say, well, I guess it's probably that brown there, and yeah. that is the colour that you're going to go for. So Fab. there's a little bit of housekeeping on these um, before you begin, and also masking the edges, and I'll, I'll do that in a, in a little bit. But um, this is what you're getting. So you're getting the beautiful resealable project pack. You've got full instructions. You've got your cotton canvas. You're getting all your yarn. You're getting your needle. You're getting the instructions. You're getting the inspiration. Um, the only thing we can't provide you with the time to do it, but... In my experience, um, a cushion like this, how, if would, you, how long would you say? If you're going to spend a couple of hours each day, then a couple of weeks is going to be plenty. Wow. Yeah. And the thing is, as well, I'm looking this obviously through new eyes as well, because mm -hmm. you know it's something I don't do all the time. But because you've got the colour, if you do kind of get your stitch a little bit wrong, it's not going to show up as much as, you know, is it, do they call it, it's that, Aida, Aida. Aida. It's, well, this is a canvas, but it's, canvas. The, same, it's the same yeah. principle that you've got holes and that your needle's going to go through these holes. So you don't create any holes yourself as you would in a calico or something like that. Um, your needle that you're going to use is a tapestry needle, so it's got a blunt end there as well. Oh, wow. Because you don't need to pierce the fabric no. on this. The holes are already there for you. So this um, makes this even easier oh, to do. Absolutely, but it makes it super quick to do. But um, the great thing about these, Dawn, it's a talker. The, 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 de the design printed on the canvas once you sorted out your walls once you know where you're going to stitch you can sit and chat because actually all you're doing is copying those colors so if you want to sit and watch television maybe you want to sit and listen to a book or chat to a friend then it's a great project for doing that oh wow so honestly if this today has opened your eyes and made you think do you know what I want to try a new craft I want to try something different I know like for me sometimes like when we're in the hotels and things like that this could be something I could get out I could pack it all away afterwards but yeah I've got that gratification at the end and knowing then that I've made something beautiful or you could give it as gifts like you say to your mum or your sister or friends something like that too but remember once these have gone these have gone we have got a few more options for you that we're going to show you as well now this is the next one in the collection this is the lilac so again look at the colorways look at the designs in this and how beautiful and like I say it is a full cushion size so it will be a statement piece on there too and you can see with all the yarns this is beautiful but 
Rosella, if I didn't want to keep this as a cushion, could I frame it? Yeah, absolutely. You could. You could use it as a design on the wall. You could actually put a larger piece of maybe a canvas around it to create something like a rug, yeah. a wall hanging. Um, this would make great. I know there's actually a, a pair to this one. This oh. would make two sides of a fantastic oh, tote so bag. on a wall. Yeah, there's, there's so many things that you can actually do with this. This could be a table runner. Um, it could just be um, like an uh, antimacassar on the back of the sofa, something yeah. like that. Um, a great table mat, maybe just bind the edges. So, yeah, it makes a fabulous cushion. But in the end, it's a piece of art that you've created. And of course <gasps> I'm you thinking do... like puffets as well, yep. you know, like the small little yeah, foot footstool. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Oh, wow. See, we're on that train now. Honestly, I'm, I'm no sewer. A lot of you know me. I'm not a sewer, but these are really excitable. I must admit, I'm really thoroughly enjoying this. So if you're wanting the lilac cushion, this one's for you. 346196. 2699. They're all the same price. So again, you have got that saving on all of these. Now, the next one we are going to show you is this one. And this is a single lilac. So you could have these coordinated together. And as Rosella said, the pantones, the color tones will mix and match and very similar in each other. So you you could have a full array. You could make your conservatory look like an inside garden with all these. So this one is the single lilac. This one's got slightly deeper colours, slightly richer in this one. Yeah, absolutely. But you'll find that they're the same colours within each of those kits. So that if you do want these as a pair, this is going to look absolutely beautiful. Yeah. I think what I might do is actually choose two of one, one of the other. Yeah, and look. then so that I've got a sort of three at either end of the sofas. Yeah, you can see that those colours are going to coordinate absolutely beautifully. Well, that's it because like this was from the collection before from the lilacs but you imagine you could have like a day and a night version so you've got that different balance because then because you've got that different play of colors in there as well you will actually find then they stand out to the eye and people are like oh what's that one what's that one so again you are getting a fantastic visual so this one is your single lilac with the cross stitch collection and if you want in this one six four zero five seven five with that one now the next one i'll be honest this would be one of my mum's favorites she loves loves her pansies and things like that. So you've got these beautiful pansies to add into here. And again, look at the colour tones of the yarns. You've got the real happy splash of colour with these. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, at the moment, winter pansies are some of the fewer colours that we've got out at the moment. So this is great to celebrate those. I like the lilac grey background on this one as well. I've got a purple and grey kitchen. This is going to look absolutely Ooh, stunning yeah. within that because it brings in both of those colours. And again, like you mentioned, your mum, a lot of people's favorite flower this one I think it's a lovely design it is and like you say we're having the bear in mind it's got more of a colorful background with this but if you have got the darker shades of grays or even that mustard or moutard as they call it as well in your lounge and things like that this is going to work incredibly well so pick colors out for somebody's room or bedroom and customize it for them this one is the pansy color pansy cushion in there this is six three three five seven one now let's have a look little rosella please show me a little bit more what we can do with this okay so i've actually chosen the pansies dawn as oh, well wow. as I was Brilliant timing. This. yeah it's just beautiful isn't it so i mentioned before that we need to put the swatches on the outside of the canvas um what I have learned with these is you need to put a double knot in these. Can you see that? <laughs> lost, slip out. Yeah, they, they, I lost them whilst I was stitching, so they'll have to be replaced. If you've um, stitched cushions before, you may be uh, familiar with the way it's stitched. These are slightly different. The collection to art is a, more of a silky yarn on these. So um, the Verbico cushions that we also sell, they're more of a mat. So that's like your matte paint. This is this is more like your gloss paint. So mm -hmm. you'll notice that. So again, it's slightly different, um, but the same technique and the same beautiful, beautiful designs at the end of the day. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to sort out all of these colours and look how many colours there are. I think it's about 19 oh, wow. in this particular design. And even though it's a large design, we've, we've only got four and a half holes to the inch here. So if you are a cross stitcher, you, you may be stitched on a 14 count aid, which is 14 holes to the yeah. inch. So you can sort of get a comparison. Um, but because we've got a lot of different colours, it means that you're getting the design on this uh, particular canvas. If I just bring in the design, I'll take it out of its packaging. Does it matter where you start with these, Rosella? Um, what it will say on the instructions is start with the smaller areas first. The reason being, that um, if you're stitching a lot around these smaller areas, you might find that the smaller areas are then sort of covered because it, it's real full coverage, this yarn. Yeah. So it's just to ensure that you can get your needle into those. But um, I would say do what you want to do first. Maybe the, you look at this and you think, oh, the first thing I want to stitch is a pansy. Go for it. 
stitch a pansy. Because okay. yeah. I thought, do you have to do the background no. first? Do you have to do no rules. the flowers first? Oh, brilliant, no even rules. better. I've done a little bit of the background because I actually love the background. I yeah. think it's such a gorgeous colour. Um, as, as all the, the actual kits on the counter, this is going to be, I think, probably one of the quickest because you've got a lot of background on here. Right. So it's quite quick stitching. Um, so I, I measured how much stitching I did yesterday and time-wise, and this was just over an hour. Oh, so you wow. can see that it's a... And that includes... <laughs> tying yep. those and losing them you can see that it's a really really quick stitch and you can see on that shot there just how raised it is and the texture that you're actually achieving and like you said cushions. it's got that more of a silk effect to it it's got that sheen so it will catch the light beautifully yes absolutely again a little bit of housekeeping this is actually um on a roll and you can see that it's slightly spiky for the way it's cut so first thing i would do is just pop a little bit of masking tape on the edge there and that'll just stop it <laughs> get away from my mind stop it pinging on um, your yarn as you're stitching because right. there's nothing Plus more a bit annoying comfort for you as well yeah it's absolutely not to you but you need masking tape for this door not low tack tape that you'd use okay. for die cutting because that will just come off Okay. Um, I've, sorry, <laughs> I've tried this. Can I, can I just tell you as well, the actual, I think it's the lilac one that we've got, single lilac one with this one, half the stock of this has gone already. We're only a few minutes in and this one has actually half the stock gone already. So if you are wanting this one, I do need you, urge you to get on the website as well. We have got the other lilac ones on the show too, but this is the single lilac one. The colours, the depth, you fell in love with this one. But if you are wanting this one, 50% stock, please get on the websites or on the phone lines to make sure you check this out. 640575. I would actually mask all of the four edges, but okay. this is okay for now. So you're just going to repeat that all the way around, and it just makes it a little easier. Now, I mentioned that they're really, really sturdy canvases when you begin. This is already actually softening, but because I've been working from this end, you can see already just how pliable that is when you compare it to sort of this side. So as you stitch it, it becomes softer and softer okay. and softer. And it's great because... What I tend to do is stitch at one side and then roll as I go along so that this, the area I'm stitching next is closer to me. And then all I would do is I would just get something like a quilt clip. Which you know, if here. you've actually stitched like the bottom, how would you, you know, like say if you were packing it away, would you fold it up or would you roll it up, Rosella? It really doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It really okay. doesn't matter. You'll find that as you work on them, that it will actually um, unravel perfectly. And you mentioned earlier about ironing, but you can see already this is flattening yeah. out nicely. So, no, don't worry about them at all. Brilliant. They're, they're really, really sturdy. So any area you're not working, just sort of clip out of the way. I've used a quilt clip, could use a safety pin on that as well. Not a regular pin, because it, it, it'll drop out and you will catch yourself, likely. So don't use a regular pin. Um, so where do we begin? I'm going to start just a little bit on um, the grey, just to show you how to begin. So just pull one of your grey threads out. Okay. You've got a really large eye tapestry needle here. So if you just pinch that yarn between your thumb and first finger and sort of force that on. I'm just going to do that again, so... No, I won't thread it this time, but there you go. If you force your needle onto the thread, as opposed to your thread into the needle, it doesn't have anywhere to go, so it's more likely to thread okay. this time. So, And then, although we don't want knots within our canvas, I always begin with a knot, so it's called a waist knot. Okay. So if you tie your knot, and I, just for ease, I'll start somewhere here in the middle, so it's just easy to get to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch from... Well, why wouldn't you do the knots, Rosella, normally? Why, you know? um, if, when you've got your cushion pad in there, when you're lent on it, if you've got knots, you or may like well feel it. Or bits. Or they it. might... You can see knots come undone. Yeah. So um, if they come undone, you don't want to then end up with a loose Fabulous. Uh, thread. So try and avoid knots if you possibly can, except in the case of this. So I'm going to go from the front, and I'm going to leave my knot on the top of my canvas like that. And then I'm going to go back to where I'm stitching. Okay. Um, just check which way I'm going. Right, so I'm going to go top right, bottom left. So, and you can see how easily that needle drops into those holes. You're not holes. having to force it at all or try no, and find it. <laughs> not at all. But each stitch now, I'm actually overlapping that thread on the reverse. And I'll turn it over in a minute and show you. But with my left hand, which is underneath the canvas at the present, I'm just rolling that loose thread to the side each time I take a stitch. 
so that I know then that I'm encasing that yarn as I stitch and that's the um, I find the easiest way to start but also it's nice and secure then as well so I'll get to the end of this little what about block. your tension as well Rosella because I, I can remember doing it and it's made your fingers sore but with that this looks very easy fluid to be able to use don't worry about your tension at all it will sort itself oh, out fabulous. on this you, do not, you don't have to worry about it at all now if I just turn this over you okay. can see now that as I was stitching and encasing, yep. that, that thread is now held really nicely and securely within those stitches that I've just stitched. And then all I have to do is from the other side is then snip that knot off. Oh, that's clever. There we go. And I'll tidy up for Ben. And then it's nice and secure. And then I'm going to head back on that particular row. If I was stitching this at home, I'd probably start at one end and go all the way along, but yeah. that doesn't matter. So to head back... So you've already stitched it in, we're now double securing it, really. Yeah, but it's to be honest, it's, it's really a little unnecessary. We tend to do sort of belt and braces with this. But to be fair, unless someone's actually going to come and sit and pick at your cross-stitching, it's very unlikely it's going to unravel. And if someone's going to sit and pick at your cross-stitching, then they're not your friend, are they? They're not coming back. No, so, I would well, be happy if somebody sat there and picked it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so you're out of here. Thanks all the same. Be nice. But I think as well, just by looking at it as well as a newbie, if it is a slightly not as tight stitch, then your cushion is going to look more fluffy on the texture on the front. I always think that it's a little bit of your personality. The same as we endeavour to stitch with the crosses lying in the same direction and you know books you'll say oh your crosses must lie in the same direction but to be honest if they don't all that is is a little bit of texture yeah and often on cross stitch designs i will deliberately stitch in a different direction to create that extra texture oh, so wow. maybe in the center of your pansies here where you've just got two or three stitches um, then what I might do is, I'm sorry, move it away from the L, is actually stitch those in a different direction. So like a variant? Yeah, so that you've actually got that, that as the light shines on it, it picks it up and reflects it back again. So, so th don't worry if your crosses don't lie in the same direction. That's great. It means it's individual and it's yours. I mean, the other thing is, if you are a stitcher like I am, if you are an embroiderer, look at your design, look at actually what you might like to do with it to, to progress further. So as I talked about those stitches in the centre of that pansy, um, maybe something like a velvet stitch or a turkey stitch, and that's a stitch where the threads are actually hanging up. Oh. So that, again, look at things like that, because actually that would create a difference to this cushion. So I know a lot of people look at these and think, oh, yeah, but um, I like to do something of my own design. Well, these are all your own design. Once you've started, that's your starter for 10, and then it's down to you to embellish as much as you wish. Well, I suppose you could add a few little beads if you wanted to yep. to the centre of it. You can get some lovely, like, sea beads effects and things like that. You could stitch those into it. So it, it could be as creative or like I say as minimalist as you want yeah absolutely you could put pom-poms on here you could put sequins on here there's so much that you can actually do so I'm just going to get to the end of this row and then I'm going to show you how to finish off and then we will start and I'll pass back to you Dawn but let me just so no, I've, got no, a I need to, I've started it I need to know how to finish this so, bit but you can see just how quick that is I mean we've been yeah. stitching just for a couple of minutes haven't we and the texture that you've actually obtained from that is so lovely don't worry about your tension it will still look absolutely wonderful and then if you turn it over to finish off and we're going to do exactly the same as we did when we began and yeah. we're just going to feed our thread through some stitches. Now, I tend not to thread it through the one I've just stitched, so miss a couple, and then just work it through. Three will be absolutely fine. Pull your thread through. Okay. And again, then just snip it off. Well, so that really keeps it looking neat as well on the back. It does, but then if I just pull this over to the side, once you've started mixing your colours, you're not going to retain that neatness, so don't worry oh, right. about it, because uh, it, it, otherwise you're going to be looking at the back more than the front. The back is going to be within a cushion back. Um, no one is going to look at it. So, yes, although it feels lovely at the start, it will start to become messy quite quickly. That's fine. I'm we glad like you've mess. shown me that, because I'd have got to that point and thought, oh, it's not as neat as Rosella's 
just done this it needs that little bit more so yes it is going to do like that when you layer your color so just bear that in mind as well but that's fantastic now honestly what i want you to do is head over to the website because we are so so busy this hour with all the different cushions that we've got and this is an ideal way now for you to be able to have a look at these and see exactly what you want like I say we've got some fantastic designs and when they are gone they are gone so it is your optimum time now to make sure you get the ones that have chosen and look at those you imagine all of those are arrayed you know displayed on your little cushions and things like that on your settees it could be in a hallway it could be in a conservatory you have got those or even on a bed I'm not being funny a couple of the lavender or the lilac ones on there or even the beautiful roses they would look incredible so honestly get on the website that's your best place to go to be able to find those now if you are a big animal lover these are now for you now look at this we've got this super cute squirrel in this collection how adorable is this little character so again this could be you know for a nephew it could be for a grandson you may just love the part of nature with this love it because it's got that blue the two tones of the blue background so it looks like the sky in there but then you've got those lovely oranges and yellows in there and the browns and it is very autumnal so if you wanted to add that splash of color you've got those two again with this one it will make a 40 by 40 centimeter um, cushion with this and we've got the 16 by 16 infills that will obviously give your cushion that little bit of fullness in there on the website too so we've got those so just have a little look but this one is your squirrel collection 674 217 for that one now with this one we have got this fantastic hedgehog so you know like hedgehog you know charities and things like that if you know somebody who loves things like that or even if you've got like the little ones like my daughter used to like the the story books about the hedgerow bottoms and you know with all the hedgehogs in them and things like that the little stories this would be incredible for that but as Rosella was saying before with the color palettes this would look beautiful in anybody's kitchen and things like that country kitchen style so you've got that beautiful but this is the hedgehog with the apple cushion so if you're wanting this little character you're looking at 876 117 26 99 and again you're getting all your threads your yarns you are going to get obviously your cross stitch and then you will also get your needle as well now as we move across if that's okay as we move across I did walk and talk <laughs> now look at this I have to say apart from the rose one that was showing you I have to say this little character is one of my favorite how cute is this but you know what this would make a, no a lovely friends one even a new baby because if you wanted to you could have like a pink bow in the corner or a blue one and things like that but this one's just adorable isn't it Rosella haven't we and yeah. maybe we don't actually want to go all out on chocolate this year maybe we are going to think of gifts this is calorie rather. free <laughs> yeah absolutely and it's good for your stitching so maybe this would make a great Easter present we spoke maybe uh, of bags you can yeah. make a little tote bag to oh, actually wow. do an Easter egg hunt and decorate it with this knowing then that you're going to be using it afterwards I just think it's just such a lovely design I really do that is totally adorable. So if you're wanting the sunshine, the sun dandelions cushion, then with this one, you're looking at 213055. But as you can see, I love the eyes on them. They've got such realistic eyes on those too. Now the next one we've got for you, look at this little cuddly little one on here. So he's, he's laid there, he's snuggled up on there too. So you can see we've got this fantastic red panda with all that detail. Look at the colour tones in that, rich and decadent. So really fabulous with this one. I love red pandas. They're really underrated, aren't they? People yeah. say, oh, I'm going to go and see a panda. Well, it's not black and white. No, it's a red panda. And this is a red panda. And I just think he's so chilled, isn't he? I, I it's little like, Why wouldn't we just want to hang out on a, on a tree? He's, he's just absolutely gorgeous. Just brings a smile to your face, doesn't it? he does and honestly again look at this you've got your colors you've got your designs on there you've got a little bit of everything for everybody on there as well so this is going to be incredible and like i say if you do work for charities and things like that or if you've got a friend who's involved with them the wildlife charities this is going to be incredible to make a personal gift for them as well so if you are wanting the red the red panda one this will be three four seven five two four with this one but honestly let's take another look and see what other tips and tricks rosella can show us with these right so we're actually going to talk cushion backs and um, I often have cushion backs on and they are invaluable if um, you're a cross stitcher but not necessarily someone who wants to put zips into things um, these are great so we've got cushion backs on the website we've got four different colors actually so we've got the 
This, I've got the white here. The grey, I think, would look fantastic with that pansies I've just done. Yeah. Um, we've also got sort of a really dramatic black on there as well. That would look good with the panda, I, I think. Would say, I was just thinking that, the panda yeah. or with the, um, the rabbit the as rabbit. well. Yeah, absolutely. The other really good one is a neutral colour, this sort of natural colour. So actually, if you, you think, yeah, I'm going to stock up on the cushion bags, then um, that I think maybe go for the natural uh, that's the one I'm going to look at at the moment anyway. So these Dawn. are all individuals mm -hmm. as well. So if you have a look on the website, they are all individuals. They are up on the screen. So if you're wanting the white one, this one is 45 centimetres by 45 centimetres. 574-595-1299. The next one we've got for you is the grey. So if you're wanting to add that splash of colour, like Rosella said, with the poppies, you can use this one. 141-490-1299 on that one. And then for you, we have the black. So again, we've got all areas covered with all the colours. So this one is oh, sorry, 0438051299 with this one. And then finally, natural, if you're wanting to cover everything, if you get these in, you know it's going to work with everything. 785588 for that one. It comes with a zip in it as well, so you don't have to worry. But beautiful to use with your cushions. So do take Rosella's advice and get these in your basket as well. But you know, when you finish your cushion you are going to need these these have been very popular already this hour we've got a pack of two and these are the cushions that will actually fit on the inside of your cushion when it's made so these are 16 inches by 16 inches 11 pound 98 for a pack of two which is fantastic value right there but like I say have a look on the website everything is on there for you too and this is going to make it easy for you now to put it all together and Rosella is going to show you how to do that right so the first thing you need to remember with your cushion back is to open it Okay. If you put it back on your cushion and don't open it and stitch all the way around, you've now got two pieces of fabric that are joined together and no way of getting in there. <laughs> That'd be my trick. Well, you, you, can, you can sort of force your way in there. It's not that convenient, so try and remember to open it, even if it's only a little bit. Um, I've got one here. This is my lovely mum-in-law has stitched this. My mum-in-law is 86 Aww. years old and is, she's currently stitching me a wolf. And oh, she bless. constantly stitching these. These are so lovely to do. So um, in answer to a question I had earlier from our lovely Fiona, on, you know would she be able to do this yeah yeah absolutely mum you know Natalie 86 years old loves them um, it's really nice because they've got the large holes um, I like it the fact at the moment it's quite dark at night as well yeah so and there's no like you showed there's no forcing no, of no putting the yarn through you can literally drop it yep. over the hole and, and it yep. will just thread through it's yep. as easy as that and that's it, what I like it certainly is um, and also, I mean, we, we provide this beautiful gold eye needle with it, but of course, um, maybe you're wanting to teach one of the younger members of the family how to make these. You could use a plastic needle with these as well. Oh, wow. You don't need a point on the needle. Fabulous. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pin or clip your cushion to your finished cushion back. So you're going to clip all the way around and ready to stitch. Now, I haven't actually... Um, got the sewing machine on the show today so I won't stitch it so what you're going to do is you're going to stitch all the way around now on this one I would stitch about halfway into the stitch that's already created okay. there so you're going to stitch all the way around if you're stitching this by hand you don't have to have a sewing machine if you're stitching this by hand just do a back stitch so that it's a little bit reinforced because when you're putting your cushion pad in it's you're sort of shoving it around a little bit aren't you so a back stitch or a machine running a uh, machine stitch all the way around and then you're going to end up with this Rosella, can I just interrupt you? you? I'm really really sorry but I, I think this is important since we've shown you these the hedgehog and the little rabbit one is now limited stock. So if you're sat watching Rosella learning how to do all this, don't get me wrong, you can watch it on Rewind and all the tips and tricks. But if you are wanting either one of these two, if you're wanting the hedgehog one, the item number's on your screen right now, 786117, limited stock. And we've got the actual dandelion cushion, the little rabbit one at the bottom is 213055. But honestly, they're both limited stock. When it's lean on the screen, you have to be you have to go go and get it so make sure you do sorry about that Rosella but I don't want anybody missing out on these little beautiful items oh absolutely and when you have stitched them please do share pictures um, maybe on Facebook or email them yeah. in because we love to see them and actually if you've got any um, cushions that you've already created it'd be great to see some emails of those Ooh, yeah, as well, email please. in. 
Um, when you've stitched all the way around here, all you need to do then is get rid of this bulk at the corners. If you leave this bulk in there, it okay. means that you're not going to get such a crisp corner on there. So get rid of anything that you don't require. Let's Did you those. sew that by hand or with this machine? This was with the machine. Okay. I mean, it's super quick if you've got to sew a machine. This one's actually done with my hand singer machine, so you don't need you know anything fancy on here. Nope. It's just a stitch all the way around. But what it does mean then is that you've got then, if I turn that through, you're going to get a nice crisp corner oh, within wow. there. So take away any of the bulk that you've got so that you're getting that lovely corner. So they're really, really simple to actually um, put together. I'd, you mentioned the cushion pads, Dawn. I would definitely recommend that. Um, I've had to buy a couple <laughs> this week anyway. <laughs> and so the, these are great. 16-inch yep. cushion pads, pack of two sorted. Um, and, uh, that, you know, they're lovely squidgy, exactly what you need. So I love the idea that you can actually have the, the full kit. So, it's, you know... This is it. So make sure that you do go on the website. And if you are ordering your kits, like me, if, if I was ordering one of these because I'm new, I must admit I am very tempted today to get something like this, just to sit at night so I can sit in the hotel and do something different. This, honestly, get your cushions because once you've made it and they're like you've got the actual liner for it as well, you are wanting to gonna put it out. It's going to be pride of place. So don't then wait and think, I'll get a cushion filler uh, next time I go into one of the stores or everything. Order it now while you're on the website and get everything you need to get that real professional finish then I'm not being fully wrap it in tissue and then obviously give it as a gift these are going to be incredible but do remember a couple of them are limited stock already so have a look for those but if you are wanting your cushion refills like I say they are 16 by 16 they are 11 pound 98 and you are getting two on those as well now I have got an update <gasps> technical seller on our lovely little rabbits so honestly I'm sorry check back later there might be a few just ping back in baskets but you know what technically it has gone on. so no more mr rabbit i'm so sorry but honestly this is how quickly things are going this hour and we know after the hour a lot of these things actually sell out so bear that in mind as well let's have a look at some of the other ones the rose look at the colors in this i love it because it's got the soft pinks the rich pinks and it's got that gray tone and as we all know gray as a pantone color is going to be with us at least for another eight nine years the color tones that are coming through with fabrics designer household items and things like this gray will be there in so many different colors but look how striking that is and i do think for a wedding or something like that this would just be incredible to actually be able to add those in and just add that little bit of detail on there will just add that little extra bit of magic but again so so easy to do and i think today by me seeing the shows as well and seeing how they're done these are going to be very very easy to do so I don't want any of you to worry you can make this as easy as you want just by taking the time out to be able to do that and then you will get that on there as well so really easy look at that one it's 889863 with that one if you are wanting the beautiful rose collection now the next one we're going to show you is this one and it's the iris beautiful color tones and look if you like the blues the lavenders the lilacs things like that you can see you've got that splash of yellow in there that really does give you that vibrancy of summer it's on its way so again it'd be nice for an easter present or something like that to add that detail in there but as you know rosella was saying earlier make these into bags if you are a sewer make these into bags i was thinking more you know the little footstools and things like that if you You've got a piano or something like that the piano stool you could cover that add that pop of color in there that will just look so much different and give your home decor that uplift that we're all ready for at the moment we all want to decorate but it's like shall we shan't we this then could be your injection and your new bit of color so if you're wanting that this is the iris one in there 26.99 330 for that one now the next one we have for you in this collection is the antique rose and as we said before yellow roses are the sign of friendship so if you've got a special friend or somebody who's done some Real special things for you just lately this will now give you that beautiful look and color tones to be able to mix and match you've got those natural brown tones in there the lattes and things but again with that lavender and lilacs I do think it gives it that crispness and you know if you have got a, lo a lot of lavender or lilac in your home this is just going to take it even further and look even more beautiful
moment, Dawn, grey is such a popular colour, yes. isn't it? Um, I've got many rooms in grey. This is going to look stunning against those. We talked about the yeah. yellows, the greys, the pinks, the greys. Um, it's just going to look absolutely beautiful. I do really like this design. This is it. So if you are wanting this one, this is the Antique Rose 270150 for that one. Now, as we move down, this is the Cabbage Rose. But again, I'm not being funny. It must be so difficult sat at home choosing the colour tones that you want. And I don't know about you, I'd be thinking, I'll make this one this month that one that month for my mum and I could do it like that because honestly look at this love this because look at the deeper richer lavender and lilac you've got in the background with this but it would work really well with the color tones we've seen before look at those you've got the lilacs in there the softer tones so all of these would look incredible I think I'd want two or three to go on my settee so I'd got one in the middle one either side with all the different colors to give you that enhancement but the yarns are all there for you you're even getting that fantastic gold needle that Rosella said so that will really help you with you know getting on your cross stitch journey having the printed um, fabric as well to put this your cross stitch on I always think if I did it wrong you wouldn't be able to see it as much so again it makes it easier when you because I'm thinking if I don't get it right but you could unpick it couldn't you yeah, of course and to be honest Dawn it's only one stitch once you've done a small patch yep. then you're up and running I'll be so, fine. yeah don't worry about it at all um, and also it's a little bit of your personality if that's not exactly the color that's on there you've got lots and lots of yarn in here as well so don't worry about sort of running out etc but uh, just enjoy it like I say, there could be a few. If so, if my mum receives one of these and there's a few bits that are out, that's because I've done it, mum, and you know what I'm like. So, yeah, this would work. Now, I have to tell you, this one is limited stock. You know how the bunny rabbit one went? That literally went in a flash. I don't want you to miss out on this one. If you are looking at the, you know, the lilac one and thinking, that is the one for me or for my mum or my cousin or my sister or just a friend, these are now limited stock. Go get these as fast as you can. 346196 with this one. 26.99 if you want in that one as well so beautiful now this one as well is also limited honestly we said to you earlier get the two together I think a lot of you have taken that advice and literally thought they're right I need to mix and match up my designs like I say you've got the play of day and night with these ones so you can mix the two together this one is the single lilac in this one but do you know what I'm gonna be naughty I'm gonna bring the two in this is the one from before this is the one right here the details on your screen but look how well they work together you really have got that you could have a true like lavender you know like style all throughout your lounge with this one and bring in the different tones going to be easy to do and like you say they're not projects that are going to take months and years to do this obviously if you get set to it as Rosella said and now we're here and now we're there within a week you could easily have this put together yeah it, these are really quick stitches but they're really enjoyable to do as well Dawn I look at that and I think of uh, maybe popping that outside on one of the chairs when there's summer yeah. So, on know, the patio yeah absolutely yeah. get this prepared in advance because we're going to have a fantastic summer aren't we we, <laughs> yes, are, we are with the, the pins uh, and the lemonade yes yeah, we're there <laughs> so get your cushion sorted and then of course you need one to be stitching outside because that is the best thing ever Oh, sat in the sunshine stitching. I think I could do that, Rosella. I'd be up for that one. So the last one in the collection is the pansies. And as we've shown you again, the background in this has got this soft lilac shade in it. This is the background colour. And then you've got all these incredible tones. So you might just be picking up the tones in your carpet at home. It could be your settee, your wallpaper, things like that. You've got a lot of variants in there. But again, I do think poppies are just made to make you smile with this one too. And pansies. Yep, absolutely. Poppies. Yeah, pansies. <laughs> That's it. They're very similar. They're flowers. They're in the I've, garden. I've been up since 4.30, my brain's slightly moshy now. Anybody yeah. who knows me. Either of those are absolutely beautiful, but that pansy is lovely. I, I would stitch the cushion and then decorate my room around this, I think, because I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, if you did them all red, they don't look like poppies. <laughs> in my world anyway <laughs> but honestly with those as well now just to give you the heads up as well on another little item the hedgehog has gone I'm so sorry I did warn you I did say to you these are limited stock completely gone so I am sorry but if you are then umming and ahhing about anything else on the show please make sure you get this now but the hedgehog has gone so bear that in mind we've still got a little squirrel left so if you're wanting this little character do you know what I mean you could name him you may even have a little squirrel at the 
bottom of your garden or something like that? Because did you have squirrels at your oh, house? Oh, I've got many, many squirrels. Dawn, I planted so many bulbs this year. I was, I followed Monty. I was having bulb layers. It was going to look absolutely amazing. <laughs> and then the squirrels been hunting. So I've got bulb layers. I've got conquer trees in progress. So. Oh wow! <laughs> He's planted Can't them all wait. for you. <laughs> I thought that. I remembered you'd got squirrels in your garden. But again, it could be a little bit tongue in cheek. It could be a little bit like that. Roselle, you could give her a gift to the squirrel because they drive her crazy. <laughs> but this is what I mean. They're going to have that personal touch. And when you're making gifts, especially like this, it's that personal touch for that special person in your life. So just remember that as well. Now, Rosella, please show us a little bit more. This okay. is wonderful. So I've taken the cabbage rose this time. This, this is such a lovely, lovely design, isn't it? It's just so gorgeous. Um, it's summer, isn't it? It's summer in a cushion. I just think it's beautiful. So I thought, actually, let's have a little bit of a look at this as well. I just think that's gorgeous, Dawn, isn't it? It's actually, it reminds me a little bit of peonies as well, you know, with this sort of fluffy at the front. So um, oh, yeah. if you're a peony lover as well, it's going to be beautiful. So let's have a look at this in a little bit more detail. So let's talk swatches to start now. I've put my needle down. It's there. It's okay. Um, it's really, really important to sort these colours out. Now, I've got these colours on a white background at the moment. When you are stitching, you might want to consider whether you want a white background. Okay. Or may maybe it may be useful to put a coloured background, a darker background also on there as well. Also, you can see it more. Yeah. Yeah. So, when you're stitching this, and what I do is, you know, I tend to sit and stitch on the sofa, I put either a dark cloth on my knee, or a light cloth, depending um, on each design. But you can see with this dark just how much these colours pop. So yeah. when you are just sorting out your threads, consider doing that. In fact, I'm going to bring that one all That's the way down. That's a brilliant tip. That is Roselle. It yeah, really it's is. just um, different designs require different colours. So see what's best. And then all you're going to do is we're going to sort out some of the colours that are on this design. So we've got the the brown on there we've got the greens on there now there will often be two or three different colors of green so make yeah. sure that you've got in fact there's four different colors but on because this one. they've cut to length what I like is you haven't got a big roll you've got to then try and unravel before Correct. you start because they cut to a certain size it just makes the pull just straight out like spaghetti yeah absolutely and um, what's that the white or is that pale green you see this is why it's important I would have said that was that green and it's not so oh, it's wow. really really critical that you actually sort out the colours on here. Um, you've got the whites on there as well in this design and that's denoted with a black box around the outside. And again, you've got the pinks on here too. I've got three different pinks just there actually. So, and how many more do I need? I've got a dark one, a pale one. So spend 10 minutes yeah. just sorting out these threads. Um, I know I've got a couple more on there, but that's okay for the time being. And then if you can find your needle after you've just put it down somewhere. Rosella, are you one of these stitches that actually, you know, like I remember years ago when my grandma used to do it. Do you put your needle in the actual... In or do you like to keep it in a separate little pouch? On this, on these, I leave it in the canvas. Okay. It's because if we've got a large eye needle here, it means that when it's in the canvas and you know, sort of feed it through, yeah, it's not going to go anywhere you because it's, it. it's really sturdy. Yet, yeah. don't I tend not to leave it hanging on the end of a thread because this this thread slides through. Yeah. And um, in fact, I did it this morning. I picked the. Um, the canvas up and my needle fell off the thread so oh, yes. make sure that um, you've, you've got your needle secure and then all I'm going to do is try not to pick up the felt underneath just pop a little bit of thread through there yep and then tie it in a double knot as it turns out so you know because you're doing that then have they given you more thread than what you need for this yeah you you'll say? always find that there's more thread okay. so if you think oh you know assuming it's not the background color on this one which you're not you're not going to mistake yeah but if you think oh actually you know what i've stitched the green in that that's the, the, not the color they suggested and i'm a little Am I going to be short no you're not going to be short there's Fat. plenty on there um leave a little bit on then if it's too long and it gets caught as you're going along then just snip it down and make it a little bit shorter as long as it's it's relatively knotted within the hair yeah just to ensure that it is actually secure and I've, I've immediately put my needle down there we go and Do you know just, what Rosella I cannot believe where this hour has gone it's been you know we've only got like six minutes left but do you know what it's been an absolute pleasure learning a new 
skill and a new tool with you you've made it incredibly easy to do and the finished results are just outstanding so thank you Rosella for that no, it's an absolute pleasure it always is stitching done is my passion I love hand stitching I really I love all sorts of stitching I always remember your hand stitching yeah if you were sat and you got five minutes I yep. remember you did that one was it like a stitch a day or a stitch a week or I, I do a stitch every day done every and day now in it. my sixth year of doing that yeah. So, yeah, it's, um, it becomes a bit of an obsession, but what you'll find when you begin stitching that you relax. Because you're focusing on something, Dawn, then it's like, okay, I'm just going to take a minute and I'm just going to stitch. And maybe you'd like to stitch your daily stitching with me. Um, you don't necessarily have to sit and hand embroider. In fact, Anita this year, she's actually stitching a tablecloth each day. This would be a great project to yeah. actually just stitch a few stitches each day. Leave it out so that as you pass it, you can just put a few stitches in. Leave your needle always ready with your thread always ready so that you can just put those few stitches within there. Um, I know we talked, um, we often talk about our seat stands, etc., which we've got on the show, and I'm going to go through the seat stands in the later hour. But you don't necessarily need a frame for these. These are a really sturdy canvas, so don't worry too much about that. If you've got um, a tapestry frame you'd like to use, then this is going to look absolutely super because it means you're sort of displaying it yeah. as you're actually working on it as well. So um, by all means, if you want to use a frame, do. But because this is a cross stitch rather than a needle point, which is one direction only, you'll find that it really doesn't distort a lot at all. So um, it's entirely up to you. If you'd like to stitch in a frame, by all means do, but it's not essential for these projects. So oh, wow. everything you need done is in this projects apart from you'll need a pair of scissors so even if you were traveling you were going away in the caravan you're going a weekend away it's something you could pop in an overnight bag or in a suitcase or something like that because again you can travel with it and it's easy to you don't need electricity you don't need anything like that all you need is that time and I do think like I said to you if I was in the hotel it'd be something quite calming quite therapeutic yeah. for me to do it absolutely is remember you've got your project bag with this so if you are taking this around with you you know that it's nice and secure the one thing I would recommend is if a you know particularly if you're in a hotel during daylight hours establish any lighter threads that you okay. might find a little bit more difficult to see at, dark, in, right. at night but then you know if it is a little bit darker go for your background because you know actually where your background is and you can happily stitch that with, you don't have to see that well so um, you know choose your colors accordingly and your project accordingly oh amazing I like it best because it's got the it's got the bigger holes so I'd, I'd find it easier because I wear my contact lenses and then sometimes if I've not got my glasses so at least I could do that so it would be very very easy yep. to do so I have to say a massive massive thank you Rosella it's Welcome. been incredible this hour and especially to see you as well Likewise. but you're back later on this afternoon I'm back at five o'clock with Richard yes Oh, wow. Different products or the same products? Uh, it's w whatever you've left. <laughs> <laughs> whatever we've got left. With. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we'll find some other little bits to pop in there as well. So it's going to be very, very easy for you to do. But like I say, there is so a lot of them have sold out, as you know already. But the ones that we have got, please have a look. The pansies as well is very, very, I think this one, is it hanging in there? It's one of the favourites along the side of the rose as well. So if you're wanting to get your pansies one, yes, we've still got this at the moment, but honestly, do check this out. It could go in between shows, so do remember. 633-571-2699 for all these. If you had to go out and buy all the yarns individually and then the canvas as well, it would cost you way more than that. Remember, these are new today, but when they've gone, they've gone. They will not be returning. So if you are wanting like a bespoke piece that you know nobody else is going to have for a while then I would honestly grab this ones as well let's show you a few extra little bits on the show that have been very very popular as well we're going to start with a little squirrel so Mr Squirrel is in the house so if you're wanting this one a 674 217 I can't believe he's still a squirrel in a way because I thought he would be one of the first ones to go because I know a lot of you like to get these for you know grandchildren and things like that so remember when they've gone they've gone now, if you want in another little cutie, we have got the red panda for you. And you can see why this, look at him, he's just snuggled up there. I do think for a little baby's room or something like this, this would be super cute with that pop of colour. 347524 for this one. This is the red 
Panda as well. But if you are making any of these, I cannot stress enough how much you need to get the refills, the, the actual infill cushions. These are 16 inch by 16 inch, pack of two for these. And these is 075520, 11.98 of those. But before you get there, once you've stitched it all, you are gonna want the backgrounds. Now this is the natural one. And these will fit with it very, very well. Just to cover up all your workings, 12.99, But if you want in the, the white or the black, have a look on the website. Everything is on there for you to be able to choose and for you to look at and more. But incredible value as everything. But like I say, massive thank you, Rosella, for that hour. It was incredible. Thank you. It's lovely to be with you, Dawn. Lovely to be with you, too. And I have to say a massive thank you to everybody at the craft store. It's been an incredible morning. It's been very, very exciting. Thank you for welcoming me over here, too. But honestly, just enjoy the rest of your afternoon. The fantastic team is up next with you, so just bear with us. So coming in next, we've got the kitchen happy hour. It's all happening there. Then we've got the Go Power in Boss and Pink Frog will be with you later for the one day special. Have a cup of tea. See you soon. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. We aim to inspire you, to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Flexi order. When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hello, my name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I hope to see you soon. Good afternoon and we've got a happy hour ahead of us which you know how much I love a happy hour because it means we're going to bag a bargain but the rule and the clue is kind of in that title there you've only got an hour to take advantage of the savings that we're bringing to you now I'm on my own here I haven't got a guest but of course I have you guys at home and I have the guys in the gallery and the studio here as well so I'll be looking for lots of interaction to help me because I'm not gonna lie I'm more on the side of eating food than making food so um, I'm gonna need your ideas your suggestions um, I think we'll open up things because I know later on we're going to be talking about pie. So what's your favourite pie? Have you got a signature pie? Is there something that you've got a fail-safe recipe that you're wanting to share with us? Well, get in touch, studio at thecraftstore.com. But it's not all about pies in this hour. We've got all sorts. And we're starting off with something that maybe you might have with a cup of tea in the morning, a nice little cookie, um, or maybe a donut as well. Well, these are phenomenal prices. Now, 
You'll see lots of the products that we're bringing to you from a company called Norpro, American-based company, but don't worry um, because we have the stock here in the UK, so it's not waiting for any of these dispatches. But they are a professional company, and they actually, um, when I say professional, what they do is they kind of supply professional um, chefs and, and kind of websites around there. They wholesale, um, and they're bringing these to us at incredible prices. So by all means, go off and do your research, and you'll probably find that you've been paying a lot more, even at those wholesale prices, for some of the items that are featuring in these bundles. But this first bundle, you are saving £37.31. So, what are we getting? Well, we're getting this little gadget here to start with. I love this. Now, it's not a little saucepan lid with a, a missing, missing bit, and it's not the kind of the lid of a kettle. It is actually to help you create your donuts if you're using them and you're cutting them out. Now, I know there's lots of different techniques for creating donuts. You might be creating a batter that's going to drop into um, a, a kind of a, um, a saucepan of oil, things like that. But we've got some all sorts of different ways that you can be creating. So that one is your donut cutter if you're going down that route. Or maybe you want to use it to cut out kind of rings of shortbread or something like that. Because what you could do potentially is cut out your base of shortbread using one of these and then have that sitting on the top with a pretty little strawberry or something tumbling out the middle. Oh, I'm getting all creative. Now, talking of cutters, my goodness, you are getting loads of these. Now, these are really clever. I've turned them around because you can see you've got two cutting edges with these. You've got your fluted edge, which you can see there, obviously um, all kind of uh, getting smaller, nesting into that smallest one. And then on the other side, you've got a uh, nice, simple outline um, cutter. Now, it's a long time since I did home economics at school, but if I remember rightly, the clean edge is if you're doing something that's savoury, and the fluted edge is if you're doing something sweet. Obviously, if you... Uh, if you disagree, if you're watching and you think you know you've got it long way around, or what on earth are you talking about, Hayley? Won't be the first time that's been said. Um, but do email in studio at thecraftstore.com. They go from that smallest size, which I'm guessing is probably about an inch and a half, something like that. Again, you've got your fluted and you've got your smooth, right up to your larger size here, as you can see. I like that as well. They all actually sit together, but if you turn them over, that's when they separate up as well. So, nice way of making sure that you've got them all together. I've popped that one in the wrong way around, so we need to turn that one around just to keep everything right. And you've got a little storage case for them as well, so when you're popping them away and you're not doing any of your cooking, they can go in there, keep them neat and tidy, and you know that they are all in there. And of course, you can use them for your shortbread, you can use them for um, donuts fondant, um, pie toppers, baby. Um, I don't know, you could, well, I don't know, what would you use a cookie cutter for? I must admit, I tend to go for cookies. White chocolate, white chocolate chip. Yeah, getting a thumbs up from uh, Harry over there. There's lots of different flavours, isn't it? Again, what's your favourite cookie? As big as your head, that's my favourite cookie. But with these ones, you can see that you've got those kind of uh, more, more accessible sizes. Now, my goodness! The weight of this. Now, this looks like some sort of medieval um, item of torture, doesn't it? But this is um, to do with traditional Scandinavian cooking, apparently. And it cuts out diamonds. And they're two and a quarter inches. Now, I wish I could tell you what they look like, because it, it looks fascinating. But it's got a real weight to it. So if we've got anybody watching for you, from Europe, which I know we regularly do, and you can enlighten me, maybe even send me a picture of what you uh, would create with um, a fabulous tool like this. Just think it's amazing. So fourteen ninety nine for that alone would be a fabulous price, wouldn't it? I mean the weight of it, obviously you can't feel the weight of it, but I can assure you it's quality with regards to weight of it. But then you're getting everything else in um, addition to that. Love that idea. So if you like the idea of getting hold of all of those, gosh you can hear that when I lay it down just how sturdy it is. Um then the details are on your screen there, one three three nine nine five. And you take advantage of that saving but only for this hour. So that's the thing you need to be mindful of. All of the prices will go up when we get to three o'clock. And we've already had five minutes um, kind of elapsed since we got started. So surprising how quick that hour will go. Now, this is a really useful set, and I just think it's beautiful. Obviously, we've got um, a fabulous Valentine's coming up in a week or so's time. Whether you'll get these in time or not, I don't know. Hopefully, you will. But we're talking little hearts with these. Now, these are beautiful, because you could be making little tiny cakes with these if you wanted to. Use them um, for uh, maybe setting things. I mean, you could put all sorts in there. Little jellies maybe in there you could put in there, or fondant. I don't know. All sorts of different things. But you're not only getting that heart shape pant you're also getting the larger one so let me just move that one out of the way for you just for the time being they could be little heart-shaped yorkshire puddings couldn't they or something like that or oh, do like a yorkshire pudding 
Um, next one that we've got is this big pan. Now, this has got an incredible amount of weight to it. I mean, I love the way that it's got the good handles on the side there because I don't know about you, sometimes when you get a tray, you don't have handles on the side, so it's a bit kind of wibbly-wobbly and you can find your oven gloves kind of dipping it into any oil or fat that you've got kind of in the tray. Like the way that your fingers are well away from that recess that you've got in there. So that is a good size. Now, it's 11 inches by 17 inches, um, and the depth of it is three quarters of an inch, and what you've also got with it, ta-da! is a non um, it's a non-stick um, tray this particular one but you've also got um, now it says a non-stick baking sheet but I don't know whether they're, they're referring to this or they're actually referring to the tin I'm not sure I think it's the tin isn't it yeah um, ideal for rolls cookies brownies toffee and fudge that's a good point and it can even be used as a roly-poly jelly roll um, pan as well it comes with a few different um, recipes on there so you can see you've got your jelly roll in there as well you've got your pumpkin squares so you could use it for your kind of tray break and bakes with these oh chocolate chip and peanut butter cookies I like the sound of those so those are a few little ideas of how you can use it it's non-stick so it's gonna be nice and easy for you to use fabulous to clean up as well um, and it's a really good weight as well um, I was using a baking tin the other day, I can't remember what I was putting it, but we were eating dinner and then all of a sudden it kind of um, cooled down and you know, you know when you get that doink and it kind of springs back into shape, oh my goodness I nearly jumped out of my skin. Um, with this, the quality of it I can assure you it's going to be an amazing one to work with um, and uh, yeah, a bargain price there at £13.98. If you want to double up on these, they make nice kind of sandwich tins as well, so if you want to do a large uh, birthday cake or something like that, a big rectangle, you could actually make two of these and layer them up with a bit of jam and cream, maybe. Um, 767-887, if you're liking the look of those. Now, we've got a fabulous bundle here for you. Um, our lovely Leslie, she was jotting down just how many paper cases you've got this. You've got 1,140 cupcake cases with it. That's not easy to say, I'm not going to lie. But it doesn't stop there because you're getting some additional tools with these as well. So obviously you've got your cupcakes, you've got your different sizes. Love the swirls that you've got on the larger ones which kind of coordinate with the smaller. And then you've got these lovely little cupcakes. The smallest ones, well the two smaller sizes, you've got those in white and also in silver as well. They're really pretty. Oh, we've got animal prints in there as well. Now, I don't know whether you'll get exactly as we've got here because it says assorted. So you may get some variance with regards to the design, but it's not about the case, really. It's what you put in it. That is the key thing. And I know lots of people like cupcakes um, uh, for kind of celebrations as well, things like weddings. Quite often you're, you'll find that they get tiered uh, up and uh, creating almost like a wedding cake out, out of cupcakes. Well, if that is something that's going to be happening in your life, then this is something that is going to help you with it. But I promise you that in addition to that, you've got extra pieces. And to be honest, the cupcake um, uh, kind of wrappers or the, the cups, are almost like a bonus with this one because 11 99 is your price but you're getting your piping syringe your icing syringe and you are getting this fabulous little gadget which i'll tell you about in a few moments but let's turn our attention to that icing syringe because it comes here with um you've got obviously you've got your open nozzle there which you're going to be able to take the cap off so you just literally unscrew that and then you'll take any of these and you'll pop it on there and in fact, shall I pick this up and bring it a little bit closer? Or you, you, can you get it there or not? Let me bring it up here. So you basically just pop the, the little nozzle inside the, the collar that you've got, and then you kind of put it all back together like so. Tighten it up so as it's nice and sturdy, and then what you'll find is the little nozzle will kind of make contact with the, the neck of the syringe, and that means that you can actually pipe your cream, your buttercream, icing, um, if you've got kind of like a, a batter, sometimes a thicker batter that if you're creating little kind of, uh, um, little kind of, I don't know what they call them, like little swirls, you know, like little ice gems, those kind of little cakes, things like that, or biscuits, things like that. So, variety that you've got there, so <clears throat> I'm not very good at decorating cakes. I'm a bit heavy-handed so things like this, tools like this I think will be brilliant to give you that professional result and you can see here you've got lots of different nozzles featuring within this one as well um, so yeah I mean $11.99 for that I think would probably be a good price but I was saying that $11.99 for that alongside this little gadget that we've got to the other side now this is really clever again I'm going to bring this in to show you so the idea with this one I'm not too sure how it um, operates but I think you open it up do you open it up that way? I'm not sure. But basically what you're doing is you're, you're pushing it into your cake 
So you've got like a cupcake. If you imagine you made a little cupcake in here and you want to put like a nice filling inside it. Well, what you'll do is once it's cooked, you'll push this in. It's got a bit of a, um, like a, a kind of serrated edge there. Push it into your cupcake and then you draw it out or you turn it round to start with because then it will actually almost, it's, it's up like an apple core. You're taking the core of the cake out and then you'll have your little kind of stopper of sponge and then you press that button there and it will release that. So as you've got that, that you can either put back into the cupcake or you can cut the recess that you've made and fill it up with whatever you like. It could be jam, it could be um, chocolate. Um, you've got a couple of different sizes of those there as well. And then of course the other way that you could actually create with these is if you wanted to use use the syringe you could actually fill that up with a filling and inject it into things like your donuts and your cakes and things like that because you've got that long pointed nozzle there that will allow you to do it as well so if you like those kind of surprise cakes where you don't necessarily know what the filling is going to be until you bite into it then those two items by themselves definitely worth that 11 pounds and 99 pence 970325 now you're liking the look of these a quarter of the stock has gone but that 18 pounds saving will either disappear when it sells out because i can't guarantee that we've got any more of these available to us and i can guarantee that if we have got any left when we get to the top of the hour then the price will go up and that is a big saving, £18. I mean, it's a good price for the whole bundle, £29.99, to be honest, but I'd rather be paying £11.99. Now, we're going to get all creative with our baking with the next bundle as well. And you've got a cooling rack with this one as well, which is always useful to have. So, this is where you're kind of creating different styles of, of kind of uh, uh, well, sweet. I would say, but maybe you can make savoury donuts. I don't know. Never really thought about it. Now, you've got trays for these. Now, donuts, yeah, um, I've got that. That is definitely a donut, as you can see. But saying that, it could be that you're making almost, I mean, if you're changing the, the, the kind of ingredients and the way you're making these, they could almost be, and I don't know what they call them, they're almost like a, um, is it a, a um, oh, what's, what's the Greek, it's like a Greek, rum barber. Is, it, is rum barber Greek? I don't know. But it's got honey and all sorts on it, hasn't it? So you could be making something like a rum barber with that one if you wanted to. Um, is that the right one? Is that the one that you were thinking of with rumbarbas, or was this one? Sorry, having a conversation with the producer. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, it was rumbarbas. Okie dokie. Now, you've got a recipe on the back of this one for um, your spiced apple donuts. Ooh, that sounds nice, doesn't it? Oh, your spiced donuts. I don't know where I got apple from. Ooh, cheddar and jalapeno donuts. Crab donuts, pizza donuts. My goodness. Oh, it's an education, isn't it? All these things just at your fingertips. Get on your keyboard, do your little searches, and you'll find all sorts of things popping up with regards to your donuts. So there you go. If you like your donut tray, then that one is included. Now, the next one, um, you've got that kind of swirl. It's almost like a figure of eight. Now, I believe, um, and I don't know, I'm going to stick my neck on the line with this one. My, my kids used to love almost like a, um, a rectangular donut that was called a yum yum. I think it was called a yum yum anyway. Um, and I think that's kind of what we've got here. We've got the tray that will allow you to create these. Obviously, if you know, otherwise then do get involved please do so because i know that it's kind of like the spanish is it churros that are create i always call them churios and my children tell me off because it's kind of like a mixture of a spanish dessert and or a spanish snack and a breakfast cereal but there you go i can mix everything up when i'm talking about it so yeah anyway um we think or i think it's yum yums that you're creating with these and kind of the the resonance between the two would make sense wasn't it then of course you've got your cooling tray which is going to be useful for any of those bakes that you're making Making, um, getting the air around um, what you've created is key, isn't it? Especially if you're going on to decorate and you're going to ice it, then uh, yeah, that is the key thing. If you're wanting to cool it down, you want it to cool down quickly, then it might be a good idea to get hold of that set because you are going to get that um, cooling tray in there to help you out. It's £40 saving this one. And don't forget, we're talking professional quality. And that is key because you need to have the heat kind of passing through these trays at the right rate for you to actually get that kind of even bake with these. And, and get those results. So nice set that one. Again, very affordable, £17.97. Now, this is something that I've never come across before. Who'd have thought you could get a square donut? Well, you can if you get one of these trays. And I just love this idea. I just think it's a really clever way. It might be a nice way to actually turn this. I'm going to hold this up to show you. So here, it might be a nice way to do more of a dessert as a donut because it's just going to look different, isn't it? I don't imagine it will actually change the, the, the flavour of your donut. But again, oh, now I was trying to figure out why we've got different styles of donuts and we think one of them might have cheese melted on top of it. 
and then we've got oh look at that you've got um, a savory donut there with a bit of salsa maybe a bit of avocado on there oh a bit of creme fraiche um, I love this one. That's definitely got a bit of chocolate on it or maybe one of those chocolate hazelnut spreads on there. But what a lovely idea. And I know donuts are very, very popular, aren't they? Because my son, I've, I've probably mentioned it too many times, but my son and his um, fiancé now, um, they're planning for their wedding. And so I'm getting into all the kind of different things that happen. And they do these donut walls that you can have donuts literally on like almost like a pegboard. And people smack on these during the occasion. So making your own donuts, maybe. Um, this is a nice tray as well, because this one, the depth that you've got with regards to these. I mean, look at that. Really good sizes with regards to um, these wonderful kind of muffin pans and this is what you need isn't it when you're making a muffin you need it to be really good and deep and if you are going for muffins don't forget those little baking cases that we've got as well because they'll sit in there nicely there and uh, yeah nice way of kind of making sure that you get that professional look you can see down at the bottom there one with loads of gorgeous buttercream on there I don't know is there the kind of an acceptable ratio of buttercream to muffin I don't know is it a scientific thing I, I'm not sure or is it just whether you have to dislocate your jaw to get it in? I don't know. You decide. You decide. But, yeah. If you've got to kind of take three bites, then I think that's an acceptable size of a muffin, isn't it? If it just goes in, in one go, then, yeah, that's not good. Either that or you've got a very big mouth. Um, that's 742941. You've got your 12 cups there for your muffins. And you've also got your square donuts featuring within that particular set as well. A very affordable 17.99. And if you have just joined us, we are in the midst of a happy hour. We're in our kitchen on a Saturday. Um, it's a nice social day Saturday. It's a good day for cooking, isn't it? Lots of people spend Saturdays baking. It's a day off. You've got to kind of, you haven't necessarily got those time restraints. And you can be making all those goodies and then you can just stop in on Sunday and eat them all. Can't you now? I like this set. This is where I need to know what's your favourite pie. Now, we've had suggestions from the team here, chicken and mushroom, that's a classic, and I must admit, I am partial to a chicken and mushroom. Um, I do like a kind of a, a Stilton um, or a, a brie steak and, steak and cheese, that kind of thing, you could be making with these. They could be that you're making a good jam tart. Oh, Leslie and Chris, they, they've got a hankering for a cherry, t a cherry pie. Oh, yeah, cherry pie. Oh, this is a thing though. Is it a hot cherry pie with custard or is it a hot cherry pie with cream or ice cream? Yeah, I must admit, I do like a bit of cream and ice cream. Oh, Leslie's pushing the boat out. Now, I love this as a combination. Again, you've got the quality with regards to the base that you're starting with. And that is key. You want to have that even heat, that even temperature, creating a fabulous result time and time again. So you're going to get two pans within this set. Again, you're going to get your, I mean, look at that. That's what you call a good, that's a jumbo muffin. Sign me up for one of those. Oh, my goodness. Oh, your blueberry muffin. I'd love a blueberry muffin that size. Gorgeous. So those are your muffins. So your jumbo muffin pan, you're going to get that. But it doesn't stop there because you are going to get your second pan. I'll move that one just slightly to the side so you can get a really good look at this one. This is a really clever idea because especially if you're doing kind of presentation, because if you make a pie and you make like a big family size pie, as soon as you cut into it, it doesn't look as pretty, doesn't it? It doesn't look like what they show you on the telly. It kind of disintegrates, doesn't it? And then it kind of ends up as a, a pile of kind of pastry and, and whatever the contents are, mush on your plate. Well, with this, you can be making those individuals. So that means that they're going to look absolutely beautiful from the moment that you decant these and obviously um, serve them up. Now, you can see that you've got a really deep pie um, that you're going to be able to create with these. Don't forget, we've got those cookie cutters. You could be using those to actually cut your pie tops with these as well. Or it might be that you're making them open. You've got that outer area there as well so that means that you can literally take your pastry right the way around the edge there put your water on there with your pastry um, brush come back in with your cookie cut um, lid if you wanted to put a couple of little holes in there to let the steam out and you have got a perfect pie there I'd almost go as far to say it'd be pucker but I won't so if you fancy going for that set, um, eight, oops, today, see, 18 pounds and 98 pence is your price if you're going for those as well. Yorkshire puddings as well, that's a good one. If you like, yes, you could be doing there. What have we got? Oh, have we got Yorkshire puddings on the curve? So you can't quite see it. I just want, I want to put a couple of buttons in there to make them look like eyes. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, you've got Yorkshire puddings featuring there. It's a good idea as well, isn't it? 
Like it, like it, like it. So, £18.98. pence again, quality, really good bases with those. Obviously, if you want to go for multiples of these, if you've got a large family, or it might be a case of that you're wanting to use these in a professional capacity, because don't forget, that's what Nor Pro do. They provide professional quality pans to, to people out there that cook for their profession. So, if you want to take advantage, then please do. Now, the next set, I like this. These have got these fabulous little drizzle spoons, and I think this is really really clever and you've been ordering these as well don't blame you um very very wise to jump ahead to be honest we've got a lot um, of different products to share with you and i know lots of you been ordering these so much so that 40 percent of the stock has gone now you're going to get your two drizzle spoons and you're also going to get your linking cupcakes um, or your pan should i say for your cupcakes now i'm just going to get hold of one of these to show you because these are so clever and this is the sort of thing that you will see quite often when you, if you watch cooking programs, and I know I've seen these, I know, um, you've got a deep reservoir within your spoon there. So when you're doing that drizzle, if you're drizzling, well, it could be whatever, it could be an oil, it could be a lemon, uh, or it could be chocolate, whatever. You've got that deep reservoir there to make sure that you don't have to refill as you go. Got a fabulous little spout on there as well, so it's going to go exactly where you need it to go. It's not going to kind of tip over the side and kind of just end up as a kind of splodge on whatever you're doing. You're going to be able to get that professional look um, by really controlling how much of the contents you're applying so you're going to get two of those you're larger and you're smaller as you can see with those so those are both going to come to you incredible quality really good weight now is that going to stand up because it's, it's kind of type heavy with that one there we go Oh, now do some research because um, Leslie, and the, uh, we can't share the pictures with you because it's all kind of copyright stuff. Um, but do a little bit of research with regards to your drizzle spoons, and you'll see some fabulous results that you can kind of use. It can make um, a total difference to the presentation, can't it? Now, don't forget, alongside the spoons, you are going to get those tins as well. So the tins, you've got your square cupcakes, which are going to be brilliant if you're wanting to go for those. Making things like maybe your brownies or your little cakes. Again, small individual cakes are so on track at the moment so you cook there goes the spoon um, so it could be that you're making your, your individual little um, black forest ghettos or your little cakes and um, things like you um, your uh, oh gosh what's the one the other ones the, the plain ones Victoria sandwiches things like that I know they are quite deep um, the the actual reservoirs that you've got with each one of those but uh, yeah you could be making your individuals, you could be almost making um, letter tiles with these. There's a lot of people get up early, very early at the moment, to do that five letter word game. Well, you could actually be using these to spell out somebody's name for their birthday, couldn't you? Little individual cupcakes for each letter of the name and things like that. 19.99 for the two of those together, but it is now limited in stock. So please don't leave it too long before you place your order for that one. Now, oh, a flan. I do like a flan. Um, and again, it's one of those things, isn't it, that when it's done right, it's absolutely incredible. So, um, my birthday's in July, and what we used to do is, we, we can't do it so much now, I don't know why, but we don't seem to see so many pick-your-own-strawberry places um, around by us now. We used to have a field that we'd go to and have a fresh strawberry flan on my birthday, and it'd be lovely. So here, you've got your, um, your flan tin. Um, we're calling it a fluted cake pan because obviously when you're creating you put your sponge mixture into this side and then obviously it goes into that recess there but when you turn it out it will look something along the lines of this hopefully a bit spongier and not quite as hard um, and then you've got the recess there and that is the bit that I love to fill with all sorts of different fruits um, I do like a fruit flan I love those ones at the supermarket where you kind of got a little bit of custard between the, the, the kind of fruit and the pastry and then you've got all the kind of uh, kiwi and then you've got kind of little slices of a, um, oh gosh, I can't think, well, the strawberries are usually in there as well. And they kind of go over it with a, almost like an apricot glaze. Quite expensive when you're buying those, but you could be creating something like yourself, couldn't you, in the comfort of your own home. And um, you've got your little fluted tins here as well. So again, oh, chocolate ganache. Ah, Leslie's going, she's going very fast. Will you be using your drizzle spoon with your chocolate ganache there, Leslie? Yes, she'd be using a drizzle spoon as well. Um, at 12 99 you're going to get all four of those, and you are going to get the larger one there as well. So 180549. Now, I hope you managed to get hold of your drizzle spoon set because that one has now sold out. So thank you to everybody that got involved. Um, if any do pop back, uh, and by that I mean that if it's in your basket and you don't check out your order, in 
the next 10 minutes or so, then it will fall back into our stock allocation. And I know some people have missed out on these in the past. So if you're wanting those, please get hold of them. Now, I've got a nice duo for you. And these are very clever. They're round tins, but they've got different kind of sides as to the kind of angles with them. So one is designed as your cake pan um, and one is a pie pan. So back to pies again. Back to pie. I do like a good pie. But that's to be honest, that's a nice little tin though, even if you're kind of cooking, I don't know, it could be that you're putting um, a little piece of meat in there, it might be that you're a small household or you're just cooking for yourself or you don't necessarily want a huge roasting tin, then you could use that quite easy. Again, the fact that it's got the handles on there as well, that is key I think because it makes it quite difficult to actually get that out of the oven if you haven't got handles on there to hold, especially if you've got things like your oven mitts on, it just makes it a little bit cumbersome, doesn't it? By having those little handles on there, you've got something good and solid to hold on to and it's quality again it's that nor pro quality that you're getting now the sides of this one you can see that it's a slightly different angle to the other tin when I bring it in because the other tin has got straighter sides to it so with that one you would be using that more so for your cakes and here you can see again it's nine inches and this time we've got a lovely recipe there for chocolate brownie the other one I think it was your key lime pie the other one I think so to be honest though you could be using it in whatever way you want so whatever type of cake that you're wanting to make good depth to it so again if you want to go for doubles of these if you're thinking of making a sandwich cake and you don't necessarily want to cut one half and then go off and cook, um, cook the other to put together then do double up on these but that is a really good price um, and as I say pans could you use them for quiches as well I don't know I think you possibly could do yeah savoury quiche maybe Mm. Mind you, I don't think you have a sweet quiche, do you? Can you have a sweet? I suppose you could. You can make whatever you like, really, can't you? But there you go. If you fancy that duo, then £11.99. And, and as I say, you can double up on these. Now, we're going into an area now that I don't really know an awful lot about. I'm not going to lie. Um, now, Meatloaf, um, this is the thing, and I'm not talking about, obviously, um, the band, um, the singer, bless him, one of my favourites. Um, we're talking about, obviously, an American company, and Meatloaf is one of those things that's very, very prevalent in America. Um, I don't know anything about how to cook uh, Meatloaf, so lovely Leslie in the gallery, she's been doing a little bit of research for us. And what you've got is you've got a lot of meat content, which I suppose the clue is in the name, isn't it? So what you do is you kind of make patties that will go in here, but obviously with the, the meat, the minced beef that potentially you're going to be using there's a lot of oil in there um, so you need somewhere for that to drain away otherwise they'll cook and they'll sit in it and they'll go all soggy and horrible so the idea is that you've got the two trays that can be used in conjunction together um, like so I believe and then we believe that the little holes there will allow it to drain off into the reservoir underneath but of course you might use them in different ways. I know sometimes when you're making pies, because you don't want a soggy bottom, you want to kind of have the, the possibility for it to kind of crisp up with the holes there. So maybe you could use it that way. I wouldn't put anything too fluid in there because obviously it's going to go straight away. But you could put your little, oh, you could put, put your little cup cases in there. That's a good idea, Leslie. Yeah, you could do. Or if you want a crisp base to um, a little um, pie that you're making, maybe another way that you could use those. But you're going to get both of those and you're actually getting your loaf tin with these as well. And a loaf tin. This is how, see, this is your lemon drizzle, isn't it? This is your banana bread. All of those, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. Good size loaf tin, that one as well. Maddie, bless her. Our lovely Maddie. She's a bit, she's a bit of a whiz in the kitchen. Have you been cooking this weekend, Maddie? No, she's been working, you see. But last weekend, did you do your brownies last weekend? She did. She makes a good brownie. Not that I've tasted one yet, because they've usually gone by the time I get in. But there we go. She did reserve me one, bless her, but I wasn't very well that weekend. So um, anyway, we digress. So with this one, you've got your trio, £17 for all three of these. I mean, that is amazing. You're talking, where am I, about £6 each? Not even that, are you? Because that'd be £18, wouldn't it? That is a good buy. And I know how expensive um, tins can be. My, my daughter asked me to buy a, um, a tray baked tin before Christmas. One tin by itself was £15, and it was just like a rectangle tin. And it was no different to any of the ones that we're looking at here, the quality. Um, and it was non-stick as well, so some really good prices. So, um, uh, 546-180, that is for that trio that you've got there. But then we're moving on to a lovely set of melamine bowls. Is that right? Did I say it right? I think I did. They look amazing though. Love these. The bright colours with these. I'm almost thinking Mexican when I'm looking at the colours here because they're gorgeous colours. 
absolutely beautiful now you're going to get all four um sorry all three of these bowls you're also going to get your little measuring um uh, spoons as well and you are going to get your spatulas and these are brilliant because they're kind of silicon spatulas they've got a lot of flexi uh, lots of flexibility which means you're going to get right into that bowl there and get out all of the contents for whatever you need don't they look amazing these bowls absolutely brilliant bright happy colors so you're going to get your three spatulas i love this one it's kind of got like the signage on there now um the nice thing about um melamine is one of the things and i didn't know this again i've got um, leslie doing research for me bless her she's doing a sterling job sometimes you have to be aware of what type of bowl you're using for different things and i know this from when you do things like um uh, whisking meringues and things like that you need to make sure there's no grease in the bowl and things like that and sometimes some um kind of foods react with metal so you don't want to use a metal bowl and that's the idea kind of behind these is that when you're using them they're not going to react with the food that you've got in there um, and uh, I think that's a good idea to be honest you've got your large red one as you can see there again a lovely spatula there with that um, silicon um, head to it and a really good size handle on there as well and then you've got your fabulous little um, it's kind of uh, your measuring spoons I love this that we've got it on a banana hook there now with this one and I love this because you've got so many times we will see recipes where it's talking about um, your spoons and it's always a bit confusing as to whether it's a tablespoon or a teaspoon spoon isn't it with these you can see you've got your abbreviations on there that are going to correspond with your recipe so you're not going to make any mistakes because believe you me if you put a tablespoon full in and there was only meant to be a teaspoonful you will know it especially if it's some like chili powder because you'll be in trouble um at 14 pounds and 99 pence you are going to get all of those it's got a fabulous little kind of um clip on there as well so if you do want to take them off and separate them you can do but i'd be tempted to keep them all together so as you don't lose them and they look fabulous like that 14.99 brilliant price absolutely phenomenal and again it's a price that's only good for this hour and that time is ticking away it's surprising how quickly um, we're roughly halfway through the show but i've got a few more things to share with you I've got some other things to share with you as well um, that i've got behind so there's a lot to share with you so next one uh, rolling pins now rolling pins are quite key when you're doing your pastry aren't they um, having the right weight having the right length of a, um, a rolling pin can make all the difference and these are brilliant they do actually come with little covers which i don't have to share with you but you will get them there a good solid wooden rolling pin oh and they're, oh, they're like little sleeves. Oh, now the sleeves, if they're like a stockinette sleeve, I think sometimes they are actually used in the actual rolling of your pastry because I think it's, it's, not, it's not to kind of keep them um, tidy or anything like that. It's actually to stop your pastry attaching to them. Sadly, we don't have those here. Um, but, yeah, you put the sleeve on there. It just makes it a little bit easier. Some types of pastry, dependent on the kind of contents, the mix of it, you might find will stick to your wooden um, rolling pin. And that's why those sleeves are there because you can kind of, spritz it with a little bit of water maybe um, and make it nice and easy to work with so here you've got your duo of rolling pins they're really good sizes as well this one obviously has got the handles on it but the the rotating set um, centerpiece there is separate to the outside so that means it's nice and easy there something like now can I just bring in one of my pie tins because this is key isn't it when you actually put your lid on top of your pie um, you want to roll across and you want to have your fingers well out of the way so you can actually roll over the top there so that is always a really good way for you to actually utilize them and, and get the right results when you're working with your pie tin so that is something that's going to be very useful and then you've got your second one I'm not quite sure why you would um, actually use um, one without the handles but I suppose there's a reason for it um, sometimes um, and I know I have seen people sometimes and I haven't got it with me but sometimes people will kind of put a couple of a couple of things down um, and then actually use that so the two kind of pieces of wood or um, teflon or whatever they're putting down is kind of give you a little bit of a depth there so that means that you've got an even roll with regards to that one so i think that's why this one hasn't got handles on it is so as you can get that even balance things like um, fondant icing stuff like that where you need it to be exactly the same and of course you've got a nice long rolling pin with that one as well so it's something that's easier to achieve than the one that you've got here the handles are firmly attached to, well I say firmly attached they rotate from the barrel there but they are firm so they're not going to come out and it's just a really good weight both of those absolutely brilliant quality um, and I think they're going to be very useful when you're looking at doing your kind of professional bakes or your professional looking bakes you don't have to be a professional baker do you to want to get those results so details on your screen 16 pounds if you're wanting to get hold of those and of course they do come with their stockinette covers as well now this is a nice set 
Um, a very useful set as well. I love my pizzas. I'm not going to lie. We do like a good pizza night at home. Um, and this is a really useful one. Now, if you have got a pizza um, cooker, maybe out in the garden, or even in your oven, if you sometimes are using your pizzas, sometimes people will put them straight onto um, the wire racks because quite often it, it kind of can crisp up the base, can't it, by doing that way. Well, how do you get your pizza out? That is the tricky thing. Or anything that's a good size. Well, this is the perfect way to do it. So you've got your cake or pizza lifter. Now the idea is it's completely flat as you can see. It's got a really good weight, but it gives you the ability to get right under whatever it is that you, you're kind of moving, and then you can move it quite easy. So it might be a cake that you've decorated. You've got it on like a little, sometimes they're on those like little lazy Susans, aren't they, when you're actually decorating a cake. But how do you get it off that onto your display um, tray or your, your cake bo um, board? Then this would be the perfect way to do it. And you can see there you've kind of got like a dessert there that has been lifted up using that and then obviously you can put it onto where it needs to go and then use a spatula or something and slide it away nice and easy really good size that um, 10 inches there so um, good size for anything or equally so if you've defrosted something and you're wanting to put it on sometimes you'll buy something it's in like a little plastic tray isn't it sometimes and you can leave it in the tray while it defrosts and then you've got to cut into the tray and, and it's just difficult to, um, to get out having something like that is going to make it really easy for you to move it around so I like the look of that one so you're going to get that in there in addition to that I forgot how it was standing on there was it standing like that I think it was now you're going to get well to be honest I looked at this and I thought what on earth is that to start with now this is perfect if you're wanting to create your own uh, ravioli because this is going to cut those squares to make the little pillows I never even knew it was such a thing that you could do so but again, I suppose you could use it if you wanted to do things like, um, I don't know, shallow cookies and things like that, or even just to put an impression on there, because it'll give you those kind of little perforations, wouldn't it? But that, again, it's a solid tool. It's something that you know has been created by a company, a professional company that is designed to be used in a professional way. Uh, but we can use them in our own home cook, um, kitchens now. We don't have to be a professional chef to use them. So this is included as well. So you're going to get both of those. And then finally, this tray is a brilliant tray. I mean, it's lovely. It's a heavy gauge. Um, it's stainless steel as well, so it looks amazing. To be honest, it's beautiful just as a fabulous serving tray, isn't it? I mean, that is a classic look. Anything that comes out on a silver tone platter, you know it's quality, isn't it? You know you want to taste it. But this could be if you've got those little small pieces in there as well. It could be um, uh, if you, you're going for this because uh, you've got a special party and you've got canapes. They kind of walk around like that. I don't know. Would you like one, sir? Would you like that? That's there. Something like that. I've never waitressed, can you tell? Um, incidentally, do your own research, but we've done a little bit of research, and if you are looking for something as professional quality as this particular pan, which obviously is designed as a pizza pan, you can find these, but you're probably going to be paying well in excess of double the price that you've got on your screen. We found them for, for one of these that you will be paying over £35 for just one, one element, this element here. So by all means, go and do your own research, but your saving is £35 here. Not your price, your saving. You are getting everything there for £14.99. And I have to say, potentially, the ravioli, I, I can't think I've ever made ravioli, but you never know, I might want to try it one day. But the price of £14.99 for these two, which I know I would definitely use, and they would definitely make my life easier, it's well worth that £14.99 just for those two. So 079063, if you're liking the look of those. There's a lot of choice in this hour, isn't it? And we're not stopped yet because we've got all of these fabulous things at the back here. So I'm going to lay that one down a little bit because I've got a feeling that's going to get in the way when we start looking at some of these things at the back here. So let's start off with these. So um, you're going to get these scoops. Now the scoop and the colander are all coming together. Should I bring them forward and show you them here? I don't know the best place to stand for this. I feel like I'm about to start a game of tennis. Um, so, okay, so what have we got? We've got a metal sieve here. And this is brilliant. You've got a lovely mesh there. Straight away, I'm thinking anything that's got heat in it, you want a metal sieve. Please don't know, take the mistake that I did. And I know it's pretty obvious, but I wasn't thinking about it. And I'd got something that, um, I can't even remember what it was that I was straining, but it was hot and I'd got a plastic sieve and it just melted the sieve. I know, I only did it the once because you would, wouldn't you? So this is brilliant. So things like if you're jam making, if you've got anything that's going to have any weight to it, a really fine gauge. It's almost like a double gauge when I look at this. 
it's like a mesh more so than just having holes in there um, so brilliant if you've got anything that's got very small pieces there because sometimes you can get obviously um, a, a circular a sieve that's kind of almost like a, a colander or it's got a mesh that's got an open weave in there and it will take out most of it but it's not for when you you kind of doing that very fine that very fine sieving you want. Might be that you're doing something like a coulis and you've got things in there like your uh, raspberries. Now raspberries, of course, they've got loads of pips in. So you want something that you can kind of get in there with your spatula and make sure that you are pushing it right the way through. And it won't kind of um, bend. It's got that good solid um, circumference there, that stainless steel kind of ring there, which means that it's going to sit beautifully and not kind of warp. You've also got the catch over there as well. So if it's going to be sitting on a saucepan as well, it's keeping a good kind of balance there. And then you can connect, come in with your spoon and obviously push the contents through it should you need to. That, again, is part of the deal because you are going to get, in addition to that, these fabulous strainers as well. So I'm going to pop that on the side there. Is that going to balance? I'm not quite sure, but we'll see. Now, these are lovely because, and I was only thinking the other day, I was straining something off and I lost half of it through down the, the, the sink. And it was one of those things that it was, it was really awkward to kind of kind of get it out and, and things like that. And these are brilliant because they're scoops, but they're strainers as well. So sometimes when you, you've got something that's got quite, you, you're almost holding two handles of your colander, and then you kind of might need to turn the tap off to rinse or you might want to rinse with boiling water or something. It can make it a little bit tricky. But with this, it gives you the ability to actually um, strain them off very, very easy, as you can see here. So you've got vegetables here. You've got pasta featuring with these as well. So perfect for draining your pasta, your vegetables, beans and bagels from pots to plate. And I think that's the thing. You can actually go into your saucepan, couldn't you, and actually lift them out. Boiling water, I'm always very nervous of, of kind of getting a pan, a heavy pan with boiling water and, and trying to kind of get the content into a colander. There's so much kind of element that you could be in trouble with the, 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 the heat there, isn't there? So this is a nice way you could get this into your saucepan. You can lift out the contents, obviously drain off the liquid and then tip it straight onto the plate there. Brilliant idea. Very clever. Got large and your medium with regards to those as well. So £14.99 if you want to know. So there you go. You can see there, 663382. Now, the next set that we've got for you, um, we've got um, some kitchen essentials for you. So I'm going to move some of these things out of the way so as we can have a little look. I don't know whether that's going to help. <laughs> I'm rearranging things. Can we see these now? I'm not quite sure. Can we see them with the camera? Is that all right? Perfect. Right. So what have we got here? This is brilliant if you are preparing your vegetables for any any cooking that you're going to be doing. So what you've got in here, um, and I love this, it's an olive stuffer. I think this is brilliant. These are the kind of things that you buy, and you only have to buy them ever once. And my mum used to have loads of fabulous little gadgets. She had like, things like apple corers that you don't know that you need until you actually need it. And then you don't want to go out and buy one. So this is a brilliant idea. So what you're going to do is you're going to use this with your olives. I'm, I'm sure that you'll be able to find other uses for this as well. Basically, you push it into your olive, and in a similar way to the, um, the cupcake um, that we were talking about, you basically pull out, and it will actually push through the, um, the stone that you've got in your olive as well. So, yeah, push that in, push that down, the stone will come out of your olive, and there you go. You can um, stuff it with whatever you like, or you can fill that up with your stuffing and actually push it into your olive as well. So you can use it in a couple of different ways. Then you've got a fabulous... Now, this is a really clever idea, because you'll look at this, and you'll think, oh, straight away, it's a potato peeler. But when I tilt that, you can see that the actual shape that you've got of it means that you can actually take the corn off a cob very very easy just kind of almost like peeling it like you would do a potato but all of those little kern, um, kernels of um, corn come away from the cob really clever idea again it's a one-time purchase when you actually get something like this it's in your kitchen drawer for when you need it brilliant idea love it then you've got your little uh, i think this is for your potatoes isn't it potato scrubber um, or any vegetable scrubber, if you're wanting to kind of get the, the um, uh, kind of dirt off things. Then if you're buying organic, quite often you'll find that you have got that on there. Um, so, yeah, you're wanting to brush things away, then you can use that. Next one you've got is your um, lemon or lime sweet squeezer. And again, it just looks pretty, doesn't it? So you're lifting up the back there, pop your um, slice in there, and then just give it a little squeeze. And then you'll find that the juice will come out where you've got the beak there. And it just looks pretty. 
makes it easy as well, makes it easier. Dexterity in this shoe, then that's going to be perfect. Now, this, I know the last time we had this, this was something that we went absolutely crazy. Now, if you like um, adding fresh herbs to your, your um, recipes, I know a lot of people do these subscriptions. Well, this is um, kind of like a triple scissor. So when you actually got in here, I don't know whether you can see, you've actually got three, um, three blades that, that are all cut together. Now, of course, we're saying that it's perfect for you to actually do with your herbs, but you could actually cut your papers with these as well. So you can see there, we've got a little image there. If I turn it around slightly, hopefully you'll be able to see without too much of a glare there. So you've kind of got your triple blade there, which means you can kind of finely chop your herbs very easy. All of those um, coming together for just £14.50. So you can use it for, yeah, use it for security, shred up your bank statements with that as well. It's almost like a little handheld shredder. Clever idea. Love it. Next one that we've got for you, this is your kitchen must-haves. Now, there's all sorts of things in here which are brilliant. And I, I think, okay, these are things that you don't even know exist until you see them. $14.99 for everything. Straight away, a good quality tin opener. Not every tin that you will get will have that little pull on there. And sometimes they have a pull, but the, the kind of the pull comes off in your hand. And then it's like, well, now how do I open it? Well, this is brilliant because you've got, obviously, two gears there that will allow you to clamp onto your tin. And obviously, you rotate that to open your tin. You've also got a bottle opener on there as well. So it's used to have those both there um, so yep yeah, both of those featuring in there garlic press you've got within this one as well so again there you've got your garlic press there um, oh I don't know what that little bit does there is that for cleaning it I suppose it just is when you get it in there to get out of the oh there you go push out any bits that are left in there nice and clean clever idea I like that one so a little um, garlic press you're going to get that next thing that we've got here this is for your meat tenderizing so you basically will paste that onto your meat and then you've got the little prongs that will come through obviously be careful with this because those are sharp but basically you would use that and you kind of pummel the meat and then those would tenderize it make it absolutely beautiful um, Melt in the mouth, I'm sure. Then you've got these fabulous covers. Now, these are wonderful because you're going to get a selection of these, and these will sit on top of things like your, your pots um, or your, your glass jars or anything that you're putting into the microwave, and it stops the contents coming, um, kind of spitting, and making your microwave um, dirty because you have to be careful. If anything goes to kind of the roof, um, the roof of your, your, um, your microwave, it can kind of affect the way that um, it cooks. Um, and it can reduce your cooking time as well because you're containing that heat. We've only got 10 minutes left. I told you to go quick. We've still got two things to share with you, my goodness. Now, this is lovely. The pastry um, sets. Now, this is a lovely one because you're getting your two pastry br um, brushes. We've been talking about these, obviously, when we've been talking about the tins and pies and things like that. So these are going to give that professional look, aren't they? That eggy mix that you put on top to get that gorgeous golden glow on your pie. £14.99 being your price. 153873 if you are wanting those. Now, this next set is a beautiful set. Now, we haven't got many of these left. You managed to find these before we actually got to it so what you've got here now this is a phenomenal price and if there's any stock of this left when we go off air well I'll be shooting up those stairs in the three minute break that we've got before the price goes up because this is an amazing price you're going to get your teapot but your teapot has actually got an inbuilt diffuser in there so if you like your loo uh, loose leaf tea, sorry me wiggling that there, um, you can obviously put your different um, her, um, your different tea leaves in there. Might be that you're making your own blend in there where you can do. Might be that you want to use it as a cold infusion as well. There's nothing stopping you putting your fruit in there, filling it up with water and popping it into your fridge and using it that way. But obviously it's designed to be a teapot. So obviously I've, I've kind of dropped the, the ring inside there, but we'll sort that out in a few moments. You've got a little tea bag squeezer as well, which is very useful because it's going to get all of that flavour out of that tea bag and you've kind of got a little pair of um, kind of like a tongs there to give it a squeeze but I'm sure you could use that in lots of other ways as well and then if you do like and this is if you go to a posh tea shop this is how your your tea is in your cup you've got that fabulous little diffuser there which literally will hang over the side of your cup there and you've got a couple of those featuring there as well which is brilliant and then I love this this is so cute Oh, it's about to go. I can't even get to it. We've got one left. So if that's going to go into your basket, check out your basket quickly because you don't want to miss out on this one. So it really is a bumper bundle. So you've got your um, tea bag squeezer in there. You've got your infusible, your teapot, some fabulous tea essentials there. So a nice one. We've got Mother's Day coming up as well, haven't we? So that would be a fabulous gift for Mother's Day. Anyway, it's gone. So hopefully you've managed to get hold of yours. Um, so 261162. Sorry, it's hanging on by a thread. It hasn't gone completely. 
hanging on by a tea, tea bag thread. <laughs> now, the next set that we've got, this is a useful set as well. So if you are baking and you're using any of these tins, then, uh, yeah, incidentally, that set now with the tea, um, tea part has gone. So, um, yeah, moving on to the next item here, what you've got is the perfect accompaniment for when you are, are creating your bakes. Um, so you've got your silicon glove, which is brilliant. Um, you, I, I'll, I'll pick it up and show it you in just a few moments. Good size. So whether you are um, baking, you've got little hands, or you're, you're a baker with larger hands, then you don't have to worry, because what it's going to do is going to sit, and you can put it. And the thing I like about this is it's not just protecting your hand. It's actually going up to your forearms as well. The amount of burns that I have got getting out, things out of the oven where you've caught it on the trays and caught it on the, uh, the kind of the shelves of your cooker. So that is brilliant. It's got a little loop on there for you to hang up as well. So that is your silicon glove. You also got your silicon brushes in there as well, um, and these are going to be useful to have as well. Professional quality again through and through. So if you like and look at this bundle, again that £30 saving will disappear very shortly because we are heading towards the end of the show. Now on the website, um, because we've covered so many items, before you check out your basket I would suggest you have another look at our website because there is a lot there for you to consider. Um, if you have just joined us then good news, you have until the top of the next hour, which is probably about four minutes or so, it's not very long at all, then it's one of those things that to, um, actually no you've got about 10 minutes when I look at the clock so yes just be as quick as you can I'm going to give you a review as, as many as I can but I'm not going to be able to get through everything cause... so there's one of those durable I wasn't even near it wasn't even near it it's fine it's not dented at all so um yes do look ahead on the website now this set a lovely set we're talking about this one earlier on so you've got different components with this one you've got your donut cutter there which again you could use that to cut out sponge if you wanted to to make almost like little mini flans talking earlier on about small sizes of cakes that's kind of the, the, the thing at the moment is it miniature um, sponges miniature um, black forest gattos things like that so that would make a fabulous like little bun, um, uh, rum barber and things like that you could utilize that You've got your cookie cutters with your fluted and your smooth edge size with these as well. So perfect for your sweet, perfect for your savoury. And of course, you've got your fabulous little container to keep everything in as well. And then you've got this fabulous little tool, which is going to allow you to create your fabulous diamonds. It's um, a fatty, is, is that a fatty man? Fatty man cookie cutter. No, um, Nordic, I believe. Nordic, I think, for little cookies. I love it. Fourteen ninety nine, brilliant quality with that one as well. One three three nine nine five. Um, popular item during this show has been this one, and this is brilliant because not only are you getting your large tray, but you're also going to get your heart tray as well. So you've only got um, well, just shy of eight minutes. We don't have the luxury of that time because we've got a three minute break. So I'll only be with you for the next five minutes or so. Two um, cake tins. So you've got this fabulous one here with your little hearts, and you've also got your big cake tin here, which is perfect if you want to do things like your Swiss rolls or your roly polies but again if you've got anything that's a good size um, even as things like pizzas or if you've got anything you're doing with pastry um, you could be putting on there really couldn't you because it makes it nice even coverage of the heat with those as well um, at 13 pounds and 98 pence so if you want that one 767 887 next one has been a very popular item we're into our cupcakes and we're into putting those little surprises inside and that's what we've got with this one you've got your syringe which is perfect if you want to to do your icing but also wonderful because you've got that long nozzle which means you can inject filling into whatever you choose it could be a donut it could be a cupcake that you're creating obviously you've got all your different cupcake wrappers you've got your large ones as well as your small ones in a variety of different styles including some foil ones in our bundle that we've got here and then you've got your kind of cora your cupcake cora I'm going to call this because this will allow you to take out a plug of the sponge from your cupcake which then you could fill up with buttercream or whatever you choose Nine seven zero three two five. 325 if you're wanting to get a hold of this bundle but you've only got a few minutes to take advantage of the 18 pound saving next one that we've got for you this is brilliant if you're wanting to create things like your donuts or your yum yums um, or it could be that you're looking at doing things like your larger uh, rum barbers as we mentioned here you've got your two tins obviously very stylish because they're kind of giving you that look the moment you turn out your things that you've created then they have got that gorgeous professional look to start with and then you've got your cooling rack which means you can quickly and easily bring the temperature down ready for you to add your decoration so it could be chocolate it could be icing but sometimes you need to, obviously the product to be very very cool or the, the food to be very cool before you start applying those one two six three nine five if you're wanting to get hold of those
So I pop those in. So those are your round donuts and your yum yums, but I didn't even know you could do square donuts. And that's what you can do with our next donut pan. So this one, you've got six reservoirs in there, and obviously you've got your little holes in there as well. So when you're creating these, you've got a good deep donut that you're going to be creating. Could be a savory donut that you're making, um, and then you put in all sorts in there of savory fillings. Um, or it could be that you're creating something, a sweet donut, maybe filling the center with some gorgeous um, fruit and things like that, drizzling a bit of chocolate over there as well. I like that idea. It looks very stylish, nice for a dessert. Next one that we've got at the back here, this one is a fabulous one with regards to your muffins. So again, if you are going for this one, don't forget those cake um, tin, the little paper cases. But this one, it's a duo, it's £17.99 for this one. 742941. One more thing to share with you. I've got a picture of this one to share with you. And this has proved to be a very popular one. It's your fluted tin. Perfect for you to create your flans, this particular one. And of course, you've got your little fluted tart clit trays, I suppose you could call those, couldn't you? Um, £12.99 being your price on that one. And again, another popular item, 180 um, um, So um, if you're wanting that one, pop that one into your basket. Don't forget, we've got loads of other... We're just literally skimming the surface with this review. There's so many different things that you can look at the website. There's absolutely loads because we won't show you everything. Um, cake pan, we've got two different tins here. Your cake pan there, um, good size with this one, quite straight side, so perfect if you do things like your brownies maybe trying out the recipe that you've got but little handles on here which make them really easy for you to pop in and out of the oven I would go for a couple of these because if you're doing a cake that's got double layers like a Victorian sponge then you're going to need two of those aren't you the other one that accompanies it is your pie tray now this is your pie pan should I say this one's slightly different angle as you can see to the side there as well so uh, yeah nice set that one everything that we've been chatting about during this hour has been brought to you by a fabulous professional company um, Nor Pro, as we say and they provide beautiful quality cookware for professional cookers and um, cooker chefs and, and kitchens and things like that. So quality throughout. Last thing that I'll very quickly mention to you, if you're wanting to create things like your meatloaf, then this is a perfect one. I don't even know the first place I would go to actually find these kind, kind of tins, but you've got your tin there and obviously the other to work alongside it. Thank you for your company during this hour. I will be back with you with another happy hour later on, 7 p.m., but I will have a guest for that hour. I will be talking uh, paper crafting with John Lockwood during that hour, some bargains to be had. But talking about John Lockwood, stay tuned because we've got him coming up after the break with our lovely Richard. I'm going to grab myself a cuppa. See you later. <laughs> Oh yes, our monthly mega deal. Have you seen it yet? It's incredible. It's go power and emboss. So make sure you stay tuned. Then we are back with a one day special. Looking forward to that one. Before Rosella, Rosella's back again. Yay! Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media or art journey, join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and I'm really excited to be working with you guys here at the Craft Store. We've been here since the very beginning and hopefully we'll continue to bring you lots of new and exciting soft craft projects. So make sure you join me and Craft Yourself Silly here at the Craft Store. Tickets are on sale now for Crafting Live at Sandown Racecourse. Featuring exclusive offers and competitions. Over 800 make and takes, 
stock up from over 50 exhibitors, and meet and greet our craft presenters. Plus, craft members save 25% off their tickets. Book your tickets now at creatingcraft.com and search for Crafting Live. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hello, wow, well, good morning. No, it's not morning, is it? This is the this is the problem with doing three days in a row. You actually, after a while, have no idea what time of the day it is, what time of the night it is. All I know is, I think my name's Richard. I do know that this is John, though. Hi, John. Hello. Hello, John. I know the feeling. I, I came yeah. off air on the other channel at half at quarter to ten last night. Yeah. And then was on here at seven o'clock this morning. <laughs> so I know exactly what you mean. It, you, As far, in my zone. brain, it's eleven o'clock at night on Wednesday the thirteenth of, of let November. Let me just check through the window to see if it's day or night. I think it's day. Who knows? Who knows? Who can't tell? <laughs> um, how are you, John? It's been I'm, a while. I'm good. It has been a while since we've been together. Two or three weeks, I think. At, at, least, at longer, least. But I'm, I'm really pleased we've got this hmm. show together yes because it's really going to give me a chance to I know we've talked before and you've done shows with me with dyes and things and mm. I can see you you're getting it you well, understanding I, but I you like don't quite you, know John, because do. you kind of explain it to me <laughs> as you should do like I'm a, like a gibbering idiot basically and you kind of like say this is what it is we go back to basics um, and you've done this show this morning and over half the stock has gone of yeah. this and this is your baby in a way because this is something that hasn't been you haven't been told you know talk about this because you have to this is you actually your machine isn't it this is the machine that I bought and I chose mm -hmm. Three years ago. Right, irrespective so, of doing this today. Irrespective this is, of yeah. doing this today, and yeah. if you watch back any of the shows I've done, any right. of my retail shows anywhere, when I'm using an A4 machine, this is the one I've used for the last three years. Okay. I'm not connected by Couture Creations. Yep. It's not a Crafts 2 brand. It's nothing to do with John Next Door. This so this is my perfect. So when choice. you say it's good, or if you say it's good or bad, whatever yeah. you can say about it, it's the, it's the truth from it's, the horse's yeah. mouth. This machine here, yeah. Yeah, um, people I think at home are used to this. When you see a demonstrator, you know, using a die, you know that they they haven't bought it. Mm. They've been given it all of the machine. My money paid for this. Right. I bought this. Yeah. I actually bought five of them. <laughs> Get you. I say in every show, but I've got one for TV. Yeah. One at home, right. in my craft cave, and I've got three for workshops. Wow. I've got two for workshops. One for the one bathroom. One for a friend. One. Yeah, there should be one for the kitchen, <laughs> one for the office, you know. <laughs> no, but yeah. and to me, to be able to, to put my money something and be able to be asked by the craft store mm. um, to do this machine, a show with this machine, but to be asked because I've got the experience with it and I know it, not because I've got any vested interest in it or it's mm. anything do to do with me. Do you teach workshops with this as well? I, everyone who does my workshops... Yeah obviously not been doing a lot in the last two years, yeah. uses one of these because my belief is when you come to a workshop with me, you should be using the equipment I use mm. because I've always think you shouldn't have anything inferior. You should be experiencing, mm. you should be able to achieve what I can achieve. Yeah. So you have the same equipment. So I make sure that these are what I've got for everywhere. Yeah, so I'm really excited actually. I'm going to get a free workshop here, which is really good. <laughs> Unless you're going to charge me right at the end. No. Nope. Um, so let, let's let's get into it. Now let's just sit, let me tell you what it is uh, and how much it is, and then John is going to break it down and he's going to tell you and he's going to tell me what it does. Okay, so this is the Go Power and Emboss die cutting machine. What are you getting? The machine. Uh, you're getting all of these plates which come with it as well. More of that later. We'll get into all of this later. But essentially, you're getting three. Four plates there, maybe even five plates, you're getting lots of plates. We'll get, we'll get back to that. Lots and lots of plates. There's your machine, and then on top of that, this is a set, so that's what you would get with the machine, but on top of that, we're going to throw in uh, two embossing folders here. We've got two different designs, and 30 dies. 30 dies. You've got a whole thing to use with your machine. So you're not just going to get the machine, look at it, and go, what am I doing with this? You're going to get the machine, and you're going to have lots of options to use it as well. Now, we've, lo we've looked online, and we can't find this machine anywhere else. So that's, this is the place to come if you want the machine. The price, 
46.66 on three flexi payments there. Uh, you're saving £10. It's our monthly mega deal. But you'll have to be quick because over half the stock has gone. The item number you want is 880282. So make a little note of that. You don't, I'm, not, I'm not rushing you. Don't have to pop it in your basket just yet. Just take your time. Have a look at this. John is going to show you now and me how it works. So what does it do? Right. John? So basically. Yeah. Um, you're going to get in the kit all of these bits. Okay. Yeah, and these are the bits that we use as, as basic, the basic crafting tools. So, if you were to get one of these, all you would need is some card and some glue. That's it. That's it. Right. Yeah, and possibly a little bit of electricity at your home to plug it into. Okay. I think most people can do that. Good. Most people can squeeze those, yes. you know, and get something like that. And it's really simple. Electricity is a little is... bit more difficult these days. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it's not difficult. It's just very expensive. Yes, but we, for the moment, I think we're, yeah. we're okay. It yeah. doesn't use a great deal. I've got to be fair. Good. It's very quick to run through. This is a die cutting machine, yes. and a, a die cutting machine, and to explain it, and a, I always think this is valuable for people as well at home, even if you've been doing it for years, is to understand. Mm. So I'll take one of the dies from the set. Okay? okay. Now, this is a die, and we've basically, we call it die cutting. Yeah. Yeah. If you look at that die, it's basically there, you've got all the metal, and can you see you've got like fine lines on it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're raised lines. So we call it die cutting, yep. so you imagine they cut, okay. they don't. So I'm going to bring this up now, look. Don't do this at home. No. Okay, so that's not so sharp enough to sharp, cut you. Yeah. My face would be cut and bleeding. Yes. It isn't sharp. Right. The way die cutting works, it's a bit of a misnomer, because it's all about how your machine is and how it's built. Right. But if I stripped all of this out, yeah. this is a mangle. Okay. Right, so if you remember yeah. the old-fashioned mangle, you turn the, turn wheel, the handle around, and yeah. two rollers go in opposite directions yeah. and pull the washing through. Yeah. Can you put your washing through that? Not. I would suggest not with the electricity, to be perfectly oh, okay. honest. Okay, noted. But, you know, noted. good one. Yep. But that's all it is. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Now, different die-cutting machines, what effectively happens is, I'm going to grab a little... Do you know, I had all this out ready, and then I got chatting away to Lottie, the producer, mm. and forgot everything. So, I was so. Like, oh, do you know what? I blamed Lottie all day yesterday for everything. You're doing it today. That's good. That yeah. takes the, that takes I, the I, heat I've known Lottie me. too many years. I'll get away with it. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't I, last I night. even went to her wedding, so, you know, oh, I, right. I know Lottie okay. well enough. Yeah. But basically, what <laughs> happens is, I'm going to put down a piece of card, yeah. and the combination for this mm, machine yes. is okay. A plate, right. B plate, yeah card yeah die and c plate on top right so is the c plate the down. weight or something is that so the... what you've got effectively is yeah. your b plate is five millimeters thick per okay. specs yeah your c plate is three millimeters thick right okay so got this wrong okay a plate a plate c plate yes and the reason i did that is because the instructions will tell you the way i've just shown you and okay. that is wrong right and it's in the instructions, and this is because this show is about my opinion, right? Okay. Not what Couture Creations have told me to do, right? So ignore the they've instructions actually told in your me nothing. Yeah. 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 And the reason is, this plate here mm -hmm. is three years old. Right. This has been used on every TV show. Yeah. This has been used in every live demo that I've done across the country and all my workshops. Okay. For three years, and look at the size of it. Yeah. It is absolutely flat. Yeah. We're used to machines with plates that go like bananas. Right. But if you have this on the top, it will warp. If you put it under the B plate, it won't. Okay. But I'm going to explain why. Right, okay. So what actually happens is, we put this through. Mm -hmm. You would put your die on your card, you put it in, you press run. Right, so A plate on the bottom, then your card and your die, and the B plate A on top. A plate, C plate, card, die, B plate. Right. Yeah. Except your C plate's here. Yeah, no, yeah. I've got two. Oh, I That's see. That's my right. older one. Okay, that looks so, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have done that, really. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's but fine. It's good. Basically, I'm following you. I'm following you. What happens is yeah. the pressure mm -hmm. of those two rollers pushes the card against those raised lines mm -hmm. and cuts it. Right. So I'll show you there. We've got that cut. And it's beautifully finished. And can you see, yeah. hopefully, you've got like a beveled edge. The right. edge has been turned. Yes. So I was watching say, Lottie yesterday yeah. with a scan and cut. She was cutting out yeah. with a blade, and that gives you a, a, a cut, clean edge. But you can't get Die the cutting beveled. gives you this beveled edge. Right. And what's effectively happened is those are the fibres of your paper there. Mm. The pressure in the machine has pushed those ridges against those fibres and made them pull apart. Uh, okay. So it's not cut them.
So it hasn't got a sharp edge as such, nope. it's, but it's, it's an impression, it's got, and, and the weight of the plates is going to push it, and it's going to push the fibres apart and give you that bevel. It look. is, and yeah. that's the pressure in the machine, and that's, okay. there's two most important things when you're judging a machine, yeah. and this is, there's loads of reasons why I chose this one, right. but the main one is, inside here yeah. is a full steel construction. Okay. So all of the mangle in here, it's not got wooden rollers or plastic gears, Everything is a metal construction, right. which means it's going to last a lot longer Got you. and it's going to strengthen. Okay. I had an old manual machine years ago, which a lot of people will know. Mm. And I've, I've re seen people, I've read it online where they're going, oh, I think my machine's going because it's leaving oil marks on my plate. Mm. And it's not. Those are shavings of plastic mm. that are being squished with the pressure of the machine. Right. To almost turn into oil to give dark marks. Okay. You don't get any of that with this because it's all metal construction. Okay. And the idea is each machine yep. has a different level of pressure. Mm -hmm. This to me had the perfect level of pressure to give me not only that beautiful cut, mm. but give me that beautiful bevel edge without any hassle, without having to get any mats, without having to do anything else. It allows me to get that beautiful, you can see there, beveled it. finish. With uh, very nice. actually doing anything. Uh, we, have, uh, we have them popping into people's baskets as we speak, I'm understanding. It's nearly 60% of the stock has now gone on this, 880282, and we can't find this anywhere else on the internet right now. This is the place to get it for three payments of 4666. No postage and packing if you are a Freedom member. You're getting the plates with it, of course, as well. That comes as standard. All the plates which we're slowly looking at. And... On top of that, you're getting the two embossing folders, which we'll look at in a while, and the 30 dies as well. I've got a quick question. Uh, it's, it could be a silly one, but I'm going to throw it anyway at you, John. Um, I've seen people using hand machines where they're turning the, the handle. Is that doing the same thing and giving you the beveled edge? And if it is, then what, why would we need to have it electrical? What's, what, right. what's the pros the, the, and cons of having the electrical The first thing machines? is, yeah. With the manual machine, yep. I use I use two machines. I use this and my Kaleido. Okay. When I want something quick and something smaller, I use my Kaleido. I use the manual. Right. When I want something larger, or I'm using a bigger area, or I've got a bigger die, I want to go into this one. And what you've got here is your plates are mm. A4 size. Right. So if I grab a sheet. So your hand, uh, your hand machines, if you like, generally tend to be smaller. The majority of the more successful ones, yep. only in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Are A5. Right. Yeah. Okay. I've tried a couple of A4. I loved my Grand Caliber. Yeah. That was an A4 machine. I broke six of them right. during my time of demoing over two years. Okay. Yeah. They're not John proof. They're not they, John and proof. John, I, yeah. I'm, I'm terrible. I treat yeah. things atrociously. Not many things are John proof. No, very, very, very <laughs> yeah. few things. If yes. you saw, you, yeah. you, if you go and have a look at my car out in the car park, yes. you'll understand yeah. that. I, if you've I, not I noticed. The, is that the one before. with all the, all the sort of tra police markings around? No, that's that the, the white one with all the dents on everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah the, okay. the pictures <laughs> on the back because it's not been washed in three years. Um, but yeah. basically, yeah, with a manual machine over an A4 stretch. Mm. The amount of pressure you have to put on your hand to get it over that bump. Have you seen people when they, it's almost yeah. you go over a sleeping policeman. Yes. Going over that bump because you have to provide that pressure. Right. With an electronic one, what's actually happening is all that pressure is created by the motor. Mm. So it's even all the way across the machine. And right. it's even all the way across Perfect. your plate. So it's not cranky The number and of sort times of I've done yeah. it myself where I've, I've gone around, certainly, and I will show you in a little while a frame. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the worst to try and do in a manual machine. Okay. And what actually happens is, as you're turning it, sometimes you go faster and then you hit that bump. Yeah. And you, <coughs> yeah. And you actually find it doesn't cut in certain areas because right. you've gone too quickly or too slowly. This is all timed. Perfect. Okay. And you've got in here A4 plates. This is A4 paper. Okay. So, but can you see the plates are actually larger than A4? Right. So it doesn't go over the edge. So it won't hang over. So an A4 yeah. sheet is almost letter size, but. The fab thing I loved about this mm. is the mouth of it is bigger than A4. Right. Because if, like me, I have a tendency to not put things in straight. Okay. So it evens it up, does it? Yeah. Now, basically... Oh, it doesn't matter. You can just go in at any angle. It doesn't matter. It's yeah. going in at a weird... I'll try and show you that way. And you, can you see the angle this yeah, is coming out yeah, at? Yeah, yeah. It's gone in wonky, yeah. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because right. you've got that extra half an inch space. Yeah. Also means if you're using things like American letter paper, mm. which is a different size to the UK A4, yeah. it's wider, that can hang over without getting damaged at the sides. That looks really easy to use as well, because what we've got looking at, three buttons there? Run, on, off. on, 
Yeah. Off. Yeah. Same button. Yeah. Run, which Run. makes it go. Okay. And reverse, which makes it reverse. I can do that. You can do it's that. Literally and it's three literally, buttons. if I go there, press yeah. you put that in, Start, you press stop. run. Forwards, backwards. Well, we press run. Yeah. Run. Yeah. If yeah. I wanted to come back this way, I don't have to stop, pause, anything. I press reverse. Okay, and it just... Oh, okay. Perfect. And it just reverses. So it's so yeah, nice genuinely easy. easy to use. Yeah. And that's the main thing. And I think a lot of people switch to an A4 machine because they like the bigger dies. Yep. Yeah. I couldn't get... I mean, this is not a massive die. This is one of mine. Mm. I couldn't get that through an A5 machine. Okay. That would not fit. It is literally... Too wide. But it's okay for the small dies as well. It doesn't matter. It's not Does like it makes it's no small difference. machines are better for small no, dies. No, it's not like no that. Difference no difference whatsoever. Not right. when you've got something like this. Well, you may as well go for a bigger machine because then you've got more scope to do all the dies, haven't you? You, you are, sense. literally. Yeah. The, the, the fantastic thing about this is mm. you are not only future-proofing yourself, mm. you're backwards-proofing yourself. Because the main reason I chose this, apart from the pressure, Mm -hmm. The fact it works, the fact it's all metal, mm -hmm. so it's ticked so far all the problems I've had before. Yep. It doesn't have a handle, so it's not going to break, okay, which I've done many times before <laughs> with too much pressure. It's a bit of over it's ticking there, nice, but yep. this is the only A4 electric machine I've used yep. that takes every single die that has ever been invented. Right. From the wooden ones that first came out, yeah. All the way through to dies that uh, came out yesterday. Backwards compatibility then. So it's here. not going to put all your dies out of date that you've got. You can use everything no, you've you ever can collected. Use everything. I was That's using great. the last time I did this machine on a show. I used a wooden die of, of um, Powler's. Yes. And that was, I think, 15 or 16 years old. It's one of the original. That's good. But dies come in all different widths, and the plate combination means that it will work all the way through. Yeah. So, but. So the way I've sort of said that, I was going to show you embossing, but what I will do is the biggest question I get asked is about, where are we? Shall we grab a different one? Mm -hmm. We'll grab a bunny rabbit. These dies. What are those? You won't have seen these. <laughs> okay. These are called Bigs dies. These are by Sizzix. They're called what? Bigs. B-I-G-Z. B-I-G-Z. Bigs. Bigs dies. And Bigs these are dies, effectively yeah. dies yeah. that have got, the die is inside, but the die is sharp. Right. And it's held inside foam, and there is a star sharp steel blade in there. Oh, okay. So this will cut things like... Yeah. So this is a piece of really oh, thick wow. hessian. Right. Or you can get quilting dies okay. that will cut through really thick fabric that are in the bigs. Yeah. And this is one of the things that a lot of us bought a lot of these a few years ago. Right. When they first, when dies first came out, this is what they look like. So I, Before I was, I was we foolishly these. thinking this was just all for card only, yep. but you're saying you can put different materials in the machine. Yeah, you can. So, okay. to yep. do that, what yep. you actually need is, you need two C-plates. Right. Now, can you get the, a spare C-plate? No, not right. at the moment. Yep. And the reason is that Couture Creations, when they invented the machine, didn't order thousands of spare C plates mm. because they knew that after three years you wouldn't, you still wouldn't be replacing them. Right, makes sense. So they weren't looking, saying, "Oh well, we, you'll need to replace that every six months, so we'll mm. make lots of them." Mm. That's not the way the company operated. However, we've put on the show either the full set of Kaleido plates or the pair okay. of the three mils. So these Kaleido plates are, are compatible with the they with are, the Go Power because when we designed our machine, I yep. made sure they were compatible with what I already used. Uh, so I can do this and put on the top 3mm plate, yep. press run, no sensors or anything. Yep. Doesn't matter how wide that sandwich is, because that sandwich is not wide enough. Yep. The machine will work. I could put through a piece that wide. Oh, now I can show you the, the different uh, plates that you can get yep. here. If we have a little look at this, you've got the 3mm pair here and the 5mm pair. Four pounds off here. You're getting a magnetic base with this as well. So why do we need a magnetic base? Well, oh, that's that the, the standard base yeah. on the Kaleido. Right. Because this is one of the, the fab things and the differences in this machine. So just to show you, that's our bunny rabbit cutting oh, our yeah. really genuinely, if I throw you, if I give you the rabbit, yeah. That's yeah, really it's thick, thick, isn't it? Yeah. Burlap. I would actually it's struggle. Really, you have to get a really strong, tough to pair actually, of scissors to do that. Yeah. As I cut yeah. that, it's it's nowhere near as crisp. No, no. The machine has done it because it, it almost senses the pressure. Mm. But the other difference on this machine is what normally happens: electronic machines either have two electronic sensors here mm -hmm. and here. Yeah. Or they have two hook-down little hooks here and here. Okay. And what you have to do is 
you have to make sure that those sensors are covered by your plates right. or that your plates hit those. Right. Not on this one. Okay. So if you've got the Kaleido plates, okay. or and a friend of mine, Brenda, very kindly tested it for me in the break, yeah. or you've got a... Um, I've forgotten it. It's the machine that most of us started with, and I completely, I'm completely lost it. It big begins shot. with a C, C and it's yeah. the biggest. It's a machine that everybody starts. Cuttlebug. That's it. Cuttlebug. Cuttlebug. Yeah. Most okay. crafters who've been around a while will know that one. So there'll be people at home yeah. screaming that out. They will be John. screaming at yeah. John. Come on, you idiot! Yeah. But literally, it's yeah. the same way. So here, because I've got a magnetic base, that kind of holds in place. Yeah. My five mil, that one. So if you've got those plates, yep. the Cuttlebug or the Kaleido or something, they will work in this machine. Okay. But of course, if you were putting in junior plates, and mm -hmm. this makes it quicker for you, yeah? Yep. You would think you'd have to put them that way for the sensors. Yes. No, not on this, because <laughs> it works on the run button. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter how... Yeah, doesn't so matter. Put it in at any angle and you any can angle. put... Any yeah. angle. Doesn't matter at all, works the same, I can reverse it, which I probably haven't gone all the way through the design yet. 60% of the stock is now gone, by the way. 880282. You can't find this anywhere else. We don't we haven't seen it. We've looked very hard. We can't find it anywhere else at the moment. Only here on the craft store. Three payments of 4666, and it's a £10 saving on our monthly mega deal to get the GoPower in and boss die cutting machine. And of course, you're getting the 30 dies. And the two embossing folders as well. We haven't even got into the embossing yet, which, no. which we'll, we're definitely going to do Which I will hour, get right? into. Yeah. But basically, so there I've cut that piece straight mm -hmm. off with the smaller plates. Right. So again, if you like working with smaller plates or you want it through quickly, mm. you know, it's, it's almost 16 seconds to take that one through. It's eight for that. Yeah. Because it's smaller. If you go that way, it's like five. It's hard to see you how this would work. Like, any yeah. way. This is going to take a long time to, to wear down, isn't it? Because the, the dies are separate. This is, this is pressure. This is a machine running through some blocks. It's going to last you a while, isn't it? It is going to last yeah. you a while. And one of the, I'm, I'm glad you said that. It's something I've not mentioned on the show mm. uh, previously. What happens is, yeah. over time, yeah. every single die cutting machine, the rollers on it, like on a. Um, I'm losing all my words today. <laughs> Like on a mangle. On a mangle. Thank yes. you, Richard. That's all right, no worries. Like on a mangle. Yep. Yeah. The pressure over time will release a little bit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, and it will happen, and it happens with all of them. Okay. I've tested nearly every machine in the market, and they will all claim. There's no way to tighten it up, no? no? There's no, no loss in pressure, but as you go in, yeah. if you think over years, three mm. or four years, and when I've used a machine for three years, that's like someone at home using it for 20. Mm. Some, you know, sometimes they will get a little bit less pressure. Mm. They included the metal shim. Okay. So when you start to see, if you've got something that doesn't cut right, or you start to see that it, it's quite, it's, it's not quite as tight as it <sighs> used to be, mm. all you do is add the metal shim into your bundle. Yep. So you go base plate, metal shim. Yep. Yeah. Then you'd go base plate, card, die. I'll do a little bit just to show you again. So, mm -hmm. so I go base plate, metal shim, C plate, C card, plate. Die. die, and what I'll do here is I'll do this bang in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to put the, the C, pl the B plate, B plate on, on yeah, top. B plate. Okay. Oh, and this is the metal shim. There's the details. What I knew on the show today, nine ninety nine. If you want the metal shim. But what okay. that will do is just make that sandwich that little bit tighter. So you you therefore use that from now on. Once well, you feel like the pressure's gone, well, you're just going to add the metal You would use shim. it each time. You would say, okay, yes. well, this dye's really intricate. And there's a lot on it. Right. I think I'll use the metal shim with it. Just, just, just giving it a little to... bit more weight and yeah. pressure. The more that's yeah. more that's in there, and basically, you can mm. see there that's cut absolutely perfect, bang in the middle. Yeah. And I wouldn't normally cut a big A4 die like that, but again. So it's cut, uh, so it's bang in the middle, it's absolutely perfect. Can you see the impression it's left mm. in the plate? Because so, I so, so once again, to future-proof, it probably pressure. worth putting in the metal shin, because you can get it on the flexi. It's yeah, 333, well, a, isn't it? There's a metal payments. shin included in it yeah. with the machine. Oh, but is that? Yeah. I would always say you need a second one. It's mm. the only thing I buy a spare of. Okay. And the reason is, if I'm cutting fabric with a fabric die, you cut into the metal shin. Yeah. And what you will do is you will wreck it. That is not good enough. That I would not use now to be a shim for bad dies. So I keep one for cutting multimedia dies, which again I'll show you. Okay. And one 
I keep for paper. Right. So I always, it's the only thing I'd recommend, I would say, you don't need to get yourself an extra B, you don't need to get yourself an extra embossing mat. Right. The only thing extra I would recommend from personal experience is an extra metal shim. So you have got the, the metal shim here, which is this universal adapter that we've got that comes with the machine as well. I'm just getting my head around these uh, these plates because you can actually, if you want to get this as an extra, this is $9.99. So just to recap here, here's your machine, you've got your, your embossing folders and you've got your die set as well. In terms of plates that you're getting with it that come with the set that you're going to be ordering. You've got your A plate, there it is, your A plate. You've got your B plate there, which goes on the top. You can get extra ones of the B plate as well, but that is limited stock. There it is, twelve ninety nine, five two eight nine zero five. Then you've got your C plate. That's the one that goes on top of the A plate. Uh, if you want extras of that, we've got the Kaleido version, which is on the bottom of your screen right now. It's three millimeter plates. You can get a pair of those for twelve forty nine. Here's your metal shim. You are getting one of those with the machine. Again, you can get one of these separate as well. If, as jo uh, John recommended, you might want to have a spare one. That's $9.99 for your metal shin. Now, have we covered this? This also comes with it as well. What's, what's this here? Right, so John? this is your embossing mat. Right. Oh, we're getting on to the embossing now. Well, it's two different things of embossing. Okay. Because when we say embossing, I say embossing to me, I think of embossing folder. Mm. But this is designed for when you're embossing a die. Right. So this is a very, very thick rubber mat. Okay. Now, again, I'm talking from personal experience. Mm -hmm. I have never embossed a die cut in this machine. Mm. What embossing a die does, and go back to this piece we had earlier, you see how the edge is beveled and it looks as if it's curved on this piece? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So I've got a brilliant shot there coming up from Marcus. Can you see how it's beveled edged? Very nice. Yeah. Embossing increases that, or supposedly increases that, and really bevels that edge. Okay. But this machine does it so well mm -hmm. with just cutting that I have never embossed the dies because I don't see the need. Right. So okay. why do a second job when it's not necessary? Right. So the only job I use this for is yeah. when I'm embossing through a stencil. Now, I did say I would try and do it in this hour. Okay. And I've left my stencils in the car. Oh, John, was this in so, the car that's <clears throat> falling apart in the car park? Yeah. The so same un one. Unless Maddie wants to steal my car keys. Maddie, you and know what to go do. go into the back and she's she'll off. find she's on it. She's one on of it. these boxes. Oh, no. Hey, I've got one. Wait. Oh, I brought it oh, out. That's a shame because I wanted I to report back you. on how bad his car really oh, looks. Oh, honestly, it? it's like a skip. Yeah. Uh, trust me, <laughs> like there are empty skip. cans of brown fizzy I've diet liquid. I've been checking liquid. all my rubbish in what I thought was a skip. Was that your yeah, car? That's my car. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. sorry, John. That that is so that sorry. Is that's me. So my car. Yeah. Uh, two thirds of the stock is now gone here on our embossing uh, and die cutting machine here, which is fantastic. Well done to you if you popped it into your basket here. 880282 is the item number. Three payments only of 4666. That's very, very decent. You're getting the machine, you're getting all the plates. We're going to look at the embossing uh, uh, mat in a second, and you're getting the embossing folders and the dies as well. It really is a good little package that and it's only 4666 that first payment uh, no interest to pay on that at all it's just been cut three ways 4666 in total you're saving 10 pounds on the standard price and at the moment we don't think you can get this anywhere else and as you can tell John genuinely loves this machine because am I right in thinking you've got you, you your your company actually produces a machine, but you're actually st sitting here going. We this produce is what the Kaleido, which is yeah. the best A5 die cutting machine I've ever used. Okay, it does the foiling and everything else. It's a different purpose, right? And it's the, the best machine to have out on my desk for doing flowers and smaller pieces. Got you. But here when you are talking to, about another machine. When it comes to an A4, this mm. is what I use. This is what I bought. This is mine. Yeah. And I always say, you know, to me. The ultimate is to have an A4 and an A5. Right. You've got different uses. The Kaleido does all of the foiling. And the fact that my Kaleido plate, so at home, if you've ever seen, if anyone's actually watched any of my Craft Cave Live videos that I do, um, this machine sits here. Yep. My Kaleido sits there. Okay. And I use a combination of the both because I can't fit, I can't fit that die through on the Kaleido. Course, yeah, but if I'm doing sense, something yeah. quickly and I want uh, that flour, yep. I am not going to put that flour on an A4 plate and run it all no, the way through. I'm going to do it on that. On I'm one, very yeah. lucky to have that. But yeah. what I love is the fact, and it's why we did it in a way, is we made sure mm. that the plates that went through the Kaleido worked in that as well, yeah. so that you can swap and change. Yeah.
That's not so to say you, you can't really put mix. those smaller dice through your. If you've you got this machine, it's obviously can. for you. Um, you know, you're working fast. Yeah. You want to do things quickly. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. So yeah. what I'm going to do now is. Yeah. And this is the only thing, and I would honestly say, I have never embossed a die using this mat, and I wouldn't, to be right. honest. Yep. I find it's very, very thick. Okay. But it's great for this technique, and again, right. this is included. So if you've got any stencils, yes. okay, yep. you've basically got your stencil. Now, I get this wrong every time. Okay. <laughs> So it'll be one of two ways, and we will learn together. Good. I've done this hundreds of Good. times. Do you want me to bail you out again and like yep, come up with please. a name or whatever? Yeah. Yep. Okay, and, and, and tell everyone at home that I did this on purpose to show them how mm -hmm. not to do if it's wrong. Yep. So I've gone base plate, yes. the thick rubber mat, and if you look at it, it's very thick. Yeah, yep. it is. So I can my stencil, yep. I'm putting a piece of card on, Okay. and then I'm putting my B plate on, okay. my base thicker plate. plate. Okay. Base plate, St rubber mat, stencil, stencil card, card, B plate. B plate. Got but you. if this is too thick, mm -hmm. the machine will reject it. It won't allow it to. It, it won't will go not in, allow it will start to, to go in. It will it. come back out again. It will go so far, right? And, and it will go, and those three lights will flash, and it will reverse it out itself. It's so quite hard to break the machine. Then, it isn't is. It? I've not managed it yet. Mm. And you've tried. Boy, I have tried. Oh, my gosh, I, have you tried? I am well known in this building yes. and in the craft industry for breaking anything possible. I saw you with a sledgehammer Dawn's on over earlier. there, giggling yeah. away because she knows how much stuff I have broken. Yeah, no, I know. You, you do try to break everything. I do, but yeah. it, it, you know, I'm well known no. for it. Fair play. So you see here, wrong way. Yep. So. You're going to try it again. This is what I love to do with this. So you're going to go down, so it's going to go card, stencil, yeah. <laughs> B plate. Okay. okay. That's all experience. Once you've done this at home, you'll know what works and what doesn't. No, I've done know. this hundreds of times and I never remember it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, write do it the down. John does and you'll Once I've right. got it right, but again, yeah. that's going through, but to me that's going through too easily. Okay. But that's why I love this machine, because you've got a metal shim. So now you can add so that. So now in I can actually make that pressure greater, and, and I'm and not. You just, and you know to... how easy it's going through just by by can after a while, now? just listening no. out for it. You want to you want it to see it almost not not struggling, but it's kind of going through a lot slower than that. Oh, that's yeah. Go so ahead. now yeah, I've turned. That's the D boss. Yeah, I've turned that stencil into. And emboss. Yeah. And I could go through that with my inks or anything else. Right, yeah. And if again I thought I want that a little bit heavier, I'm not happy with it, Metal I need time. to be a little bit crisper, yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah. Let's put it down the right way, shall we? Fit it back in. 80% of the Kaleido uh, plates have gone, by the way. Add 80%. The metal shim, mm. the fire B again. And you've got so much flexibility yep. just by having those extra bits. But you see here, look, the, so it doesn't damage the machine. Mm. This rubber mat is coming out like chewing gum, it's extending. Yes, because the, the, the nature of rubber is it. is it can just, you know, it's pliable, isn't it? So you good. don't have to worry. Mm. You really don't have to worry if that happens. Yep. And then when I take that out, I've got an even deeper, crisper emboss from the stencil. That's great. And that's all included. All I've added is a stencil and card. Cutting Nothing else and is in the embossing box. on this machine. That is incredible. Well, and that's embossing yeah. the stencil, but we've still got the embossing with the folders. Oh, hang on. Hold so that I'll thought. So i that in a minute. Hold <laughs> that thought, because I need to tell you that 70% of the stock now has gone. 70% of the stock has now gone on our machine here. What is it? It's our monthly mega deal. It is the GoPower and embossing uh, die cutting machine, and you're getting the machine as you can see here. It's a lovely looking thing. It's so simple to use. Look, even I, this is Richard proof. Look, three buttons, three buttons on and off, run and reverend. No, reverse. Uh, it's rev. So you press that and a reverend arrives. No, you press that and it comes back out again. So you've got run, you've got uh, reverse, and you've got on and off. It could not be easy. You don't need instructions with this, do you? No. It just, it, it is what it is. It says what it, it says what it does. Then you're getting all the plates to it as well. So we've just seen the embossing mat here, which is nice and thick. Um, now, if you want an extra embossing mats. We have those available as well. Look at that along the bottom of your screen. 273-159-1299 for that. Then you're getting a metal shim with, this is all part of the bundle by the way, and this is an extra. You can get one of these extra if you'd like though. This is available at 9.99. Can I just show you something on the metal shim? Yes, please. Okay. Now this is, I think, very important. Please don't do this at home. Yes. But this is very important for people who've had metal shims or machines before. Okay. Watch my hand, watch the shim. Yep. yep. This is a magic trick. Yeah, it looks like that, doesn't right. it? 
Oh, no. Nothing. I'll tell you what. If, glad that as, didn't as our wrong. producer has just said yes. in our ear, yeah. she would be bleeding if she was using the metal shim that she had at home because right. we can't say that brand. Yes. But these have all, no, the, it's the spare ones, edges, the it? ones you get in have been chamfered edges. Even on the points, I've cut my finger. Yeah. I know Lott Lottie's cut her finger on metal shims yeah. before. You know, I couldn't recommend it if it did that. Please don't do this. Don't try this with all of your metal shims, just in case it's yeah, not like um, this. Please don't try it with any of the ones at home. But and don't rub your dyes on your face as John did. No, don't well, do it. Unless you know. Do as I say, never do as I do. And don't keep your car in the same condition that John does. No. Other than that, do everything John does. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. When it comes to crafting and doing things, yeah. Yes. All the other bits, don't take no, any notice of me at all. Not. Don't take a blind bit of notice of me. So that's really good. So that's not that's not yeah. sharp, that's usable. So you've got the, the, the metal shim in there and you can get the extra one at the bottom of your screen there as well, nine ninety nine. You can add it into your flexi basket and uh, split the cost of that three ways as well. So that's three thirty three, isn't it? Then we've got your B plate. There's your B plate. And that's along the bottom of your screen as well if you want an extra one of those. No, that's not, is it? Yes, it is coming now. Uh, this is all part of the machine bundle. Now, there's your uh, your B plate, A4 size. You can get that for twelve ninety nine. Again, we can add all of these into your flexi basket and uh, get to split that three ways. Here's your C plate. Uh, can you get this separately? No. No. You can get the Kaleido version, which is going to uh, help you out instead. There you go, along the bottom of the screen, three millimeter plates, a pair of those are 12.49. And this is your A plate, or as you call it, the base plate. This is your base plate. Yeah. They call it an A plate. To me, it'll always be a base plate. Right, OK. Because no matter what you're doing, this is always on the bottom. This is always on the base. absolutely have to have one of these. And uh, that's, I tell you what, that's just a lot. You're not going to need to spare one of these, are you? This, I can't <laughs> see this ever wearing out. No. I mean, I, to be honest, I am on my first set of plates yeah. with every machine I've got. I've not bought spare plates or replaced any. That's I good. was very lucky to be able to buy an extra C plate for doing the big dies and mm -hmm. the wider dies, um, but I've now discovered that we don't need to because I can get, to be honest, yep. to me, and I, you know, I'll probably get shot by Couture Creation, sorry Andrew, but it's better value to me to buy for the same price a pair right. of the Kaleido ones because I can put, you need two of them to do your big dies. So basically you have one on the bottom, mm -hmm one on the top, mm -hmm. you have your piece of, um, I'm using mount board, right. or this is actually dolly board, so this will be on the website, okay. but that is a lot easier mm. than trying to put my C plate from my machine and then the smaller plate on. Right. And I would say, people at home, yeah. if you're like me, 90% of the big styles I've got are this size. Right. Yes, they come larger, I have a larger one here, mm -hmm. if I can get it out, yeah. Yep. But that is rare. Ooh, that is a big one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's actually a fabric die to, oh. to quilting pieces. Interesting. But again, yeah. that's rare to have that. But mm. just like that, I've cut those. So to me, Look at that. No so nicks. much easier. Perfect. And that is the most perfect stencil. It really is, isn't it? Look, you use that both ways, can't you? Um, three quarters of the stock Whoa. is now gone. And I should also point out, because we're showing the machine and, and the plates if you're just joining us, it's not just this. It's a, it's a, it's a set, if you like. It's a, it's a bundle. You've also got all of these dies here, which has got to be worth a little bit on its own, isn't it? 30 dies. You've got numbers in there. You've got all sorts of... Uh, you've got a nice bicycle in there as well. You've got flowers, happy birthday. You've got borders. Uh, designs there as well. 30 dies in total, just to get you going, just to give you a little something to, to use on your machine. And you've got two embossing folders. And I think it's high time you told me, John, what those do. Right. So yeah. an embossing folder mm. is literally... Yep. The words are what it does. Right. It's a folder, folder that, that embosses. embosses. Wow. So okay. two well, sides. That's it. That's, right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Have a great night. Yeah. This is why we. This is why we give you the big bucks, John, to come in and explain <laughs> to everything. Explain, to us. It's a folder. It's embosses. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> do, do, no, it's right. brilliant. So, um, effectively, there are so many different embossing folders. Yeah. It's another reason why. And it sounds like I'm sort of singing the virtues, but I'm, I'm singing. It's like converted to the choir. I, I'm so trying to explain you're allowed why. to sing the virtues of this. Well, if this is genuinely your machine, yeah, I mean, you've been I'm using I'm, it. You, you know, I'm justifying. Yes, I suppose actually I'm justifying why I bought so many of them and, and why mm. I paid for them because a, yeah. a lot of you know people think in the craft industry, oh, you get given everything. Mm. I spend so much every month. Yeah, and I still feel like everybody else at home. I have to justify it. Mm. But embossing folders, every company, yeah. every design is different. 
Okay. And that's why the flexibility. So these are a standard embossing folder. Right. And recently we've got very, very used to 3D embossing folders. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the instructions say for the standard embossing folders, you go embossing folder, uh -huh. embossing mat, yeah. and you go C plate. Right, yeah. Yeah. and don't forget your base plate, you didn't mention base, that. Well, yeah. I'll mention oh, that. It's just your automatic, plate. thank you. Yeah, that's right. But this is, this is good, you see, I, I can see yeah, you going home with one of these. Yeah, no, I'm and I'll picking give you it up A couple now. of bits of colour of card, because you yeah. you've got everything in the box you yeah. need to make a card. Yeah. Because everything you need apart from card and glue is what you need in the box. If you had to make a birthday card for the missus tomorrow, mm -hmm. yeah. you could, with some coloured card and some glue, you could do that with this machine. Everything included in the pack will do it. Okay. Happy birthday. Using this, got the, yeah, got the some little the flowers. Design. Yeah, yeah, you've got, got an embossing folder for got the, the back. Got the borders. But yeah. You see there. All right. Okay. okay. Right, I'll nick yours then. Is that all right? Yeah. I'll take yours. Um, and your car. Yeah. No, you're right, actually. I'll no, swap. You, you keep your car. I'll, I'll swap. I'll happily swap. <laughs> um, and you see there, I've got that embossed. been. Oh, yeah, look at that. Anita's been in touch. Hello, Anita. She says, um, thanks, Richard, for, for asking basic questions. No problem, Anita. That's what I do, um, because Anita needs all the help she can get, apparently. And thanks to you, John, for explaining it so well. So I think oh, between the two you. of us, I think we're going back to basics here, and we're, we're doing a service for a lot of people out there. Because it is a bit like this with crafting. I, I can tell you, because I'm new to it all. It's one of those cases where everyone else seems to know a lot about it, and you're a bit afraid to ask the simple question of, like, well, what's a die do then? Because you don't want to look, you don't want to look foolish. No, you don't. Um, when I, I got into crafting, yep. um, I went to art college, did all the things, and then, you know, my mum said, right, you've got two weeks, get a proper job or get out. <laughs> nice Cruel to be kind. Yeah. She was right. <laughs> so I didn't do anything in it, but I made bits and bobs. And then I came home one night, watched Create and Craft, mm -hmm. um, because we're all one big thing now. So yeah, so you're that. allowed to say that. No, ordered a good. kit from, um, yep. from Mich uh, Michelle... Marsden, yep. Red Hot Bed was the brand, okay. and started making cards. That's brilliant, and by I the way, to, to know that you started out by, as many people watching at yep. home now, a watching a show just like this and went, I'm, I'm doing that, and then here you are now. Yeah. Doing if you it, ask yeah. a lot of crafters, they'll be able to tell you who they were watching first and what they bought. Right. Because, you know, and so, Anita, so in, in a few years' time, is going to be like the head of some <laughs> huge crafting company. Yep, She's going to go, gonna say, oh, I was John. watching John and Richard <laughs> yeah. talking about this embossing machine, and, you know, the, the rest is history. It, yeah. it is how it works. And, and I watched it, and I used to sit at home, and I would watch, and I would go, and a lot of the demonstrators would go, well, what you do is you take this, and you glue this, and you put this down, and look, and there, it's pretty. Mm. And you stand with that bravado, as we've all done at home, and gone, do you know, if I did that job, I'd explain it better. Mm. And we fast forward sort of four or five years, and I got very, very lucky to get the chance to do it. Yeah. And said to myself, just remember when you were sat watching at first without Completely. a clue. Yeah. So sometimes I really apologise because it may seem like I'm teaching people to suck out. No, no, absolutely not, John. It's certainly helpful for me. It, but you need to know. Yes. I want to know why. You can get sort of caught down in the reeds yeah. sometimes, and you get so involved in the in the area of expertise that you assume that everyone knows everything, yeah. and people don't. We don't. Not, they don't or do we, it for a we living. We forget. Yeah. I got how to emboss a stencil wrong mm. again, first time. Yep. I've done that hundreds of I've, times. I've literally I've seen you get the plates all the right way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> today. We all do it, so yeah. we need a reminder. But this is what I do. So we got that emboss, but yeah. it wasn't really that crisp. Yes. So what I could do is I could add in the metal shim okay, that's gonna to give, give us more me a little bit more crisp. pressure. Yeah. What I tend to do with a folder like this, I tend to use, this is available on the show, but this is the Crafts 2 like, glue mat. It's okay. a thinner version of that, but it allows me to use... The, the B plate, which is the right. thicker plate, okay. and I have a preference for not putting my C plate through my machine on the top, right? Because I think when you've got oh, a so large that, surface that a warping, area, is it? it is. Yeah. Yeah. When you've got a large, thinner surface area, mm -hmm. the chances are hitting those metal rollers because they're metal inside, it will mm. start to bend it or banana. Yeah. You don't want that, so no. I tend to go for that. Um, by the way, the, the details as you can see are up on the screen right now for the uh, craft mat there and the shim. Getting both of those there, A5 size. 234373 if you'd like uh, an additional uh, shim, metal shim, and a non stick craft mat to go with it. 1298, you can whack that uh, in as well onto your flexi basket. And so pay that's that the two difference. That's mm. the one I've just done. 
That's the first one I did. Oh, yeah, big difference. See the difference? But this is, it all is about. It's both sides, John. Is that the whole yeah. thing of the 3D embossing? Is that the difference well, no. between. Okay, go on. This is a 2D embossing folder. Right. It just raises it one level. Right. That's what you're going to get. But it is on both but sides, so you can turn it on. It's on both sides, yeah. you get. That's your emboss. Yes. And you've heard people talk about deboss. Deboss is it going in? Is it that's like concave and, and convex? Concave and convex. So deboss is, going, is going in, in, and the emboss is, emboss is, is raised coming up. out. Got you. But we do do a lot of. We have. Have, and a lot of people now are having 3D embossing folders. Right. And again, when this machine Do was developed... Do we need developed, to wear 3D glasses for no. this? <laughs> just, I, just I want, like I mean, that I, one. I'm here for all the stupid <laughs> questions. I'm here all day. I'm here all day. He's here all week. <laughs> I do, 3D embossing, I don't know. But, no, it's worth asking. Yeah. A 3D <laughs> embossing folder, basically, is instead of it just giving you one flat raise, yeah. it's almost like being carved. Right. So it's giving okay. you, when I open the folder, can you, you can feel there's a, there's a difference in height. It's oh. been carved in, rather than just being one flat level. Right, okay, run that by me again. So instead so of it being, yeah. if I take out a normal... See, I put things down. Oh, this is the one I just embossed. Oh, on. Basically, the depth there is identical on right. the entire design all the way across. Okay, with you. Yep, all with the you. same height. With you so far. On here, yeah. these have actually oh, been carved. Oh, it's like it undulates. It's like some yeah. of it's a bit lower so and So you can feel that flower coming out. You can feel that leaf getting so, deeper some in the middle. Some parts of it are more raised than others. Yeah. When you see the final design, exactly. it's kind of a, more of a 3D effect. So, yeah. Yeah, and one, of, one of the things I will say on this great tip, I've seen loads of people saying, mm. um, you know, what to do if it doesn't emboss crisply or how to work and trying different things. The amount of pressure mm. is what will alter how deep your embossing is. Right. If your card cracks or doesn't emboss well, mm. or you're worried, all you do is spray it with water. Right. You don't need anything else. You don't need any mixes of glycerin or sugar or anything else. Okay. If you give that a light spritz with water, you will make the fibres in the paper swell slightly and it'll emboss more crisp. Oh, okay. That's you don't need anything else than literally nip yourself down to, can't say Wilco, say yeah. you're somewhere like that. Yeah. Get one of those cheap 50p little spray bottles, fill it's it with water, water, give it yeah. a spritz. Yeah. And that can even help sometimes with your die cutting as well because it just helps the fibres separate. Uh, how, how, if much, it's a little bit how much water? Just, just dampen a it a little bit, like you were sort of just spritzing your face. Yeah, a little yeah, bit. nothing, nothing too, major. Yeah. Don't, okay. You know, but don't buy anything. You don't need to get anything proprietary. That will do it. But this is a 3D folder, and these were obviously invented after this machine. Mm. So this is, we said about it being future-proof. And the machine still can use the them? The machine will still use them, and every single one of them, again, will be different. But what I do this that time is... is do you think I, you might be able to use 4D when I that comes along? I think it might when it comes along. Because that's the time machine. That's time as well, 4D. Of course, of course, in four dimensions four in space. Four dimensions, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's not get us is on... No, don't get me on to the TARDIS is and it things TARDIS? like that. I don't know. Who knows? It's future-proof. Don't. Unfortunately, I can give you every boring fact about that going. Oh, really? Yeah, are you a, are you a Doctor so, Who nerd? I am. Um, I am a, a Doctor Who and science All fiction right. nerd. You may, you may have just met your... Uh, ah. Met the right guy Anything to speak up to, to the latest series as I'm holding that off. Yes. But of course, we all know what TARDIS stands for, don't we? We do time and relative, time and relative dimensions, dimensions in space. Time and relative dimensions in space, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, uh, we could keep this on all, all probably right. for hours. All right. things. But you see, all I did this time was use the A plate <laughs> and the B plate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I, I took out the mats. I didn't go with the C plate. Yeah. And if I didn't find this was crisp enough, yeah. I could then add in that plate. Mm. If I found it didn't go through, I wouldn't use the B plate. I'd use the C plate. Mm. If that wasn't crisp enough, I'd use the shim and the C plate. Right. So at yes. the moment what I've done is I've embossed this one. I'll show you how it's come out. Look, okay. That's okay. the 3D embossing folder. Right. Hoping I've I can got see to stop now using what you're talking white. about. Like it's um that's the difference. Can you see the petals? Yeah. This is a Nelly Snellen. Yeah, some elements are more raised than others. Some that are receding to the background. It's yeah. um yeah. Yeah, you're getting so it's, much it's almost more. It's like it's been sculpted, isn't it? It, it has. Yeah. And but the thing is, if this wasn't right, yeah. and this is the brilliant combination with this, so I've used here base, embossing, and 5 mil. Right. If that's not enough, yeah. Yeah, I can go base, embossing, and 6 mil. Right. Yeah? If that was too much, yeah. I can go base, embossing, and 3 mil. Base, how low can you go? Yeah. <laughs> there you if go. that's not enough, I can go base, <laughs> yeah. or A plate. <laughs> yeah. Embossing folder. Right. One mil. 
three milk, making that four mil. Right. So I can put make that sandwich on top. Yeah. Three mil. Yeah. Four mil. Five mil. Six mil. Doesn't matter. You could, and yeah. all of those are included in, the, in package. the package. That's brilliant. So that's why I say about it being future proof. So the same machine will cut that, will emboss stencil, emboss that stencil, but it will emboss that folder that comes with it, which is actually called Tied Together, if anyone mm. wants to know the it's name. It's called what? This is called Tied Together. Tied Together. Cre right. Couture Creations, about six, seven years ago, did an A4 folder like this yeah. in this design. It was called Tied Together. It was a limited run. Right. And anyone who remembers in the craft industry that much, people were paying 50 and 60 pounds for it on eBay. Really? And it's part of this? Yeah, and now they've now. done it as a, eventually they reissued yep. it because everyone yep. demanded, but now they've done it as a small one, which is why I know the name, because it was just, when I joined the industry, I was like, seriously? Yeah, now, for seriously? 46, 66, your first and you pay, you're getting everyone, everything here. Where can I yeah. get tied together from? Yeah. That, yeah. now, is your 3D folder, so that's all done in exactly the same one, just by altering that plate sandwich. That's brilliant. Nearly 80% of the stock has gone now, John. There it is, 880-282 is your item number. Your monthly mega deal, £10 saving there, three payments of 4666. You're getting the machine, all of these various plates that we've been talking about. The dies, we haven't even got to the dies yet, really, have we? I guess we've been using one or two of them, um, but... The embossing folders is what we've just been talking about over the last five, ten minutes, and you're getting both of these embossing folders added in there. Once upon a time, 50, 60 quid, uh, John was saying, to get the original version of this. Uh, you can't find this machine anywhere else on the market at the moment, and if you can, let us know, because we couldn't find it anywhere. But you can get it here. It's 80% of the stock now gone. And it's not just you, John, who loves it, because we've had an email in from Rachel. Hello, Rachel. Rachel Harris. Hi. Uh, thanks, Rachel. She says, hello, everyone. Um, I bought my GoPower when it was a special last time, and I have to admit, I was sceptical. Uh, but to anyone who is hesitating, I can tell you, it's absolutely brilliant. I do a lot of die cutting, and I wouldn't be without it. That is a happy... That's brilliant. Thank, Thank you, Rachel. Rachel. It's really nice to hear. Mm. The, th the thing is, it, it's, it's something I always say um, about our Press to Impress, the mm. stamping platform by Crafts 2. We don't give them away. Right. We don't give them away free. <laughs> if you see a demonstrator using it, they've bought it. Right. They bought it in paid for it and they've made the choice and spent their money. Mm. And that's always given me reassurance in a product. Mm. And the fact that I can stand here and say, I bought this and I love this so much, this is my money. You know, I, this isn't a free one I've been given to do the show, this yes. is mine. Yeah. And I've had them for three years and I decided when it was on offer last time, just like you, Rachel, I bought a new one which I've saved for today. Mm. So, but I will get my, tomorrow I will take my three year on out and we will compare the two. Okay. So that's what I'm planning to do tomorrow to show you the difference. But to hear mm. that um, Rachel said exactly the same, mm. it's not just me, I'm not spouting it because I'm paid to. No. It's somebody independent no, who's it's also your thing. saying, yeah, "Absolutely, yeah, this just and, happens and this to be. It's quite, it's quite a happy coincidence, isn't it? It's like th this is, this is exactly your machine, so you can talk about it from experience yeah. and your actual love of it. So your one, your three-year-old one, is that uh, is it a different model or nope. is it exactly the I, same? Exactly. So when you're going to compare them, it's just going to be how it's how one's sh lasted for three yeah, years. It, yeah, it, one, how one's mucky and one's not. Yeah. But I'm now using this. Is, this is my three-year-old plate. Right. And I'm going to do these are delicate dies. I think we've got these on the show. These are my corners. Okay. But this is something that I love to do. These are very delicate, very intricate dies. Okay, so these are my. I'm using the mandala corners. Okay, I'm this just is your. Uh, we've got these, these on the show here. This is a pair, actually. Come here. Got them here. This is John's. This is John's very own uh, dies here. John next door. You can add this into your um, flexi basket if you like, along with the machine. It would be three payments of seven thirty-three to get the mandalas here. Uh, both of these um, die sets, so you've got mandalas and corners, 12 dies in total. Um, so you're going to use, are you using both of them? So what I've that, done is yeah. I've used this, one of the centre dies mm -hmm. from the mandala and I've used the four corners. Got you. So should be more even, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put it to one side mm -hmm. and I'm just going to at first, so I've got A plate. Yep. C plate. Okay. So what plate am I going on top, Richard? That'll be the B plate. It will be. <laughs> Yay! And if you're not happy with the pressure, you're adding the metal shim. Well, that's what I'm going to do next oh. because I'm asking this to do a lot. Yeah. And when I got my first ever A4 die cutting machine, it, it's now. I mean, it's a grand caliber. It's. It, I, I think it's off the market now. It's a brilliant machine at the time, but a manual. Mm. First thing I did was I put a die everywhere on a piece of A4 card. I filled it 
and I ran it through and I took the board off and I looked at it and I thought only about four of them had cut. Oh. And I right. threw him in a car and I was like, and I sulked. Yeah. <laughs> because I didn't understand right. that it doesn't matter how good these are, mm. if you ask too much, mm. if you put your entire load of washing through a mangle at once, it's not going to be dry. Okay. You put it through piece by piece. Right. So it doesn't matter again what anybody says to you about how amazing it is. And you can fill the cup, the, the whole plate with different... Better to less no, is more. No, it won't. So, so just run it through sort of three or four. Uh, no, three or four run passes, it through yeah. once. Check yeah. it. And you can see here. Yeah. Here I've asked a lot. It's mm. not quite cut through there. Okay. Okay. It's cut through here, but it's not quite got some of that detail because on those lines, I've asked forty points to cut at once. Right. In less than a second. Yeah. Because if you think Top about passing. it. Yeah. Yeah. What I've done is it pulls down this bit. So this is where it, the machine is so fab, because all I do is go, right, OK, I've asked a lot of this. Mm -hmm. So understand it. I'd rather you get it home and instead of going, oh, that didn't cut, there's something wrong with the machine, go, have I asked too much? Mm. Yeah? Because we never ask that. I get mean, it's you, like, get your mess bless her, my mum washes and irons all these shirts for me, for my TV shirts, mm. and I never think, so. have I asked too much, Mum? No, because you want to, to give it to you for free, yeah. Yeah, sure. and she does bless never, her. Never ask, just yeah. accept it. Yeah. Um, but it's... You know, but we sometimes have to ask that question. Mm. We have to ask the question, have I asked too much? Mm. And it's no hardship to do that and run it through with the metal yeah, shim. Yeah, second time and round. It's not necessary because they've all cut. Yeah. But I want to show you, if you really, you know, if you really are struggling, what you do is, mm. or you think, you've got one of those dies, and I've been presented with one once to show that I, for love nor money, could I get it to cut but I know more now. Mm. So what I've done this time is, this has cut, but I'm, I just want to show you the thing. Mm. I've put the metal shim underneath the C-plate. Okay. I'm going to take the A5 metal shim, the Craft 2 one, that comes with that mat, mm. with the oh, embossing yeah. mat. Oh, yeah, that separately, yeah. Yeah, and I'm going to run that through. And it, what that will do is increase that pressure even more, and if the machine doesn't like it... It will reject it. will it. reject it. Okay. So, so you, you can't, can't go wrong, can you? No, um, you can't. You really have to hammer something through. It doesn't do, do any it. harm to send it through twice anyway, does it? I no. guess it's not going to... Or press reverse. It's not going to ruin it or anything, no. So, we always uh, do it on a manual machine. We always go forward and back. So don't overload it. Don't put too many dies in at once, because, you, you know, it's, it's only a bit of electricity. You can just take your time, do it, you know, two or three times, sort of a few dies through at a time, and you can do it more than once with yeah. the metal shim if necessary. Yeah, for the as pressure. many times as you want. So, yeah. of course, we know that's going to cut because that's the most, you yeah. know, simplest shape ever. But these corners, and I've put four of them on together. I'm just going to pop one out, but it's one of those, trust me. Oh, I'll tell you what, we've only got a few seconds left, John. So I'm uh, just going to try. Yeah. But can you see how detailed oh, yes. this is? Yeah. So we super cut fine, four of intricate. these in a row because I'm, I'm a sod with my dies. Yeah. Probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> too late. Yeah, Look too late. That. I was doing, but... How detailed is that? And Brilliant. I put four of those in one go. John, thank you so problem. much. Thank you so much. Brilliant explanation. Um, everyone loving it at home. Nice and simple. We've gone back to the basics. Almost limited stock. So please do check out your baskets on this fabulous machine. It's been really, really fun. Thank you so much, John. And I will see you very soon. Oh, it's our one-day special from Pink Frog Crafts in a moment. This is the final call on air. And then we've got some collection de art. Is that the way you say it? I hope so. Cross-stitch, followed by a new one-day special. Hi, I'm Pat. And I'm Mark. And we're Totally Patched. We've been in business for 20 years, and we've been with the craft store for five of those. We love working with the craft store because... It enables us to reach out to people who we wouldn't normally see. We like to educate, inspire and make them want to enjoy the craft as much as we do. Make sure you don't miss the Totally Pat shows on the craft store. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous 
and impression obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Stamparama, the incredible art, stamp and paper craft show will be taking place in the Grand Hall Newcastle Racecourse on Sunday the 13th of February. Come along and meet many of the UK's most dedicated and gifted craft experts, all available to inspire you with their knowledge and expertise. Tickets are available to purchase in advance from the craft store for only £4. So, what are you waiting for? Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Welcome back. I'm chucking away here. Of course, we're here with the one day special. It's your final call, your last chance to get hold of this. And dawn bless her, we're counting in. She doesn't have put your lippy on. Have you got your lippy on now, girl? I've got my lippy on now, yeah. Oh, That's you're the not... trouble. We've got the masks on, and you forget to put your lippy on before you come on set. Oh, well, you're not fully dressed without your lippy, are you? You know, you need your lippy. Definitely. Um, now, of course, this is your last show, your last live out with your one day specials, because you've actually got three different options all under the same item number. They've all been very, very busy. I don't know if you've placed your order for yours yet. I placed mine during the 8 o'clock show this morning. I actually went for two of the white linen ones because I'm planning for um, a wedding. Not my own wedding. Well, I should be, really, but it's my son's wedding that we're planning for. Um, and we've got invitations and things to do. And these are perfect for our plans. Now, you've got three different opportunities with these. Now, when I was chatting to Matthew about the type of card that we use, he used to work in my craft shop many, many years ago. I mean, he's rapidly approaching 30 this year. But he remembers linen cardstock being that classy look even it when is. i mean we're talking 15 years ago he was in the craft shop helping me out and it, it's it's one of those things he is. remembered it's just nice to have a little bit of texture yes but not too in your face exactly. that you can't do those lovely techniques on it that's, that's the it. nice thing about that's it. that's the thing um, and it's difficult for us to actually show that texture when um obviously you've got a flat color whether it's the black or the white but here i think you can see how it's kind of been captured and it almost looks like you've got a fabric weave within this particular cardstock beautiful quality absolutely incredible and it really does give it a kind of personality now i promised you options so i'm going to tell you about the different options that we've got so you've got your black card your white card or a mix of the two now the mix of the two is the one that most of you've been going for um, and uh, it's incredibly close to limited stock and of course this is going to give you variety and I guess that's the key thing I suppose isn't it Dawn when you want in your cards up to have that kind of mixture of your white and black few mats and layers and like, kind of making those elements pop it is I mean when we put the black and white together this is it this is giving you more options but don't just think black and white okay because straight away Think about all those ink pads you've got in your craft room or oh, your little okay, craft yeah. storage. Straight away, you can then Ooh. turn that white into a coloured and white. Okay, so that's kind of so, how it might look to start with. But of course, Dawn's shown us if you want to take away that starkness um, and you don't want it to be quite as contemporary as this one, then Dawn has actually been using the linen card and she's been applying her ink to it as well. So of course, that gives you a, a foundation, which you could start with. Absolutely beautiful, perfect way for showing off your photos. But maybe drawing out colours from the photos using your ink pads, I think that's a brilliant this idea. But you were talking about weddings, you mm. know. You know, a bit like with the wedding album I did of my parents. Yes. Picking out that the bridesmaid's colour or exactly. the green colour, you've got yeah. that accent colour just to add that little bit of something. 
but you don't have to go and buy oh, all do you that hold range those, of... Do you want to hold those back yeah. up for us? So, sorry, Dawn, That's didn't quite okay. get to you then, but we've got, we've got you there now. So there, so the colour's been applied. Now, you've got, to, obviously, I, and I like this, kind of got a mixture of the white alongside the black, which I think is brilliant. Yes. It's got kind of that, almost like a primary look to it, quite a bold look. And I've done this quite heavy and quite thick. OK. OK. So I've just gone straight on with the ink pad to, to, to get that coverage. But the linen card can take it. It hasn't buckled, it hasn't lifted the coating, anything like that at all. But of course, with the board you've got, it's showing it as you can try and see that texture that we can see on, in the studio. But yeah, trying it's, to it's get a, over at home is not an easy, easy one. <laughs> but you all know if you've shopped for Pink Frog before, and I'm sure you will have done because we get very um, loads and loads of return kind of orders with regard to Pink um, Frog. So this is kind of giving you an idea of how you can actually work with your cardstock. Now, what you've got is obviously your 12 by 12 but that gives you so much scope with other shapes in there with your dies actually comes with instructions as well so if you're wanting to actually create things like these fabulous albums then you will have the instructions that come alongside with it as well and you're going to be able to make well it depends on how you work with them because you've got lots of different ways that you can work with them it depends how frugal you're going to be how many different elements you're adding in there but you're looking at potentially about three of these two to three dependent on how you're working with them now obviously Dawn's just showing you how you can change the color of your card which you can do but we have got exactly the same linen card in a multiple colors so you can go onto the website and find those if you don't want to add the um, color of the ink yourself but of course let's talk about the one day special giving you that foundation giving you that starting point whether you're going for your mix which many of you have been or whether like me you've gone for your white because you kind of got an idea of how that's going to work or maybe the black as well I mean the black is a lovely strong color and I must admit quite often when you're buying black cardstock you're paying more because of the actual kind of dye that is used so same with That's fabrics it. and walls and things like that for some reason even bed sheets can be more expensive when you're going for the darker tones that's it and as a scrapbooker myself you know white and black are your basics that you're going to use over and over again you know as scrapbookers you, we use those to make our photos pop definitely but with our true card stock from pink frog you know you've got the color right through to the core you know it's acid and lignin th free and it's just great quality it scores beautifully that's it's it. a good weight I mean, what else can I say? It's just perfect. perfect. It's absolutely perfect for those memory albums. And that's what we want, isn't it? Perfection. Because when you're taking those photos, um, it will be that, that you're actually taking kind of um, replicas of the original photos. But you still want them to last, don't you? You still want them to look as pristine many, many years down the road, rather than kind of just looking at it and thinking, oh, gosh, that looks so tired and tatty now. Now, if you're wanting your one-day specials, now, you can go for multiples of these. I went for two repeats of the white, but you might want to mix it up. You might want to go for your mixed, and you may have done that when we launched this last night because I know we how busy we were and you know coming in thinking oh hang on a minute that price is such a good price I think I might come back in and get another set well you can do 016533 if you're wanting to get a hold of those you can do now this cardstock is replicated in lots of other bundles we're going to share with you so rather than chopping into these I would suggest that you add in some of the others alongside it because it's going to marry up perfectly because it's the same cardstock but rather than you having to cut it we've got pre-cuts pre-cuts are always so useful aren't they whether it's it's fabric or whether it's cardstock it means that somebody else has taken the, the kind of the, the time and the trouble to do that for you and you know that you've got the perfect cut with these now we're still looking at um, your 12 inches with regards to these or your 30 centimeters as you can see the should I say 30 centimeters to work alongside your um, 12 by 12s of your one day special um, 10 and a half centimeters a very popular cut with regards to these now when they come to you am I right in thinking um, that you're gonna get the instructions for those frames as well you are going to get Ooh, all okay. those instructions that are on that sheet we've put this size with the show because this is a great size to use for add-ons to your folios brilliant you know to do that matting and layering to make extra photo mats to do your die cuts you don't want to cut into a big sheet of 12 by 12 of do not. you yeah, no we're not. crafters we're quite frugal <laughs> Exactly. Now, of course, you can use it for your card making if you want to. So they're going to make those kind of A6 cards if you want them to be portrait or landscape tenfold. You can see that you're going to be able to do that with these. Perfect for die cutting things like sentiments as well. But obviously, because of them being the true, that true term, 
is the key word with these, isn't it? Making sure that you are using it because it's acid and lignin free, so perfect for your memory albums. Rapidly approaching 80% of the stock of this one has gone. So as Dawn says, you don't want to chop into your larger pieces. Having those pre-cuts mean they are ready to go at the moment you want to use them for all those pockets and that interactive content that we've seen with some of those fabulous albums already. Details on your screen there, 677-356 if you're wanting those. Now if you like your A4, then we can help you with your A4 as well. And that's what we've got in the next bundle. So again, if you're a traditionalist, if you like working with your A4, then this is brilliant. 300 GSM, perfect obviously for your card bases if you're wanting to use it in that way. But of course, also a brilliant one if you want to use it for things like your boxes as well. Um, a wonderful weight at 300 GSM. So if you are making albums and you're making apertures or your cards and you're making apertures, then you don't have to worry. That 300 GSM is really going to be able to cope with that. So it's a brilliant weight to work with. But if you're thinking of getting this one, please be aware that 60% of the stock has gone. This is the one that we showed you with those gorgeous colours being applied. But of course, it could be any of the card that we're talking about because it's the linen effect. And the linen effect, when you sweep over with your ink pads, it's really showing that texture. Let me keep that as close as tight as I can there so our lovely shake can have a good look at that. She's choosing to get right in there, but you can see there straight away you've got all those gorgeous kind of tones there. It's almost like you've got um, a paper that's kind of mimicking of um, fabric. You can see the texture there coming through. And it's not just in one direction, it's crossing over in both directions. So absolutely brilliant, as you can see there, with regards to that, whichever way you're choosing to apply your colour. And as my Matthew said, it's a very classy look. So if you are looking for that classy look, or you're looking for that kind of shabby chic look, I think with those inks on there, it really does capture that, doesn't it? Love that. So there you go. Again, if you're going for your linen card top that you want in your A4, then that's a perfect opportunity for you to do so. 737-24-AM3, if you're wanting them, pop those into your basket. Now, starter kits. Starter kits are always good if you're not too sure where to go and which bits to add in. But this is a brilliant one, but you have to be quick because we're down to pretty much single figures with regards to this one. So with this one, you're going to be able to make your memory folio and it's um, a starter kit. So you're going to have your 12 by 12s in there, obviously your largest size. Then you're going to have your other elements in there to allow you to create those pockets. You're also going to get um, the elements that can help you create things like your spine and you've got your double sided tape in there. We've also got um, your instructions as well and it tells you how to lay out your card the moment it gets back and um, gets to you so as you know exactly what you are going to be creating and which bits go where. That's the key thing but you have to be quick. 19.99 will get you this. Of course you could be adding this in alongside your one day special to give you even more scope and of course it means you've got your double sided tape in there ready to go as well. And don't forget that double sided tape is not your regular size roll. Um, with this one you've got a good width to it so it's not your skinny you can see it's a good width there with regards to that one. So it's your 12 mil, a little over a centimetre. You've actually got 30 metres on there. So sometimes when you look at these, you might be expecting five metres on there, which is kind of like a, the, uh, what you were used to in the past. But this one is almost like you've got six of those rolls all combined on one roll there. So brilliant when you're doing things like your albums. Um, 880-898, um, all important item number if you're wanting to get hold of that. Now on the website, you'll find everything that was spoken of. You'll find additional things on there as well, things like your quickie glue pens. Don't forget you can stock up on things like your red liner tape as well. So if you want more of that, you can get hold of it. We've had sellers though, so make sure you get involved as soon as you can with some of those items. Um, the, the photo glue that I know Paula was very keen on in the, the last hour and lots of you place your orders. Interesting scenario she was chatting about. You'll have to go back and watch that on Rewind. Um, but we have still got the masking sheets. Um, we've lost the mylar sadly but we have got a fabulous array of different things including that fabulous EVA glue which is brilliant for adhering anything to anything it's, it's absolutely miraculous it's brilliant then you've got your repositionable tape there as well if you're wanting to get hold of that you can add it in and of course if you want that little bit of confidence that you are shopping wisely then you can check out some of those reviews as well five star reviews there oh we haven't got the photo glue we'll gloss over that one then um, but there's loads of other things you could be adding into your basket now of course we've had dawn here during the course of the one day special shows and I believe you've kind of been building an album from scratch so if we, we go have. back to the rewind shows we can kind of follow that journey with you you can you can see that right from the beginning so shall I just do a quick recap yeah, that'd we, be lovely. before we Thank carry you. on with the last little bit okay. so we've, we've made our main album itself lovely. and we'll put the outside and back covers on in a minute okay so when we open the folio up 
you can see I've just done an array of colours with this one to Lovely. make it a little bit brighter. I've done the photo mats in a different format. So I've done the waterfall here, okay. but then I've done the two going up this way, just for a change. Yes. It doesn't always have to be the same. So is that using the ten and a half by? Uh, I have used the ten and a half yeah, by 30 for this. I can this. see why you need it. Yes. Yeah, yeah it makes so sense. So it just saves me cutting into that 12 by 12. Exactly. Then I can keep that back for extra large photo, you yeah. know, um, pockets and quick. things to go in. Exactly. Yeah. It does make it really quick. Yes. Lovely. Indeed. I've used pearly winks on this side here just to spray. Nice. The matte pearly winks are acid and ligna free, so they're absolutely oh, okay. safe Good to for know. you to be using. So these would be used for your photo match. You know, you could go straight on with these. And again, using that Ten and a half by thirty. You, you know, you can start building up where you're going to put your photographs. Nice, yes, so, yeah. You know, you can make nice little fancy photo mats. Use your punches and corner punches, Good idea. things like that. And then we've got the piece that comes out. I was finishing that off at the last show, just using um, the little buds. That was from oh, the sunflowers. Oh, it's stamps that we've got on the website. Yeah, look pretty. Yes, they're on the the website. And then when we open up, if I let me put that that way. So you can see that lovely. we've got that lovely big pocket. So by using the ten and a half by thirty for the waterfall, releases me up a couple of sheets of the twelve by twelve that I got can make you. a nice big sort of mat, sort of booklet to go in there, that which is, is fantastic. Yes. And of course, using our masket, your masket makes washi tape, Haley. Oh. Okay. So we can use our masket to make washi tape because your masket is acid and lignin free. Perfect. So. You know, you can just ink on it, stamp it, tear it as you would normal washi tape. So you can colour that anything, any colour you like, really, for your projects. I love it. Now, if you do want your mask it sheet, then we have got this as a bundle. I've been busy for this one, incidentally, as well. So you can use it for masking and kind of um, protecting areas if you want to. But as Dawn says, hey, why not use it for your, um, your washi tape? Why not get two sets, to be honest? Because at 9 99 for 10 sheets, it would make sense to do so, wouldn't it? So, of course, you can see we have got it all here, ready to go, 976569. It's been very popular, very popular indeed um, so if you want in yours please be quick something else that has been very very popular is that starter kit as well um, so much so that it's technically sold out now so if you've got it in your basket please complete your purchase um, take advantage of that one while you can because if it's a case of it falls back into our stock allocation it's only fair that I let people know because there are some people that have missed out on that one so uh, yeah I'll take even note of the item number I don't know when we'll see it back though but by all means you can do but for today I think we're gonna have to say goodbye to it um, 880-898 if you need the number. So, I love it. And right. it's, it's just, it's this bit that adds to the interest, doesn't this it? This is it. This is where it starts to come to life. Yeah. But, you know, Paula was talking earlier. She said, can I do, a, a, you know, a few elements, then come back another day? You can quite easily. That is the nice thing about it. Lovely. You know, you don't have to rush it. So, I'm going to add the side section here. So, what I like to do is turn this over because I've got this flat, so I've got my score line. Now okay. I find personally, when you're going to glue this together, I'm going to use the um, the EVA glue for this. Okay, lovely. So now the EVA glue, obviously we've got that available to you. Do suggest you add in those fine detail bottles as well, because that allows you to get right into your nitty gritty. Oh, don't mention them, Hayley, they're out of stock. Okay, yeah, um, get your EVA they're glue. They're winging their <laughs> way, so hopefully on our next show we'll have them back in stock. Well, sometimes it's quite nice to get things over a couple of different shows, to be honest, because you've only got to pay for one, and the next well, time you've only got pay for the bottles rather it than paying for them together. It just shows how popular they are. This yeah. is the thing. They are very popular. So what I like to do is put the glue on and then if you lay your card up next to it okay, and you'll find if you sort of push it towards that score line, yeah. you'll get a resist. Okay. So you know you're in the right place because you oh, don't I want see. to be over the score line. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not going to Makes score. Sense. And also, this is... I've designed this for, so a beginner right through to a season crafter can okay. make it. I've had some lovely messages from a couple of season crafters that have said it's ignited their Aww. interest in memory books again. Oh, that's and lovely. they've made the, the one as I have suggested 
but then their minds got going. All we do is crafters, don't yes, we? Yeah. And they said all of a sudden it's just got them going again, which is <laughs> what it's about. It's about inspiring you. We do not want to take away your creativity. Definitely. At Frog. Now, obviously, when we're looking at this on our cameras, this is a nature of TV, sadly, and those dark tones can be a little tricky for us to actually show you all of those different folds. But don't worry, you will actually get your full instructions with this, so you don't have to worry. You can go back and watch on Rewind, obviously, and listen to Dawn explaining how it all comes together. But please don't worry. If you can't actually see on your screen where those folds are going, you've got all the instructions. They're going to help you along the way as well. So it's kind of belts and braces, really, I think the phrase is, isn't it? It is. It's <laughs> all there. It's all there. And it, really, if you're not a person that likes reading instructions, I've also done an online workshop over on oh, my website okay. for a small fee. So I'm there with you every step of the way in real time. So I'll be crafting, making this along with you from start to finish. Oh, lovely. We can check that out. So look there up. we go. So I'm going to score. This is just the last couple of elements, Hayley. Okay. So I'm just going to do a score line down here with my scoreboard. I'm mm -hmm. not going to read out all the measurements because you've got them all on your It kind guides. of complicates it when we're chatting about it, doesn't yes. it? So go back and look on the, the sheet. That's true. That's it. So and if I fold this over, and you know what I'm going to say... Burnish, burnish, burnish. This is the foundations. This is why I've been making memory books for nearly 10 years now. And the first one is just as good as the one that's just been what made. What was the subject of your first ever one that you did? The first ever one that I did, I can remember making it. I had this idea in my head, because I love working with paper and card, and what can I make with it to make it look special? And I was doing a little gift wallet. Well, oh, I got carried okay. away, okay. and it sort of got extended out, a bit like this. It got extended <laughs> out, and it got extended out, and I was so proud of it. So my husband says, well, go and put a video on YouTube. Oh. And within two minutes, I had a lady from Australia message me saying, can you do a video tutorial? Oh, wow. And that was it. That's where my YouTube channel started. I love it. So oh. fabulous. I mean, I was so surprised, but it was lovely. It was oh. just really nice. Oh, bless you. But you can see you've got no cracking. This is what I like about the cardstock. Okay. It's true cardstock. You've got no acid and lignin in it, but it's not you've not it's not affected the quality. Yes, the quality yeah. is still there. So we're gonna stick this last piece down. And then we're going to do a little bit of decorating on these last couple of pieces, Hayley. Wonderful. Now, I'll just mention, obviously, we've got the details on the screen for all of your different one-day specials. You've got your mixed, where you've got 30 sheets of your black, 30 sheets of your white. Or you've got your um, white, where you've got 60 sheets. And similarly, with the black, you've got 60 sheets. Now, you can see we've got your kind of mixture of GSMs. That's purely the difference between the white and the black. It doesn't mean that um, if you're going for the white, you will get a mixture of different GSMs in there. They'll all be exactly the same. Um, similarly, with the black as well but if you are going for the mixed that's where that kind of combination of the two GSMs come into it. Yes yeah, so the white linen is that's the 300 GSM okay and then your black true black is the 280. It's so, not a lot in it yeah. to be honest you wouldn't yeah. know to be fair. Honestly you wouldn't if you felt the two together they feel you, the would same, be, yeah. you would be very yeah. pushed to to notice. So I'll put that on there now don't worry about these seams because this is going to be a flat pocket that's going to go on the top of there. So that's, I'm not going to stick it down yet because we've got to do our inside of our pocket. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold that to one side and we'll decorate these last few pages. Lovely. So I'm just going to put my glue on there. I'm using Mask It, Hayley. Okay. I've used it quite a lot through the album, so has Heather that's helped me do the samples because sometimes people can look at a whole sheet. Yeah. So if you're looking at a whole sheet of 12 by 12, and it can be quite daunting to think, oh, I've got to ink all that, I've got to yes. stamp all that. It can be quite daunting to a mm -hmm. new crafter. But by using your mask it, you're breaking it down. Right. We're not wasting ink, for a start. So it means I've got spaces to put my photographs. So I'm knowing where I'm going to position these. So if you're giving this as a gift, it's giving the recipient an idea of where they can place their photographs. So for this one here, I'm just going in with our chrysanthemum stamp and I'm just using Distress Oxide here. But you could use any of your Distress Inks for this. I've tried to do sort of some different techniques as we've gone along. I love that. I've just picked up one of the albums that you've um, got on here. This is such a clever idea. Is it actually a stamp that says place photo here that we've got? Or is that, that one, one of your stash? Can I just... 
that is one of our lotties. I think that's a bit old, of course, so, Lottie you would probably have made a stamp. Yes. I think that was a brilliant so idea, but you could put a little sticker um, or something, couldn't you? This is one that Heather um, made for me, and the whole album uses the pearly wink sprays. Beautiful. So I'm mean, just showing the techniques you can do. Fabulous. But I just think that's a really clever idea. If you're giving it as a gift or making um, this to sell, then it kind of explains to people where they can put their photographs and things like that. Talking of which, are we able to take the instructions and actually make up one of these to sell as a blank album? Is if that okay? It up. If you've made it up, that's absolutely fine. Obviously, to photocopy the instructions and pass oh, on no, that. Oh, no, it's so funny that. It's in the creation, uh, isn't it? That's why we want to get it right. Well. But yes, yes, no, that is absolutely Lovely. fine. Okay, thank you. Right, so I've just stamped this with the um, Distress Oxide, and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of my water spray. Oh, okay. So again, using another technique. We haven't used this technique yet today. So I'll just find the nozzle so I don't spray myself in the eye. <laughs> it's never a good thing, is it? Just my luck. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to give it a little spray. Okay. Now, obviously, this isn't super smooth. Right. Now, you know super smooth from Pink Frog, you can throw all sorts at. Yeah. But super smooth from Pink Frog isn't acid and lignin free at the That's moment. That's true. So I'm just going to let it work. And the one thing I found, both Heather and I were doing the samples for these, we were blown away with what you can put on this linen card and you will see it's just starting to react and then you've got to know when to stop okay <laughs> don't get too ca so carried don't away don't get too <laughs> carried away so I'm just watching oh, it, it and I don't know whether moving, yeah. the camera's going to quite pick it we up. We can, it's almost got like a dreamy look of it. We can see it they're really on the blue that you can see there, those gorgeous flowers there. Well, what happens is it starts, where the ink is, it starts to slightly raise, like okay, an emboss. Okay, yes. Okay, that's the only way I can describe it. I will pick out um, a finished one in a minute and share with you. I'm just going to lay my kitchen roll on there because I don't okay. want it to go too wet lovely but what i will do is if i bring this album in i think it's in this one you know i've tried to do as many i just better mop that up otherwise we'll have a problem <laughs> and i'm trying to find out where it was it's this one here right okay let's see if i can bring this in i've done the same technique here and i don't know whether it can the camera can quite pick up but if you look at it in a certain light it looks like it's, I can see to the naked eye, it's looking like it's slightly raised, oh, okay. like it's been heat embossed. So it's kind of the combination of the, the ink alongside the cardstock, there's yes, something the, that happens something to it. Something that yeah. happens when you're adding the water, but it ah. only happens when you're, you've stamped with an ink, if you like. I when you put it. the pearly winks on, that's quite liquid, it hasn't done it. Yes. So yeah. it's, yeah, okay. it's a bit of a... I like it. And that's something that you'll be able to see when you try that technique. And of course, if you don't want to do it direct to your page, you don't have to use some of those little scraps and experiment first. And then obviously when you're happy with the results, you know what you're doing, then you can go across to your main pages for those. I like that technique. Thank okay. you, Okay, so I'm just going to leave that for a moment just to dry. Lovely. And then we'll move on to this. This is going to be like the inside of my pocket. Okay. Okay. So, hmm. I think I think we go for a different colouring. Oh, okay. You can do whatever you like. It's oh, your show. I'm just I know. Make up the numbers. The, the choice. The cho We're not making up the numbers. They're on the screen. But yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go in with a bit of lemon. I think it's lemon. Lovely. Okay. In fact, I think I might have a bigger one of that here. Let me have a just check. I might have a bigger one. Squeeze so do you sometimes lemonade. take look at the photographs and draw inspiration from um, the photographs to pick out the colours? I mean, you were talking about the, the album, um, mm. and I'm going to grab hold of it in a little while, and we'll have a look at it of your parents. So um, taking inspiration from maybe if it's a holiday photo and you've got a gorgeous sunset, would you pick out colours from that photo and perhaps build up the page along that theme? Yeah, I mean, I've been scrapbooking for years, and I always tell my scrapbooking ladies, don't worry, you know, don't overthink the papers that have got a match your photographs because if they don't the photographs pop out if that's you're with true me. actually yeah, okay they yeah. don't blend into one yes however with the pet the album i did of my parents Let me grab hold i of chose one. one ink pad and i used it all the way through oh okay right so was what? this a theme for your parents wedding or is it just a color that you liked well i've I've recently lost both parents, so mm -hmm. I've been left to archive all the family pictures, and this was the overflow from the wedding album. And I found all sorts, but now all those scraps of photographs, memorabilia, everything is now all in that album. 
so I Beautiful. know it's now all together. So that with their wedding album, everything's together. Oh, I so love I haven't it. got a worry. Do you know what? One of my favourite elements of this one is here. Because how many photos, and I know we're, we've got them, and we won't be the only family out there that mm. will have pictures of people, and we've got no idea who they are. Yes. Sometimes on the back it might say the year, or it might mention whose wedding it is, but you don't necessarily know who the people are. And I love that, because it's been documented down here for generations to come. Yep. And of course, because of the quality of the cardstock with the acid and lignin free, you can even use the original photos with these as well. Um, yes. But we've got some fabulous names, some wonderful names there. I know, and I have actually printed that out on my um, inkjet printer at ah. home with the top loading so you know some do Probably vary mine will take up to yes. 300 gsm but it. when i've i've used um vellum there to trace around the people so if you're going to use vellum do check again it's acid and lignin free because not all vellums are as i found i had three in my craft stash and only one of them was acid and lignin free <laughs> did you go back and find the church there and take photographs we took my dad before we lost my dad we took my dad on to london on a trip trip down memory lane Aww. so we went to the houses both mum and dad were born oh, wow. born and we went to every house they lived in the the, where they met, the church oh, they got adorable. married in, where they had their engagement party. We oh, went to everywhere fabulous. with him. And it was lovely. Is that gorgeous? What a lovely thing to do. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. I like it. Sorry, Dawn. That's okay. That's <laughs> okay. Get away for a moment then. <laughs> but again, just your black and your white yes. with one ink pad. That's all you need, yeah. That's all you need. Fair point. All you need. Fair point. So talking of that, I've got my I've got my bigger one here. So I've got squeezed lemonade. And I'm just gonna drag it down my card here. And I'm not concerned that I'm gonna soak it that it's gonna be over the top, if okay. you like. Okay. So I'm just going to drag that down a little bit. Oh, you can really see the texture of that cardstock coming through. It wow, is. It's just yeah. really vibrant, isn't it? It it's is. Really vibrant. Good shot, Shay. I like that. It's got right <laughs> in there in the nitty gritty. <laughs> and then we're going to go on and do a bit of stamping with this okay, now. Right. So I'm going to bring my stamping platform up, she says. I love it. Now, sometimes when you've got a texture cardstock, we shy away from stamping because sometimes it's a, it, you can kind of hit the peaks and miss yeah. the troughs. But do we have to worry about when we're working with this cardstock? Any right. tips? Um, personally, I've, I've st I did go ahead and I did, when I first got this, I thought, right, what can the, the first thing I do is play with the product. Oh, okay, right. Purely because I need to know what it can do before I start using it. So you kind it. of get to know it. So I need to know what inks I can use on, what, you know, how much water I can throw at it. So okay. that's why I always sort of start off with stamping. Ah. You know, seeing what stamps work and what stamps don't. So this was just a selection of stamps I had at home. I found with like the Distress Ink, I had to sort of t do a double stamp. Right, okay. okay. But it just gives you a little idea. The other thing that absolutely blew me away, and I will share just now. Oh, what's this? Alcohol pens. Oh, my goodness. It honestly blew me away. I did this the wow. last minute. I've already packed my bags to come. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if alcohol inks will work. Okay. Oh, my word. I was blown away. There's no bleeding. No, it's they, incredible. They blend beautifully. This is what... This is why I was quite surprised because I have worked with linen cardstock in the past and it hasn't, I couldn't have done this, yes, no way. Yeah, yeah. And just with the watercolour pencils and then I've um, blended this through with a paper stump. Okay. I haven't added water, I've just used a paper stamp so you wow. can actually see the it texture of the linen. It almost looks like a piece of fabric because of the it texture does. there. Yeah. It does, I was, I was really like that. It's yeah. just a different technique. So yeah. yes. Let's, let's stamp with it. So I'm going to take this nice big lily stamp. I'm just having to make sure I've got my um, it in the right place for my pocket. So okay. I'll put it in my stamping platform. So this time I am going to go on with... Um, oh, what? Oh, should we... Mm, I'm just wondering, should we use... Yeah, let's... Mm. Are you arguing with yourself, Dawn? I am arguing with myself <laughs> because I wanted to sort of keep a bit of a blue... Th oh, let's go blue. OK. Let's go blue. Lovely. So let's do, let's do that. So I'm just going to hold that in place. And I am going to use my Distress Oxide again. I was um in an hour in. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> but this is the nice thing about it. And, you know, have a play with it. 
and that's by having those thing. smaller sheets, that's where well, it's really good to do This is what I was just it. about to say. I mean, I'm going to give you guys a bit of a recap in a moment, so I'll explain all the different cuts that we've got. But if you went for something like the um, the A4, you could actually re-stamp if it was a case that you needed to, rather than actually cutting into the cardstock that you've got yeah. in your one-day special. So it's definitely useful to add in the A4. Or maybe if you're going for those 10 and a half inch pieces, um, centimetre pieces, you could be using those. But, of course, A4 will accommodate for all those different sizes of stamps. So I'd certainly suggest you pop those in. We've got the details on your screen, so if you do want to add them in alongside your one day special, you can. And as Dawn is showing us here, I mean, it's stamping out to perfection. That is beautiful. I'm absolutely happy with that. Absolutely gorgeous. Lovely. I'm now, happy Dawn, with that. I'm just going to very quickly do a recap. Is yeah, that okay? That's absolutely fine. And then yeah. um, we can continue, obviously, with the demonstration in a few moments. Because this is our last live hour, so it's the last opportunity to see everything that we've got available. I don't know how sometimes it works if you've been working and different things going on at the weekend. This might be the first time that you've seen the one day special. I don't want any be missing out on it. I've certainly taken advantage of it. So if you're going for your mix, I need to let you know that this option has now become limited in stock. That means um, you need to be placing your order for it sooner rather than later. The idea of a one day special is it's a promotional price from 6 p.m. through to the following day at 6 p.m. So if there's any stock of this left, it will go up in price. But at the moment, it's kind of more about the stock than the clock, so to speak. So if you want your mix where you've got your black um, 30 sheets, your white 30 sheets, it's coming together that is the one that's proven to the most vulnerable at the moment so if you want your 016533 but then you've got your choices so it might be like me you came in and you thought oh I'm gonna get the uh, the linen um, the white that's the one that I need but having watched the demonstrations you might be thinking to yourself well actually maybe I should have gone for the black as well well you can do you can come back in and get those or go for multiples of them when you're placing your order it doesn't matter which way just make sure you are getting hold of them before they go up in price so you've got your mix if you're wanting that one limited stock if you're wanting your white and your black we're okay with stock with those at the moment but as I say it's the price it's the saving if you're going for two of these you're saving a tenner which let's face it is half of the way to one of those bundles so it's a really good saving um, and it's one of those opportunities you can stock up with this one so whether it's your memory albums whether it's a case of you using it for your card making it doesn't matter but if you are making your memory albums don't forget you are going to get your instructions in there for you to create two at least two but dependent on how you put them together you might even stretch to three especially if you're adding in some additional cardstock so let me tempt you with some of that to make it go a little bit further so we've been talking about your ten and a half by 30 and this is something that Dawn showed us if you're doing those interactive elements like your waterfalls or if you're doing those frames potentially with these ones because you will get your instructions to your frames as well or whether you're creating pockets why would you want to chop into a large 12 by 12 piece when you've already got your pre-cuts there ready to go it saves you time makes it so much easier so what you're actually getting with this one is a mixture of your true black and also your true red. Um, your true red. Red? It's not. It's white. I don't know why I said red then. But you can get red <laughs> linen cardstock if you want. Um, 40 sheets of each of them, giving you 80 of them. My mind, honestly, it goes off. I, I remember holding up a picture of a giraffe and saying it was an elephant the once. And I don't really... I knew it was a giraffe, but the word elephant came out. I don't know. Anyway, 11 99 You are going to get your instructions for your frames as well. Of course, we regularly see lovely Hazel here showing us how to do those. So so it will show you how to do your frames, but it also shows you how to do a mini, a, well, I say mini, A6, isn't too bad a size, to be honest. Um, a memory album, so it might be that you want to make a smaller album at the same time as your larger family album to give us a gift for somebody within the family. 677356, um, well over 80% of the stock having gone. Do not miss out of it while you've got the chance to get hold of it. Same goes with your A4 as well. Quite often when we're talking memory albums, we don't naturally think of A4, but it's very useful, especially if you're doing things like your embellishments, as we saw with Dawn. You could stamp up your embellishments on your A4, cut them out, and then, of course, you know, it's the same weight. It's still acid and lignin-free. It's that true bright white linen, and, of course, it die cuts absolutely beautifully as well. So if you're wanting to get hold of that one, please get hold of it. It's only 11 99 Equally so, it's a nice introduction as well to Pink Frog um, linen card. So if you're not going for the one day special then this I would certainly give this one a go to use for your card making um, 737243 now for some reason I've prompted somebody to think of all the different colours 
including rent. So if you're wanting to get a hold of your cards, <laughs> see, it's just natural, you see, that my brain went into that flow. Um, now, this is a lovely set. If you've got all of those photos from Christmas, of course, Christmas this year was very different to Christmas last year. Well, not this year. It's kind of last year and the year before, because we haven't got to Christmas this year yet, have we? Um, but anyway, if you've got those Christmas photos, naturally, this is a lovely one to go for. Um, 757396 if you want in these. Now, blue and white is always a lovely combination, and this is another way you can get hold of these. So again, with these, it might be that you've got blue because you've been off to the sea and you've got gorgeous ocean views, photos, uh, or maybe you just like the blue. Um, maybe you've got photos of your football team in there. This is the one Janice would go for, isn't it? Um, at 26 pounds and 49 pence. Again, you are getting 60 of those sheets in there, split between your blue and your white there. So again, it's the same quality at the same weight as the ones that we've got within the one day special. So a perfect accompaniment. That's a good word, isn't it? Accompaniment. Now, what about if you're working with those older photos, those sepia tones? Of course, they've got that gorgeous look against them, haven't they? And you might not necessarily want to go for your true bright white. Well, this is a lovely option because you've got your brown and your ivory in this one. So softer tones to complement those aged photos. Um, at £26.49. And, and again, a brilliant buy at that price. 429219 if you're wanting. Now, of course, it might be a case that you're wanting to create something on a slightly smaller scale. Well, we can help you with that as well so if you're wanting to go over your smaller albums then you can go for these but equally so where we were talking about pockets and interactive elements if you've gone for the brown and the ivory then i would certainly be adding this in as well 11.99 five six seven eight one five seven it's all about choice and that's something that pink frog do so well so don't forget when you are checking out your basket for your goodies here do look at the brand section because again keep your eye open for that word true because true means you can use them in your photo albums without any worry of any kind of deterioration over time. That's another good word. Got some long words coming Ooh, out today. I was going to say. Yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah, I'll probably peak too soon. We're down to two syllables from now on. <laughs> <laughs> what are you up to over there? Right. I've just been uh, inking the edge of that. All I've been using is from my precious poppy stamp, the word precious moments. So just over stamping, first and second generation stamping nice. in my stamping platform. So that's given us the inside pocket of our page. Lovely. So we can now stick that into our album. So it's getting close to us it finishing. Is, it? it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's lovely when this... And this is the nice thing about it. You know, it's been designed so a crafter from the beginning right through to a season crafter can enjoy this because I know you season crafters out there you're going to think of all little extras that you can add on to it and you can why That's not this exactly. is what it's all about make it your own this is what it's all about so let's add these little bits and then we've got one more big page to do so this is going to go on the back page here and then this is that flat pocket that we're going to glue on there. So the first, this is why I haven't stuck this down, because I like to put the inside of the page first, okay. the pocket first, because I can't see the point of wasting, if it's patterned paper or cardstock, to put on the inside of your pocket. There's yeah, that's no true. Point. You're not going to see it, are you? So, no, yeah. no, exactly. And, of course, when we put those colours against that black, don't they just they pop? They gorgeous. I love that they yellow. They just absolutely pop. So that is the inside of our page. Lovely. So we can stick our pocket down now. So I could stick my pocket down with glue or we could stick it down with some red liner tape. Should we go with red liner tape? Yeah, maybe? let's go for it because we've got a fabulous bundle of we this. We have. One. Obviously, in the starter kit that we were looking at, um, you did have a reel in there, but that's gone now. So you've got the opportunity for you to actually get your trio. Now, within the starter kit, you had, I think it was 12 mil, wasn't it? It was the widest of the three. Um, so in this set, you're going to get all of them. So you've got your 12 mil as your 30 metres. And as I said, you're getting a lot more on these than you may well be used to. Um, in addition to that, you've got your 9 mil, which is kind of the next one down from there and then getting narrower and narrower you've got your six mil and you've also got your three mil something else that i love about these is they come individually packaged now if you've ever bought um, a double-sided tape in the past whether it's red liner or whatever nature it is you know that those edges can become incredibly sticky so i love the fact that you've got little bags for these so you can pop it back into the bag if you so choose and keep it pristine for the next time you need it 
120 meters in total and you're only paying 13 pounds and 99 pence for all of those so i think good idea maybe to go for a couple of sets of those if you choose to but um 825810 and of course perfect again for your memory albums you don't have to worry about the type of adhesive you're using because this is perfect for your photos as well it's very grabby as well isn't it because you don't necessarily want things to kind of fall away when you actually stuck them in no. place i mean with with the memory books with the memory folios personally i would always use your eva glue and your red liner tape don't think of a normal double-sided tape it's not going to be strong enough to do the job that we want it to do so definitely your red liner tape now when i've put the red liner tape on i always like to go over the top and burnish so you'll see where I'm burnishing it. Can you see how it's changing colour? Oh, OK, yeah. Because what that's doing is it's pushing the fibres of the glue into the cardstock. OK. So, again, this is going to help with when we get this stuck down. Because this is something I've done myself. You Sometimes you stick it down and you quickly peel the backing off, but it hasn't had a chance to grab hold of the base, no. has it? Yeah. Or the fact you can't get the backing off. Yeah. That's the other thing. So just take your time to do this. It is really worth it just doing i know it may seem tedious but trust me it's definitely worth it because when you go to peel your backings off they come off nice and easy that's a good tip actually yeah yes it's a lot easier to get them off you can't mm. be doing with um messing you can with damage it as well can't you and damage well, your nails this is as well. it. yes <laughs> so we're going to stick our pocket on so we're going to go over this area and then so just making sure I've got that so square. again be mindful of where the fold is yes because we don't want that to be in the way there that's in place and I always like to still go over the top just to make sure I've got you know a good and I'll keep saying good burn but you do need to give it a good burnish definitely so I'm happy with that so that's now our nice big pocket Lovely. to put that memorabilia in so we've already decorated a page here we go <laughs> i thought i had <laughs> this was the one we did with the wet technique now with your masks from your mask it mm -hmm. don't just think you've got to use them once and throw them away you can use these again and again and again and you'll see i have with different colors but this has still got life in it so don't think you can't use it so if you pop it back on your carrier sheet get it the right way around all that will be ready for me to use ah, clever, for my next yes. one so don't just think oh i've used it i've got to get rid of it no you haven't okay so and take that big one off and you see i've got the space then i can put about the photograph where to lay your photograph this is what it's all about so let's move those just out of the way so this can now be stuck down and i love so, that charlotte's just made a suggestion which especially if you've got something like a wedding it could be that you've got the script of perhaps a hymn that was sung at the wedding or a, a yes. passage that was read um, there's all sorts of different things or it could be the um the the list of the menu items that were there or anything yes. really isn't it to add to the the feeling of the album and bringing the photos that, to life that's really. it, exactly you know it's mm. a, you know a bit like if you go on cruises you know like you always get that cruise news put under your door yes. every day and they're quite big aren't they they're not small by any stretch of the imagination you know so they are quite large but again they're great these big pockets to be used for all sorts of and things and i'm terrible whenever we go off to anywhere I'm, I'm the one that's picking up like the little wrappers that have been on the chocolates that have yeah, got kind of the, the details or the dates and <laughs> not just just random chocolates they've usually got some information on there's a reason for me to keep them i don't just go out i'm not I'm not a womble. I don't go out picking up all the people's rubbish. <laughs> but it's a case of it. It's all. It's like but, the tickets, isn't it? And the, the different but it's things. The you memories. Keep them. Yeah. You're, you you're, you're keeping the memories, aren't oh. you? It's all part. They get of the, the wrong impression of me in the, the gallery. <laughs> they really are. No, but this is what memorabilia is. It is. Yeah. This is what memorabilia is. It isn't just the birth certificates and the death certificates. It's all the other things that we collect That's and that true. bring back memories to us. It's do indeed. You know, like I've still got a painting that when I go through my mum and dad's bits that I found yeah. my mum had kept it I did it when I was eight years old oh, wow. a firework night so you oh, can imagine what it looked like oh, bless. but she kept it so of course I've kept it yeah you know my husband thinks I'm absolutely potty but I do. My, I my mum was like, like that with that. greeting cards I mean we've got loads of greeting cards from kind of like significant birthdays and like when we were born yes. 
Um, and it's lovely because you look through, and, and many of the cards are from family members who are no longer with us, but it's their handwritten cards. So yes. it's kind of that connection again, isn't it? Because you know that they held a pen, they held that card, and they, they added their, their details to it. And yes. it's, it's like that connection Definitely. again over I mean, and over. I found my mum's first birthday card. Oh, did you really? Yes. Oh, lovely. And of course, they're the old fashioned postcards yes. where they're written on the back. Yeah. Well, I put all those in one of our memory albums. Oh, beautiful. You know, the memory books. I put them in there. I love it. Because then they're all preserved. I know and exactly got, they're in the right place. And they've got nieces and nephews and, and people, kind of the younger generations, that are kind of really getting to know them. Because they'd love to know about their past, don't they, This kids? is it. Yeah. I mean, recently I had my sister and brother-in-law come up to stay. My sister, I've done... I've done, obviously, the wedding album and things, but I've also done a different style album from my mum from naught to 17. Okay. That's when she met my dad. Aww. And sort of I've tried to put it in timeline and document everything. And I shared that with her when she came up. So I'm doing everything all together. Lovely. And I've got a nice sort of MDF box that it all fits inside. Yeah. So, again, it can be passed around the family. So, you know, if my sister says, oh, can I borrow it for the weekend to show, show the boys, you, you know, she it. can. And this is the thing as well. I remember many, many years ago when I had my shop, one of the things that we used to do was um, as a first ever album, because it can be a little bit daunting when you're working with family photos and you might, because they're so precious, do an About Me album. Them. And that's nice to pass yes. on because it can be things like about me, where I grew up, the music that I used to listen to, the different things like that that sometimes you don't have in the conversation, do you? And I was thinking this about them. Um, sadly, I lost a cousin a little while ago, and I knew that she'd been in entertainment and she was a singer, but I didn't know that she'd worked with some of the big names in the 60s and 70s because we'd oh, never wow. actually had that conversation. And sadly, I only learnt it when we were at the funeral. And I thought, oh gosh, I wish I'd had that conversation with her and learnt about that and spoke about those kind of. Uh, memories and and been able to take those forward so yeah take the opportunity while you can exactly definitely mm. and you know i've said after we did this trip with my dad trip down memory lane i want to do my own which made me think about my mom mm. better she's 91 she's going to be like oh my goodness where are you taking me <laughs> <laughs> but it's something that i would love to be well, able to we, take we said to get my... the photos and bring them back yeah we her. said to my dad write everything down yeah. You know, write all the addresses, write everything down. And we did a, we did a trail around London. Aww. We spent a bank holiday weekend and it was absolutely fabulous. Oh, So lovely. I'm using mask it again here, Hayley. Okay. Now, this time I've actually die cut it. So don't think with your mask it that you can't die cut it because you can. Okay. So I've just die cutted some, just some hearts. Lovely. So it die cuts absolutely fine as well. So don't think it's, you've got to cut it out and you're trimming it and do straight mm -hmm. lines because you can do all those shapes as well. That is the nice thing about it. Lovely. So I'm just going to ink through some of those. And this is the last page to go in our album. And then I've just got the cover to do. But you're so right with having that extra A4 and the 10 and a half by 30. That's what I've used. I'm going to tip out a box in a minute and you're all going to laugh at me. I because, doubt that very much. Well, <laughs> we would never you know, laugh this at you, is Dawn. where we get prepared for these shows. Okay, all don't right. We? we do get prepared for these shows. You know, this is where you can use those small elements Got that you make you, a space. Yes, yeah. Can you see now? Yes, I can see what you're yeah. Stamping, I've got butterflies. Why would you want to use a 12 flowers, by 12? Yes, exactly. I've got leaves. Yeah. You know, and this is where you're right, you don't want to use that 12 by 12, but this is where you can make all your embellishments to go on here. And I know that every single one of those is going to be acid and lignin free. So I haven't got to have a worry about yep. it at all. Makes sense. So, um, incidentally, if you are looking at those uh, pre-cuts, the 10 and a half by your 30s on your screen there, um, it's your mixture of your white alongside your black, and it is now limited in stock. So you're going to get 40 sheets of each of those as well. Um, so, yeah, both of these, perfect for you to add in. Make sure you're getting hold of them while you can, though. We're rapidly coming to the end of the hour. Um, I need to give you a little bit of a, tea, a time check. We've got about six minutes or so right, left. I'm just going to stick this page on here. And that is our album complete, apart from the front oh, page. Oh, isn't that lovely? So it's just ready for you to fill in. So this is all just ready to have the photographs filled in. I'll add some of my extra flowers and embellishments. Yeah. You know, but I like to do that last. Okay. So I like to get all the, the pages in and everything flat, you know. Well, so no I can, rush, is there? Just so you can give it, it a burnish, yes. you know. This is what you need to do. You need to have it laying flat so you can get it all down correctly. 
So just get that in the right position. Move that out of the way. That might help, Dawn. <laughs> But doesn't it look good against that black backdrop there? It, I think yeah. the black really makes it mm. pop, doesn't it? It really brings it to life and makes it pop. So there we go. I've started on the back cover. Okay. So why do you know? I'll just fill in the front, shall I? Just to finish yeah, off the show. Yeah, let's Is that do okay? that. Let's do that. Obviously, we're going to keep the details up on the screen with regards to your one-day special. But this is kind of your last opportunity to see it live. Don't forget, the black and white mix has been one of the most popular. That is the one that is most vulnerable. It's very limited in stock now. We've still got reasonable stocks of the white and the black. So of course, you could go for your mix by going for two of those, and that will actually mean that you're getting a lot of those sheets. So you'd end up with 60 of the black, 60 of the white, rather than just 30 of each, which you will get from that one day special that we've been chatting with your mixed option. Don't forget the price will go up, but it's not just about the price. When it's a deal like this and so many are taking advantage of them, it could be a case of the stock goes first. And don't forget, you will get the instructions for you to actually create at least two of those albums, but depending on how you work with them, and if you do add in some of those pre-cuts, you will find that potentially you could get three of those. So do make sure you're adding in those pre-cuts, but be quick because at 11 Eleven ninety nine. They are flying out. So the bottom of your screen there. Add that one in alongside your one day special, and make sure that you are um, getting those and checking your baskets out. Oh, Dawn, this looks lovely. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I won't glue this down because I know we're pushed for time. So we've done this all earlier in the show. So if you haven't seen the shows, go back and watch on uh, Rewind. As okay. You can. That's the nice thing it is. You've about got up to the sixty craft days. Store. So it's a long time yes. to go back and watch. I, I, I find that that facility really useful it personally. is yeah and i'm just going to do a nice little collection of flowers down here lovely and perhaps have a little butterfly on there and some extra leaves and that will be the front cover of my it's clever album how you do that kind of cutaway as well because i'd automatically think about taking a disc of the black card and sticking it on top but you're wasting your black card and you're wasting your white card you aren't are. you doing that you yeah i mean the back layer if i just pick this up really carefully can you see what i've done Oh, Again, using look. those ten and a half by thirties. Oh, right. I've just cut strips, mitered the corners, Clever. and just run the ink pad round. So, so it you looks like used a full cut. sheet. There. I haven't used a full sheet. Oh. So that going on top of there. So I've got that that frame that looks like it's matted and layered, but. I've been very frugal. That is clever. <laughs> that is very clever. Don't forget to check out Dawn's YouTube channel as well, because that's where you'll pick up all these hints and tips along the way. Um, and uh, yeah, definitely check that out as well. And maybe if you're going for your one day special and you are frugal taking those tips from Dawn, you could potentially make three of these fabulous albums. They're big albums. I mean, you're looking at 12 by 12s. Um, and of course, these ones are waiting to have the colour added to them, um, adding the, those photos. But of course, the thing is, you can make them in loads of different ways, Dawn, can't you? Oh, so, you can. Can. This is the thing. I you can. can. This is the thing. It's a bit like with the wedding one where I put the telegrams in. So I took the waterfall out and put the telegrams oh, as waterfalls. Oh, we didn't have a closer look, did we? So uh, this is where you can add, you know, seasoned crafters out there, you're going to use your imagination and start adding your own little embellishments and little extra pieces to it. That's the nice thing about it. You know, in there I added the, like an extra little wallet that had the negatives in. So go back and watch the other programs if you've missed them. And I hope you've really enjoyed the memory folio journey because I thoroughly oh. enjoyed it. Oh, look at those happy faces. Absolutely brilliant. And I do love that. And I love the ethos behind this as well, as you mentioned there as well. Whoops, the days. It all dropped that page. It's all right. I didn't realise there was a pocket there. I was just being nosy there. I wanted to see what that was. Like. Willow pattern in her gown. Did they make the local press as well? Yes, my <gasps> mum's dress was embroidered with a willow pattern all over. Oh, beautiful. Yes. <laughs> oh, I need to sit down with a cup of tea and go through this. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. There you go. Those are all those fabulous telegrams, which was so much a thing in those days, wasn't they it? They were. They yeah. were a really big thing, yes. Aren't they gorgeous there, uh, uh, Miss Olive Tant? Uh, oh, I love it. Love Ken. That's my oh. dad. Oh. And he sent my mum a telegram every year they were married Did for the you? first 10 years, in fact, we found. That's oh. as far as we've got. <laughs> and I bet he only stopped because they stopped doing the telegrams, I should imagine. Probably That's the that. Thing, yes, yeah. by then we'd all come along, so. <laughs> 
<laughs> you did. I love it. Um, can I say thank you, Dawn? I mean, you've been You're inspirational, welcome. not only just bringing the albums, but bringing your memories into the mix as well. Um, it's been absolutely, absolutely fabulous, welcome. so thank you. Yes. And I know our viewers have been loving it. And if you've still got the chance, don't forget, we're calling this your final call, your last hour, but you've actually got up until 6 o'clock. This is your last live hour featuring with these. You have got till 6 o'clock, so please, 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 do make sure you're getting a hold of those that you're wanting. If you're wanting your 10 and a half by 30, those strips that are going to work alongside, you need to be quick with regards to these. These ones are at the bottom of your screen. They are extremely limited in stock. And, of course, it means you don't have to chop into your one-day special. Talking of your one-day special, you've still got time to get hold of it, but the most vulnerable is your a mix of your black and white, which is now limited in stock. But your true white and, of course, that fabulous black, you can still get hold of those. Maybe get one of each of those. It gives you lots of more options, doesn't it? Dawn, again, thank you very much. Um, please make sure you're checking out your baskets. We will see you a little later at six with another one day special, but there's something else coming up. So it's collection dot. Um, it's cross stitch. You've got lovely Rosella and Richard. He's going to be learning a lot during this hour, I think. Um, and then, of course, we've got your tattered late one day special after that. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people would be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows. Shopping online with the craft store has just got easier with PayPal's Pay in 3 plan. Spread the cost of your basket, whether there is one item or many, with three interest-free payments. Simply choose Pay in 3 at checkout and pay for purchases between £30 and £2,000 over three equal instalments for the next three months. No fees and no interest. Spread the cost of your shopping with PayPal's Pay in 3 plan at the Craft Store. Hello, it's Richard here again on the Craft Store. Very good afternoon, evening to you, whatever you will. It's five o'clock uh, in the afternoon slash evening. Who knows what it is? What is it? What is five o'clock? Who knows? Uh, but whatever it is, if you're enjoying your tea, a cup of tea, your dinner, your breakfast, whatever it might be, I hope you are enjoying watching the Craft Store. And we've got a fabulous hour for you now. Before we even get into it, just, right, at home, have a little go at that because I'm, str I'm struggling a little bit. Now, do you say that in a French accent to make it sound posh, or do you just say collection d'art? Answers on a postcard, please. I'm going to go for the, for the posh French accent to try and impress Rosella right now. So here we go. Uh, Rosella's here uh, to talk about collection d'art. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a 
a French accent or North Yorkshire, well, Richard. Now, come on. <laughs> not entirely sure what continent that was from, to be honest. Incontinent, I think. Um, <laughs> uh, what are we saying then? Collection. If you say de art, it's D E art, isn't it? But obviously, you've got to put the apostrophe in to get rid of the E, so yes. it's dart. Yeah, dart, basically. I collection think. Of yeah, art. a collection of art, yes. Okay, it's a collection of art, a uh, French collection of art, and it is um, cross stitching, and it's cushions, yeah. is what you brought along. Yeah, yeah, it absolutely is. So these are beautiful, beautiful uh, cushions. So, great thing about these is um, when you look at the yarn on these, it's got this sort of silky finish about it. Mm. So, it's, it's a lovely sheen. That's it. Have a, you you Ooh, need to have a feel of the yarn when you get feel? this home. Yep. Do have a scrunch. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I'm ah. a good scrunch on that. Oh, you can see the sheen as well. Look at that. I'll tell you what, some nice colours here. Uh, but I was about to say very autumnal, and then I realised what they're for. It's for some autumn leaves and uh, a squirrel and a nut. So that would make a lot of sense. There we go. There he is. By the way, he's limited. He's, he's just gone limited stock. So there's not many of our uh, squirrel with his nuts and his leaves left. 674217 is... Uh, <laughs> is the item number. You'd be nuts not to get it. I don't know. I'm just gonna go with that. No, don't 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 say that aloud, Richard. Um, so this is your this is your um, your thread and this is um this is acrylic, isn't it? Acrylic that, yarn. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So you've got a lovely soft acrylic yarn and it's quite a bouncy yarn so that when you are creating your cushion you've got a real good coverage of the cushion with that as well. So you you obviously you're creating a cross stitch but it's it just gives the most beautiful, beautiful texture, it really does. Yeah, because um I was doing a bit of looking up, you'll be impressed with this Rosella, and um, acrylic is it's not uh, it's 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 man-made so it's not like a natural fiber like um, wool or cotton um, but because of that it's actually some people prefer it and also it is actually it makes everything a little bit cheaper and a bit more affordable doesn't it it does and yeah. also obviously very hard wearing of course yeah but yeah it is an absolute pleasure to stitch with this yarn if, if you have stitched with it before it really is because it is so very very soft and um, what you will notice on as we go down the counter with these Richard that mm. is actually that yarn is all pre-cut to length as well so that's the optimum length that you want to be stitching with as well so is every um, single one of these exactly the same length yep going to have to hold you to <laughs> that. You're not going to measure all of them, are you, Richard? No, not, no, not that's, just, that's the two. You know what us blokes are like with measuring? <laughs> there we go, hang on. There it is. No, yeah, no, wait, 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 I hadn't got it uh, aligned at the top. It is, it is, it's exactly the same. So it's all the same, it's all uniform and uh, measured out, which is perfect. Now, what are you getting with the kit? And I'll have to hurry up with this particular one, because as I say, it's limited, it's going to go very, very soon. You're getting the printed, coloured, uh, canvas, which is what you'll be working on. So this is the the whole thing here. Now I'm sure, Rosella, if I know Rosella, she is throughout this hour going to tell us exactly what is going on on here and what all these numbers mean and what all the colours mean as well. I don't know why I did it that way around because the number the numbers are here, <laughs> the colours are there. It's so difficult when you're the opposite sides of the camera. Um, but that's what you're getting. You're getting the screen canvas there. Then you're getting the needle as well. This is a gold eye needle. Why why gold eye? It is a gold eye mm. needle. Well spotted, Richard. So a gold eye needle. Um, if you if you do stitch you'll know that these are make, <coughs> excuse me super easy to thread because it slides through so nicely but they're really durable and they are a pleasure to actually stitch with we, we ordinarily we stick uh, we sell gold eye needles in a pack on their own so it's great that they're actually coming with these cushions is that Bond movie, Goldeneye, about cross-stitching? I mean, yeah, I'm after I watch, I'll have to look have back. Have you not and seen that? Probably was, actually. I didn't, catch that, I didn't pick that up at the time. Um, so you've got, the, you've got the yarn, you've got the screen canvas, you've got the needle. Then, of course, you're getting uh, the pattern as well. All the instructions that you need to create this. Now, how long... Now, what, what, what are we missing here before? Is that everything? Or is it... You've got the stuffing, presumably, you've got to put in. You, you need a cushion pad. Cushion pad, so, And yep. we've got those on the show as well. You also need a cushion back, Richard. And we've got those on the show as well, so we've got everything that you may so, need. So they might not be included in the actual kit, but you can get those as well. So there you go, 16 by 16 cushion pad, a pack of two of those available for 11.98. Item number 075520, that's at the bottom of your screen. And later on, we will also show you the the backing, did you say? That's right, the yeah. cushion backs, yep. Yeah. The cushion back as well, so you can get everything. So that one's limited, so hurry, 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 674217. 
<laughs> why? Why does that happen to me and only me? Right, moving on. This, oh, I love it. Who doesn't love a red panda? Limited stock, by the way. That's why. Um, that's, that's basically very popular, red pandas. Uh, and uh, it's got limited stock here. Another one of our cushion kits. Everything you're seeing on the, on the table here today, on the counter, is $26.99. Although, um, they're, all, they're all varying original prices as well. So the saving on this one is £3. It was originally $29.99. Um, again, done a little bit of reading up here, Rosella, in my bid to constantly try and impress you. It's not working so far. <laughs> it is. Um, a red panda is not, is not, as some people think, a bear or a raccoon. But many people do. It's actually... I'm, well, actually, I don't know if it's a panda, but I'm going to guess it's a panda because it's called a panda. But it looks like a little raccoon, doesn't it? It looks it, like it, a little bear. It's a weird-looking thing, isn't it? Yeah, or sort of a raccoon fox, something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's it? Yeah, odd, but lovely, it's lovely creatures, actually. Yeah, really they? cute. Really cute looking, and uh, he looks uh, fast asleep there and, and loving his life uh, up in the, in the tree there. The, I've got to say, the squirrel, and no wonder these are limited, because the squirrel and the red panda just look like a lot of fun to make. I think they do. They make you smile, don't they, Richard? Yeah. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? And, and I they're... know where you're starting, because I remember from last time, you're starting with the eyes. Yeah, always the eyes, because they're looking the at me. <laughs> the eyes are the window to the soul, especially when it comes to squirrels <laughs> and, and red pandas. Um, so what you're getting with this is, again, the, the screen canvas here. Let's have a look, little look at it. There you go. They're quite, um, quite durable, these, aren't they? They're quite, it's like a thick... That's, it's yeah. a thick cotton canvas, Richard, yeah. and as you've got it now, it's really, really sturdy, which makes it great to stitch. Yeah. However, when you start working on it, it'll become Softens softer up. and softer, that's right. By right. the time you've completed it, it will be really, really pliable. I was going to say, because it's good for working on, but you wouldn't really want to rest your head on this, because no. you know, it's quite, <laughs> you know, it's quite tough, isn't it? Rough and tough. Yeah, But it absolutely. softens up, so it becomes like a cushion. It it's certainly does. Um, okay, moving on then, that was 26 99 and of course that comes with the, the needle and all, all the thread, as you can see uh, there. Now this one here is Ancient Rose. Now the, your colour palette here is pinks and greys and beige and cream, uh, all sorts of lovely kind of pastel colours here. That is the design, that is the picture it's making here. Uh, where do you see this kind of cushion uh, looking at most at home in? Uh, I'm thinking in the drawing room, Richard. Would Ooh, you put that in your drawing room? You, you're posh. You've got a drawing room, have you? <laughs> or on the settee. One or the other. Right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What do you do in the drawing room? Is it drawing or is drawing. it... Drawing. Yeah, it's for cup, possibly. It's for Who receiving knows? visitors and having cups of tea like they do in Downton Abbey and all those sort of shows, isn't it? <laughs> there you go. Um, that is the design there. It's kind of weird when you hold this up because it looks like it's see-through, doesn't it? It looks it's like um, you can, ooh, it's like a magic trick. Uh, but it's because it's got all the holes in it that you need to do the cross-stitching. And then all the numbers along the side, is that, I'm going to guess here, is that where we uh, put the, the little samples of our yarn? I have no idea why it has numbers down the side, Richard. I think it's something to do with the printing process. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. That is interesting. Right, now I need to find out what it is so I can, I, I can show Rosella. Um, I would have thought it was the, isn't it not the, it's not the codes of the, um, the, the yarn, no? It may be, Richard. It may be. I have to say that um, it's completely bypassed me, but there's every chance it may be. What we'll do is we will compare them with mm. another one with a similar number and see if it's the same thread number. All right, I'm going to have a little look at the instructions in a minute when you start your demo. Uh, what about along the side here? This, th uh, this is where you put your, um, your threads, right? That's quite Quite correct, yes. Yeah. So that's, the, that's your colour swatches. So we, we choose a colour, Richard, that you think's in the next one, and we'll check out that theory. Mm. Oh, is it for people who are colour blind, maybe? Maybe. That maybe. would be a good suggestion. If you yeah, know at that's... home, please let us know. Studio at thecraftstore.com. The no number of times I throw it something out to the audience at home, it's like, please help me. <laughs> 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 email it. No, no, it would be really interesting to know. Now, this we are moving on to iris mauve here. Um, lovely colours here. We've got the mauve, of course, and then we've got the purples, we've got the blues, and this is making this beautiful, beautiful um, iris here. Um, lots of different colours. We've got the greens and the yellows as well. This looks, um, dare I say, quite summery. Maybe, uh, maybe that that green, you know, not your greenhouse. What would you call it? The con is it the conservatory? Conservatory. Uh, is it, yes, I think that's. Probably. You can tell I don't live in a very big house, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you live in a ten, Richard? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is, uh, yes, I've got one of these in the east wing. So sorry. Yes, the conservatory. This is the sort of thing that looks like a kind of garden. Kind of yes, the garden room type thing, yeah. yeah I yeah. look at, actually, I look at that iris and I think quite arts and craftsy, don't you? The sort of William yes. Morris, maybe, that sort of yes. really rich colours. And I think it's a beautiful, beautiful design, this iris. really love it. Arts and crafty was the sort of movement around the sort of late 1800s, uh, mid-1800s. Yeah. 
Is that right? Yeah. A bit yeah, higher. Late. Yeah. Late I intro yeah. Uh, early turn of the century. Yeah. Turn yeah, of the last century. Got you. Uh, okay. Twenty six ninety nine for this. This is a seven pound saving. If you would like this one, uh, again, cannot reiterate enough. It comes with everything I've, I've already mentioned. Uh, the, the the needle, the instructions, the yarn, everything you need, uh, apart from the cushion pad, which you can get separately, and the cushion back as well. And uh, oh look, the information for that is down at the bottom of your screen. Uh, we've got a grey one there, and we've got a gold one as well, apparently, or natural, 1299, 141490 for that. Uh, moving on, this is, uh, oh, oh, news reaches me from abroad. Um, the squirrel, may, may, he, <laughs> may he rest in peace, the squirrel has gone. We have lost the squirrel, time of squirrel uh, departure, uh, 510, I'm calling it. Sorry, squirrel. Um, let's have a moment of silence for the squirrel. Uh, he's popped off, and who else? Panda's popped off, apparently. The panda's dropped off the branch. <laughs> he's gone. Um, wow, some bad news coming uh, our way. Two, we've lost two friends there. Uh, the, squirrel, the squirrel's uh, now sold out, and the red panda uh, also sold out. So congratulations to you if you've got those. I think you're going to have a lot of fun making those, because they do look brilliant. Love those. Uh, now, back to our flowers here. We moved on to the antique, antique rose here. We've got, and this one is, oh, it's gone limited. It's gone limited. We're going to go to limited on this one. So we've got the gold eye, the golden eye uh, uh, needle here. We've got the screen uh, print here on the canvas. And um, what do you think of this one, Rosella? Oh, it's, it's beautiful, absolutely isn't it? beautiful, isn't it? Mm. So um, I found out earlier that a yellow rose is a sign of friendship, which I thought was really rather lovely. Oh, that's nice. So this would be a great one to stitch for a friend. Yep. Um, also, maybe for a golden wedding, something like this would be a great reminder. Maybe on the cushion back, you could perhaps embroider the names and the dates, something like that. I always think it's a good idea to put the date that you created something on it somewhere. Yes. Now, you know, whether you actually embroider it, write it, or even just pop it on a little piece of paper and even pop it just inside. For your, just for yourself as, a, as yeah. like your own reference point. Yeah. Or do you actually make it as a feature to show somebody and say this was made in this? Which, I, I think either. it's a lovely, lovely thing to do. I actually mm -hmm. have a tapestry on my wall that was made by my Auntie Frances's mum, when, and it's got the date and a little bit about it. And I love the fact that you're giving yourself this little memento, this bit of history. Yeah, I do that with um, greetings cards that I get from people yep. and also photos as well. It's always good to, but if you don't put the, 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 the year down, you're going to be in years to come, you're like, oh, I wish I knew when I made that all received. Yep. That. Um, that is $26.99 as well. It's a £5 saving there on the antique rose kit. And uh, that would be really good with your natural cushion back, which we've got the details along the bottom. I think that would yeah. go really, I actually got the natural one here for the colour wise. Can I just show you the yes, colour of this? Because I think that would be a super colour with it, wouldn't it? Mm. I think that's, that, that's that I think gonna, if you're yes, in doubt, the natural's a really that, great one to go with. There you go, cut from that to this. Come on Chris, let's have a little look. Hang on, yeah, and back, and yeah. Right. If yep. we do that fast enough, you can sort of imagine the two together. Yeah, there you go. Imagine that. Look, perfect. Okay, I need to have a bit of a lie down now because I feel a bit giddy. Um, right, moving on. Uh, we have our cabbage rose kit here now. Uh, again, twenty six ninety nine. This one's a seven pound saving because originally it was thirty three ninety nine. Uh, you've got everything that you uh, have with the rest of the kit as well. You've got your your front sheet picture here. You've got all of your yarn, your acrylic yarn here, and there's loads of it too. Really, really nice feel to it. Um, lots of different strands, lots of different colours here, and this is what you'll be producing. If I bring out the the canvas here. How long does it take to make one of these, by the way? Uh, <laughs> it's hard, Richard, to tell. This has got quite a lot of background, so if you've got background, then it's going to take you less time. With this style of cushion, the minimum amount of time I've ever known mm. is about 18 hours, mm. but actually it could go on and on depending on how fast you stitch, whether you chat like I do when you're stitching, whether you get up and make a cup of tea every now and again. Yeah. So um, lots of hours of enjoyment, though. It's really weird because if I do this, it looks like I'm part of the design. It's, don't, don't, don't do that, whatever you do. Don't start to put my face on your cushion. You don't need that. Uh, but there you go. You can see it's sort of see through through the back here. Um, we do have a picture of the finished design, which we got. This is what it looks like when it's finished. Look at that. 
So that's great to get, finally get an idea because we've been looking at the canvas with all the kind of, you know, the beige uh, border around it. And obviously now we've seen it uh, in its full glory when it's all put together. And remember, that's going to be a lot softer than the uh, canvas that I've been showing you here because because you've been working on it, it's, it, will have a, it will have softened over time. And that's going to be really cozy and uh, nice to, to, to lie into and cuddle and and uh, put, rest your head against and it's a beautiful beautiful design of course the thing I, I suppose it's important to say that uh, if you do like the look of that quite often people go for pairs of cushions don't they so if you really wanted that on your sofa and you wanted one either side you, you should probably get two of them if there's a particular design you like yeah absolutely Richard though also if there's a couple of designs you like you'll find that the same palette of colors are in different cushions as well so um, actually I, I like the thought of maybe getting the golden rose with the pink roses as well though um, true because a lot of these are going to look good yeah, together they're aren't gonna they? look I mean, like a collection aren't they yeah so maybe I think not the, the squirrel with one of the roses but certainly <laughs> any of the flowers if you put them together they're gonna they're not gonna clash are they no. um, perfect okay that's the Cabbage Rose, 038843 for that one. Um, now, pansies. So we do it, the, it's flowers all the way now. And we move on to pansies here. Uh, we predominantly have a kind of a mauve colour in here. We've got uh, a golden colour. We've got a, a bright yellow as well. We've got greens too. Let's have a look at our canvas to get an idea of how this all looks. We'll give you a, a look at a finished photo in a second too. There it is. I tell you what, this is the, the, the plot thickens here, Rosella, because there's a lot of numbers on this. Why is there a lot of numbers on this, but only a few on the other? Hmm, riddle me that. Because we've got, <laughs> we've got more thread colours on this, Richard. <laughs> right. I think on that particular one, I think there's 19 different thread colours on the pattern. So it is something to do with the thread. I, th I think so. I think we will be, test it? your theory, but yes, I'm yes, pretty sure that, yes. Yes, think, think we're onto something there. Um, and again, you're getting the needle with it as well. 633-571-2699 for that one. Oh, that's the, what's what it looks like when it's finished. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Quite simple, that one. It is. And again, you've got a lot of background colour on this. So if you're thinking one that's maybe a little bit swifter for stitching, and I really like the grey background on this. It's sort of a grey lilac, so very, very fashionable at the moment as well. So I think that's going to go well in a lot of Ooh. homes. Now, well, that's the lilac. That's a single lilac, if you like. This is a double lilac. That's what this one's called here. And this one's been particularly popular because it's now limited stock. Again, and when I say limited stock, what's the most, most limited stock you can be without selling out? Well, um, maybe one. One, correct. <laughs> yes, there's one left. There's one left of this. So if you like the look of it, uh, if there's more than one of you that likes the look of it now, it's basically, uh, you know, it's the OK Corral. It's a shootout at five, at five o'clock in the afternoon. Go for it. Quickly, 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 rush to the to the website right now and see if you can pick that one up. It's a five pound discount, twenty nine, uh, twenty six ninety nine. If it's in your basket, you better check it out quick, uh, because people will want that and it will go to somebody else and it will sell out pretty much. I'm going to I'm going to guess in the next few minutes. It's got to, hasn't it? Only one left. Three four six one nine six is the item number for that one. Single lilac has sold out. Ooh. Oh, we haven't got to that yet. Hang on, that's the double lilac. Sorry, that was the pansies, wasn't it? This is the double lilac. This is the single lilac. This has just sold out. So forget that. I mean, it's nice, isn't it? But forget it. This is still available, but there's only one of them left. One of the double lilac left. Uh, it is, that one's, that one's gone. This one's coming. The item number you need for the double lilac to get the front piece, the, uh, the screen canvas, all the thread, the, uh, the needle as well, 346196. And I should also point out, full instructions, of course, because why? you're not going to be able to do this about instructions, are you? Um, but Rosella's going to take us through a few of the, uh, of, of the basics in the next uh, hour or so. And you're going to take us through a little bit of an unboxing now, as I understand it. We that are. It? Just on that double lilac um, cushion backs, I think the white one on that one. So, the white yeah, one. white one. Okay. Um, I think that's going to look absolutely super. So if it's in your basket, pop one of those in maybe as Good well. Good call. Right, cool. so, uh, right, shall we look at this antique rose? Oh, is it an, um, it's a oh, live unboxing? I, you know, I love this, because when you're at home, you don't really, we've taken everything out on the counter, yes. so we don't really yeah. know what it is and how you're going to get it, yeah. so maybe you are gifting this. Well, you want to know exactly what you're gifting, don't mm. you? Um, great thing about these is the actual packaging they're in. So it's a resealable popper project bag. So, and it's, it's that soft plastic, so it's not going to rip or anything. So whilst you're actually stitching this project, you're going to be able to pop it back in 
and keep it really nice and all together well, so that good. you don't lose it. So that's, that's really good. great. Yeah. Um, you mentioned about the instructions. So the first thing you've got is you've got a fantastic picture of the all finished item there and you can actually see each individual stitch on this picture as well which mm. means that you know as you are stitching it if you're a little unsure where you're heading or which part it's you know which part you're actually stitching then you can just look at the picture it really is fantastic and I'm just going to turn this over and show you then the instructions. And you know, this is cross stitch. If you've never cross stitched before, then the instructions, it's, it's really, really easy to do. All you're actually doing is creating a cross. Um, so you're, you're doing two diagonal lines in opposing directions and you're going to create that cross stitch. What you've also, as well as the pictures on here, you've also then got um, text instructions as well. So um, great if, if actually you prefer to have a text. The other important thing about this, if I just bring it down, <laughs> is your washing instructions on there as well. So if perchance you do have um, you know, a little bit of an accident with it, hand wash up to 30 degrees. Um, I wouldn't wash it per se sort of every week or anything like that. If you, if you get something on, sponge it off by all means but if you do need to wash it you can at 30 degrees and that's also your cushion back as well you can also wash it so when you have made it and it's complete you're able to wash it so you've got your instructions on there beautiful picture as Richard mentioned you've got, then got your canvas I must have my needle here somewhere so um, you can actually I'm going to lay this down for the canvas and so you can see and what also I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a little dark piece of fabric underneath because when you are sorting out your colours, you'll often find that it's a whole lot easier to see them with either a light piece of fabric underneath or a dark piece of fabric underneath. So we'll see which works best with um, the, the design that you're actually using. But now you can actually see all the different variations of colours that you've got within here. Hence why we have a lot of colours down the side and a lot of colours actually in the pack mm. because that's because this is only four and a half squares to the inch that means it's not a very detailed design in size wise so you need to add a, that extra detail and we do that with the variation in the color as well and then as Richard mentioned also we've got the gold eye needle now this is a tapestry needle so it's not got a sharp point because actually we don't need a sharp point on this it's, it's going to go through the holes in the canvas so it means it's not going to pierce anything so it's a really large eye needle large eye means it's easy to thread because obviously this yarn is quite thick but um, it just means then that it's really really easy to thread so everything you're getting in this kit is really excellent quality it's beautiful to work with the yarn is just so scrumptious when you get home you've got to do this and then it gets all knotted up but it doesn't knot up and then all you need to do then when you're working is then pull out one of those pre-mentioned threads that rich is going to actually measure each one individually Audio. just to make sure done just done it I've done it it's all. already on it. It's already on it. <laughs> so that's exactly what you're getting in your kit, and it's it's a beautiful collection. I know you're going to absolutely love it. I tell I you what, I'm having this. a good time with this. You know, doing the old. Uh, it's got your chip. permission. Yeah, yeah. got to be done. Got to be nice, done. It? It's really nice, lovely. Thanks very much, Rosella. Uh, you know, I, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing there. It's always good to see it. Uh, you know coming out uh, as if you just received it uh, in the post and to see exactly what you're getting. Uh, we're going to be seeing a demo in a moment, but let's have a quick look at all the cushion backs uh, that you can get. So uh, there you go. There's four colours that you can get here so that you've got bl a black cushion back with a zipper. It comes with a zipper. Oh, right, so that's the zipper bit to, to put your cushion pad in to get get you uh, and that's 45 by 45 centimeters that's 12.99 so you're going to need one of these unless you've got one already uh, if you're getting one of our designs today our cross stitch kits you're going to need one of these backs here with a zipper and you're going to need the cushion pad as well so you've got the, the black there it's 12.99 043.805 then we've got gray <laughs> we've got gray there does that come with instructions? Sure, you don't need instructions for a, to, to unzip that and zip it up again. Is that what it says? Zip. Oh, to sew it on. Is it? 
What's the instructions for, Rosella? Don't come to me a minute. I'm just going to find them. Just a second. Right, gonna, oh, right. Rosella's <laughs> going to look for that. I'd love to know what the instructions are for that, which is surely put the cushion in and zip it up. But we'll find out. Uh, 141490. Maybe it's, maybe it's washing instructions. 1299. That one is in grey. So we've had black, we've had grey, and then you can get it in white as well. There's your white. So you've got the, ch the whole choice here. Whatever you feel fits with your room or maybe what you feel fits with the particular design that you've picked out there. We've already pointed out that we thought the, the cabbage rose might look good with the, with the natural. Uh, that's the white one there. And we've got, there is the natural I was talking about. Uh, and uh, that one's 12 99 too. 7 8 5, 5 8, 8. It looks like that one doesn't come with instructions. <laughs> Maybe that one's just really obvious how you use that one. It's the others that are trickier, the white one in particular. I mean, that is a. What, is that the instructions you've got in front of you, Rosella? It's like war and peace. <laughs> What's it? it is not war and peace. It is. It's There's loads. What's that, say? What's that telling you to do? It's, it's in many different languages. Oh, it right. says right. sewing right. the cushion back with the zipper to the cushion top. This is actually really important, Richard, because oh, okay. yep. so you place the embroidered cushion face up. Yep. On the table. Okay. On the table specifically. Open this now. This is the important bit. Open the zip. Right. If we don't open that zip, Richard, and we then place it on. And stitch all the way around. Yes. We can't get back into it oh, to yeah. turn it that through. Would be a bit of a yeah. So yeah. I mean, you can theoretically pick at it, but it's so much easier if you just open that zip. Mm -hmm. So open the zipper on the cushion back and place a face down onto the cushion front. Okay. Sew it to the cushion by yeah. either machine or by hand. So I recommend if you are doing a hand stitch, maybe a little back stitch is going to be really, really sturdy there. Okay. Um, so near the outer embroidered rows of the cushion front. So when I stitch these as close as I can to the edge of that final row of stitching. Sometimes I actually catch it in, but you know, that's okay. I I'm yeah. happy with that. Okay. Um, and then uh, turn the, now, what it doesn't say in here, and what I do do, if I've got one here, is actually. Do, did you just say do do? On do do. I just said do do, yeah. Do, it's outrageous. Do, uh, <laughs> there'll, be, there'll be letters of complaint and everything. Have you not got thread to measure it, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> That's the most cutting request I've ever had to measure thread in my That's life. It's as dang as that was. Speaking of cutting, uh, yeah. what you need to do is you need to cut off the corners. And what that'll do is it'll just reduce that extra bulk that you've got in the corners. Mm -hmm. And then when you turn it through, it just means that you've got a crisper corner there because you haven't got any of that bulk within there. So you then yeah. get a really nice corner on there. Oh, them. nice. Okay. Well, that makes complete sense now. And now I understand why you need the instructions. That's great. Um, so, seven, eight, five. 5588 for the natural cushion back there. Uh, there it is. Um, of course, I should point out as well that you can see it's 45 by 45. The actual cross stitch kits that we have here are 40 by 40 centimeters or uh, 16 by 16 inches uh, is the equivalent there. And uh, you've also got, uh, you're getting the yarn, of course, of it all, which is non fray. And uh, the screen canvas itself is high quality. There you go. So that is your natural cushion back with zipper there, 785588. Now, we're about to have a demo, and I understand it, Rosella, that we're going to have a demo on this little beauty here, the pansies. So here's all of our yarn. It, just, it gives me a yet another chance to do that for no reason other than it just feels really nice. Uh, 633571 here for your pansies kit. Now there's a three pound saving on this, it's normally 29.99, it's new today. Uh, here's your canvas that you're getting. Remember, you're going to get the instructions, you're going to get the, the front piece illustration so you can see what it all looks like. You're going to get the needle as well. And have we got the, uh, the picture of what it looks like when it's finished, just so we can put uh, Rosella under pressure and tell her what she's got to be aiming towards <laughs> in the next 10 minutes? That. Okay, go. <laughs> Start the clock. It might take me a little bit longer than 10 oh, minutes. Oh, OK. Yeah. How, you, how long did you say it would be a couple of weeks if you did a couple of hours a day or yeah, something? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, it depends how fast you stitch, how fast you start and finish. But these are these are swift projects. And so um, I like to measure it in how many hours of enjoyment we're going to get from this, Richard. And we're going to get loads and loads and loads. Excellent. A little bit of housekeeping. You can see that I've already masked the edges of this one. When this comes off the roll, it's naturally quite spiky because it's um, a canvas. It's a cotton canvas. Canvas. So mm. what I would recommend is just mask the edges and do use masking tape for this because it's nice and sticky. Is and that, that just to protect your fingers as you're working or uh, is it just to soften the edges for the... 
before it's, look. It means that your thread can't catch on the edges because if ah. you imagine you're, you're sort of stitching and then it's got, it may well ping on that. Yep. It's also, you know, it'll prevent it catching your clothes, etc. if you are stitching on your knee. Yep. Uh, so you're going to so mask... John Lockwood was here now, he'd be uh, rubbing that all over his face because that's what he does with all of his tools to prove that they're not too sharp. Really? Did you miss that earlier? I, yeah. I, I did miss John doing that. He picks that. up he... all his dyes and his dyes, his metals, and he's like, look, it's not sharp, honestly. He just starts rubbing it across his face. He's just thinking, I hope it's not sharp. Yeah, <laughs> I hope so too. Okay. <laughs> so uh, don't do that. Let, let's hope he doesn't sell scissors and compasses <laughs> or things like that. Lawn mowers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, the mm. other thing we need to do is pop a little swatch of each of these colours. Now, this took me a few moments, maybe about 10 minutes, to actually sort these out. Right. But can you see, a lot of these colours are really similar. Mm. So it's really important to pop a swatch on there. And as it turns out, it's really important to put a double knot in those, because mm. when it's a single knot, it falls out. When Got, you okay. use it. Good so tip. give it a good double knot on there. Yeah. Um, it is important because even though they are roughly the same, the, the, the colour is slightly different on the canvas compared to the thread, isn't it? So it's good to marry them up and say, this is what it looks like in your yeah. stash. Yeah. yeah, you're so right, Richard, yeah. because when they're printing a canvas, they do have a limited amount of colours to yeah. print. They, hmm. they have to. And sometimes you'll find it doesn't necessarily tie with the colour. So for this, the background of the canvas is actually more of a lilac colour, but the actual thread itself is more of a grey colour. Hmm. So um, just sort them all out. And especially on this one, you've got so many going on and then you've got your needle keep that attached and when you read the instructions it will say to you to start on the smaller areas first and that's because you can see how well this covers now if you start on the larger areas and you miss out one or two stitches it's sometimes easy to miss those so by all means start on the smaller areas if it's convenient to do so I, I actually, can you see, I like to be quite methodical with my <laughs> sort of I remember this about you. You like to, like, like jigsaw puzzle, you like to do all the edges oh, yeah, first absolutely. and then fill it in. Yeah, yeah. oh, I've got one at the moment, Richard, seriously. Goodness oh, really? me. Yeah. How, how um, many pieces? Uh, it's only a thousand, but it's... Uh, only a thousand. Uh, Let's hark at her, eh? I got it oh, in a charity yeah. shop and it says, all complete, but a bit of a challenge. Well, that was an understatement. Oh, dear. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I like to be quite methodical on mine. So I'm going to go for my background colour straight away. Mm. Um, and um, to thread these, I find the easiest way is if you pinch that yarn between your thumb and your forefinger and sort of force the needle onto the yarn mm. rather than trying to poke it through the hole, you'll find that it's sort of, it's got nowhere else to go really. So oh, if we just do that, that once more. That's the so, easiest threading of a needle I've ever seen in my life. Actually, a young lady uh, on one of my beading classes told me this, a slip yeah. of a thing, Susie, and I've never forgotten it and I've always since then. And it doesn't matter, you sort of spread it out at the top, it doesn't, it doesn't like fray all the way down no. then, you can just, it just carries on and yeah. you're, you're, yeah, you're good. Yeah, you can stitch with that absolutely fine. That's um, if you've not seen it before, I'll show you exactly how I start um, with a knot. Because I've actually got some stitches on there, I could just feed my needle through the back of these now. But hmm. I'll start with a knot first. So if you pop a little knot in there, and let's say I'm going to start anywhere, we'll start up here somewhere. I'm just going to roll... This, and you can see, you talked about it being sturdy, Richard. Mm. Already you can see how much this has softened because I've yeah. been working with it. Okay. So it doesn't take long for it to soften. Um, we'll go, let's go over here. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my needle through ahead mm. of where I'm stitching. So I'm going to stitch towards that now. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, check which way I'm going. Yeah, top, right, bottom, left is my first diagonal. And so I'm doing my top right to the bottom left. Now this is actually really easy to see, isn't it? I mean, like some embroidery, it's kind of very, very fine, isn't it? How you bring it up on the little, little tiny hoops. But because this is so vast, this so so sizable, this canvas. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's dead simple, isn't it, to see where you're supposed to be going and where you know you're not going to make a mistake, are you? Coming through the wrong. No, uh, that's, and if you do, it's easy to get it back out yeah. again. But also it means that maybe you are stitching in light conditions that absolutely per aren't absolutely perfect, that you can still stitch, which is one of the things I really, really like about this, mm. that um, I can actually stitch this on a darker evening and I can yeah. still see what I'm doing. And what I am doing is as I'm stitching along, I've got my, my left hand at the back in this case, and I'm sort of rolling that back thread to one side than the other because I'm encasing it as I'm stitching along. So mm. I'm just going to do a couple more stitches and then I'll show you the back 
and you can so, see so where we've got to. So it's as simple to. as that then, Russell. You're about to tell me there's, there's a bit more to it than that. It's, oh, going, well, from the one, it's going, going from the one row at the top there and then diagonally into the next row. That's right. Do you, do you then come back across it then? Or exactly is that it? what we're going to do. Let right, me just get rid of this knot. It. Yeah. So if I just turn that over, you can see now mm -hmm. that this is where we started, the knots at this end here. Yeah. And you can see that I've actually encased all of the stitching over over that, sorry, I've encased that thread with all of the stitching. So all I need to do now is get my scissors wherever I put them. And then from the front mm -hmm. is then just turn it back over. And then all we need to do then is just, whoops, snip that knot off. And it's nice and easily joined. Okay. That thread's really, really secure now. And um, perhaps start from the front might be an idea. We'll do one more just to keep that one in place. Oh, in fact, we can't reach it because I've got, I've got sort of a natural break here, so I have to do two more. Sorry. It's, um, yeah, and then I've, you know, when I'm stitching these, it's like, yeah, we're going to do that in just a minute. Just a minute, <laughs> I'll be doing that. Just a minute. And then to come back. We're just going to swap that diagonal round. And you just go back, you just go over again. But now you're going top left to bottom right. That's right. That's and as often, as that. um, you know, on the instructions, it'll say make sure that the top stitch is always in the same direction. Um, I don't worry too much about that. It's this is a lovely sheen on this particular yarn. Mm. And actually, if some of your stitches are stitched the other way round, it sort of catches the light and adds mm. a little bit more dimension to it, maybe. And also, in sort of small areas, you might find that if I just take that through, on this leaf maybe, it might actually add something if one of those lines is stitched the other way, so that, you you know, the light's yeah. sort of bouncing off it in a different yeah, way. Yeah, so it gives so, a bit of texture and a yeah, bit of, you know, exactly, interest. Exactly, that's, that's it. Yeah. So, yeah, give it a little bit more texture. Deliberately, perhaps, stitch some of the stitches in a different direction. You could have the background stitched with your, your mm. crosses one way, and then the foreground another way. So Would you, would you ever have it where you just go in the one way and you don't come back over it and cross stitch it again or is that not technically that's obviously not Th cross stitching no, that's perfectly valid however yeah. with this one because it is um the canvas has the larger holes and it's a cushion behind it i would do the cross stitches mm. on this but yeah that's a perfectly valid thing you can to, do that yeah, in you areas certainly on can. The, yeah. What you could also do is, or uh, you could add a back stitch on this yeah. if you wanted to. If you are an embroiderer and you like textured stitches, maybe on the um, centres there you could do something like a turkey stitch or um, a velvet stitch where it's tufty. You could right. have beads and things. So this you could but, have the, but these are all things for people who've done a little bit of it before and have uh, experienced. But for a complete beginner, all you're doing across the whole lot is the cross stitch, and that's all you need to do is the cross stitch. That's all you need to do. And then your cushion is completed. Yeah. You can em embellish it if you wish. If not, you have the most beautiful cushion front that you've just right. created. Leslie would put beads into the centre yep, of the, the pansies, like on the cushion, yeah? Yeah, you could put some saying. sequins on there as well yep. if you wanted it. I love the idea of maybe tassels on the corners mm. as well. That would be really yeah. nice. Maybe pom-poms on here. Yeah. But there's so I could, much. I could do, do that cross stitching, I reckon. You can do it. Oh, I reckon I could, honestly. You, yeah. You know, well, we, like, once you've got. Yeah, once you sort of like got the initial bit in, yeah. the actual cross stitching itself is just following the, you know, left to right, left to right, left to right, and then back over. And that's right. it. Yeah. That's it. It is one stitch. And well, I love like, it. Sorry, I was going to say that looks like the sort of thing you could just do. And then like, once you've got the hang of it, you can just switch off and just be doing and doing something else at the same time and just enjoying you know, watching TV or listening to music and yeah. watch, uh, watching uh, the, the craft store, of course. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I think absolutely, because it's actually printed, yeah. it means that you, you're not referring to a chart on this. It's not a counted cross stitch. This is a printed um, canvas. So, yeah, you're going to get your thread, particularly when you've got a large background like this. It's fantastic. It's a real talker because you can just actually stitch over the colour you've got so yeah. you don't have to think about it. This is a really good solution, Richard, if you don't like counted cross stitch, and a lot of people don't, that then you don't need to. And these are just so satisfying to do. They really are. Because the difference between this, obviously, and uh, and that you're counting the cross stitches, you'd start with a complete blank canvas there, yes. and you'd have to kind of work out where the where the you know the part the middle part of the flower goes and count along. This is just it's like it's paint by numbers, yeah. isn't it? But in but in but in, in soft yeah. fabric stitching yeah. form, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Perfect. Brilliant then for beginners, I think. Uh, a really good entry into, into the whole world of it as well. Um, now, let's have a little recap of what we have here. We have sold out of the double lilac. That's gone. The double lilac, which is this one, has gone. So forget that. Forget you ever saw it. Um, don't forget you ever saw it if you bought one, because um, you'll be looking at that for the next few weeks and enjoying it. 
actually not just enjoying making it of course you'll be enjoying it for, for years decades because it'll be in your house you could give it to somebody so that is the beauty of that but that has gone I should point out with all of the other kits we have here once it's gone it has actually gone once we've, uh, we've run out of stocks it's not coming back we've had quite a few sellouts as you've seen already today I've had the squirrels we've had the uh, the, the red pandas we've had all of the uh, light uh, the um, which was it? It was the lilacs, the, the single lilac, the double lilac. Uh, hedgehogs went earlier, the rabbits went earlier. So you can see it's super popular today. Um, I, I did have, at the beginning of this hour, a big long counter to go down. Looking now, it's looking a bit sparse. There's about three things left. Uh, but we will, nevertheless, endeavour uh, to go through the, all the rest of it here. So that here is the double lilac that's now gone. Um, this is the pansies here. This is still available. Still can get hold of the pansies for now. Uh, item number is 6335. 26.99, as is everything you're going to see on the counter here. This was originally 29.99, so this represents a £3 saving. Uh, 40 by 40 centimetres is your size there, uh, and you're getting it with the instructions. The front piece picture as well, the gold eye needle, the high quality screen printed uh, canvas, and of course, all of the non fray acrylic yarn 633571 for that then you've got your cabbage rose here that's what it's oh is it this is the ancient rose oh i think this is the cabbage rose isn't it it is the cabbage rose yes 633571 see me after school leslie <laughs> it's uh, it is the cabbage rose i was right for the first time in my life 038843 is the item number for that one and that's normally 33.99 so actually the 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 blanket 26.99 across the board represents a bigger saving on that one because it's a seven pound saving for that uh then next to that we've got the iris mauve the iris mauve and uh, it's another one of our floral designs here in fact they're all floral now aren't they we've got all the all the animals have gone we've got the flowers left but some of those have gone uh here's the screen canvas of course and uh, you can see it with the swatch on it. Uh, you can put all of your uh, threads on there, as Rosella just demonstrated, 330979. And that's what it will look like when you've made it, 330979 for that one. Then it's the ancient rose here. Uh, with all of our pinks and creams and beige. It's going to look really, really nice with maybe a white backing. Actually, John, jo I'm looking at that and thinking natural backing would be good. White backing would be good. Even a grey backing would be good, wouldn't it? Because look at the grey here. Mmm. Well, well, Leslie thinks grey. Rosella, got any thoughts on that one? Grey back. I, I'm liking the grey, yes, because yeah. you've got that lovely background, so it's going to coordinate really, yeah, really well with is. that. 889863. There's the grey cushion back, by the way, down the bottom of your screen, if you're interested in getting the back. Because you will need the back. Uh, to, to do this and you will need the cushion pad as well and these are available on the show today go to the website it's all there and then you've got this one here oh just another another chance to do this Ooh, put that back um, that is your um, antique rose we've had an ancient rose this is the antique nose and this one is limited stock once it's gone it's gone remember a five pound saving on this one and it makes this beautiful design here this beautiful yellow rose there uh, which is for friendship uh, is something I've learnt today uh, yellow roses are for friendship so the yellow rose of Texas then presumably is a song all about friendship it must be yes mm, there I, you go I, I, yeah yeah uh, 270150 is the item number on that one. Right, Rosella, you're going to do a little bit more for us now. OK, well, we were talking about countered cross-stitch, weren't we? Mm. And um, I actually got a super, super book on the show, which is one of my favourite books, um, and it's um, A Cross-Stitch Wildflowers and Grasses. And this is lovely. If you actually think, you know what, I, I love the cushions, they're great, I want to just dip my toe into maybe a little bit of countered cross-stitch, this is a fantastic book for it. If I just show you briefly through it, Mm -hmm. But you can see that you've got some beautiful, beautiful designs in here. So absolutely lovely. But what you've also got is you've got your stitch guide, so how to cross stitch. But then what I really like about this book is the... Oh, then you've actually got projects for this. So we've got how to embellish a shirt maybe, how to actually do, um, embellish the apron. So it's not just the designs, it's oh, okay. what you'd actually like to do with it as well. Uh, even down to sort of guest towels, things like oh. that. 
It's, the, so it's the same motif, but you can put it on all those all yeah, those various things, the towels right. and the napkins and... Yeah, well, that's absolutely. This is a super, super book. And mm. then you've got the instructions there, how to start with a loop method, but then you've got your charts at the back, so you've got the, the codes for the DMC threads on there as well. Um, it's, it's just such a lovely book. I'm actually doing a design from this book at the moment, and mm. I, I just think it's gorgeous, isn't it? Um, so that's a lovely book. Yeah. Like what you'll need is probably some Ada to stitch with. So we've also got some Ada. We've got a couple of different bundles, Richard. Lovely lady, Ada. She, she, Bring her in, so please. <laughs> <laughs> How much is she today? <laughs> have, you, have you not got threads to be counting, Richard? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting told to count these threads a lot. That's all I know. Oh, is it 20, so it's 25.77 for the Ada, right? Okay. Yeah. Or oh, pack of five you're getting uh, of different colours here. Okay, so that was me thinking that Ada normally you, you would get the the white, wouldn't you? Or so it's the uh, cream, or yeah. So, well, the great thing about it is that mm. you can have several different colours, which means that maybe you are creating a design. Your your background colour is already there, so you don't have to stitch the background on it as well. So okay. that's that's really lovely. Yeah. And um, also that we have some um, some white, like you mentioned. We do have white. Okay, so that's all part of that other bundle there, and then you can get the white separately. Uh, this comes with two off-white as well. So you've got two white and two off-white, four pieces in total, fat quarters. Yeah, so mm. depending what your projects are. So now we've got our book, we've got our instructions, we've got our Ada, we now need a hoop, Richard. Right. And I would always recommend using a hoop do, for... Do you know what? I'm not, I think there's one right in front of you. There's I don't a, know. A, I've got a, I'll have a selection. <laughs> Just in case you were looking around thinking, I'll lend you the hoop, where's the hoop? <laughs> Right in front of you, right in front of you. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> you know I love my seat stands, you know I love I know my seat you stands. Do. I know and you do. Uh, this one is a table stand, so you may or may not have seen this one before, but that means that actually it's going to sit really well on the table in front of you. Mm. You're going to be able to tilt it then so that it's comfortable for you. So if you sit at a table to stitch, this may be a really great one for mm. you. You look like um, you're about to drive a bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got nothing to do with the hoops. All the board. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying thread, Richard, thread. Yeah, yeah um, just, 42, <laughs> 43, 44. <laughs> Oh, so 65, this is, 66. This is uh, lovely also mm. for, demonst uh, for actually a uh, display as well, Richard, do you think? Yeah. So and this is it about the hoops, isn't it? You, you use them to, to make it and then you can actually display yeah. it at the end, yeah? You certainly can. Yeah. I mean, I would happily leave a design in here and then maybe put a little bit of felt on the back to mm. hide the workings. Yeah. And that would look great. Um, the one that I actually use every day of the week, because I stitch every day of the week, is the seat frame. Um, so. This is one that you can either sit astride or you can sit with it un under either leg. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to put this together to show you exactly how easy it is. So when you get this from the box, it's in one, two, yeah. three pieces. Now you can handle this because you can do thousand piece puzzles, can't you? So if you, <laughs> if you can do that, surely you can do this. It's three pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Your hoop may or may not be attached to this. Uh, if it isn't, you've got a little. You've got instructions, Richard. Oh, <laughs> instructions good. Instructions to show instructions. how to pop it together. I don't so, even think that requires that many instructions. It's good to have them. But that looks like that's fairly self-explanatory, doesn't the, it? There's a really great picture on the box, and yeah. seriously, all you are doing is actually Screwing popping it, it together. Yeah. Now, this is super because actually, if you do take it around with you, as I do mine, it means that it breaks down pretty flat, and it'll go in the bag really easily. Um, it is fully adjustable height-wise, so this is the height I have it at all the time, mm -hmm. shortest. But when you're <laughs> taller than me, which most people are, it means that actually you can extend the height on that as well. That's it also good. means that maybe you want to sit on this but you'd like a cushion underneath your leg, mm -hmm. then you can actually extend it for that as well. So it's, it's a really useful hoop to have and to place your aider in it, because your aider is quite thick, you're just going to unscrew the hoop slightly so that you can then place it in or any of your fabric whatever you're stitching on and then that's just going to go in there and that's going to place on the top um, the great thing about these also is if I just turn that to the side mm -hmm. right, you've got a little you've got your screw to tighten it but you've actually got a slit on that screw as well which means that if you want your fabric absolutely drum tight, you, well, you can, can get actually, a screwdriver out. You get a screwdriver wow, out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Would you, um, would you need that sometimes, do you, to get it that tight? Some people, um, particularly if you're stitching on something like silk, you might want it, it absolutely drum tight. I right. tend not to. What I, this is mine actually. If I just bring this in, mm. what I've done, whoops, on mine is um, bound it, and you can bind 
uh, the edges and that will also okay. help it to, to grip more can you, as can well. Can you get it too tight where it's like if you pop the needle through it, I don't know, it pops it or something. Like a balloon. I don't know, like is, it too, is there such a thing as doing it too tight or not really? You can. Um, I, I don't think so. I no, don't know. Fine. I've not okay. heard of that. If you have, yeah. then let me know, but I've yeah. not really heard of that now. Good to know. Um, <laughs> so, and also, somewhere, I've got some threads as well. I don't Ooh. know where, where my threads are. Where have you they put... Were, they were somewhere close by, but they've suddenly uh, disappeared. But I, I think I'm going to be able to show you them in a moment, because that's the only other thing we need is threads, and they're going to come winging their way to me any moment now. All right. Well, Harry's going to pass them to you while I just have a quick uh, recap of what uh, we've got in front of us here, which is all of our cushion kit. Um, we've got uh, these are all 26.99. This one here is your cabbage rose. Over here, you've got your pansies as well. You've got your iris mauve. Sorry, which is the most popular, Leslie? The cabbage rose and the pansies are proving to be the most popular at the moment of the ones we have left. And I, and I do. Uh, underline the ones we have left because we've had lots of sellouts at this stage now. We've had a couple in the earlier show. We've had three or four in this show, uh, to my knowledge. We lost the, uh, the lilacs, we lost the, uh, the, uh, the squirrel, may, may he rest in peace, uh, the, uh, the red panda as well, lest we forget. He's gone. Uh, good times. Uh, oh, someone sent in an image. Let's have a little look at that. It's, uh, this is from, is it from who, sorry? Bren. Bryn, Bryn, okay, hello Bryn, thanks very much for sending this in, and this is one of the designs that she has put together, that's the pansies, and it's the version of it, so basically, is, have we used different colours there, it's a bit like the uh, pansy, slightly different threads, maybe a slightly different design there, but you get the general uh, gist of that, I didn't see that there, was that an actual cushion, or was that, was that the design that was going to be, I think is that the cushion, yeah, it is the cushion, yeah. Uh, it's not backed yet by the looks of it, but that is the cushion there. Do you like that, Rosella? Uh, Bren, that is absolutely mm. exquisite. It really is gorgeous, isn't it? I mm. love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Don't Need a really uh, like cushion it. back on that, Bren. Um, yeah. I'm thinking maybe grey on that, do you think, Richard? Yeah, grey. Yeah, yeah great. Good, good call. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you so much for emailing me. Thank in. you. Thank you so much. Right now, have you got the have you got the bits and pieces from Harry? Look at this. Ooh. So maybe when you stitch your cushion, you actually then want to do a little bit of back stitch on there, or do some embellishing, maybe some French knots, and you might want some thread to do that. <laughs> look what I can offer. This is just amazing, isn't it? Just look at all these wonderful colours. They're fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Hundred and forty-four. <laughs> That's, uh, oh, you don't want to make me count those, are you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, six strands, so each one of them's got six strands in it. Yeah, so yeah. if you are doing your countered cross stitch, your embroidery, etc., uh, your countered cross stitch is most likely to be two threads, then this is going to keep you going for quite some time, Richard, isn't it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So that's, wow, there is loads there, isn't there? How did you misplace that out of interest? I mean, that's a big old chunk to just, like, leap, <laughs> not be able to see. I'm a hand. very untidy person. Very, so. clearly. <laughs> uh, so that's also available. 435491 is the item number for that one. That's our seven-day saver, by the way. So that's a £20 saving on that. Look at that. When you spread it all out there, it looks even more impressive, doesn't it? 49.99 normally. Twenty nine ninety nine is your price. That's a twenty pound saving. Four three five four nine one is your item number there for your pack of one hundred and forty four six stranded cotton eight meter skeins. Wow, that's a lot. I tell you what, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Thirty six colours in total, four skeins of each. There is so much there, isn't there? And that's pretty much co covering all your basic colours that you would need. Uh, twenty one pence a skein. That works out as. So uh, that is way better than you get in a store, isn't it? Uh, 21 pence a skein. Right. Um, now, not long of the show left, uh, Rosella. It's uh, four minutes. What can you do in four minutes? Oh, my goodness, Richard. We can count many threads. Oh. Or we could have a quick look at this <laughs> right, cabbage rose. Reading it like... loud and clear. One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> Isn't this just absolutely beautiful? Yeah. Now, there are less colours in this. So if actually the amount of colours is, is a little daunting, then maybe this is a great one. You've got a super large background on this as well. If I just show you then how much background you've got on this one as well. Mm. So if this is the first cushion that you've ever stitched and you're thinking, I'm 
I'm going to do this, I'm really going to do this, um, then this will be a lovely one to go for by all means. Maybe start with the background on this because there's a lot of it. So okay. um, just because on this the background's at the top of the picture, that's fine. I can turn the canvas around, that's absolutely fine. So that's what I would probably start with. And also on this one, the when we're actually identifying the colours on here, this purple's really easy to identify and that is right. the background colour. So by all means, start there and to be honest, once you've done a row or so, you, you're going to be really pretty confident. Um, you'll probably find that this piece of thread is actually, you'll stitch um, one way and a bit of the next way coming back as well. So um, it's going to, you're going to get a really good feel for how to stitch with this one. And again, just all you need to do is to then thread your needle up and seriously you are good to go when you've done that. Mm. Remember that not to begin, that we're then going to cut off afterwards. Oh yeah. And I, w I can start it at this side and then I, w I would start right at the bottom and yeah. off we go. And now, like, if you did a bit of that for a while and you thought mm -hmm. I'm going to switch this up now and do a bit of the flower, you yeah. could just come back to that later. You don't have to do yeah. it all the whole section in one go or finish it all off what you do. Not at all. No. So you can actually do any that you like. I mean, mm. what you might like to do, there's a very small amount of the brown on here. Yeah. So actually I would probably do a little bit of the brown and that's done mm. with. And I know that actually that when there's br uh, brown thread, I don't need to worry about that anymore because I've completed that. And so maybe that's the way in the order that you'd like to it's create It's a total it. personal preference, right? Because yeah. that, that doesn't look, there's some pictures that immediately say, oh, I've got to do the eyes on the squirrel. That one <laughs> yeah. is not uh, an obvious one. There's no obvious, there's I'm no going eyes. straight for that bit. <laughs> there's no eyes. No one, that would be weird. But um, there's no obvious place to, to start off there, is there? No, absolutely. It really is personal choice. And, mm. uh, and again, with the cushions that you're choosing, I always think that you shouldn't, you need to go to the one that really mm. inspires you. Because mm. if you've got a design that you think is beautiful, you are going to stitch it. As mm opposed to one that I tell you is the easiest or the quickest, yes. etc. So choose one that you absolutely love. And I did choose this one, actually. I do absolutely love Because you're going to be looking one. at it for a couple of weeks while you're making it yes. very closely. And then you're going to be looking at it forever more after that, aren't you? Because yes. it's going to be in your house. So yes. you, you've got to like it, haven't you? Yeah. Just, so, yeah, that's more important, as you say, than whether yeah. or not it's just that little bit easier. Absolutely. Better to go for one you really enjoy. Yeah, yeah. most definitely, yeah. Does that and, makes sense. And this is just such a beautiful, beautiful design. Love you are that. really, really going to enjoy stitching it. Perfect. Um, we've run out of time. Can you believe it? It goes so quickly. It, it goes so quick, and I only got up to 344 <laughs> uh, strands, so I will now have to spend the next two hours in between the, now and my uh, next hour here on the craft store uh, finishing the job off, because Rosella, she cracks the whip. I'm not, jo I'm not joking. <laughs> Brutal. Uh, thank you so much, Rosella. Thank you. Lovely to see you again. Likewise. And um, are you all back next time when? I'm not sure, but hopefully not too long. Not too long. Well, we look forward to that. Thank you so much. And don't forget, of course, I hope you've enjoyed the hour, uh, to check out your baskets if you have any of these, because they have been selling out quite quickly, haven't they? So I wouldn't want you to miss out. So do make sure you do that. Plenty more to come on the craft store, though, tonight. And it doesn't get any bigger than a new one-day special. Haley's standing by with Corin for some tattered lace. And then after that, it's the Crafts 2 happy hour with myself. And then I'll be doing a bit of the one-day special as well. Did you know you can watch the Craft Store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free, using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player on Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Craft Store channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how you do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Craft Store app. Simply press your home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the Channel Store. At the top of the Channel Store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter the Craft Store into the search bar and this will take you to the Craft Store app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. 
scroll down to the Craft Store app and press the star button on your remote. You can use the arrow buttons to move the Craft Store to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it! You can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your favourite TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. On the Dreamies shows, we hope to further inspire you with all the techniques and tips that we can offer, hopefully getting you to use all of your inks, your flower making techniques, and really build on all the skills you probably already have. Hello there and welcome. Well, it's six o'clock, so we are launching a brand new one day special. Let me take you on a little journey. We're heading off the magical mill pond where you find all sorts of fabulous little characters and all sorts of adventures. You can see them with the creatures there going on their little adventures there, the ladybirds, the snails, the little fairies, and of course, absolutely beautiful artwork to work alongside these. Now, it's a phenomenal deal, as you can see on your screen, but not only are you going to get some amazing artwork, you're also going to get some fabulous dyes to work alongside them. And I have the pleasure of presenting a brand new one day special to you from Tattered Lace. And of course, because Tattered Lace is here, of course, the lovely Colin's here as well. Good, Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my darling. This is the first time we've worked together. It's a bit exciting, isn't it? It is, yes. Now, this is fantastic. You've got some brilliant, brilliant deals here today. Really good. Um, and that's a really good point because, of course, we've got the one-day special, which we know is going to be an amazing deal, but we've got lots of others, so I do suggest you jump ahead and have a little look on the website. This is a perfect opportunity for perhaps to, to introduce yourself to the Tattered Lace brand. They do it so well, those fabulous USBs, those absolutely incredible dies, and really kind of innovative ideas where they all work together to give you some absolutely amazing things over and over again. Now, of course, if you want kind of your, your frames, you want your embellishments, we can help you with those as well and of course we've got some fabulous pairings and bundles that are going to mean that you're going to save money along the way which is something that we all love to do isn't it so of course if you want to add anything into your basket you can do you can see add to your basket there if you're shopping online and if you are shopping with us via our call center then don't worry i will take you through as much as i possibly can for you to make those decisions but of course anything you need to know do get in touch studio at the by all means and i can answer hopefully any questions that you might have and if i can't i'm sure Corin can. Now this is a lovely, it's, a, it's kind of like a delightful collection I have to say with this Corin um, and absolutely beautiful. I mean the dies, there's some big dies with this one but of course you've got your USB and that's kind of like the, the, yeah. the crux of it, that's the it, main element. It is, so I've got my USB here and I've got, I've got a few of the bits that I printed out for you to show you. So it's what you'd expect, it's a USB. Now up in this top corner is the key element. Now, I don't know how many of you know Tattered Lace, but it just says here, it says the My Craft Studio. Okay. Now, that is the key. Can I just tell you, if you were to buy My Craft Studio on its own, you'd be expecting to pay £25 right. for that, for the software. It is the most amazing software. It's so easy to use. I've demonstrated and shows just on My Craft Studio to show you how easy it is to do. What you can do is you can... Min it's a proper software package so you can manipulate the images you can change the sizes you can change the colors you can add opacity you can drop one on top of the other it's absolutely brilliant so not only you're getting that software but you're getting all the other elements now you're getting i've got some of it here you're getting something called charisma now charisma is the artwork that the dies fit on top of so i've got our small friends here and there's my die and what happens is is you lay the die over the top of the artwork just like that before you cut it out it'll fit absolutely perfectly and then when you cut it out this is what you get so i'm just going to turn it round so that you can see it doesn't just cut the outline can you see it's also cut all of that detail into the um 
image. So that means that when I come to shape it, I, I can manipulate it. It's not going to crease and crack and, and break. So you're getting the artwork for the small friends, the swan voyage and the snail trail as well. You're also getting sentiments. Now, if I remember rightly, it's about 50 sentiments. And these are what they look... This is just an example. Now, you can change the size of these. You can change, you know, the orientation on how you use them. You're also going to get backing papers. Now, look at these wow. backing papers. Over 200 backing papers on this USB. Now, can I just say, print it out on the best quality paper. Oops, that one's upside down. Best quality paper that you have got, and then the image and the artwork is going to look fantastic. Look at that. Look at the detail. Now, if you don't want it as bold, change the opacity and make it a bit paler. You can also drop the sentiments on top of here before you print them out as well. Now, the bit that's going to clinch it for me, and I've only got one example here, but I'm going to show you more as we go. Look at that. Oh, wow. That is one of the scenes now. How many scenes we get? 28 of those 28 scenes, scenes on there, They're yeah. all different, but they are, but now, you're going to say that's A4, too big. You can manipulate them with the software, make them smaller, so that they fit the size of the dies. Isn't that amazing? Beautiful. Look at the light. The details, incredible. The detail, it's the way the light plays with it. That is just the USB. Then you're going to get, as we said, your three character dies. And this is a proper storytelling. So you've got your small friends, the little girl on the ladybird, or the little fairy. You've got your snail trail. These are good sized dies. They're not tiny dies. I love the packaging you. Look, of these. Oops. My, these, are well loved. these are well loved and well worn. Now, with tattered lace, I'm, I'm going back to basics here in case people haven't seen tattered lace before. Okay. With tattered lace, what you get is you get the detail die, but you also get the foundation die. Now, the foundation die is the die that cuts the matte layer that sits behind. It's about a 1.1 millimetre border oh, all the way around. Okay. And on my first demo, I'm going to show you why it's so important, how it gives you that separation. And when you're telling the story, you really, really want that. But the piece of resistance die in this collection has to be our bridge card. Now, you, oh, I don't know what state it's going to be in. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> because these are used. So you're going to get this lovely bridge, but you're not just getting one matte layer, you're getting two matte layers. So you can make card shapes with this and still have a die to create the foundation behind it. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. Look at Gorgeous. that. Excuse so the state. Detail. These are well loved. Yours will look like this too. But you know, absolutely perfect. You don't need any charisma for this. Think about it. Think of your craft cards. Think of your blood and get your gilding waxes on thinking your mirror cards all those different ways to cut that out absolutely perfect I love it and then it's mm. what you do with them when you cut them out that is the key thing here you can see this fabulous it's almost literally a storyboard it could be a scene from a little fairy tale book maybe it's something that you're going to be using to actually create your own little fairy tale stories and you can see the backdrop enhancing those fabulous little characters and of course that gorgeous majestic die coming across the centre there but of course it's your collection when you are working with this you will use it in loads of different ways you'll take the artwork from the USB you can even go and find download as well um, from the website to actually get even more use out of these and that's the key thing now let's talk about the detail of the dies well you can see here the intricacy that you've got with this fine detail to perfection that's something that tattered lace do so well and of course you've got the ability to do kind of your inners your outies and of course if you're using that outside edge you could be creating your card bases instantly with these or use them to build up your designs but then it's the characters as well I mean the characters have got such personality and of course the beauty is your charisma will allow that you can actually um, cut these out to perfection. Obviously, if you start sizing things and moving them around and manipulating them, you have to bear in mind the dies need to be a certain size to work with them. But of course, you could be using them, incorporating them, building up a scene, and then making further of these to actually add to them. And of course, the die, as I mentioned before, using that die as your card base, adding on your little characters, as you can see, making it and turning it into an actual card. Look at that. How clever is that? And of course, that scenery just just popping under the bridge there and again you can see it here the characters getting your inks involved you can get very creative with these it doesn't have to be cardstock that you're using um, in that particular color and it will work with other things that you've got from tattered lace as well and other collections absolutely beautiful building up those scenes 
giving you that absolute perfection time and time again. Now, the beauty of this one day special is it comes with two flexi buys, so of course you can spread the cost, and that means you can spread um, other th the cost of other things as well that can pop into your basket. So £29.98 will be your initial payment. If you are a Freedom member, that means this collection will be delivered to your door for that initial payment. Your second payment will be taken out in a month's time, but look at that saving. That saving is over a third of the cost of the bundle as it's a regular price, which to be honest, £90.95 is a really good price for everything that you are getting in here, but not at the moment. It is a one-day special. You've got that incredible saving bringing it down um, in price until tomorrow evening, 6 o'clock. That's when our one-day special prices go up. So you have until then when you can actually take advantage of those. 688-198. Please do not miss out on this one. Very, very busy already. Now, it's not the only item that we're sharing with you during this show, and I do urge you to jump onto the website because with that flexi buy, there's so many other things you can add in. But let me introduce you to another beautiful collection. Now, this is a similar sort of scenario where you've got a USB stick, you've got those fabulous um, dies that are going to work alongside these. But this one is almost like we've got a second one-day special. I love this. So with this one, again, you've got that £50 saving. What a saving! My goodness, that's huge. Um, you've got your flexi buys on this one, just £31.98, those three flexi buys. But on that first flexi buy, everything will be sent out to you. And my goodness, what a useful collection you've got. We're looking at fantasy florals, which of course florals work so well with so many different things. But the beauty is these are fantasy florals, so you don't have to follow those kind of, kind of uniformity colours, the colours of nature. You become the creator with these, and you have got so much in here. So much design capabilities with it these is. And do you know what? I think putting these two collections together works really well. Definitely. Because they're both going to tell the stories. Are you doing scrapbook pages? Are you doing a little storybook, making a storybook for a grandchild or something like that? You know, maybe you're a teacher and you want to do some scenes. I think it would look absolutely beautiful. But every one of these that I'm looking here is going to work so well with our previous collection, Definitely. our Magical Mill Pond. So work them together so you've got your florals, you've You've got your trees that mushroom house is absolutely beautiful so mushroom i think it's so cute and again you've got the usb with most of the artwork on some of the artwork for this is available as a free download it's probably still on the crate and craft website so you just pop over to there to get it some of the artwork is on there you'll be able to tell because there's a little symbol on the front of your die packet oh, it'll show okay. us usb if it's on the usb and it'll show a downward facing arrow if you need to go to the website so there's like no confusion idea. about it at all also the tattered lace website has the um, charisma available for you as well on there. one thing i've noticed when we're just looking at the dies especially with the mushroom there mm -hmm. you've got kind of flourishes and swirls and those are exactly the same shape and kind of flourish that you will find with other elements so I noticed in the roof of the uh, the toaster we were looking at it's very similar to the one that we saw in the bridge so it of is course, yep. that it, connectivity they are so that's a very I don't want to say typical, but that's sort of this designs that you would expect to see with tattered lace. It's just, it's the design that they thread through like a, a lot of their dyes. Yeah. But that just means that you've got synergy between everything and everything just works together, which I think is absolutely perfect. Now, the thing with the sew mushroom is you've got a book making die in there as well. You can see the frame, you've got everything in there. So it really is giving you the opportunity to make perfect um, books and elements. I love it. There you go. So if you fancy getting hold of that particular book, three flexi buys on that one so again if you're adding that one into your basket and you're adding other goodies in you can spread the um, cost of those items as well so certainly worth you having a little look at everything but of course the beauty is you can pop these into your basket take advantage of these checking out your basket all in one go but of course there's lots of changes going on here at the craft store I'm sure you are aware all for the good and of course it will make it nice and easy for you to kind of keep up to date with all the goings on and this will explain a little more So there you go. It saves us sending you a new home address, really, a card, doesn't it, really? So come with us on the 25th of February to become one, um, and we will have a fabulous channel. F loads of adventures going to be happening. So Freeview 85, many of you will be familiar with that because of the craft store, but of course you'll see us entitled a little differently when we get to the 25th. So, right, and what are we up to then, Corinne? Okay, so we, I think we should put 
together project using the magical mineral pond. So I've got my um, charisma here for my small friends die. Now, top tip, you get six of the images on a sheet of A4 when you print it out. I only put through my die cutting machine the image I'm actually die cutting because every time you put it through it risk it flattens the cardstock you also risk marking your cardstock so I think it's much better just to do the one you're doing now can you see can you see how that die has fitted absolutely perfectly onto that image you can see all the way around the outside it's going to pick it up there you go can you see perfect image there now I've got this on a piece of cut tidy cut tidy is a special magical it's 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 magic okay. it's it was designed to put your card and your dice to put your card inside so that you could die cut through it and it kept all the bits together okay. but we actually use it as a shim and ah. as a shim it just see this one's not too bad because there's not lo lots of detail but if you were doing something like the bridge you remember you picked out all that detail the cut tidy just helps to get or make sure that every single time one pass of the die and it's worked now look at that i always always like to turn mine over wow. because if it looks like pencil marks on the back then you know that you've got it just right you know that every piece has cut perfectly look at that Fabulous. absolutely brilliant right so let's move those out of the way and pop this out you get little release holes on the front so i put my pokey tool through and there we are now look at that now you can see everything's lined up perfectly her facial features have lined up perfectly the cuts on the folds of her dress have lined up uh, perfectly everything just looks beautiful and by having that shaping in there that means i can add extra detail now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a lovely little card here and i want to just show you how useful having that Minecraft studio software is so i have got some purple cardstock so i picked purple cardstock just because it goes really really well with the purple flowers in here now i've reduced this down in size so it was a bit bigger but on a4 and i've reduced it down to make it in keeping with what i'm using and i've printed it out three times but each time i have reduced the opacity so you can can you see on there look can you oh, see that's a bit okay, stronger yeah. that's a bit paler and then here it's paler still can you see we're going through the three colorways now also up here i've taken one of the sentiments on the USB and I've dropped it on to my cardstock before I've cut it out so that means that it will print so I don't need to worry about stamping or anything like that it's worked brilliantly so let's glue these down as we go so the first one I'm going to do is my purple you'll find I do a lot of tentfold cards I like a tentfold card I think it comes from years and years of having to set up the um, displays I find that if you do them as a side opening card if you start to put a lot on the front they can um, become a bit top heavy and now my glue doesn't want to work I should have oh, bless you oh, dear me been out in a cold car there we go come on there we go once it's there so I'm just using my um, pin flare book binding glue which is absolutely perfect because it's got ever such a low water content so it won't um, bubble or cockle my card at all so I know I'm, you know it's not going to soak through and it's going to work gorgeous so I'm going to put that one on first then I'm going to put my darkest one on and then we're going to go just put that on there and then we can pop that on there now I've chosen to use a wet glue rather than a tape because I have quite a fine border and I just find that if you don't get your border absolutely spot on have, using a wet glue will give me that little bit longer to adjust I like good adjusting point, yeah. time it's like that wiggle room yeah the wiggle room so you'll see on here I've used my dies to cut out my oval there and then a the slightly bigger oval on that one so before I stick these on I want to sort of just do my placement but can you see how by putting that like that it's almost as if someone's put a light yes that's yeah. that's the the look we're going for it's as if we've illuminated the forest just there 
I love so, it. Now we've popped the foundation dies at the bottom of the screen. So if you're wanting to replicate this, then you can do so with those dies at the bottom mm. of the screen. You can have them in alongside your flexes, spread the cost, whether it's um, the one day special you're going for two, or if you're going for that other um, bundle, you can spread them over three as well. So that's the beauty of having your one day special on that flexi order. So this is your one day special. If you wanted to go for this one, over a third off the price there. That is a phenomenal deal. And you've got your two flexi buys, but just to warn you that almost 10% of the stock have of the whole day stock has already gone and we're not even a third of the way into the show my goodness we are busy for this one <laughs> okay so you remember i was talking about that foundation die and i want to show you why it's so important so i have got my little boy here on the snail trail now i put him onto the card and yes he stands out but i find that the colors sort of just blend and he doesn't stand out as much watch what happens if i then put that foundation die behind can you see oh, he yes. pops out yeah. it gives me that separation so then i'm going to cut him again but this time i've created my own decoupage just by trimming in and i'm thinking which bits are furthest forward and then i've created that so i'm going to do exactly the same with my ladybird but i'm actually because she's quite strong colors i'm not going to tri um not going to put her on a foundation layer but then i'm going to work out so when i look at this her body and her skirt are furthest forward. She's tucked her legs back and she's tucked the, and the ladybird's tucked back. So we're going to create our decoupage by going through there now. Can you see, I only do little snips because it's held in with pips because we've got all those cut lines already. So it will actually just pip pop out. There we go. So this is the bit I think is furthest forward and we're going to put that onto there. So that looks lovely. Now, just look at what you've got in your collection and think about building up the scene. That's why I didn't stick this down. So I'm going to pop some extra little bits on here just to complete my storytelling. And I'm going to do it. You could even put in, let me show you, your bridge if I wanted to. We could even put the bridge in and trim that down. Oh, I need to bring that down a bit, don't I? Look, there we go. Can you see? You could bring it in. Oh, isn't that lovely? It's all about playing around. So how I do it is I cut everything out like this. I put them, cut them all out, put them in little bags, and then I place them. And maybe I'll take one out, maybe I'll put another one in, and just play around with them until you get them just how you want. So let's put these flowers in. I love that because it gives you the ability to kind of play around without actually committing yeah. to any of those styles. Um, don't forget the dies are going to help you alongside that USB stick. So, of course, the gorgeous artwork that you see, that's where you're going to get able to get hold of that. Beauty is that you can print that off over and over again. And not only is it your fabulous characters that you can print off there, but some beautiful backings as well. In fact, you've got hundreds of them. So the backings, you've got 246 of them. That's a lot of backgrounds. And don't forget you can manipulate those as well. The little scenes, you've got 28 of those and again that's just as they are but you can start playing around with them your pattern papers you've got 152 of those and again you can play around with the colors of those as well and your digi stamps with your little characters as well you've got 14 of those so there's a lot there that you can be using and of course if you're using them just as they are then those dies will work alongside them and then of course your fabulous personalization with those sentiments sentiments that you can bring into my craft studio and build them up with your scenes to add your own scenes your own personalization and to really kind of add that essence of that magical area that you're heading off to at the mill pond um, but beautiful little characters and of course you can use them time and time again multi-layers dies there so of course if you wanted to add that separation then you can do but of course you become the crafter you become the designer with these and you are going to have so much fun in the process it's your one day special the details are on your screen that fabulous saving of 31 pounds brings those flexi buys right the way down to two flexi buys of just 29 pounds and 98 pence when you get these um, Karen, you yeah. must look at them and think, oh my goodness, I, I, I've kind of woken up in heaven here. You have, haven't you? It's, it's that magical element, isn't it? It's all about the fantasy and they do it so, so well. Telling that story, creating the fantasy. Now, if anybody has been a subscriber of the Tattered Lace magazine, because we're on to our 
A lot of, well, we, we, I've just recorded the video for issue 100, which is going to be so very, very Tattered special. what's the Tattered Lace um, magazine? For anybody that's watching us um, that's not come across Tattered Lace, obviously the craft store, um, first, well, not the first time that I, uh, we're working with Tattered Lace, but what's the magazine all about? Then? Right, so the magazine, we do it as a subscription, and then you can often just pick, sometimes you can pick them up as um, one-offs. It's a magazine we bring you every month, and it's all, and in the magazine will be... It's about 48, 49 projects every month, but they will feature dyes that you have seen quite recently. So I've just been recording the videos for um, issue 100, and we've got dyes in there. That will come out on the 16th of March, and there's dyes that we're releasing this week. Ooh, okay. um, did you see the um, cornucopia? Oh, yes. Um, yeah. It was done on Thursday or Friday here yes, on, yeah. on the craft store. Now, th there's quite a lot in there. So it, it's all about this three elements inspiration education and information and the magazine is packed full of all of those to inspire you how to use your um, dyes it's, it's a really good educational tool because we know that once you get your dyes at home you sometimes you'd watch us demonstrate them and you think oh yeah these are gorgeous then you get home and you think what do I do with it now? <laughs> and that's what the magazine is all about, is giving you that help and support, um, and showing that. you lots of lovely ways to use that your um, If you dice. want to get involved with that, just hop over to the Create and Craft website where you'll be able to learn more about that. And of course, we're all kind of coming together um, towards the end of the month anyway, but for the time being, that's where you'll need to pop over to, to find there a little bit um, more information about that. How okay, on so over there? I have just about finished. I'm just putting back, you'll probably notice, if I do a few shows with you, I do like a good bow. I'm, okay. I'm a, yeah, I do tend to put a bow on where I can. Now, look at that. How beautiful is that? And all of those elements, oops, sliding on my mat, are from this collection. So we've got our small friends, our snail trail. It could quite easily have been our swan voyage we swapped in there. And you could have built it up with the bridge in the background. But all of those papers is one paper that I've just changed using the Minecraft Studio software. And I've dropped in the sentiment as well. So it's a perfect way to craft. But... I think you'll be telling a story in your head when you're making these, because I know I do, you know, when you're building it up. I can imagine crafting yeah. with these and giving them little voices. Yeah. And all the little creatures having their these own voices. These are the voices. sorts of dyes I would love to craft with my grandsons. They're three, three Aww. and a half. And they love coming finding my craft room and getting all of them out. And I can see them doing little stories with Aww. them and telling stories with them. And that's what they tend to do oh, with look. these. I'm coming. Thank you. What a fabulous demonstration. And of course, um, you've got your USB stick with your printable sheets. You've got your dies. You could be replicating that over and over again. But we've got other things that you might like to add in alongside your one day special. Because you've got your flexi um, buy, which means that you could add in your diamonds and pearls as well. Um, it's not very often you can get diamonds and pearls for £78.94, has it? but you're going to get both of them. You're going to get 57 dies. My goodness, that is quite a collection there, as you can see. And these are going to be beautiful for you to use in so many different ways. You can see here you've got frames, you've got mats, you've got layers. So, of course, they're going to be fabulous foundation elements for you to work with, but then you've got a lot of detail, a lot of content in here. And, of course, you've got that fabulous storage that comes alongside the dies. I think this is such a clever design of packaging, I have to say. Um, you can see with these, you've got, obviously, your illustration on the front of your packaging so you know this is where you're going to be housing this particular collection of dies but when you open it up you've got your fabulous little wallet there so of course you can keep everything together in there might be that you get yourself some little magnetic sheets and pop them in there but what a wonderful way for you to remember all the different pieces that you need and to make sure that you're kind of counting them out and counting them back in again you can see you've got large dies in here for your mats your fabulous layers built up and then of course all your gorgeous embellishments and that is just one of those dies that's in there you start looking at all of the others in there and you'll realize just how much content that you've got and it's usable content that you will use over and over again beautiful flowers as you can see with regards to these as well and of course you can see those arrows that downward pointing arrow which of course I will learn from Karina earlier on means that you can jump across the website and actually download pages that will work alongside these as well again these are very useful ones to have I have to say uh, Karina I mean there's some gorgeous designs with these yeah, finished samples we've just, we've just moved on to a different collection there those oh. are images from the different collection it's diamonds and pearls are just up there we are so you've got the three frames and the three sets of flowers so that's absolutely gorgeous so it's but kind of this little section here yeah that's it those just there absolutely perfect but aren't they absolutely gorgeous and i just love the shapes of them so you you don't need um much too much for the the 
for the um, the actual frames. The frames will just cut on their own right, but it's when you come to those flowers that's when you're really, really going to um, to you know to make those beautiful, beautiful projects. And as you said, downward arrow means that the charisma is available on the website. I love it. There you go. So diamonds and pearls, your collection of 57 dyes coming to you over two flexi buys. So if you're wanting to get hold of those, obviously on the website you'll be able to see them individually there and of course there's loads of other different combinations of dyes that you might want to add into your basket as well. And you can see those, we're looking at all the different die sets. They all work so brilliantly well together as well. That is beautiful. So here you've got a bumper bundle as you can see there. So you can see I think it's pretty much everything that we've got on the top shelf there. Um, you've got um, your gorgeous ovals, you've got your squares in there, you've got those gorgeous flowers absolute brilliant value for money so you've got one two three four five six sets in there giving you 57 dies in total absolutely beautiful love it um, but then we've got some lovely character dies and this is where i love the idea um, that we see from tattered lace and um, quite often they'll come up with ideas concepts and this is such a clever one now we've got um kind of pairings with these um so they're coming to you to you as a kind of t um, two die sets you've got your swans and your doves alongside each other um, and these are really clever because what you've got within each of these packages are two dies but the two dies kind of come together so you can see there when you take your two swans they're literally cuddling up together as are the doves there so they are absolutely beautiful they're called entwined moments and what you've got is you've got your dies in there your two dies that you're going to be able to use and cut out as you can see there alongside each other um, and then when you bring them together they literally bring that artwork together. Again, that downward arrow that you can see there means if you're wanting the artwork that's featuring within the actual packaging, you'll be able to go off and find that and replicate these over and over again. And to be honest, the artwork is beautiful. So that is your first duo, your swan and your dove which are beautiful, if you're wanting those, um, then obviously you can do. But as we work our way down, we've got other little duos as well. Of course, if you're going for your one-day special um, or any of the other bundles we've been talking about that are on FlexiBuy, then of course you can spread the cost of those when you're completing your Flexi order. But we're dipping our toe into the waters here. You can see you've got your fabulous little dancing dolphins there and of course those gorgeous seahorses as well. And these are lovely. Again, you've got that duo coming together and of course you've got the artwork on your download as well. Um, absolutely absolutely beautiful design. I love the little seahorses. They're having a proper little cuddle. I don't think we represent seahorses enough, don't we? You know, you often see a die with, I don't know, a lion or a tiger or a dog or a cat. How often do we see seahorses? I think true. it's a really nice one to show. Uh, just to show you, we're going to look at the giraffes in a minute, but just so that you can see how they work, what you do is you cut the two elements. So this was the swans here. And you can see you cut the two out and, you, and they have a little lip at the back and so then you put those over your card and then when you put them together they link together so that they just interlink at the front so Isn't that when that you lovely? put your card together they come like that so i'll just show you with my giraffe i put a little gap in between the two but you can just see using the colored artwork they just come together they're gorgeous. They and are. it's lovely because some of them are kind of like a couple, so perhaps a love of that particular yep. style um, between a couple, and then some of them are kind of generations, so you can see as family. You saw there. It's all yeah, about family, family isn't yeah. it? So of course with the giraffe there you've kind of got your larger and your smaller, it could be mother and daughter, son and father, or whichever way you want to work with those, it could be just as you say there, generations coming together, absolutely beautiful, and of course the download on the package in there means you can go off and get the artwork for these. Another little duo as you can see, now this this die comes alongside the giraffe, so the elephant, and I love this, the way that their little trunks are cuddling together. They almost look like they've got little smiles on their faces as well. Adorable. 338637. So you've got three different pairings of those. You've got your elephant and your giraffe, you've got your swan and your dove, and then of course you've got your dolphin and your seahorses. All of them laid out there absolutely beautiful each and every one of them so three three eight six three seven if you're wanting your giraffe and elephant and of course jump onto the website or speak to our call operators if you're wanting any of the others so what have we got for you that we can add to our um, baskets well i love this one that is a staircase that we you ju just love to come down there in a big fancy frock wouldn't you uh, 19 pounds and 99 pence absolutely beautiful um, a brilliant die set and again it's one that you might want to add in alongside um, the uh, 
kind of your flexi buys for other bits and pieces. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. One four five zero five two. If you like in the look of that one, and then alongside that one, we've got a fabulous set of frames. These are really really pretty, and I love this because you kind of got the mats and layers with these, so you could have your solid colour behind and maybe your mirror card or, or whatever you like in front of them. And of course, the beauty is as well, you're going to have that inner area that's going to cut away too. So nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Four nine eight seven three four. And then we've just got another little set of dyes to share with you on our middle shelf here. Where shall we start? Let's start with the fabulous rectangles. And this is a beautiful one because you've got your gorgeous floral content with this one as well. Um, so your Hyaline Hope. What a fabulous phrase. Um, gorgeous flourishes of little embellishments there. And you can see when you put them together how incredible these look. My goodness, the detail, phenomenal. 200517 if you're wanting to get hold of those. Um, so alongside this particular one, we've also got another set to share with you. And this is fabulous. My goodness, the, how do you say this? Phenathonous, phenathonous, diaphanous. Diaphanous, diaphanous beauty, my goodness, I never I, knew there was such a word. I think there's somebody up at the Tattered Lace office that likes to name dyes without actually thinking about how we say them. I, <laughs> think, I think they know exactly what we've got to do. <laughs> they know exactly what we've got to do. But this is a beautiful dye set. Again, a classic look. This is timeless, uh, ageless. You'll be using these particular dyes in many, many years to come and they will look just as beautiful as now. And of course, the gorgeous thing is you can download and print off some fabulous artwork to work with them as well. 503746 if you're wanting to add this one into your basket and then we've got a crystalline grace it's not a lovely lovely face I love an oval I must admit one of my favorite shapes when you're adding embellishments because it's just got one of those looks that can work portrait or landscape beautifully and of course it works with your uh, rectangle cards to perfection again beautiful designs with a lot of fabulous intricate detail and you've been loving this particular one as well um, almost 20% of the stock of this one has gone and that's the first chance that we've had to show you so 449 517 if you fancy getting hold of those so you can see we've got a wonderful selection there's lots of other things though we haven't had room to lay everything out so let me tempt you with a few other bits and pieces these are so useful we were talking about the foundation dies earlier on well with this one you've got your foundation nested diamonds 30 dies in this one giving you a whole host of different sizes that nest beautifully together but of course you can use them alongside each other as well if you want just 16 pounds and 99 pence you've got 13 pounds saving there that's a whopping great saving i like savings like that have we got any more oh hexagons now these are nice because of course they tessellate beautifully you can create almost patchwork designs with these ones and at 16 pounds and 99 phenomenal prices are 30 dies again in there my goodness 13 pounds saving 959 421 if you're wanting to get hold of those love that but of course you can add any of those goodies that we've been tempting you with or any others that are on the website alongside your one day special and spread the cost of those as well details of the one day special are up on your screen and of course it's that gorgeous magical mill pond that's giving you all of that essence of adventure for the little creatures, the little children, as you can see there, the little fairies. And of course, you've got those dies to support those scenes with things like that beautiful, gorgeous little uh, bridge, as you can see there, with your multiple dies in there. Your character dies, which of course are going to work alongside the charisma that you are finding on the USB stick that is included within this bundle as well. What a phenomenal price. It's your one day special, and the item number that you need to get hold of it is 688198. As simple as that, pop into your basket, check your basket out. And of course, those goodies could be on their way to you for that first flexi buy if that's the way that you choose to shop. But of course, you can go for it all in one go if you prefer to. I just love the artwork of these. I mean, Corinne, they look amazing. We have a very, very talented artist up at Tatters Lace who does all the artwork and they create some beautiful things. It used to be, years gone by, that we used to um, create the dyes and then they were given to an artist to put the artwork in. But we now do it the other way around. The artwork is created first and then we build the dies afterwards. And that's just meant that we've been able to take that artwork up a level. Yes. We yeah. can you know the images, the charisma is just absolutely second to none because 
the artwork's done first, which is uh, the harder bit, and then we create the die afterwards to match up with the artwork, so it just looks beautiful. Okay, so shall we have a look at our bridge card, and I'll show you how you can make it into a card if you want. Now, I've just got white card here, so you have to imagine lots of different colours. But what I'm going to do first is I've got a piece of A4 card, and I've just folded it in half, so I've got it tenfold. If you've got some really long cards, you could go the other way. Now, I've got three dies, so I could start with the largest die first, this one with a little um, snippet on there. But what, I'm just not going to do a mat and layer, so I'm just going to pop it on with the first, with the second die. I had a piece of tape a second ago and I put it down. Uh -huh. I don't know what I did with that. Right, so I, what I need to do is I lay this over, so it folds at the top, and I lay it over so that the die hangs over the top. So can you see there's a bit here? So I'm going to try and match it up. There we go. And we can take that like that now. What this is going to do is it's not going to cut it out quite fully. So I've put that on there. I've not bothered with my cut tidy on here because we've, it's not an intricate die. And then we can just put these on. Just excuse me, I'm not used to this die cutting machine, but quite straightforward. A die cutting machine is a die cutting machine, isn't it? So we can run that through. Pop that through there. There we go. Um, do you need an A4 cutting machine to actually work with these, Corinne? Mm -hmm. Can you do it with a smaller yes, one? Yes, I'm saying yes, definitely, because this one here... If I show you, if that is a that piece of cardstock was A5 before, and this die here just hung over the edges. Right. So if you did that, that's the only die that wouldn't go through an A5 cutting machine. All of the other dies would. Okay. But just that largest mat. Now, when I look at that, that is only part of my bridge. I've oh. just got the bit missing off the top. So what I would do is I'd get another piece of cardstock and I would run this through. Oops one more time i can reuse that tape and i can pop this through here so you always need to do cut it again but this is just on a single piece of card this time what so sort of weight of card stock should we be using Karen? i would be always thinking in excess of 200 gsm okay. because we're going to put another piece on in a minute so already the front of our card has now gone to over 400 yes, gsm yeah, because point. you've got the two layers and, so, um, you, now, obviously, if you're printing, you're going to need fabulous quality. That's why the Super Smooth is such a brilliant one to work with. Obviously, be mindful of the way that your um, printer works. Sometimes you have your kind of reservoir of paper underneath. Sometimes it's stored at the back. So just be aware of that, that sometimes the heavier GSMs um, just kind of do a bit of a test run with the uh, regards to them. And if you can't use them through your printer, then they're going to be absolutely be beautiful to use with things like your stamps and dies as well. 100 sheets there, um, 240 GSM in this particular pack, £14.99. pence but we've got a whole host of different combinations of those so do check them out and um, as I say there just be mindful and, and play around with them there's loads of this other essentials as well there things like your tape um, your tape pens your um, foam as well that's all on there as well and these are all things that you can add in alongside your one day special and spread the cost of them as well Okay, so now I've, I'll show you that in a minute, but I'll get this one through. So then I've got my detail die, and this is when I definitely want to use my cut tidy. So my cut tidy is just underneath, so all it's doing is it's adding an extra little shim. How I think of it is, is it almost, it works a bit like an embossing mat, as it pushes the cardstock deeper into the die, so that that means then you're going to get the perfect cut, because it's really sort of pushed it in. I'm not used to sitting down, I normally stand up. I oh, it feels, it feels a strange angle to be cutting. Right, that's going to ping, I think, because that's quite... Oh, you don't need shooting off. There we go. <laughs> right. Ah, I, can see, I can see straight away, that has cut absolutely beautifully. Wow, look, look at that just falling mm. out. It just falls out. And the cut tidy really, really helps with that. So well, I can pop that out. Look at that. I haven't had to poke a single piece out Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? So what you would then be doing, there we go, you can see just there, look, absolutely gorgeous. So just imagine if you'd done this in different coloured cardstock, because I did have one, didn't I, in brown. But what I would be doing now is, what you need to do is you've got your one with a bit missing off the top. So then we can then put our solid one over. And again, always glue on the base, because you don't want the glue to go in the wrong place. Now if I glued it onto here... I could end up gluing too high. Ah, yes. You know, so Good it would. Tip. Yeah, always glue the base because then you know it's in the right place to hold. You know, you, especially if you're doing things like foam tapes and things like that, yes, of where course. it's hard to get. You know, with a wet glue, 
just a minute, I'm just struggling there on that mat. There we go, lift it up, that makes it much easier. With a wet glue, I can wipe off any excess, but with a foam tape or something, it's harder. So, there we go. So, there is my card base now. So, Lovely. any die you own, oops, let's move that out of the way, mm -hmm. can suddenly become a card base. So, by putting that extra one on, we've re established the detail at the top. Let's see if I can find, right, so just to show you, that was the one I just cut in white. Okay. But that was the one I already had previously. Oh, that's you nice. could then craft. pop that onto there. And then that's when you then start thinking about bringing in your little characters. So are you going to just put that, let me see. I've got some of the swans here. Would you then be having one of the swans? Let me see. There we are. I've got one here. You could then be having the swan coming out from underneath the bridge, couldn't you? Oh, yes. Or you could also, this is what it's about, it's all about telling that story. They may be, you're going to have the little ladybird coming over the top of the bridge. So straight away, we're starting to tell a story. We've got the ladybird at the top, we've got the swan. Can you see, we've already done that. Put it on top of one of those lovely, lovely backgrounds and you're starting to tell your story. And that is what is so much fun with these. Oops, and I love it. An amazing one day special, absolutely beautiful. The dies are perfect to work alongside the USB stick. And of course the beauty is you're making your own little stories up as you go. Could be that you're making your fabulous little cards and building up a scene, because of course there's lots of scenes on that USB stick that you could be using. And then your character dies and those printable sheets there are adding the content, adding the interest to these as you go. Um, and again, that little character, that little lad there on his snail, the little snail trail die, allowing you to cut out. And then, of course, you can snip into it and give you some of those kind of decoupage layers that so many of us love to do. But, of course, the beauty is you've got those outline dies as well, which means if you are wanting to create things like your little shaped cards, which I think this is a lovely idea, then you can actually follow the outline there and build up and make your cards. As we saw with the bridge earlier on, it's a perfect one for you to do so. But on this one, the little easel card with that foundation die that's going to sit behind your little character, you can see absolute perfection. It's a brilliant one day special. It's a phenomenal deal. Um, and nearly 20% of the stock has gone of this one. And it's a brilliant collection of dies and a USB stick that work together. So the USB stick has got all of your artwork on there. It's got your background papers, your scenes, your backing papers, um, all your sentiments. You've got 50 sentiments in there. You've got your character sheets there as well. And of course, the beauty is that you've actually got installed within that software, Minecraft Studio. Minecraft Studio, you're probably paying around £25 for in its own right, but you're getting that included within that USB stick, and that's going to give you the ability to kind of work with that artwork. It's a, a, kind of like a graphics program in there. Now, sometimes when you say graphics program, people are like, oh, but I, I haven't been to art st um, school. I don't know how to work with a, a graphics program. It is so simple and easy to work with, but you'll sit, literally be able to take the artwork in and play around with it, give it different colour tones, turn it sepia, turn it monochromatic, give it some beautiful details that you have decided on because you're manipulating it. But of course the designs that you've got in there, if you're printing them off in the sizes that they come, then of course you can just line them up with those dies and away you go. That is the beauty of these. Of course some of these that will reference the USB stick, so when you're actually looking at the packaging from Tattered Lace, you'll be able to see that the USB stick is sometimes referenced on the packaging, sometimes it's an arrow. So whichever you've got, it's kind of giving you the, the, the kind of almost like a, a signpost as to where you can go to get those printable sheets. So the one day special, obviously the USB stick is the first place to go because it's all contained on the magical mill pond with your bridge, with your characters in there as well. And it's just a beautiful collection. But those backgrounds, you'll be using those, I am sure, with other things that you've got within your stash as well. You won't just be using them with these characters because they're absolutely beautiful. So if you're wanting your one day special, two flexi buys on your screen, as you can see, 29 pounds and 98 pence but we've got another bundle which is kind of almost like a second one day special this one's got a huge saving this time we're looking at 51 pounds saving with this one it's oh no it's 50 pounds i do apologize massive saving on this one bringing the price down to 95 pounds and 95 pence now on this occasion you can spread the cost over three payments and again it's jam-packed full of all sorts of fabulous little content here that of course will work alongside the last set with the one day special we're speaking of there are connective factors which mean when you are working with um, Tattered Lace range, you will find there's connectives that will work 
backwards and forwards so things that are coming out in the future and things that you may already have in your collection again you've got your usb stick there a bountiful supply of fabulous pages that you're going to be able to print off over and over again and the beauty of this set is you've got your bases there for your cards as you can see with those gorgeous frames featuring in there as well so if you like the look of this one 158927 now of course i've been mentioning the usb stick and been mentioning charisma but if you've just joined us you might be wondering what on earth is that Haley on about well well, I get that a lot, I'm not going to lie. But on this occasion, I've got the perfect person to explain to you. Corinne, explain to us about yep. Charisma. So, Charisma is the artwork that comes with this collection. And the Charisma for all three dies that require it, the Swan Voyage, the Snail Trail, and the Small Friends, is all available on the USB. So you haven't got to go off looking elsewhere for it. It's going to be there for you. Now, one thing we haven't mentioned is when you come to print it off, you must print it off at depending on your printer 100 percent or actual size now my printer defaults to 97 percent you think of three percent that's fine maybe for your image at the top you can just about get away with it but by the time you get to the image at the bottom it's run off and your dies won't fit right it really does make a difference so many people say to me i can't get the charisma to fit the dies it's you just have to go in and find in your settings so when i do mine i just click on my other settings on my print options and i click the button actual size and then it defaults to 100 percent if you default to 100% your die will then fit perfect Ooh, that's not a very good fit is it I'm doing it from behind let me just put that onto there the die then fits absolutely perfect over the top I'm just going to put that on there and show you there you go and then it will cut out brilliantly and give you that perfect perfect image so that's good to work with your um your small friends it's also going to work with your snail trail and it's also going to work with your swan voyage as well so they all work perfectly with the you charisma. don't get that white edge do you, you? Don't, not no. at all they do give you a little bit of a bleed so if you look at this one here this has got a black edging round but can you just see it's not it's really strange because when you get when you get the artwork and you look at it sometimes I'll show you on another one this is out of that fantasy florals this one okay. really shows you can you see the whole image looks a little bit blurry yes that's yeah. because we put a bleed in and a bleed is a proper printing technique it's a technique that means that the ink overruns okay. the minute you cut it with your dye it's ever so strange to look at because you think I've just cut something that was blurry cut it out and it just clicks it turns right. it and it will be absolutely pristine you won't see that blur or that bleed once you cut it out it's very that. clever and some gorgeous colors there but again mm. of course you know when you're working with your printer then you can kind of change out that settings yep. do it grayscale 359 so kind of color hues within my craft studio wow. so you can go from you know anywhere from your yellows your blues your pinks never change the size you know we're talking about changing sizes yes. never change the size of charisma i heard you saying that a few minutes yeah. ago because obviously your dyes won't fit but you can change the color hues there's no reason why you can't change the colors just don't change the um charisma the size I love it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. There. So there you go. Of course, with that USB stick, don't be frightened of your USB sticks because they are going to be a very useful tool for you to have. Talking about useful tools, we've got lots of other things that you can certainly be adding in alongside your one-day special that are incredibly useful to have in your craft room. Um, here you go. You've got a fabulous set here. These wonderful little string lights. Now, these are really, really pretty to work with. You're going to get two where you've got five lights on there, and you're going to get two where you've got ten LED lights on there. It's only four. $14.99 and of course these are brilliant if you are doing little projects where you're building up those scenes because you can kind of backlight those fabulous little scenes that you create and have loads of fun. 877-945 if you like in the look And you those. get the batteries included as well. You do indeed, yeah, batteries included. Then of course you've got your shaker foam tape. Um, 12 rolls here for just £14.99. Brilliant depth with regards to these as well. You've got two different depths with these. You probably notice you've got your kind of blue and your green there attached to those. So you're going to get your your two mil and your three mil i think it's about half of each of those so um, six of your three and six of your two 14.99 177805 so what else can i tempt you with well this is something you're definitely going to want to add into your basket because it's just a, such a useful thing to have it's a bug off deal buy one get one free and with this you're just paying 
$9.99 and you are getting 12 of those fabulous tape runners there um, and they've got around 10 meters on each one of those incredibly useful to have and of course you've got your little caps on there to protect the head of those as you go um, 957709 those are useful things that if you want to keep a note of the item number you can revisit those time and time again but of course we bring you deals we bring you some phenomenal deals and this is another show where you're going to get some of those wonderful deals so we are looking at your diamonds and pearls collection now with your diamonds and pearls collections you're getting six die sets and within the die sets you've got 57 dies all coming together with a phenomenal saving 50 pounds saving this one bring them down to 78 pounds and 94 pence but as you can see the dies you've got all of these gorgeous dies all of this content not only to give you gorgeous um, pieces like the little flowers that you can see but also your bases your card bases your frames your accents your embellishments all coming together now with these you may well have noticed you've got little arrows featuring on these we've been talking about usb sticks giving you the charisma giving you the opportunity to die cut all those elements but sometimes there isn't a usb stick there is a download so when you look at the packaging from um, a tattered lace you'll notice there's a little uh, kind of arrow downward pointing arrow and the reference points for your artwork is via the create and craft website so you can hop over to there and you can download those free of charge so what that's doing is giving you the artwork that's going to line up with these dies as Corin just explained a few moments ago but then of course you can take them into your Minecraft studio if you've gone for things like your one day special and you've got that you can enhance them you can change the colors and print them off over and over again it really is a clever combination of gorgeous artwork alongside some fabulous dies got some lovely finished samples to share with you here as well now I've just got to make sure that I get them the right way around and I think I have I think I have, yeah, I think I have. So you're going to get, obviously, your different layers which build up together. Those are for the um, next shelf down. Oh, are they? So yeah. should, oh, we don't have gone, any finished samples for the that gone, one. Is it across from the left? Yeah, I know they're, they're all from order. the next shelf down, yeah. So this one here is For the, the next shelf one. down, sorry, there's none for this. Oh, there's none for this particular one. Oh, I see. That, I'm looking at and I'm looking, I'm thinking, I'm looking at the honeycomb <laughs> and I'm looking for honeycomb down here. In that case, I'll just gracefully pop them back down again. <laughs> okay. So if you want to get hold of these, you've got a £50 saving and you've got your ability to spread the cost. As you can see, they're £39.47. pence. But let's talk about those duos. I mean, Corinne explained this and I think it's just such a beautiful concept. Those little characters coming together, giving each other a little cuddle, nestling up really, really sweetly. And um, on this occasion, you've got your swans alongside your doves. And again, with regards to these, you can get your charisma by visiting the website and downloading these. It's a really clever little concept. It is. I think this one's perfect for Valentine's, isn't it? Yes. Both of those, the doves and the swans. But also, they're going to be for wedding cards, anniversary cards. This one has a real love feel. You can almost see that heart, can't you, with the two swans' yes. heads? Yeah. Absolutely. And then there's a heart look in the branch between behind the doves. Oh, of course, yes. Yeah. Isn't that clever? You know, you sort of when you look, you suddenly start to pick out more detail. Beautiful. But like you say, the artwork really, really makes it pop. They're beautiful die sets. Put them together. You can also cut them out if you want to just put them within a frame. Okay. Um, they work either way. It's up to you. Clever combination. You can see them there utilised on the, the kind of the wings of a gatefold card, which is absolutely perfect. So that is your first duo set, your swans with your doves, but we've got a different item number for a different combination. This time we're dipping our toes in the water and we've got your little dolphins there as well as your little seahorses. Again, we were looking at love um, with the kind of the romance theme of the last two. With these, I think it's almost like a family love that you've mm, got here. It is, isn't it? You've got the small dolphin and the larger dolphin and the same with the um, seahorses. I like putting these and almost creating depth and dimension, putting the dolphin behind the seahorses and bring the seahorses further forward. Because again, it's all about that storytelling and you can do it so well with these. I love it. Um, and then the last pairing that we've got, again, a lovely combination and you are loving these ones so much so that nearly a quarter of the stock has gone. This time you've got your elephant and your giraffe and these are just so cute. I mean, the artwork is gorgeous, but if you're thinking to yourself, there's no way I'm going to be able to replicate that you don't have to you can see that little download icon that you've got in your packaging again shoot off to the website you can download those and use them over and over again and when we're working with the artwork Corinne, I'm guessing that we're okay to make and sell with these you can make and sell as much as you like tattered lace have a full open um, angel policy I love so it. you can you can make you can sell you can cut out the die cuts you can make up kit bags you can nice make idea. them for craft clubs you can sell your kit bags it's entirely up to you it's so 
looks so generous. I love it. And of course, those animal ones, perfect for fundraising for animal charities as well. Well, I have to say, Corinne, I've had a fabulous time. Thank you, so have I. It's been lovely working with you. Thank you. Um, the good thing is I get to work with you again tomorrow, four o'clock, which will be your last Perfect. Hour. So kind of topping and tailing. Yeah, um, we'll see how much is back, left. Back again tonight, 8 o'clock with I Richard. am, yes, 8 o'clock tonight, yes. Looking forward thank to it. Thank you. Um, so thank you in the meantime. Now, of course, if you've gone for anything during this show, especially the one-day special, it's good that you've got in nice and early, but make sure you are checking those baskets out. Of course, it's a deal that's designed to run through a whole 24-hour period. doesn't always last that long, though. Talking about not lasting long, wait till the next show. So, what have we got coming up? It's going to get busy, so brace yourselves. We are looking at a happy hour for Crafts 2. Then we're back with the lovely Corinne and the One Day Special before Richard's got his Saturday surprises for you. Ooh! Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Tickets are on sale now for Crafting Live at Sandown Racecourse. Featuring exclusive offers and competitions. Over 800 make and takes. Stock up from over 50 exhibitors. And meet and greet our craft presenters. Plus, craft members save 25% off their tickets. Book your tickets now at creatingcraft.com and search for Crafting Live. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Welcome back. We were literally doing our happy dance then. <laughs> Thank goodness you didn't get to us too early because, well, my side of it wasn't that pretty. But of course, John Lockwood, he's got all the moves. No, I no, no. I, I give a whole new definition to dad dancing. I really do. <laughs> if the music goes and my foot stops going, some goes, stop it. You're not dancing. <laughs> I love it. Rain him in, rain him in. Yeah. Now, we're not raining him in during this hour because we have got the most incredible hour to share with you. Now, there's a bit of important news with this one because we regularly do see John coming in and doing warehouse clearances with some phenomenal prices. This hour, you will not find anything above £9.99. So I do urge you to jump ahead and have a little look. But this is kind of the, you know, like your final clearance. This is it. Yeah, we had a big sort out over Christmas, but this is our last warehouse clearance show. I'm sorry to say, so you won't see us coming back next month or in two months or in three months with any of these or any deals like this. Okay. Our, uh, this is it. 
fair enough. Uh, this is the last of it and the last clearance show we've got. So. Um, and now you're already shopping ahead, and I don't blame you. You know no. how it goes in hours like this. It can be phenomenally busy. So we've got lots and lots to share with you as well. Now, of course, you can jump onto the website and check everything out, but we know that not everybody has access to the internet. So that's why we're going to jump ahead. Rather than work our way through, we're going to go straight to a product which is already uh, very, very vulnerable. Now, on your screen, it says extended delivery. Please ignore that. That was the last time it was here, but it's already limited stock, so do take a uh, notice of that. John, what we're getting in this bundle? Right, this is amazing. Linda put these together. This is a hundred sheets of card stock of speciality. I mean, I'm struggling to shuffle through it all. I really am. But you've got holographic, you've got embossed, you've got luster print, you've got printed, wow. you've got glitter, you've got, you know, every, everything is a speciality. Linda's hand-packed each one of these through the she warehouse. Really and her. this represents 25 years of crafts too, of like wow. roll ends. Yes. You know, when you go to a carpet yeah. shop, you know, we haven't got enough to put on a show. I mean, if we had, I've got to be honest, if I could buy... A pack of ten of that, I'd have it tomorrow. Well, the thing is, you don't but often do packs of ten. You no. do big packs, we do. and that's yeah. why... Uh, well, OK, that was it. All right, cool. That means I can have those leaf ones, then. Two and a half Thanks. minutes. <laughs> Two and a half minutes till we had our first sellout. That's got to be a record. That's got to be a record. Right, OK, focus. Lots of other things. So we're going to go straight to our embellishment pack. Now, with this one, when we're looking at bundles like this, John, we've got lots of different bundles. Um, I'm going to ask you as we get to each one, but I'm guessing with this one, it might not be exactly as we're looking here. It won't. Here. It will be pretty close. OK. But it won't be exactly. There might be one or two flowers swapped or so something else instance, in this one. you might get your little bows, but they might be in pink. Yes. Exactly. Okay. But I think if you go through what they've done is, I think you've got the flowers and the bows in nearly every colour. Oh, in, in, in pink anyway. <laughs> yeah, you, you've got flowers in there. You've got handmade flowers in there. You've, these are beautiful. And I did these on a show about two years ago. These are gorgeous. You, these are designed to you to colour in with your ma markers, your alcohol oh, pens, okay, your pencils. Right, yeah. But they're on, you know, like that air freshener card. Okay. So you can drop right. perfume on these and make your own Ooh, air fresheners. You know, like for the car nice and idea. stuff. Yeah. So what I was doing, they're beautiful. So there's packets of those. You I get like a, these. Every one will get a packet of that handmade paper at the back. Oh, the colour made different. Sorry. But these are all handmade paper, so every okay. pack will get one of those. You and I know, me? I mean, I know originally handmade paper is not what it was, but I know that was more than the tenner. When oh it, gosh, easily so. When, when you had your shop, I know how much those would have been in there. <laughs> well, but with all of the butterflies and everything, there's, there's 19 packs of these flowers, stickers to print, because all of these ones with the. Um, to colour in, mm -hmm. actually, they've got glue dots on the back to stick on oh, as well. Oh, so they're ready to go. Like ready to go toppers. They're really There's 19 pretty. packs of those plus the pack of handmade My paper. My goodness, there's absolutely loads in here. I mean, I, I can't pick everything up and show you, but as you kind of scoot around and have a little look here, you've got floral ac accents in here, you've got swirls, you've got handmade papers, you've got embellishments that have got glitter and sparkle on them. It's a phenomenal deal. It's only £9.99. £9. This is one of those bundles that I would get for myself, and then there might be certain elements that I keep and cer certain elements that might gift to um, people like my nephews, nieces, um, because there's elements yeah. there that I wouldn't necessarily craft with myself, but no. I know that they would love. No, I wouldn't, but this is the sort of thing, again, and I've said this before, but if you, hopefully we can do this now, if you are running Girl Guides, Scouts, good group, point, yeah. kids organisations, after yeah. school, you couldn't go to the 99 people plus a penny shop mm -hmm. and buy a pack of these. Yeah. And if you could, this whole lot would cost you £20. Definitely, yeah. And you've got so much in there. One or two of these would be a kids' activity for about a month. But you There's know what? so much in you've there. You've got gifts as well. I mean, you've got four, um, four uh, almost kits here that you could be giving as a, a gift to somebody if you're in a crafty club. Dare I say prizes for clubs as well, prize draws. There might be um, little competitions that you're running and you're wanting to give a little uh, um, gift to somebody for those. You've got 20 packs in total. So if you think you take just five of those, I'm just going to randomly pick up where I want to, to. Those work prettily with those, those work prettily with those, and then maybe add those in. So you could quite easily that make kind of four, um, four repeats of that, five elements coming together to make a fabulous little gift. I love it. Brilliant value for me. Obviously, yours may vary with regards to the colours, but the scope and the content is going to be something along those lines. But 415718 if you're liking the look of those. Now, let's talk about peel offs because we've got a bumper bundle with these as well. And the beauty is you're getting a variety of different colours. Now, there was a day when all you could get was silver and gold with these. There was, yeah, mm. and they were um, they were a pound a sheet at least. Easily, and you got yeah. silver and gold. Yeah. Here you've got a hundred sheets. 
So you effectively got 100 quid worth of wow. white moth. Because they were a lot so more true. than that. Well, some of them, especially when they started seeing the colours being introduced, they were more expensive because they were a premium. I mean, ones like this where you've got the, the foiling and the colour content, they were yeah. like £1.50 a sheet. I remember being at the NEC and seeing them. Yeah, they were. And, and literally, you're getting 100 sheets. So you're getting all the ones in your hand getting all the ones on the front and all the ones in the pile. Oh, my but goodness. But you're getting all beautiful. None of these are manky, if that makes sense. <laughs> That's a very <laughs> Midlands word. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I mean, none of these, they're all beautiful ones. And again, you, you may not get all of them as being borders, but you're going to get those. But there's, there's two, three, four hundred cards in here. Beautiful. We all still use these. We do. And, and there are ways that we can still contact. use them. I mean, look at that, absolutely beautiful, that filigree work that you've got there, absolutely beautiful. But you remember, stick that on a piece of acetate, colour it with your alcohol pens from behind, stained glass window. Yeah. They're, they're so easy and it's a great way to bring kids into crafting. And they tessellate as well, so you could be putting your acetate on these and multi-layering these if you want to, because you can see the centre building up right the way through. Absolutely gorgeous, all sorts of different colours in here, as you can see, a similar sort of idea. You've got some gorgeous Christmas-themed ones as well, but then you've got flourishes, you've got birds birthdays things that are going to be perfect for seasons like you can see here you've got Easter coming up with this one again those just in case this is a fabulous bundle just in case you need to do a card where somebody says oh can you make a card for my friend um, she plays the harp or yeah. the guitar or the we're drums. never gonna have a die or a stamp to match everything well, are we of course of course but we're gonna have things in here and and the great thing is again we actually when we did this the last time this many of these um, I said to Peter and Jane who were packing them no, or are you doing them by weight? They said no, because they all weigh differently. So everyone is hand-packed and counted by hand. Beautiful. So you're not going to get duplicates, and you're not going to get funny ones. You're not getting a big pack pulled out, weighed, that's what you're getting. Yeah. Someone's actually individually packing all of these by it. hand. And that's just giving you a snapshot there. A hundred sheets, £9.99, ready for immediate dispatch, these ones. Again, we've got extended delivery on your screen there, but they're not. They're ready to go straight away there. 288 uh, No, they are extended. Oh, they are? Oh, I'm sorry. They are extended, and I think it's from Wednesday. Right. Is that because of actually picking the hundreds? That's actually because of picking. Everything on the show is extended from Wednesday because right. I'm launching a brand new John Next Door one day special tomorrow night at six o'clock. And then of course the team's going to be busy dispatching. The team's going to be busy dispatching that. So this it's we to thought give them a bit of leeway. Is, we need to give you a little bit of leeway because we'd Got rather you. under promise and over deliver. Course, you know I crafts forgot. too. Yeah, I forgot. And of course you've been busy as well. You had shows yesterday, didn't yeah. you? Over at Create and Craft. So yeah, they are going to be busy. So yeah, bear with them. But um, yeah, next Wednesday these will be winging their way to you, and they're definitely worth the wait. But a third of the stock has gone. So if you're wanting those, please be quick. The price is going to go up, obviously, when we get to the top of the hour. But it's going to be one of those situations that the stock could sell out before we even get to that. And if that does happen, then certainly we have to say goodbye to it like we saw um, our first bundle we had to say goodbye to we haven't got any more of them this is it this is the last time we're going to see a clearance show like this from crafts 2 so make sure you're getting involved now when you see the next bundle which i'm sure you will have done already you have 15 percent of the stock has gone when we get started with die cutting john it's sentiments isn't it that's where we invest yeah. our money that's what it we get is. you get in all of these for 9.99 yeah. i mean i know and you know we're, i'm not supposed to say this you're, you're paying at home less than these costs to make. Well, I was going to say trade we price. We need you, you the space. Yeah. You, you know the trade prices. Well, you yeah. know how much these cost. And these are ones, I've got to be honest, these are ones I probably wouldn't buy if they were the original 2 99 or 3 yes. yeah. Yeah, No true. point in saying, oh, yeah, I would have spent. No. But these are, you know, they, the hugs and kisses, the girl, they're just perfect things to add to your stash. Yes. And for that price to me, it's what I'd pay out and go, do you know what, for a tenner? Yeah. That would be really borrow. worth having. I'd have it for the keep calm. The happy birthday in the top left mm -hmm. um, is individual. So, that I just, I was a that very one, expensive man. die originally. Look at, Look at the size of it. It's a big die. Now, now it's worth it for that almost. Will we get exactly what we're looking you will at get, here? Contents may vary, but it will be pretty much what you see there. Okay. So there's a chance you won't get everything, yeah. but you will get pretty much what you see there. We can never guarantee anything. Yeah. You've got a good uh, variety of different occasions here. I mean, again, these are ones that are worth having just in case. Happy birthday, there are separate words. Oh, my goodness, flying out. Um, you've got a fabulous saving, £125 saving. If you were looking at, let's say, um, at £10 per die, which you could, very feasible, especially with a happy birthday we looked at there, that's 
saving of 9.99 for all of these please do not think it's a pick and mix and you're going to decide on one of these actually works out at 56 pence per sheet and uh, per sheet per die that is ridiculous We've got lots of people on the phone lines wanting to get hold of these. The website is the best place for you to go or the app to secure your order. Um, we're going to be incredibly busy for the rest of the hour. Just hope that we've got enough to go around for everybody to get hold of these. 630413, if you're wanting to get hold of them, please do so. But do not check your basket out straight away because you'll want to add the next set of dies in as well. Because again, do you remember what I said at the top of the hour? You're not paying any more than £9.99 pence. Have a look at what you're getting here. My goodness. Jo is Peter all right? Yes. Can I just check? He's is fine. He, okay? he is, yes. Okay. <laughs> so, well, so um, he put check. this list together and sent it to me. Wow. This wasn't me speculatively doing it. When we laid this out on the counter, talking to Chris, and he said, so it's a pick and mix, so you pick one, is it, or two of these for 9 dollars And I said, no, it's you're all 13. everything. You're going to get 13. Um, and it, uh, basically, it's less than a pound a die set, and each set has multiples in there. You're well, talking there's pennies. There's six layers in each one of these, usable shapes. Now, obviously, contents will vary, so you might not necessarily get exactly the same ones, but you're going to get a phenomenal range, and they are all layering dies. That is the key thing with this one. They're frames. You're going to be able to work with these. Now, please do not consider... Don't kind of sit there and think, well, shall I go for it or shan't I go for it? That length of time that you're taking to make the decision could be the kind of the decision that you won't get them because somebody else will have placed their orders. Of course, you can go for multiples of these if you're wanting to. And you might think, well, what if I get repeats? Sometimes that is incredibly useful to have repeats of dies, especially if you're wanting to create double apertures within a card base. So please make sure you're getting hold of these. 9 99 I cannot believe I am saying 13 die sets. Don't forget, some of these have got six um, uh, dies within that particular set. Some of them have got even more. But you can see some very versatile, very usable dies that you are going to love. So if you've invested in your die cutting machine, don't forget, we've got our monthly mega deal that lots of you have invested in. So you're going to be wanting to build up your stash. This is a perfect way to do this it. This is a spot on way to do it. Yeah. If, you, you, if you bought the monthly mega deal, you've got a die cutting machine with 30 odd dies in there. Is it still available? Or is it, it is. Still, or... There's not a lot left. So can I just ask the monthly? make a deal that's going to be on flexi that's on three flexes three flexes okay so if you're thinking about getting the monthly mega deal and the only thing that maybe you're teetering on is the fact that we well, haven't got a lot of dies then you can add this in three pounds and 33p on top of those three payments you will get a 13 pack set of dies to work with your monthly mega deal that's crazy because it would it would take you it took me nearly a year to build up a easily Easily. That when I first got my die cutting machine, yeah. it was nearly a year to build that up. Well, let's face it, if we were talking 9.99 per set, which is quite feasible, very feasible, let's call it a tenner because I can't do multiplications beyond 10. So we're looking at 100, um, 130 pounds you would be paying if you were paying a tenner a pack with regards to these ones. 038826. We've just had a phone call come down from the call centre urging you to jump onto the website and place your order. They're basically in a meltdown. You better run out the building tonight, mate, because they are going <laughs> in for Tracy's going to come and get me, isn't she? she, is, she is. Tracy's going to be waiting not, outside again. It's not often we get that phone call to the gallery to say, please, can you place your orders online? We will get to you on the phone lines if we can do, but if you've never shopped on law and um, online before, I wonder, um, Leslie, is it possible for us to show just how easy it is to shop online? Because we might have people that have never shopped online. We won't do it. We won't be there for too long. Don't worry. We'll show you everything. But I'm quite keen that everybody gets their opportunity to shop for these and to take advantage of them so if you're wanting to actually shop online it's really easy you just need to go to craftstore.com that will bring you up with our website and you'll be able to see our show you can click to watch live now when you actually look on the website as you scroll down it looks a little bit different so yeah there's me Hoo, cubby, hello you can click on that and you can follow the show but what you'll be able to see at the bottom of the window when you've got the show up you'll have all the products can you see at the bottom of the screen it says products in the show all you need to do is literally click on on that button check out your order it'll ask for things like your name your address your card details it's very similar to the information that our call operator
purchase take from you. It just means you're bypassing that queue and thereby um, hopefully guaranteeing you can take advantage of those goodies as you go. You'll get presented with additional bits and pieces like your end of call items. You don't have to add those into your basket if you don't want to. But if you've never shopped online before, this is the perfect time for you to do so. It's exactly the same as speaking to our call operators. They use a very similar system. So it's all the information that they will ask of you rather than them typing it in that you are doing it yourself and it means that you're getting hold of these because the moment that you pop them into your basket you've reserved them so straight away get onto the website add them to your basket they're reserved you can breathe a little then for 10 and um, 10 minutes and then check out your order as you go but don't leave it any longer than 10 minutes because you could miss out on them altogether. so so i just wanted to make sure that you, um, you knew how to shop online so 9.99 i told you that at the beginning so 9.99 every item on the show that we're talking about when i say item i don't mean each individual pack i mean each bundle so again we're moving on to another set of 10. marianne creatables yes this is a branded i mean obviously we've got craft too branded yes yeah. guaranteed but these my goodness I, one of the very first dies i bought when i got my machine what got to be 10 12 years ago now mm -hmm. was a marianne die in this Beautiful. blue color yeah it was the the hearts with the two birds across oh, it you'll know yes, it because I, I think you every mean. crafter in it's the world's classic. got it it cost me 15 pounds yes. that's what these are now looking at this bundle i haven't seen these bundles till today oh, right. okay. peter and jane put them together they've all pre-packed so they just pulled one out at random they didn't pick the best but i'm having that one which so one there? if you're watching Pete and Jane, now I'm having this bundle. Oh, the bundle. Oh, right. Yeah, because that yeah, gate, I want to get down to the filigree. Front. I don't know whether I can get to it. The let it snow. I want the scissors because they're useful. They're a brilliant one. So I'm shopping ahead. So that can sample, I... I'll give you the hold money. On, hold I'll give on, you the money on, on Monday. I got it. 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 Has that got the building in it as well? Oh, little houses. Oh, look yeah. at the little shoes. Oh, these are. I mean, they're designed obviously creatables. They're being a, a Dutch company. They look like little clogs, but they're fabulous adorable little shoes the buildings my goodness how useful are these absolutely adorable that, that is beautiful that fabulous, I'm, I'm having that one and I, I will I will give you my money <laughs> I love it. for the sample you because... might have to get on the website John um, now with regard to these if you're wanting them obviously contents will vary we're doing try and keep it to, as closely as we possibly can to the bundle that we've been chatting about you are going to get 10 packs there for just nine pounds and 99 pence incredibly useful and I can't believe we are telling you that Marianne creatables are just nine I, I hope they're not watching I hope Marianne's not watching. She'd be offended by this price, won't she? M Marianne would be very. I better move on quickly. Very offended on Definitely. that. Definitely. Um, four two one three four six. But please take advantage of those while you have the opportunity. But to say that it's one of those situations. It's actually giving us more space, isn't it? So um, hopefully. She I hope she's not watching, but she is. We're making more space for more beautiful Marianne products. So next one that we've got now. These are beautiful. This one to me is crazy because wow. there is one that you've got on the floor there which i think oh no at the front the oh, merry yeah. stamp with the christmas with the xmas top left i think it is oh okay on the thing that oh, was 12.99 on here this one just before christmas really as a happy on a seven day saver or a happy hour deal oh wow on its own and that was on an offer price see my favorite is this one i love a little envelope a little oh. gift envelope You've got, your little stamp. You've got your little stamp there as well. Um, can I just show you this one as well, the butterflies? <gasps> How pretty is that? Stamp and die set with these as well. Again, if you were to get those three little stamp and die sets together, you'd be, well, happy. Ha happy is a pig in the proverbial. Um, but with this one, 9 9 you are getting all of these, every single um, set, 10 sets in total. Again, contents may vary. No, that's fair so this enough. is an example, but this is an example of the quality. There are no smaller ones to send you. You know, we, we, we're not showing this. This is a typical example of what you'll get. And I love it because it stamps and die sets with these. So you know that they're going to die. You stamp them out, cut them out. Sentiments, corners, beautiful elements. Of course, yours may vary with regards to these, but you will still get your stamp and die combinations. Absolutely. See that die set there with the circles? That's worth nine ninety nine by itself. That's a very useful set. It is. It really is. And the die fits it. The next one, the collectibles, the heart with a little tag on it and the details Whoops. down there. This one over here, But yeah. you've got the lovely little sort of home and love. Yeah. Little sentiments. It's a beautiful. Marianne does such lovely 
the collectibles range is such a lovely it's like her cutesy range gorgeous it, it's beautiful and i know you know i know you could look at that as a one day special oh, easily. and it would be a hundred pounds down from 150 and yeah and yeah. it's not it's crazy but we need the space we've got so much coming in there's a lot happening we need this the room. year there is there's a lot happening if you wanted to take advantage of yours the details are there eight four zero three five three nine ninety nine for all of them not individual individual brilliant but you are loving this one um what quantity's gone leslie half the stock we had big quantities of these huge quantities my goodness now okay i've got to tell you about another sellout um technically sold out so if you've got these ones in your basket that i'm going to be sharing with you um then uh, you will need to check your basket out straight away so we're going to bring them up and show you i'm not surprised i'm not surprised now i will let you know and i'm going to say this with my sternest of stern voices if you don't check your basket out in time i will be letting people know because it's not fair that people will have missed out on these just because they're sitting in somebody's basket and they haven't checked their basket out in time now if it's a case of that it's taking 10 minutes for you to check your order out online then naturally they will fall back into our stock if you've given us a call to place your order for those then i just hope that you kind of time it right so that you can get hold of those because potentially you could miss out on them which is why i wanted to explain how you can shop online because when we're as busy as we are during this hour it could be very easily um, that you miss out on some of these so again another set of dies again absolute phenomenal detail with these dies and again we're looking at Marianne designs these are so pretty John now again with these and um, the contents may vary um, but what are we getting in this particular bundle so in all once sorts? again I think you're getting 10 sets okay so you're only seeing five there but again you've got beautiful that first one actually the instructions are on the back okay. it actually makes you like a Nordic heart this one that oh down it at the bottom. It shows at the bottom oh, how it makes and they, they make merge together. You used to make them at school. I do remember making them. Yeah, and we'd weave them in our hands yeah. and things. So every single one that the craftable dies are the dies that do something from Marianne. Oh, I see. Okay. So your sort of your your collectibles are like your cutesies. Yeah. Your creatables and then these craftables make something. I like. Or this. they work. So you've got the Christmas tree. You've got the Eiffel um, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. But again. Contents may vary. Okay. But just adding these on to oh, your, I love the skis. your stash is just crazy. The skis, the snowflakes, the Christmas, the cup, the saucer. Some of these from some companies cost like a it's cup and a saucer and cost you thirty pounds. It's they're crazy. And That's I love them. I really absolutely do. Absolutely brilliant. I mean phenomenal value for money. As we're saying with any of these bundles, because of the quantities, we can't say it's gonna be exactly the same because you might have more of one die than we have of another. So with these ones, it is literally a case of that you kind of just get involved as soon as you can. What you will know is though you are getting phenomenal value for money. So you're getting ten die sets for just nine pounds and ninety nine pence. I mean that little basket there is going to be so incredibly useful. So I hope you manage to get hold of that one. And I love this idea where this is going to actually cut into your card, but create that fabulous little formation of your petals to give you that overall look. Aren't they beautiful? Absolutely incredible. And of course, with regards to some of these, the craftables are giving you the ability to create something, as John explained, with that fabulous little woven heart that we saw. Very, very busy for these as well. So again, if you're wanting these, 709268. I will just reiterate, um, in case you didn't join us at the top of the hour, John has been incredibly busy over the last couple of days. He was over on Create and Craft yesterday. He's going to be launching a one-day special tomorrow at six o'clock. And of course, he's been here with the um, the Go Create, um, the no, the Go Power and Emboss. Go Power and Emboss. That's it. <laughs> Get me name. I always remember up. it by thinking Go Go Power Rangers. Go Go Power. That's <laughs> it. Go Go Power. Um, now, of course, this means that back at HQ for um, for Crafts Two, they're incredibly busy. So these will be dispatched from Wednesday of next week. So please be patient with them. They've got a lot of work to do. So I'm not envious of that at all but this is the key thing absolutely flying out each and every of these deals that we're sharing with you so just have patience with the guys they will get those orders out to you so as soon as you've got that order number you know that you're going to get those goods so don't worry about it just give them a little bit of time now next thing that we're going to share with you oh diamond art no 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 hang on a minute yeah this, i said at the top of the hour no more than well 9.99 9.99 for two it will be for random two for two when this came through i actually did phone peter oh, and no. say is this right this and the card kits i said is this right because 
what you've got here is, these are the examples. Okay. This is one of the designs. There's six designs. Right. You'll get two at random. Okay. But you've got the beautiful, there's the butterflies. I think Penny did all of these. These are finished. Isn't that pretty? Here's that beautiful winter trees. I just think they're gorgeous. I mean, I just can't get over that. Yeah, and here, Nine this is one of my favourites. That is nice, isn't that, it? That, and it's not, it's a fully photo canvas at the back. Yes. With just that on that. And what I would say is, this is how it comes. Because okay. this is my favourite, the seashore. Oh, wow. So you will get that, as you're used to diamond art. Yeah. You will get your well, you get little, you your wax, get. You're not your tool, on these. Right, your okay. tray. You'll get your beads, and if you really struggle, because I've done these in the past, there is a little video of me on YouTube showing you how okay. to really do them. Wonderful. There you yeah, go. Yeah, so we, we try and put everything on there we can, but what I would say is they will try, and I can't promise this, Yeah. but if you order, say, two sets, they yeah. will try and give you four different ones. Got you. Yeah. They can't yeah. guarantee it or promise it. But, but I know, I know that Jane will try, and I know that she will they make me pay for this tomorrow for well, saying it. They pack the orders the way that they would like to receive them, they wouldn't do. they? They and do. The thing, there is nobody thing. who works for crafts too yeah. who isn't a crafter. Yeah. And I know all companies say that, but there is no one in that warehouse. You know these people. Well, that's how Jane started yeah. originally. Yeah. There is shop, nobody yeah. in there. Jane, mm. Penny, Linda, Peter, everyone crafts, so they think like we do. Not which I We've think only is so got good. a couple of handfuls left of these ones. You're getting two for nine pounds and ninety-eight pence. Don't think about about just getting these for yourself they're going to be fabulous things for you to work on as a five for each but think about things that i know i don't say but secret santa's birthdays your crafty bottom drawer gifts for people crafters that you know as I say, fundraisers, uh, they could be tombola gifts that you're putting into a charity fundraiser for your craft club. It could be a project that you're working on alongside somebody. Um, maybe give it as a gift and then craft with them, teach them, introduce them into the world of crafting. But we only have a couple of these left as well. 9.98 for two of those, 061301. They are going to sell out, so I'm going to move on because we've got more to share with you as well. So what have we got here? All trimmits. We've got all sorts of fabulous now let, can i move those out of the way because let's face it they've gone now haven't they yeah so it saves harry your job doesn't it yeah. <laughs> Oops, Daisy. Um, now what have we got here then john so here you've got you know trim it as a brand i know that you do them on here mm -hmm. um, you do them at you know they're, they're on a, a normal price and all sorts of shows so you've got i think in this one because i'm struggling to see the screen and although oh, i typed yes, it up i can't remember it's 10, you're getting 10 packs, packs and you're going to get a pack of buttons as well yeah in there. so you get a pack of the beautiful crafts two buttons you get 10 packs but these are quality embellishments wow do you know what i mean they're not yeah. We're not talking, you know, the, the, the 99p plus a penny, my favourite shop yes. ones. <laughs> but even there, at a 99p plus a penny shop, you'd only just manage to get these. Oh, I love these. And if they were that value, but they're not. These are beautiful. They're all made in felt. They're all made in fabric. They've all got glitz or glamour or something on them. They're just beautiful Christmas embellishments. And my favourite things is... Keep these for if you got my proper cracker last year, yes. or if you think you might need my new cracker this year for Ooh, Christmas. Oh, John, you're a tease. I am, because I'm going to be out till September, is it? So. Oh, OK, fair enough then. But keep hold of it for then, because yeah. by then we're Just not going to have these to, on that them. offer. <laughs> Just remember where you put them, because if you're anything like me, you'll forget, <laughs> and then you'll find them um, next Easter, when Christmas will have been gone. Um, so if you're wanting those, I love the little Santas, they're so adorable. Um, of course, you're going to get your 10 packs, and you are going to get, also including your buttons, as well so nine packs and your buttons for just nine pounds and 99 pence works out as a pound a pack and these are quality um they've got the adi um, addition there of your little kind of sticky dots on the back but we are talking trim it's with some of these we're talking about class christmas incredible quality through and through oh my goodness i feel worn out <laughs> absolutely worn out so oh we're going to the back we've still got all of this to do oh my goodness let's head to the back now I told you we were clearing the warehouse <laughs> we really are well this is amazing now these are brilliant now, if you missed out on the artwork that we saw with the diamond dots, this is a perfect way for you to get hold of something very, very similar on a smaller scale. But these are things that you're going to be creating um, and uh, giving um, as little gifts. So with these, absolutely adorable. So what you've got is a series of cards with these. So you can see here, again, contents may vary with these. But no, they are, you will get all six. Are you going to get exactly There this? are only six right. designs. You will get all oh, six of okay. them. Fair enough. These are brilliant because, I mean, look at this. That is a fabulous one for somebody to be making and creating. I'm thinking my nephews have got their birthday coming up, but that would be a fan. They're twins, so that would be a lovely one for one of them to make as a, a card for the other. It really would. In every kit, I mean, this is the crazy thing, you're getting six for that price. 
every kit has all the gems, plus every kit has a tool, every kit has the wax, and every kit has the tray. Wow. So it's like having diamond art painting separately. So it's not like you're going to get six of them and then one tool. You've got six individual kits. Love which, it. you know, you, you could make up or you could give away as gifts or anything else because you can split these down. It's not one card kit that makes you six. It's six card kits. I love it. And as you heard there, all packaged individually. So, yeah, give them as gifts if you're wanting to. I mean, you could actually give these with a little frame, couldn't you, if you wanted to? Oh, you could. That'd be yeah. really nice. Or make it up and give it as a frame, because I know my mum, she loves to keep cards, cut certain cards that she likes, she will hang on to, pop them into a frame and keep them there forever. So, 9.99, if you're wanting to get hold of yours, 9.75001. Do not miss out on those. They are absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. I love it. Now, we're heading back to dyes again now. Yeah. Nine ninety nine. you said at the top of the hour? Yeah. All four? All four. No way. All four. No contents will vary. Okay. You will get all four of these dies for the nine ninety nine. You could almost hear the penny drop when I looked at these. I looked across yeah. at John and I was like... Am I, am I going to be saying this? Am I going to be getting it right? And again, you can see on the screen that it's listing these dies. You know exactly what you're getting when you're placing your order for this one. This is phenomenal. But these are big dies, as you can see, with regards to these. Perfect, as you can see, for your baby theme card. So you've got your baby carriage there with the word baby. Then you've got all your little bits and pieces, your bib, as you can see there, your little baby bottle, the fabulous little booties. The next one, I love this one. This one is a cutting and embossing die. So in here... Obviously, you've got, oh, that's a pretty one. It I is, like and that. that's, a, that's got a nesting sections in it as well. Okay. So it's not one die, there's actually three dies in that. Wow. So you can build it up, build it out, cut it in, cut it out. To be honest, if I'd have known we'd got a stock of that one left, mm -hmm. I would have put that on a normal show. Oh, right, okay. Because I love some of these older Prescott dies. It's, it's no point pretending, some of these are older. Yes. So, you know, some of these are, are five, maybe even ten years old. Yeah. But yeah. The, the designs don't age. Yes, that's and true. And we know dies last forever. But if I'd have known that, if I'd have known it was that one, I think I would have said, keep that on one side, Peter. I'll put that on a normal show. Yeah. I and could probably do 15 samples from that and without love, adding anything to it. I love this one as well because you've got the couple there with separate dies. So obviously if you're careful with the way that you cut this, you could actually have two girls or two guys together on this particular die as well. Really you pretty could, little Because dye. we can reverse them. But one of the best tricks to do if you want to do a die like that that's figurative and you want to have it both ways. Mm -hmm. If you cut it in funky foam, you don't get that edge. Oh, okay, so right. So cutting funky foam, you don't get a raw edge. It will go either way. It's something I did with angels a few years ago. So there's always ways around it. So yeah, you could have two girls, two guys, the heart balloon, the heart, the flowers, neither of them, any of them. I just think it's lovely. It's a lovely set, really. I mean, it's worth it just for that one die there. Just for that one die there. 999, 82, I'm sorry, 728271 if you wanted to take advantage of those. Uh, every deal that we've bought to you has been phenomenal. Now, I think we're going to be chatting about the, um, the frames. Did I hear that's what we're going to talk about? Oh, oh none have bounced back. Oh. I've got everything. I've got my shoes, my socks, and my fingers, everything crossed for you, but they've, yeah. Sorry. Now, actually, let me, can I just move some of these out of the way? Because I have got a, oops, oops, that wasn't meant to. I'll put that on my CV. I, I'm now a floor manager as well. <laughs> <laughs> now, these, oh my goodness. They're limited stuff. Oh, I do like a jigsaw. So I, it, I'm not going to pretend I am not a jigsaw person. Are you not? But Aww. when I saw the artwork on these, they are absolutely beautiful. What they've actually done is, F, the artwork from these have come from Find It Media. Okay. And you may remember I've brought Find It Media to you in the past in card mm -hmm. kits. Yeah. Um, I know Dawn Wheeler's done some oh. Find It Media. <laughs> Um, on um, There's not a lot to on see Great on the and back. Craft. <laughs> but what you actually see is these are original artworks done by the artist, by either Amy or by Yvonne. Okay. Actually, physically for them, so they're not bought off the net or anything. They've designed them, and they thought the artwork was too nice to just be card kits and decoupage. Oh, they're gorgeous. And made them into the thousand-piece jigsaws. I love. That. Oh, can you imagine the conversation yeah, going that on one was That one's called Bubbly Girls. <laughs> I like the bubbly girls. I feel as if, if I was there, I'd be a bubbly girl. I, I don't think I would be, to be fair, as well. <laughs> I <laughs> but love every, it. It's artwork. They're not pictures. They're not taken off there. These have been designed by either Amy or Yvonne. 
because if you notice on it, it says Yvonne's creations, it Yvonne does, is a real yeah. person. Yeah. Amy designs, Amy is a real person. And they're just beautiful well, and they're made into jigsaws for you. So if you're a jigsaw person, it's a beautiful way to do it. Nine ninety nine, and these are good sized jigsaws as well. I mean, you're looking at roughly half a meter by 68 centimeters, a thousand pieces in there. So a really nice little gift for somebody. This one here is absolutely adorable. So with these ones, are we choosing or is it a case no, of a bit of a No, you're going to get two of oh, the designs. Two. I think we've got four designs. <gasps> it's two for nine ninety nine. sorry, not one. My goodness. And you'll get two at random. Two yeah. for nine ninety nine. Yeah. I know he just said that and I've repeated it. I just can't believe that he's actually <laughs> said it. Um, six, and this is genuine. Uh, we didn't get to prep this show beforehand because I was launching the one day special. So I kind of glanced at things, but I hadn't got all the information. So I didn't realise just how phenomenal these deals are. Um, so yeah. Lots of you have been taking advantage of these. Now, of course, if you're wanting your jigsaws, obviously each one item number you will get two sent through. It's kind of a bit of a random one with regards to them, but they are literally flying out. So if you are wanting your jigsaws, make sure you get hold of them as quick as you possibly can, because potentially you will miss out on these. So I think we've covered everything. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm worn out. <laughs> yeah. I'm worn out, not just with the, the... I mean, that's a big walk for me, going all the way around there, um, like going to the gym. I am, I am very sorry, but... As, as you know, we Haley, you're aware of we've got a lot coming in this year. It's a busy year. Um, the yeah. warehouse is, is like, as I say, an Escher painting in yeah. class two. There are staircases everywhere. They had a really big clear out between Christmas and New Year to yeah. try and find as much space as they could for all these things that are flying in. I mean, you know, we've, we've even got parcels being delivered today for... Sunday shows for oh tomorrow's my shows. Yeah, well, you've um, got to time it right. Have you said this by freeing up the space? It kind freeing of gives up the space gives us that little breathing space, to do it. and it allows us to give customers a thank you to me. You know, it, it, it's from Craftsy to say thank you to everyone that's been supporting us for the last five, six years on it, on the craft store. And I think it's nice to close out our warehouse shows, making it as cheap as this with fantastic Definitely. things. Because well, we you like can't give everything, you can't give it away for free. Yeah, you can't. That's true. Yeah, yeah. But I know for a fact that most of the things on the counter have cost Peter more than you're paying at Definitely. home. Definitely, we better all just gloss over that in case he's yeah. watching. In case he's, he's watching just, and realises. Like, oh, it's gone on and he's gone. What on earth have I done? Um, anyway, right. I'm going to start off with the peel offs on this occasion because lots of you've been going for these, and these are brilliant because they are so useful. Um, you've got a hundred sheets in here, and they're brilliant because you could actually go through these and kind of cherry pick the ones that you will use, gift some of the others. You've got fabulous things like borders in these. You've got gold and silver tones with these. You've got your colour tones with these. Now, with these, it's going to be, contents may vary, but they're all being hand-picked. They are being hand-picked, and this is what I was trying to say earlier, because I'd actually said to Peter, could we repeat this again at some point? And he said, it's very, very hard to pick. So can't you weigh them? He said, no, each one weighs differently. Oh, OK, right. Each, for some reason, each one weighs differently. I think, to me, they shouldn't, but they really do depending on what they're made of and everything else. So if you look at those with the holographic, you've just shown they're they've got gorgeous. a clear background. Yes. So Oops. again, they've had some taken off, so they're lighter than some of the others. Yes, yeah. They've had that backing already removed for you. This is how they're made by the manufacturer. That gorgeous. Um, so they're in different weights. So every single pack has to be hand-picked by Linda or Jane. Some so they go through and make ones. sure you're not getting duplicates. Okay. You're not going to get... You're not going to get 100 sheets of hearts. You're not going yes. to go onto the shelf and go, oh, right, another 100, right, let's have 100 hearts, so there's 90 there, we'll have 10 or of this sentiment. 25 sheets of Happy Easter. Yes, like exactly. Yeah. How many times have we all bought bumper packs? <laughs> oh, yes, been there, done like that, bought that. the T-shirt. <laughs> and, you know, or a brilliant deal on that uh, Bay of E. And it, yes. when, it, when it arrives, the, the front one is lovely and the rest are all the yeah. same, oh, the same yes, thing. definitely. Contents may vary because the contents will vary, but they are being hand-picked, so they will do their best some to make sure you get designs. a decent selection. And they've got some stunning designs. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And, of course, you can change the colour of some of these as well as you go. Sometimes they're really useful ones as well. Things like your musical instruments. I mean, these are useful to have almost in, in kind of your back pocket, really, aren't they? Not literally, but because of those occasions where you might get somebody that will say, oh, can you do me a card? They're, they're, into, their music, they're into their classical music or yeah. they play the guitar or, or whatever. You've got those there that are ready to go to. You may or may not get that.
that particular one, but you will find there are other elements. There might be essences of sport, florals, borders, um, sentiments. There's a whole host there, a whole array. And to be honest, at 9.99, I think it's worth a punt, isn't it? I, I do, to be honest. Yeah. It's the sort of thing that I would go for because no way on earth while I pay. Yeah. I've done it for borders. Yeah. For the crackers, I did it for borders, and I paid a pound a sheet for those because it really finished them off. But for something where a floral or the circles or something like that, I wouldn't pay that, but it's definitely, as you say, it's worth a punt. Yeah. I would have them in my stash, and every time we've done these on the show, I've asked if I can have some samples of them, so I've got some at home in stock as well. See, stickers for planners as well. I mean, those little circles there are really oh, yeah. useful for actually using, kind of, I don't know, it might be that it's depicting that, um, I don't know, going out for a coffee, you're putting a little kind of purple dot in there. I often want red uh, and blue stickers, um, little circles, for when we do our shift here, because we've got red and blue shift, and it kind of means I can I look at the I have a big chart, and I've just thought away. now, those violet ones would actually do for me, because I've got another category I need to put on there, and I've run out of sticker colours. there you go. Um, well, it's going to cost you 9 99 to be honest. Yeah, you thanks. have to be quick. Um, 288-869 if you're wanting to get hold of those. Now, of course, we've been talking a lot about dyes during this hour. We've had sellouts with regards to dyes. We've got a fabulous bundle of sentiments, and these are brilliant. You're going to get um, a variety. You're going to get, is, is it 10 of these? 15. 15. I can't keep up with this. I really can't. Honestly, you're wearing me out. Um, with these, you're going to get all sorts of different sentiments. You're going to get some wonderful dyes. They may vary from these, but you know you're getting quality with each each one of these and some of them are going to be quite substantial sized eyes like your happy birthday but you see your happy birthday you could quite easily team up with your dad or it could be that you've got uncle or auntie or cousin lots of these featuring within here not just your birthdays potentially being catered for congratulations can be congratulations for anything though you can it? use it for absolutely everything and again this we, we make cards and again if you've just started today if you've gone for the monthly mega deal mm. 